10 as a small family business. We were both very passionate about paper craft in general, and Jack is particularly passionate with paper embroidery, which is one of the main things we focus on now. Addison Sparkle produced paper embroidery kits and products, which is taking a very old and traditional Victorian craft, bringing it up to date with a modern twist in the designs we use. And what's really special for me is the fact that we can get paper embroidery to a wider audience through working with Hachanda. The future for Addison Sparkle is we'd love to keep working with Hachanda to be able to bring more exciting and new products. We're looking at hopefully bringing some paper embroidery books out onto the market to add to the kits that we already produce and bring. So make sure you don't miss our Ads and Sparkle shows on Hochanda. Now it's really good to have your company and to let you know that there have been a few little changes here at Achanda. For a short while we weren't able to ship over to America so that meant that you were missing out on all of those wonderful goodies that we're able to bring to you here at Achanda. Well good news, we have resumed those orders coming to you overseas. COVID-19 meant that we couldn't fly them out to you but of course that has changed. But something I do need to let you know is that sadly we've had to increase that post and packing per item. So it's gone up to $12.95 unfortunately but but good news, Freedom Membership has remained the same at $19.99. What that means is you can place an order as often as you like during that calendar month. You could even place an order every single day and there's no minimum and no maximum to those orders either. So it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of all those fabulous deals, those wonderful opportunities that we bring you here at Chanda. Now shipping again to you as in America. So take advantage of that. Make sure you become a Freedom Member though. Take advantage of that saving. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important was a Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture of this shows on Achanda. My name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We've brought them to a chanda and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda.
there. Good morning and welcome to a brand new day here at Achanda. And boy, have we got a day ahead of us. I am in fabric heaven. We've got some amazing fabrics coming up. We've got some incredible kits as well. Um, and this is all because we are here with our fabulous quilting event. Of course, um, Festival of Quilts sadly hasn't happened this year. Um, in fact, quilting events around the whole world have been cancelled. So we thought we're going to bring our own here to Hachanda. And that's where we have got our summer festival quilting um, obviously going on until the 4th of August. Now, there's going to be loads and loads of different sewing shows, but don't worry if you're not a sewer, there are plenty of other shows intermingled, so don't worry, we're not um, doing away with all of the other crafts that we bring to you here. But how would you like to win the biggest ever prize we have been able to bring to you from Hachanda here? Well, thankfully, we've got an amazing team of um, suppliers here at Hachanda, and everybody's got involved with this, which is fabulous. And what we're doing, every single live hour that we're bringing you with our sewing features, we're going to be adding to that prize pot until the 4th of August. Then one lucky viewer is going to win everything within that hamper sadly i am not allowed to enter but hey ho it's one of those things isn't it I have to cope with that but you, it's just one person now how do you get involved well you simply place an order during any of those live sewing shows and you will go into the prize draw and one person from every live out will go into the prize draw until on thursday evening when we draw one name uh, sorry tuesday thursday tuesday um evening when we draw out one name and that person gets to get everything oh my goodness so we've already been adding items in as the live hours have uh, progressed so we've got fabulous projects as you can see here with all these gorgeous fabrics included wonderful strip roll here look at that gorgeous fabric but we've got a gap here we've got a gap and we've got a jukey show coming up so what could we possibly have well i'll tell you what we have got and it nearly didn't make it to the counter um because wow look what we are adding well jukey adding to that prize draw an incredible overlocker now the value of this is incredible straight away we are adding just shy of 600 pounds to that prize bundle so you can see straight away it's getting to be quite a substantial price for somebody to win and this is brilliant we're going to be talking about overlockers in the next now because we have got a Juki show coming up so you will have all the information that you need to know as to why you want to win this but the current value stands of our bundle is 701 pounds it makes a difference Oh, and 97 pence as well. There you go. Um, now, how do you get involved? What are all the terms and conditions? Well, guess what? We've got loads of that to share with you. So what you need to do is literally place an order during any of our live um, hours during that summer festival of quilting. Don't forget, just one prize draw name will be drawn out of the hat six o'clock on Tuesday. I should be watching with bated breath, even though I know I'm not winning, but there you go. Not at all bitter. Um, so uh, yeah, do make sure that you get involved. Now, if you do want to know the terms and conditions, as always, you will find them on the Hachanda website. So good luck. And it could be that you're placing an order for anything during this hour. So we've got lots to share with you. Check out the schedule. We've got some amazing deals coming up over the next few days. So do make sure that you get involved. And in this hour, we're going to be talking Juki. Lots of things Juki. Now, of course, it's a brand that I don't know that well. So we brought in one of the experts. And we've got the fabulous Gary here from Juki um, himself. Good morning, Gary. How are you doing? Good morning. Absolutely great. Thank you for inviting me. It's lovely well, to be here. I love it. Now, I know that um, Natasha raves about this machine. And I'll be honest, I don't know an awful lot about it. So I am going to be like you guys at home, learning as the hour progresses. Now, I will try and ask questions that I think you might need answering. But of course, if there's anything that you want to know that we're not covering, then you know how to get in touch. Studio at achanda.com. We've also got a second show coming up from Gary. Um, at 10 o'clock as well so if you are just joining us part way through and you want to revisit things that um, Gary has been mentioning then do come back and join him at, um, at 10 o'clock but I will warn you we've got limited quanti quantities of the sewing machines and overlockers available so don't leave it too long it's considered purchase so don't worry we know that we're going to need to give you all that information you need but just be mindful of that details are up on your screen already and we are looking at the most incredible sewing machine I mean look at it it's impressive to start with isn't it but there's lots of features on here that you know you are going to love and you are going to use that is the key thing so i'm going to have a little chat with them um, gary if that's okay don't forget email in if you've got any questions but gary if i'm spending and it, let's, let's face it that price on your screen is a considerable amount of anybody's money why would i want to be buying this particular machine tell me what i get with this machine right well obviously it is a considered purchase on there uh, people now with their different types of sewing and what they're doing they're not now just basic dressmaking basic quilting they're a lot 
lot more advanced sewing now. So they're coming up against a lot more difficult fabrics, very fine fabrics, shears, jerseys. I think obviously at the moment bag making is really big, so uh, webbings, upholstery, uh, fabrics a lot heavier. So people are, are finding their domestic machines are just not coping as well as they should be coping. Okay. So therefore, it's, it's, it's putting them off sewing or it restricts what sewing you might want to do. Ooh, we're, okay. Obviously, here at Juki, um, we're, we've been going now over 80 years. We've, we produce over 40% of the world's manufacturing machines as well. So, But when it comes to the domestic side, we do put industrial features into our machines. So the nice thing about, especially going when you're looking at our top of the range one, the Kiri, or the NX7 um, is what it's known as as well, the beautiful thing about this, well, I'm just going to put my foot down and start well, sewing, for what, instance. Gary, can I just explain? Because I haven't explained what we're getting in the bundle. Sorry, yes, I came over yep. to you a little bit sooner than I anticipated there, bless you. You're about to give us all the information. But I forgot to tell you guys what you're getting. So obviously you are getting um, your NX7. This is your machine here. And you've got the fabulous display plate there, which uh, we will see um, in a few moments. Obviously you're getting all the gadgets and gizmos, your pedals, and your knee lift. You're going to get your cover as well with this one. You're going to get a comprehensive guide. And this guide as well, let me just very quickly show you this before we go over to go this is all in English so it's not a case if you go find the right section all of this and it's a comprehensive guide there so you've got words and pictures which I love because I don't work, read words I look at pictures that's the way I find my way around and no I'm not on my own in that school and you can see here from the basics of threading up your machine right the way through to really maximizing and getting the most out of your machine it's covered within there but you're not going to be on your own of course Gary will tell us about all the support that you'll get with your machine but you're also getting this is standard this is part of your machine bundle now I'm going to be um, intrigued to learn more about why you get a second stitch plate in here because I think that's something that we need to know. You've got your knee lift at the front there so if you do want to work perhaps with your quilt and you keep your hands free you've got your knee lift in there but you've got a bonus set of feet to the side of it here. Now this is worth £200 in its own right so you're getting a lot of additional elements within here in these fabulous little cases as you can see here and again Gary I'm sure will tell us what all these fabulous little feet do. Don't they look lovely neat in there? Extra bobbins as you can see there as well because they're always good to have in your stash and of course it comes to you with an amazing price on your screen there as you can see um, £2,794.99 but You've got the ability to spread the cost over three payments as well. That is the key thing. Um, so if you're wanting to get hold of this, by all means, go for it now. Or if you want to listen to what Gary has to say, then we're going to hand over to Gary in the next few moments. But you will be entered into the prize draw. So it might be that you're rebuying your sewing machine, but what you'll actually find is it gets a little buddy alongside it, which is that wonderful overlocker. Everything that we're going to be chatting about on the, uh, are on the website, though. So do jump ahead and have a little look. So we've got some additional bits and pieces that are definitely worth adding into your basket especially since you've got those three flexi buys so any of these items you can spread over three payments as well and of course all useful get a little bits and pieces the, tro the trolley there brilliant idea pop that into your basket and then you've got some a way of transporting your machine around but don't forget it does come with that cover as well so um yeah loads and loads that you can um, obviously add into your basket at the same time but we're gonna have another little chat with gary now so gary as we mentioned then i stopped you then you were getting into your, into your steam i could see that you were all revved up and ready to go well it's great because the excitement is there obviously it's <laughs> nice to see the excitement absolutely brilliant and yes the package we're offering at the moment the machine itself as standard comes with all your utility feet for your buttonholes your overlocking patchwork quilting we've even got the the walking foot or dual feeding system we've actually got built into the machine as well there's no attachment on our machine so the nice thing about that i can literally just lock it into place and now you've got a built-in walking foot machine as well so again quilters patchwork then away I go and the nice thing about that I can then use it with multiple feet so the built-in dual system on a lot of machines which uh, where you have an attachment on you can't use it with your quarter inch foot your gauging feet now with the built-in walking foot I can then put it with my quarter inch feet my guiding feet my zip feet so having the dual feeding on all your dressmaking as well as your patchwork your quilting it makes life so much easier but as you can see now when I stop I've got an auto foot lift so it just raises, so for pivoting as well. I can alter the height of that, so I can stop, change, pivot. So what we've done at Juki, we're, we've taken away the gimmicky bits on here. So what we don't want is lots of stuff you may not use at home, which can make things more complicated. On the machine itself, we've used our industrial screen. So straight out of 
from our industrial manufacturer and we put it into our domestic screen on here and the nice thing about with this screen it allows me to play a lot more it's very intuitive where I can get straight on so whichever stitch I want I just touch it it will set the width for me it will set the level for me I can make it as easy as that to start sewing absolutely no problem but what I can also do as I'm sewing I can override everything so if I want to change the width as I'm sewing if I want to change the length as I'm sewing I've got complete control over all of my stitches on there and then again I stop needle stops in the work pivoting so overturning and it doesn't matter how much I've played with the stitches on there for width and length as soon as I change that stitch the machine will just set itself back again so you can have the confidence of having a play with knowing that you're not going to upset the machine at all so as soon as I change it back to normal straight stitch again and away I go again the machine itself produces over a thousand stitches a minute, it's a thousand and fifty, and even on full speed, full metal chassis, the machine doesn't vibrate, it's very smooth, so you've got over that thousand stitches there as well. The nice thing which a lot of people do ask me, as well as having the foot control, yes I can unplug the foot control, and I have got a start stop button with my speed control as well, so I can actually have that perfect smooth control, and literally a stitch at a time, and then I can gauge it exactly how I want without using a foot control so it will give me the best of both worlds that way and then so I've got that perfect smooth control there that's touch fabulous. reverse and that's nice as well because I'm guessing that I mean can you use the two together so if you've got the pedal in can you limit the speed that you go absolutely so now once I've got the foot control in if I have my tortoise and the hare symbol so if I put it down <laughs> to the tortoise and put my foot flat to the floor literally it will sew roughly is about 100 stitches a minute. Fabulous. Then my foot is still flat to the floor, but then I can graduate the speed by using the slider control to take it to a maximum speed I'm happy with. So now when I stop, I can then control the sp speed by the foot still slower, but then I can take it up then to my maximum speed. At the moment, I've set it on 500. So then I can go to 500 stitches a minute. So That's it does. good, because at 1,000 stitches a, a minute, that can be quite scary if it suddenly goes into oh, full Oh, very pace. much so. But again, <laughs> having that control, because even when I'm sort of looking at the machine, I'm not feeding the fabric through, I'm not helping it through. Obviously, I'm guiding it, but I'm letting the machine do all the work for me. And that's the important thing. As soon as you start having to help a machine and sort of pushing fabrics through, that's when you know the machine is either just really doesn't like it, but also you're not going to get good continuity of stitch is because you're controlling the fabric rather than the machine or the feed system controlling the fabric. So that's the good sign. The more you allow the machine to do, the better the quality, the even the stitch should be. And that should be the same whatever I'm sewing. So at the moment we've got some quilting on there. Then I should be able to just pick up any piece of fabric and I think sort of the people at home are going where they get frustrated on certain fabrics they can't use, especially going into very fine shears. So real slidey, real slippery crystal oh, ganza here. Fabric. It moves all over the place. Horrible fabric to sew with. So what we have got is our underbed trimmer as well, which we have got a button here which we can press. But what we have also got now is a dual foot control. So we've got our normal accelerator on one side, but then we have a button on the other side which we can press then we can change that into different features. So at the moment I can press it and if you look the machine's going in reverse. Oh wow! So I can have it as an auto tie on. But what I can now do on screen, I can play with this. So if I press the button here, I can actually control it. So I can have to say the foot lifts automatically when I finish. It cuts the threads automatically when I finish. I can have it even tying on and off which I can do in a zigzag so or on the spot. personal to what you want it's it to be. You tailor make and this is the idea of the industrial screen because we all sew differently, we all have different types of sewing. So at one point we might be doing just normal everyday dressmaking on the straight so our tie on and tie off we will probably want a zigzag tie on but when we go to patchwork and quilting we will want it in a straight stitch tie on so yeah. it gives us the best of both worlds so we can program the machine how we want it to sew uh, or your preference to sewing. And as we change our sewing, we can change the preferences as well. And of course, they're all time savers, those, aren't they? Well, again, as we say, it saves you time. It's not a gimmicky uh, function on there. It's something you do every time you sew. So now I'm just going to now tell the machine. So when I do put my foot down now, and then when we get to the end, say the foot lifts automatically, but then I press the button, 
on the foot control, it stopped, stitches forwards and backwards, cuts the threads, lift the foot up, so I just have to take that out. That is amazing. So it is as queasy, easy as queasy as that. It's as easy as that <laughs> on there. <laughs> Makes me queasy on it, it's so good. Quick and easy, that is. <laughs> and, so, and literally then from there, I'm going to pick up the crystal organza. So I'm that was some quilted fabric. You've got kind of your three layers of your quilt going through, and you go straight it. over to something that's incredibly light. Yeah, so multiple layers, obviously, it, it moves around again, uh, which we, we will know we're quilting, but obviously it does have density to it, it is thicker, so it does support it quite well. Okay. But then obviously going to something like a crystal organza, which is very sheer, very fine. So let's just fold a seam on there. So it's the same foot. Exactly the same foot, exactly the same settings. I'm not changing anything at all on there, and I'm just going to then sew. So because we've left the tie on, so it's automatically gone forwards free, backwards free, and then I'm just going to carry on my seam. Oh, you can see that tie on there, so it's kind of uh, securing your threads. Oh, look at that. So again, even on the vine shear fabrics, it's happy to sew at a speed. You haven't got to take it right down and fragile, and uh, sew really slowly. And when I get to the end, I just press the button on the foot control, Again, stitch forwards and back, ties it off, stops, cuts the threads, lifts the foot, brings the needle out. And again, no puckering, no pulling. Very it nice. just gives me a perfect seam, on, say, on the crystal organza on there. So this is what we try and pride ourselves on, because having 351 stitches, four alphabets, it's, it's got 15 styles of buttonholes, mm -hmm. we've got a lot there to play with. This is fun, um, but if it doesn't do the basics well, that's where we have the problems on there and this is where having sort of the decorative creative sewing this is probably about five percent of your sewing 95% yeah. generally for most people is straight stitch and having a good quality straight stitch or knowing whatever type of fabric I want to use it's going to sew so we've just gone from quilting crystal organza we're going to go straight on to upholstery vinyl cotton oh back vinyl is very tough yeah. really thick fabric so Obviously, with something like that, at the moment, bag making, oh handles, gosh, yeah. seams, where you're going over different layers, so a lot it, of people sort of find their machines... It's like the straps in place with a exactly bag. You can do probably it. six or seven different layers that well, you've got within there. That's right. You've got three, four layers of your of your actual fabric you're using, but then, obviously, then you've got another three or four, well, four layers, really, of your webbing that you're mm -hmm. using as well. So you've got a big bulk there. So what we can do, I'm just going to put down two layers just to sew a straightforward seam. So again, I'm not just changing any settings at all. Force me tie on, tie off, and then away we go on there. So straightforward, get to the end, press my button. Again, forwards, back, ties it off, cut, Perfection. lift the foot, needle out, and there we go. So again, that. straight from crystal organza onto vinyls on there. It gives you that perfect seam, very, very strong on there as well. Now I'm going to get into the nitty gritty of this because yeah. I'm a sewer. I'm a sewer and I, I, I'd like to think that I know my sewing machines. And then the, the first thing I do, and I know I'm not the only person, that when I'm looking at a sewing machine, I want to see how it stitches on the back as well. Oh, absolutely. So can we get up close and have a look at those stitches? Right, well, because, oh, this is the key thing with this. Because this is vinyl, and to be fair, the thicker the fabric, more the stitches do disappear a little bit so I'm gonna say the stitch quality if you can get up there is is perfect oh now if you can hold it nice and still our Alex who's directing he does love a challenge so if you hold it nice and still he's gonna come in now there you go you can see oh, that on tire there. Yep, that's to it. perfection that so tire, it's an sir. even stitch because obviously I've not pushed it for forced it through but the main thing is not just sort of the vinyl because it's obviously quite a solid fabric but if we show you the crystal organza Exactly the same. If you same. look at that, oh it's exactly goodness. the same. The stitch size hasn't changed at all, even though we've gone from a completely different type of fabric. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's no puckering on there at all. It's absolutely perfect. But the key thing, obviously, as, you, as we were sort of aware of and you know, is the seam. Yes. When you open that inside seam, because that's what you see. That's it. That's true, yes. With dressmaking, the, the seam's open, you're pressing your seams. And as you can look see, there is no puckering. It's perfectly flat. And there's no gapping, there the tension on that is exactly absolutely spot on. It. And it, it's, this is the sort of thing where people, sort of, on some of their machines, they put up with, and they're not always happy with it. Um, or they've got to fiddle and play around with the machine so much, they're, sort of, they're just wasting mm -hmm. time on there. Yeah. What you just what you want to do is knowing that first of all the quality of stitch is going to be there. Also, I can use whatever fabric I want. But also, I'm not going to be damaging the machine as well. Yeah, uh, like so that idea. What we can do then is 
with this, I'm going to then double Ooh, okay. the vinyl Oh, OK. You're up in the ante now. Oh, absolutely. So I've got then four layers. And they say it's a thick upholstery cotton backboard. And that's back a realistic wobble. scenario that you're looking at here now. Absolutely. This is, to be fair, even then with the four layers, that's still not that heavy mm -hmm. compared okay. to a lot of bag makers where they would do, where they would have then maybe an interlining inside there as well yeah. to make it even thicker. But with domestic machines, when people now are going up to do upholstery, they're doing bag making where they want a stronger stitch. The problem is a lot of machines will not take upholstery threads. In, uh, domestically, they're not designed to take real thick threads. So what we've done on the Juki is we've got our reinforced stitch on here. Okay. So on the front, which most machines will have, which then going on to 009, so again, if it's not happy with something, it will tell me what it's not happy with. So at the moment, it's asking me then to return the walking foot, the feed dog. So that's just the attachment at the back. I'm just going to pop oh, that so out. Oh, so it doesn't need that for it this stitch? Doesn't, no, it's for told this particular you that. You one, it's told me it. I don't need that at all on Clever. there. So, which is great. So again, it's a very intuitive machine just to get on. And if it's not happy with something, it won't just allow you to do it and make a mistake. It will just prompt you before it's going to allow you to do that. Okay. So now we've gone on to our reinforced stitch. And in, with most machines, they have a standard, what they call an elliptical feed system. So you're very limited on the amount of adjustments you can play with your stitch lengths, your stitch widths, and the controlling of the way it feeds the fabric through. We have an industrial style box feed system on here. So basically, it basically gives you a lot better travel. But instead of catching just the center of your fabric, it actually comes up and travels the full distance. So it's gripping the fabric a lot better. But the nice thing which allows that to do is elongate the stitches even more than what an elliptical feed. So going on to the reinforced straight stitch, if I just put this under and start sewing, with most machines, this is what it will do. Well, that's if it will cope with the fabrics to start off with. You kind of start off with like a 2.5 mil, don't and you? Exactly. You, 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 a lot of machines won't actually allow yeah. you to go bigger than that. That's so right. some of them may take you up to 3 mil. But obviously on this type of fabric, that's a very tight stitch. So what we can do on here is elongate the stitch length up. And I can, oh, go, it's just right, a dial. I can go right up to 5 millimeter. Ah. And notice what I'm doing. It's doing it in 0.2 of a millimeter each time. It's not jumping 0.5. And this is the idea. We haven't got push button controls actually on the screen. I've got the good old fashioned dials. Oh, a good old, I like a good old dial. Absolutely. Love, everybody loves a dial on there because the nice thing with the dials on the front, I've got a lot more control. But also, as I'm doing then creative sewing, freehand embroidery, applique, it's easier just to adjust the dials and grab the dials rather than fiddle with a screen where you could accidentally press a wrong button. So, having the controls on the front of the machine on a dial form, that is certainly a must have we wanted for our creative sewers. So I've just taken it up to four millimetre now. So is that the kind of stitch length you'd use maybe if you were doing jeans, turning up your jeans, exactly. things like that? Yeah, yeah, which is what I was going to get to that. Oh, that's oh, you oh, on there afterwards, which is <laughs> and that seam on there where it gives that real bold top stitch effect. But obviously for bag making, we want the strength. And this is where it will really give you the strength. Again, just let the machine do its work. I'll get to the ends, press the button, cut the threads. It will tie it off for me, stop, bring the needle out, lift the foot up. And I, if we can get a sort of a close on on that one on there. Oh, you got the hang of this now, Gary. This is it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so where we first started at the top, we've got very small stitching. So the 2.5. Oh, so that was the standard. That's the standard on 2.5, yeah. which again most machines will cope with to a certain degree, but obviously limit you on some fabrics. But obviously we want a longer stitch. We get more of a, a top stitch effect. It looks a lot nicer. Also, it's a lot, lot stronger as well. Fabulous. So, and then if we turn it over and on the back. That's the tail turn. So that's where you can get all your birds <laughs> nesting, isn't that it? That is just as neat on the back. But the great thing about that, the strength. It is very, very strong. The fabric will rip before the stitches. And that's kind of like a triple stitch, isn't it? Uh, and that it's is stitch a triple each stitch on times. there as I well. Now Which... you convinced me. I know you're going on to your den. Now you convinced me with regards to the quality of stitching. I'm okay with that. But what about when I'm working with things like quilts? If I want to make a quilt, yeah. One of my biggest bugbears is trying to squeeze it through the area that I've got on my machine. What can you tell me about this machine? How's it going to help me? So the nice thing then with the NX series is the long arm. So we now have. 300 millimeter, 12 inches, but it's also slightly higher as well. So for rolling quilts up, we can quite easily fit in the larger king size on there. We've got a oh, much wow. bigger space to work with. Obviously, what we also have done as well, if you look at the shape of it, we've made it very square here. So some machines are rounded off on there, so it's less platform. Yes, for the rolling, it's, it's okay. But when you're using flatter piece of fabrics, obviously you need 
right up to the bulk of the machine, you want it to be as flat as possible, so for controlling your fabric, so it's not suddenly folding up, which then will not feed it in a straight line. So, even and with also something it like, supports it from the left of the needle as well, because of the table. And exactly, yeah. yeah. So we do have the extension there as well. The great thing about that, obviously we can then just take that off, so we do, then we have our sleeve arm, and even then with the sleeve arm, we've still got the double base, so it doesn't move at all, it's very Perfect. solid. Full metal chassis. One thing we do say, people, a lot of people sort of say, is it a portable machine? Well, again, it's, you can carry it around, it does have a big double handle built into it, but it is a solid machine. It's yeah. a the full metal chassis, it's obviously a long arm as well, so it's not the sort of thing you want to carry around too far. See, I, I <laughs> see this as being um, a nice machine. Perhaps if you're upgrading, maybe you have got a smaller machine and you, you're finding that um, it's not having all the capabilities. As Gary's told you, there are some of those things that are, are genuine things that many of us will have experienced. And you might have a machine, maybe you inherited a machine, or you've had it several years and you're kind of outgrowing it. Now, it's not a case of that you will be upgrading and saying goodbye to that machine because I know how attached we get to them that you'll almost have a buddy machine alongside it so as Gary says there when you need the tra transport then potentially you can take your buddy machine with you and obviously leave your dukey at home well exactly it you sort of you have when you usually go out to classes I maybe go to some friends the sew sewing sheds now are very big where you obviously not so much at the moment of meeting up but uh, hopefully we'll get back there very soon obviously you don't generally do quite as much sewing uh, it's more sort of that chat and sew sort of thing so having a smaller machine is not so bad but obviously when you are at home and you're then coping with larger quilts heavier weights and you're doing a lot more sort of straightforward sewing rather than sort of the the, the um stitch and chat sewing well uh, i know people that've got like six machines oh absolutely yeah <laughs> you've got to have your collection out there they're, for, they're like friends <laughs> and different <laughs> machines they're saying oh i've got this machine to do specifically for this or i've got that machine to do sort of other jobs but when it comes to it a machine which is then going to go from light to soft furnishings then going through quilting patchwork just by touching the screen and without having to fiddle without having to play that is what people are really appreciating the dukey quality love that yeah. um, and we were talking about denim so you've got your piece of denim there so just uh, on sort of going through then again where people do struggle so we've got a nine ounce denim so again a proper jeans denim, not a lightweight chambray denim or something like that so what we can do is down the side of the jeans, obviously, you usually have your seam. So I'm just going to fold it, and that's three layers of denim. So that's not anything too much at all, really. So again, with most machines, you should just be able to sew that. So we're tying it on and off, and then reinforce stitch, so we will give that jeans effect seam. And that's a really authentic look. I mean, that's exactly what you would find on the side of your jeans, and of course your jeans have probably been created on an industrial machine. And that's exactly it. They will they have a specialist machine just to do this seam on there. And then what we can do, I won't sew all the way down the length on there, so we get to the end, I will just press the, the scissors on there to cut that. So then, obviously having your seam, you've got three layers of denim, mm -hmm. so it's very solid, nice, uh, oh, excuse my little bit of wobbly sewing on that one, <laughs> um, but again, uh, a really nice professional look. But what we want to do now is put a hem on a pair of jeans, and then with a lot of time, obviously, when you see a hem, you've then just got a single fold which then hems up. Yes. That is not a jeans hem. No. A jeans hem is a double fold. It is, and there's a lot of fabric Absolutely. in that, that you, kind of bumpy bit in the middle. You have got, I don't know how well that's going to show, but anybody who's folded denim over three times realises you've gone from them three layers straight up to nine layers of denim. Mm -hmm. And again, it is a very tough denim on there. And this is when you have that, what I call, hold your breath moment, when it's like, is it going to work or isn't it going to work? Exactly. Is, is it, you, sort of, you sort of kind of tension up as it's going to the bump <laughs> yeah. on there. So what I'm going to do, with this particular one, again, it's straightforward hem, so you don't need the side seam strength. So I've put it on just onto normal straight stitch. Again, I can elongate the stitch length up there, so I'm going to go up to three millimetre. So... With the machine, I'm just going to start sewing. As you've noticed, I'm actually just going to hold the fabric down. I'm not going to push it forwards. I'm not going to help it under at all and let the machine, it will oh, just ride wow. over. The machine itself, as you could hear, it's not banging, it's not struggling. I'm not forcing it mm -hmm. under. I'm letting the machine do the work for me. You know what I'm going to want to see, Gary? Yeah. I want to see those stitches. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> it. And this is what I hope as well, because again, as you know, it's, it's that sign of quality. So, 
Now we've cut it off, so our jeans hem, and we can get a close up. So that's the bit that you'd see. So, so this is your jeans hem on the outside there. So again, that. it's giving you the thickness there as it's just sewn over. But if we look at the back, not wow. a single loop of stitch, not a missed stitch, even when you've gone over either side of the lump. So you've gone from three, three layers one side, nine layers, and it will literally just go from one to the other. You can see I did not force it through, I did not push it through. I just amazing. let the machine do the work for me. Again, which a sewing machine should do for you. You That's shouldn't it. have to struggle. You shouldn't have to force fabrics through because, again, as I said before, as soon as you start forcing something through your machine, really the machine doesn't want to do it. And that's when you end up your machine bangs and makes weird noises or misses stitches. You know you're not doing the machine good. So, now, Gary, can I ask a question as yes, well? Because absolutely. while you were doing that demonstration there, I was having a little look at what I'm going to get in my box because yep. this is the thing, your accessories. Now, we've got an additional sti stitch plate in here. Yes. And we've got all these like little bits in here what are these all for I don't, I don't understand what, right, again, what this is this for is it. everything we've done so far is just leaving the machine as standard we've not played around at all but let's uh, have some play we can play with lots so we have a lot of machines now they are going on to straight stitch to turn your machine from a zigzag machine. And that's kind machine. of what you'd get on an industrial machine, wouldn't you? Well, the industrial machine tends to, or you can, just get a straight stitch machine. That's all it does. That's exactly it. When you, when you look at the industrial side, as you're saying, you will get a straight stitch machine. You want zigzag, you will get a zigzag machine. You, would, you, you Generally on the industrial side, you will not get a machine which will convert from one to the other. Don't get me wrong, it will do straight stitch and zigzag, but it's not set up for straight stitch and set up for zigzag. They are two separate machines. And with a lot of domestic machines, we now can change the needle plate to a straight stitch needle plate. So it will give us that straight stitch performance on there. And then the idea why you would do that is if I just take now the needle plate off. This is my standard zigzag needle plate. Okay, and this is the one that many of us will have perhaps on our machines already with almost like that little slot mm, in there. It. I don't know if we can see that on there quite easily. Oh, we, we all get there, don't we you worry. Alex is on a mission. So here we have got then a seven millimeter zigzag slot. Okay. So on that, obviously that allows for our width, so for all of our patterning, our overlocking, our buttonholes, our zigzag there. But obviously the bigger the gap, then more chance of it pulling fabric down into puckering, especially on real fine shears, chiffons and things like that. And if you're doing a quarter inch for, um, stitch as and well, it can draw those layers exactly through. Exactly when you're doing the edge of the fabric, like you've just said, that is one way which is a real pain for some people, is when they're doing the quarter inch on the edge, where you're only using then half your feed, is because you, at the moment, you have still got then a multi-point feed slot on there. And again, that is for zigzag and patterning. So really what we want is to turn that into a straight stitch. So as you can see, our straight stitch needle plate now has got a round hole rather okay, than yeah. the slot. Yeah. So therefore, it is a lot less chance. Gary, could I ask you to, I know this is me being a bit finicky, but yeah. when I look at this, and I, I, I can't see the difference. Could you rotate one of them so they're both facing in the same direction? Because oh, you know sorry. where you've got your bobby bit. Because <laughs> then it's easy to see. And I'm looking at it on screen there. Sorry, they were uh, There you right. go, because you can see the slot That's on the one better. and then the, like, the little hole on the other. So in my right hand, uh, we have then got my uh, the multi zigzag needle plate for all your utility stitching, patterning, say buttonholes. Then in my left hand we've got the straight stitch. So the right hand has got a seven slot for the feed system. Then the left hand has got three slot. So if you look at all industrial machines, they were on a straight stitch machine. They will have a very narrow feed system because it doesn't need to be wide. You don't want it gripping too much, which obviously can mark your fabric. It can damage your fabric, but also it can force the fabric off to one side so it doesn't feed as straight. So by changing the needle plate, you don't on a lot of machines. You don't change the feed systems. So therefore, you're not really turning it into a straight stitch machine. But what we can do is we can look down here. The feet just clip on and off, so I'm going to take my zigzag foot off, and then what I can do is actually take the feed system off as well. You've taken so the feed dogs I've out? I've taken the feed dogs out, so I don't know if we can now see the difference in the feed dogs. Oh so wow, it's we've much got more open space, feed dog, yeah. Again for the patterning, and then we've got a straight stitch feed dog, which then allows us with three rows of teeth in instead of seven rows of teeth, so it's a lot finer. So. The machine itself, a lot of people sort of, well, can, can I get it wrong? Is it, uh, what happens if I fit it wrong? Well, again, the machine on front, it will tell me. It gives Clever. me step-by-step -step instructions. It will let me know if I've not done something right. But on the other hand of it, that will just, no, no screwdrivers or anything like that. That will just clip into place. I'm going to take the straight stitch plate. 
and again that will just clip into place as well. Now, will the machine recognise that that is just the single hole plate? And then that's exactly where this is. So as soon as I've now located the plate and feed, it's come up, detected straight to the folk plate, um, so it knows exactly what it's doing. So if I just, I'm okaying that because I've read You've instructions it, on yeah, there. Yeah. And now on the machine, it will only highlight the stitches I can use. That's brilliant because you're not going to break your needle then. You're not going to break your, or even worse, knocking your machine out of timing, causing yes. damage and things like that. Because as soon as needle obviously strikes metal, it can cause problems on there. So you really need to eliminate as best as possible. So, yep, the machine will know exactly what you're doing and it won't allow you to do other stitches. So it's a safety feature on there, definitely. I love that idea. And that's what you're paying for. That's the key thing. Those are all the fundamentals that you will experience. And it's one of those situations that when you're actually working with a sewing machine and having all those features, if somebody was to come along and take it away from you and give you your basic machine, which you might already own, then it's suddenly a case of, well, actually, no, I, I want to be able to use that single um, that needle um, stitch plate. I want to be able to regulate um, my, uh, my speed with the little dial and my foot pedal. I want to be able to personalise it so as when I get my machine out, I can just get straight into the sewing, which, let's face it, that's a bit that we enjoy. We don't want to be playing around with settings, and that is the key thing. And I'm guessing that if you've got settings that you want to set up with your favourite stitches or your favourite widths or or however you want to work with that. I'm guessing you can keep those stored on your machine so you could just simply come back and get those when you need to, Gary. Absolutely. Again, this is another thing we've, we've done with our, the industrial screen. Even though it will preset everything for you, the width, the length, when you choose your stitch, I can completely override and then I can memorise those stitches as well. So I can go into the screen. You've got 10 memories on here. So if there's specifics that you like, so every time you go onto straight stitch, if it defaults it to 2.4 millimetre or 2.5 millimetre, you might be happy with three millimetre. So tell the machine, set the machine. Love so that. when you when you switch the machine on, it's how you want it to be. But not only that, is obviously we all do it. We all run out of time, so we have to go away and come back later to the sewing. And then as soon as you switch the machine off, you'll go back on right, what settings did I have? Where's the piece of paper I wrote the settings down on? This one you don't have to. You gain the industrial screen set up, it will remember, it will it will allow you just to switch the machine on and go straight back to the settings you, you originally had Love So that. on there. So again, nice that easy. industrial feature on, which you will use every time you sew it. So it's not gimmicky features on there. And what about support? I mean, if I get stuck, and also, the key thing as well, warranty, what do I get with this? Right, who is Juki? How big is Juki? Who <laughs> <laughs> you say, we're, we're, we're over 80 years old. We supply over 40% of the world's manufacturing machine. I've actually, in the UK now, I've been with the sewing industry for coming up for 35 years now. You don't look old enough, Gary. Thank you very much. Oh, that's what I like to say. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and the nice thing with that, I started off, well, I am an engineer. Uh, I started off as an engineer purely just uh, on the, the old black hand crank machines, which I learned to take apart to fix. And to be fair, that's where my love of engineering became. And obviously, over the years, as you see machines get developed and new machines come out, the qualities have changed a lot, and this is the nice thing. We're coming back to the Juki quality, the metal chassis, the heavy feed systems, DC-powered motors, they're built to sew. There's certain things, when we help design and put functions into this machine, there's certain features we did not want, which other companies will do, um, but we won't on here, because if it takes it away from quality of sewing, What's the use of having it in a sewing machine? So this is where we're concentrated on, like, you changing the feed, the needle plate. It's not just changing the needle plate, it's changing the feed and needle plate. So as we sort of mentioned before, like the quarter inch foot with uh, the guiding, with a lot of machines, you're still working on a needle plate, which has then got a wide hold, a wide feed, so it can pull the fabric down into the machine. Obviously, working with a straight stitch needle plate, and also then with the special foot, and having the built-in dual feeding system, as we mentioned before, I can actually now use that with my quarter-inch foot. So, obviously, there's no other machine where you've got the attachments that you have to then fit as a walking foot. You, allow, you can do that. So, the great thing there, I can then just clamp that on. And we're all set up there, for And then I can just pull the lever down, and there's my walking foot then engaged nice and easy. Fabulous. And as you're saying about the extra support and backup, it's little things like this. Again, we have helplines, we have workshops, we have our own engineers, we do have, we don't just have one 
um, set up. We do have several workshops around the country, uh, so we look after you for backup service. Obviously, the instruction manual is not a download. One thing we specifically wanted was a proper instruction book. And I'll so, show you through that in a few moments. Now, Gary, it. can you believe we've only got about 15 minutes oh, left on the hour? I, so I know you <laughs> wanted to show us the overlocker. So if I do a quick, quick recap, can you get yourself organised? Oh, the overlocker, yeah, absolutely. Perfect. We'll be yeah. back with you in just a few moments. Marvelous. Now, this, as you heard from Gary, has got all those features that are important to us as sewers as well. So that is the key thing. So if you are ready to place your order for yours, then the details are there on your screen. Of course, that will get you entered into our prize draw because, of course, we are running our fabulous event, as you can see there on the screen. It's our biggest prize draw ever here at Tachanda. We've got some amazing prizes in there, including um, a Dukey overlocker as well. That's worth nearly um, £700. So, uh, oh, no, that's the whole bundle, should I say. The uh, machine itself is just shy of £600. And then, of course, the whole prize bundle at the moment, I say at the moment, because we're going to be adding to it is seven hundred and one pounds and ninety seven pence. Woo! That is fabulous. And you just need to place an order for anything during this hour to be the entrant for this hour. And there'll be um, an entrant for every single hour as we go through. So, of course, Gary has been telling us about this machine. I've learned a lot from Gary, and I hope you guys have as well. And it's one of those machines that is going to be something that perhaps you're upgrading to. Maybe your existing machine is got, it's got those little kind of baubles in there. You still love it dearly, and you wouldn't part with it for the world. But there's some of the little things on there that just find it that just don't work quite rightly. Well, this might be the time for you to upgrade and this is a fabulous machine as Gary showed us you've got all the things that you'd expect all those stitches the decorative stitches the buttonholes all those fancy features that you would use but for me those fancy features are great but it's down to the fundamentals of the machine and that is the key thing that Gary's been showing us that large sewing area so if you found that you've got a love for quilting and you're wanting to work on quilting projects you've got all that area you've got 12 inches 30 centimeters from that needle in the straight position going right the way across here to that upright bit and as Gary said that even the design where you've got the upright there it's not curved so you're not kind of sacrificing any of that area you have got enough room there for you to roll up and quilt a king size quilt on the opposite side you've got your extension table so when you are working and you're rotating and twisting things around you've got lots of support the fabric isn't pulling away from your needle meaning that you're not going to get that straight line talking of straight lines you've got interchangeable um, uh, stitch plates with this one as well how amazing is that and the machine knows it so it will automatically recognize the fact that you've changed your stitch plate that you've changed your feed dogs and you're actually going into straight stitch mode and that's the kind of mode that you would get on an industrial machine and as Gary showed you there talking about industrial machines things like jeans your leatherette fabric absolutely incredible stitch quality but then switching to lightweight organzas as well just in the blink of an eye and that's what you need the confidence in the machine that will allow you to do that so that is the key thing so Price details on your screen there. Very quickly, can I show you that instruction manual that Gary was referring to? Because I love this. And the reason I love it is it's almost highlighted as you go. So you can see here you've got some, obviously, your black and white text, but then you've got your red highlight, which is important when you start looking at certain elements because it will take you step by step and show you the red area is the one that it's talking about when it gets to each one of those different settings. So you can see here areas that are highlighted going through all the way through. And this is an English manual from beginning to end you've not going to find the section um, that, which is brilliant and then of course using all those additional stitches and all those features in there coming right the way through absolutely incredible you've got that to it's kind of thumb through at your leisure and um, you don't have to download it don't have to look online it is there ready for you to take advantage of and you've got three flexi buys on this one now I know in this hour you might not have made your final decision on this one which is okay it's a considered purchase of anybody's money but what you are getting in addition to the standard elements is you get those additional feet worth 200 pounds and of course Gary's going to be back at 10 o'clock so if you just need a little bit more convincing then do make sure you join us at 10 o'clock and Gary will go through that even more so but he's going to show us a little bit about some overlocking as well during this hour and this is something that you'll find on the website so yeah jump onto the website you'll find the overlocker on there it's an air overlocker and we'll be learning more about that as the hour progresses um, and uh, you can see you've got all your different features uh, that you might need to add into your basket things like your um, trolley bag 
they are all there. Your scissors, if you're wanting to add those in. That trolley bag's proven to be very popular. Not surprised, very stylish, I like that. Flexi buy on that one as well. So very, very um, quickly, um, we've got the overlocker that Gary's going to be showing us through as well. And this is a brilliant overlocker that's got an air threading system. And you might have heard this mentioned. Um, it's kind of the, the latest development with regards to overlockers, which make it so easy for you to thread it because that's one of the biggest bugbears with an overlocker. You've got potentially four strands of thread that you've got to find the right channel for them to go through. And if they cross over, then you're not going to get the right stitch out. And this is a brilliant bundle because not only have you got your air thread or overlocker, you have also got your thread to get started with it the moment it arrives. Saving £100 on this one. And again, you've got your flexi buy with this one. We are going to learn more about this because I'm not going to lie, I know nothing about it. So I'm going to ask Gary as we go. So details on your screen there, as you can see, if you want to get involved with yours. So Gary, enlighten me. Tell me why I need an air thread or overlocker. Right, well, everybody needs an overlocker. It, it's, it makes your life so much easier. A lot of people sort of, can I use an overlocker? Will I use an overlocker? The nice thing about overlockers, they will give you that professional finish a lot, lot quicker, and it will allow you to use a lot of those fabrics which you don't necessarily want to put for your sewing machine because it may stretch, it may wave the fabrics, i.e. lycras, where you need full elasticity within the stitch as well, especially if you're, if you're making sports equipment, the last thing you want to do is for the stitching to break and then just suddenly pop off. People have used an overlocker, they do find the threading can be a little bit painful, can put them off sewing on there. I even know people who have brought more than one overlocker so they can have it set up with different colours. But with our air threading overlocker, the MO2000 on here, it makes threading an absolute doddle. So you're quite happy to change from colour to colour um, for instead of just keeping to neutral colouring on there. But let me show you how quick and how easy that is on there. So. First of all, we're going to take the catch tray off the front, so we get a nice big catch tray on there. If the presser foot is up, and as soon as I open one of the, the, the front flaps, the machine will cut itself out automatically. It's a safety feature we put on here. Again, with Juki, we do think of safety very high up on there. There's a lot of moving parts. The last thing we want is fingers in there. And we all, we all know, we say, we've got our machine open. We're sitting there, next minute, the cat or dog has just come along, sat on the foot control or next to your feet, and your machine's taken off. So very important, you've got cutting blades as well. So very safe that we've got that in there. But let's quickly, or show you how quickly it is to thread our overlocker up. So first of all, the little lever here. So we just pop that into place, and then we just turn the hand wheel over towards me. We don't actually have to look. The machine itself will automatically lock itself in. And now what that's doing is putting threading tubes around the machine. So with a lot of overlockers, they have to be threaded in the correct order as well. So if the thread does break, sometimes you have to unthread the whole overlocker, re-thread it back up again, which we all know is very painful again sometimes. With this one, okay, it doesn't matter what order I thread it in, I can literally just take the first thread, follow the colour codes around, so it is colour coded as well. So at the moment, this one is the red one, so I take it through the guide at the back, down through the tensions, through the guide, through the guide, and then the air threading system, which is absolutely brilliant. And all I do is a little hole on the top. It's got the red guide here. The next one is the blue one, so but we are just doing the red. All I do is take it in. the tail of the fabric and that then just goes into the location hole on there. Okay. So once that goes in, all I do is press this button for a second. And there we go. That's your first loop of threaded. Oh, so, wow. <laughs> it is as quick and as easy as that. So then we take our second thread. So again, the colour coding. So a little guide at the back, the same. Through the tension, down behind the guide. And then we will just take our tail. Really just pop that into the second hole. Again, this is the blue one. Like so. Poke the tail in. And then again, we just press the button for a second or so. Done. <laughs> so oh my goodness. That is it. That's your loop as threaded. And again, as people know who've got overlockers at home, how painful, how long winded that can be as well. So people try and avoid using it because of how painful that can be. But obviously, so quick, so easy, no worries. So that's your two loopers. But obviously, we've got the two needles as well. So now from there, I'm going to take the threading device off. I'm going to then move the needles to the highest position. There is a little mark on the side of the hand wheel. I don't know how well that's going to be seen, but there's a little, there's a mark there to just let me know where yeah, the alignment is. Yeah, we can't is. see it from the angle that no, we're at. No, the but angle's don't worry. wrong on that. Um, but I'll take my next thread. We've come through. This time we go through. It's the green. 
So guide at the back, down, follow the green code around, and then we've got a guide above the needles, one guide, so little pigtail guide. So that's not dissimilar guide. to a sewing machine threading up this, the, this bit. The two needles are very similar to your sewing machine. You've got your take-up lever, you've got your guides, so you've got your tension, so real no difference there at all. And there, and then, but the nice thing here, I'm just going to put the presser foot down so it gives me a little bit more room so you, for you to see, is your needle threader. We've got left ah. and right, depending on the watch needle I'm doing. So I'm going to okay. flick it over to the right, just lock it down in position. It will hold itself. I can then take the thread, clip onto the needle threader, and then just pull the handle up and done. Oh, in the blink of an eye. It's quick and easy. Yeah. Wow. So that's your third thread done. So if I want to use it as a free thread, then I can do, then that's enough. But obviously I'm now going to set it up with a four thread. So I'm just going to take my last reel. Top bit is again exactly the same behind the guide. Down, through the tensions over the take-up lever. Then through the guide. And then this time we're on the left-hand needle. So I'm just going to flick the lever here over to your left. Again, put it and lock it into position. Take the thread, hook. And again, lever up and done. That's my whole overlock of threaded. Wow. <laughs> now, quick. I didn't set a timer before we got started with this, but I'd, I'd say probably, what, four minutes, something like that? That's five it, minutes. yeah. I and mean, you were chatting about that as well. And as I say, just sitting there at an angle, I haven't got to be straight on it with tweezers. I'll just let the machine do it for me. And the nice thing there, once that's done, I'm just going to close the flaps up. I'm going to turn it over a couple of times by hand just so I can lock the stitches into each other. Yeah. And then I'm going to get rid of all of those tails as close as possible. See, that's the other thing. Oh, like so. With an overlock, you might not necessarily want to cut your thread so close to the needle because you think, oh gosh, it's going to unravel. I'm going to have to, have to do it all again. And that's it. And it just pulls the threads. As we know, we've all, we've done it where we've been sewing, and suddenly, suddenly the thread's been pulled out of the iron needle. You look at it, and I've just sewn nothing there. So very frustrating. But again, the, with this one, I haven't got to worry about that at and all. And the thing that I noticed as well, when you're actually threading up the machine there, the left-hand side of the needle, that opened out as well. So you've got access to all areas, really. But that's this. right. For maintenance as well, the nice thing about that, I can literally open up the front, open up the side. Obviously, the overlock is cutting all the time, so you're going to get fluff build up constant. So by that, I can then just blow the fluff through, get an air canister or, um, say, get a cloth. You can just give it a good wipe out. So maintenance is very, very easy. Domestic flat-sided needles, they're not special needles at all. As a good instruction manual, a proper instruction I love manual. That. This actually comes with a DVD yeah. as well. So oh, you've wow. got an instructional DVD. And on front of the machine, we have an instruction manual as well. All so, built in. little LCD. It's not computerized, so it doesn't set things for you and play around. There's no memories. You can't lose anything. It's literally like an instruction manual in front of you. That tells where you I what can to turn dialogue. the page on here. So, therefore, it then give me the list of stitches. It will then give me suggestions of stitch length, stitch width, stitch bite. So, it's all there in front of you. I love it. And the nice thing with this, again, with the Duke equality, what we try... Now, Gary, I'll just warn you, we are down to the last couple of oh, minutes. I'm so, right. Um, okay. I'll let you pass your fabric through, but I know that we're going to be looking at this in much closer detail at 10 o'clock as well. So, cutting um, Gary's demo short, apologies for that. But, um, yeah, go yeah. for it. So, literally then, what an overlocker does, it will cut, seal and finish at the same time. So, anything past the point here, the right-hand side is going to cut off, and it is quick and as easy as that. And any garment you are wearing, you will find that there will be an overlocker stitch within there because that's cutting, that's neatening, and, that's and have a look at so that. So we'll cut, seal, and finish, and seam at the same time. Obviously, that, that is just a calico cotton, I've put it on there. So, with an overlocker, they do specialise themselves where, where you can cope within all different types of fabric, and that includes the real stretchy jersey fleeces. So, fleece. To cut a piece of that off, so we've gone from 100% sort of just cotton calico to a, a two-way stretch polyester fleece. I'm not going to touch anything at all. Again, well, I'm going to let you do this one, but we will need to cut it short after this one, unfortunately, because it, time has beaten us. It is, the way when I'm here, it's the time just seems to go so quick, and there's so much more I will sort of show. But nice, I've got another hour, so hopefully we can continue where I've left off and just let you know that's that. it on fleece. So Absolutely again, perfect. From one to the other, 
again, for no the duty quality changing. is what we want. No, no messing around, no changing, just does the job. I love it, Gary. Thank Excellent you so enough. much. Thank you very much. He thank knows you. his stuff, doesn't he, <laughs> that, Gary? So make sure you do come back and join Gary and Leone at 10 o'clock because he'll be able to answer any questions you might think of in between. So do make sure that you take advantage of that. So the overlocker, if you're wanting to get hold of yours, here you go. Don't forget, it's got that air threading system. Literally within four minutes and a jolly good chat at the same time, Gary did thread up that overlocker. So it'd probably take you that time to thread, well, if you're fortunate, one of those threads on a standard um, um, overlocker. So if you're wanting to get a hold of it, then please do. Got three flexi buys on this one again, just as you have with your machine that we were chatting about. And of course, you can add it into your basket quite simply with the details on your screen there. But as we said, with any of the machines in this side, they are considered purchases. So if you want to get hold of yours then and come back and join Gary at 10 o'clock, of course, he will be able to answer any questions that you might have. Gary, thank you so much. Thank you so much for taking us through that. Thank and th you. I know we've literally scratched the surface because you could literally have the whole of our event talking about sewing machines and overlockers and we still wouldn't have enough time. But of course, Gary knows his stuff. So make sure you come back at 10 o'clock. I will see you a little bit later on. I shall be sitting down and having a cup of tea while I'm watching the show at 10 o'clock. So I hope you'll be able to join us and I'll see you the other side of this. I won't see the other side of this because I haven't got this out, but I'll be watching it. Um, we've got the one day special coming up straight after the break. Then I will be back with Pink Pig and um, Sketchbooks. Looking forward to that hour. And then, of course, Gary will be back at 10 o'clock. We'll see you a little later. Hi, my name's Leona. I've been into crafting for many years now. Um, as a little girl, I'd craft my mum and dad, but then obviously it stuck with me um, that much that it became my, my career. Uh, I think for me, crafting is so fun because there's always something new to learn. There's always something new to play with, and um, it's such a rewarding hobby as well. That's why I absolutely love it and recommend it to so many people. I'm really thrilled to be part of the Hachanda family. Really excited about seeing how it's grown, seeing how it's developed so far, and all the brand new things that I know we've got coming up. I'm really passionate about getting back into demonstrating on TV as well, and actually sharing uh, techniques with you, products with you that I personally love. I hope you can tune into my shows here live at Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now, simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember, it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda.
Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. Uh, this is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. Good morning and welcome. It's lovely to have your company. I've got my presenter hat on. Yay! Emily texted me this morning to make sure I remembered I had my presenter hat on. I remembered. I forgot the roads were closed, but I remembered to be in work. Um, now, yeah, I forgot that bit. Um, now, it is lovely to have your company. I'm really excited about this. So the Summer Festival of Quilts. This is um, a wonderful Hachanda uh, festival that we're running, and this is so exciting. It is going to be the biggest prize ever. Every live hour, or more or less, um, of the sewing, yeah, not of, you know, our lovely juries walking in the building, it's the sewing ones, um, there will be a prize added to the the, the basically the bundle that you're going to win so far have a look at this we've got an overlocker boom from Dukey this is the one I probably was not meant to talk about last night when I was watching her <laughs> and it just popped out and then she thought I went oh um, an overlocker that is in the giveaway that is part of the prize you've then got a wonderful a whip round here look at this Boom! Um, a fantastic jelly roll. So you've got all those beautiful... That is gorgeous. I really like that. Some really nice colours in there. That's so autumnal, isn't it? Just beautiful. We've then got... Look at that! The, that is so pretty. And you've got loads and loads of fabric in there. Loads of little bundles to make that gorgeous quilt. Obviously, we have to add another one because this is... Bear with, I'm off. Ta da so you've also got, oh, these are beautiful. So these are our wonderful, um, oh, I couldn't, KF, I always get his KF, the KF bit wrong, um, KF facet. Now, I love these. Look at the brightness. I mean, he is renowned for colour and bright, gorgeous energy. Um, that is stunning. Okay, so one winner is going to be announced on the 4th of August. That's when it all winds up at 4 p.m., if you're purchasing, you're going to go in this prize draw. Um, so basically, keep watching the live hours. Obviously, how, get ahead on this one day special hour because we've got some beautiful products. We've already had sellouts. Um, if you're making a purchase, you are going to be going into that wonderful prize draw. The biggest prize draw um, we have ever done here at Achanda. Um, if you do want to be a part of it, be part of the Summer Festival of Quotes. We've got so many incredible shows um, within this wonderful event. So please make sure you do, um, you do keep uh, watching. Now, the price draw. So far, the total is £741.92. That is massive already. And that's only, we're like the second day in. That is it. It only started yesterday. Um, and that was actually the one day special, wasn't it? Yes. See, so it's only been like a few live hours. Um, please make sure you check your baskets out. Very excited about this hour as well, though. Um, it is your one day special. And I need to say a warm welcome and a very big good morning to our lovely Rebecca. Morning, Rebecca. Good morning. We've been having a lovely chat in the we green room. We have, we? Talk yes. about loads of things. Indeed. And sewing. Also, <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, Rebecca, it's so nice. Mm. Have we worked together before? We haven't Rebecca? actually. I don't think we have. No, we haven't. We've always been in the same studio yeah, yeah, and yeah. I've seen you, but we've never actually worked together. Oh, I'm really looking Hello. forward to it. Um, I mean, obviously, we've got some of your wonderful designs on the show today. Mm. Um, do you love that side of it? Do you love making patterns? Yeah, building that's patterns? what I mean. I've been sewing for forever forever yeah. and I my background is in magazines oh, really? but craft magazines so I've yeah. been technical editor and editor to various sewing cross stitch needle cross all sorts of sewing magazines wow. so my background is technical detail instructions how yes. to make things yeah so, so I've had so much feedback on oh I don't understand that and I do understand that so I love creating patterns that people can use amazing because I'm a sewer so yeah. I know what works yeah so they're really easy to follow well I know what I like and what I don't like yeah and what yeah. I do understand so. Yeah, that's perfect. Mm. perfect. And it's great being given. You know, they they gave me twenty five fat quarters and said nice. make things. Yeah, nice. <laughs> it's a, that's a job. <laughs> that's a job. That's Boom. a job. <laughs> Living the dream. Yeah, <laughs> it is. You know, it is the dream job. If you were a sewer, yeah, yeah. wouldn't yeah. be if you were a fisherman, would no, it? No, no. Rubbish. Well, you could make some lovely fishing bags. <laughs> that's very so. Now, our Rebecca is going to be obviously inspiring us throughout the hour, but we need to talk to her about the one day special. Now, half of the stock has already gone. I mean, this is a bargain. Basically. It is going to be um, not a pick and mix. What's the other word? Random. Uh, <laughs> contents will vary. I always get my words mixed up on that one. But have a look at some of these. Now, the colour palettes are beautiful. I mean, look at the purples. They're all fat quarters, so I am going to open one up for you. Because because I'm not a sewer, um, if you say fat quarter to me, it means absolutely nothing. But if I see the size of it, so <laughs> you are going to be getting 25 of these now the lovely thing is there's a lot you can do with fat quarters and it's a bargain i mean if you were by having to buy 25 pieces of fabric it'd cost you a fortune like if it were full length so here you're getting a wonderful varied collection at just 19 pounds and 88 pence so when you look at that I mean, uh, what's that? £30 saving, two payments of £90, 98 pence. So it's working out at £1.60 per, per fat quarter. Now, you've got all sorts. We've got Christmas. We've got some beautiful um, fun, actually. In fact, as you're looking through, look, you've got some really good fun um, materials. Aren't the patterns there fabulous? Look at the dinosaurs. How cute! So you've got a real mixture here. You've got florals, of course, with some lovely Dixie prints there, which is really, really beautiful. I love these as well. That's the 80s right there. <laughs> um, so you've got your, your 80s prints. You've got, um, like, your, your cooking ones. So, you know, when you look at something like that, obviously you're thinking um, aprons, you know, pinny stuff like that. There's such a huge collection. Have I got a favourite? I think my favourite's the foxes at the front. Mm. I really like the foxes. They're gorgeous, aren't they? I know. I'm going to make the bag in a minute for that oh, one, because I like yeah. that one too. Love a fox. Oh, they're just <laughs> really cute. That's my other favourite, the woodland animals. Oh, yeah. I think mm. this is such a good bargain. And I know you've made some patterns using the fat quarters, obviously, that we've got on the show. I think that's the thing, isn't it? You're getting so much fabric for your money. Well, you have, you know, and you think each fat quarter is 18 by 22 inches. So basically, it's a yard of fabric cut in yeah. half and then half again to get yeah. the four quarters and you know it's such a good value and it's just really nice to have that that collection in your stash yes. so that if you want something pretty to line a purse or a bag you've got it but also you know you can make whole projects with it quilts yeah. cushions bags yeah so don't think just because the the um smaller fabric that's the i think that's the joy of it isn't mm. it you're getting so much choice but yeah you can still do massive projects you can and because they the um bit, because yeah. the fat quarters come in little families of five as well yeah that you know that when you get your one pack of five and you get five of them that they'll all go together so yeah. whichever project you do they you don't have to choose colors of yes. patterns that blend yeah which really helps as well. well, yeah, if well, you're not very good at that, no. that work's been done and for you. And that's it. Sometimes it can be tricky, that bit. And I like it when it's like this as well, because it helps you see the colours that blend. You know, like that one piece of fabric. Mm. You know, look at all the different colours that are together, but they work. And I really think it's quite educational as well. It's beautiful, that. Yeah, well, that I think is it does help you. I mean, I, you know, I struggle with choosing colours. I'm thinking, oh, does that go? Does that go? So sometimes yeah. I just look at fabric collections and think, ah, oh, that's what works together yes. then. Yes, <laughs> it really does help. Um, aren't they cute?
good. So you've got a real mixture in here. Obviously, contents will vary. Um, really, really beautiful, but it is a bargain. It's working out. What did we work out out as our Emily? £1.60 per um, fat quarter. So absolute bargain two payments 19 pounds 98 pence seven six nine three five four now something that was really busy um yesterday was the wadding now you're actually getting two packs of this now they're crawling it crib wadding obviously just because it says that it mm. doesn't mean you can only use this <laughs> no to... it's a standard crib size and i'm going to show you what that is crib Ooh, is often, massive well it's often used for um throws lap quilts that kind of size I could go to sleep, I'm not going to lie. Bear with, bear with. This is when I knock all the fat quarters. I won't, I won't, Katie. <gasps> Be scared. Um, we're over half the stock has gone. Oh, I've lost me end. Bear with, bear with, gang. There it is, it's huge. You're getting two of these. So, with this, now I like that because um, it's not too stiff. It's a really nice it soft is. Well, it's a that's cotton, lovely. Um, it's a cotton polyester mix, so you've got the, the natural cotton, which gives it a lovely warmth and cool. Yeah. But it's blended with a little bit of polyester, which gives it a bit more strength. Right. But it's not like your sort of, your really bottom end polyester wadding. Yeah. If you're... If you're going to spend time on your sewing, whether it's yes. a quilt or a cushion or a bag, then spend some time on your wadding because yeah. it does make a difference. I didn't know. I mean, I was watching you and Miss P last night. I didn't realise that people use wadding in, in cushions. Yeah, well, the thing is, if I you've made a that. cushion, whether it's patchwork or whether it's just one piece, it always looks better with wadding in it. It, um, it gives it a bit of texture yeah. and a bit of sort of three-dimensionality. But yeah. also it irons out any little problems. So if your seams mm. don't quite match, once you've quilted it, you don't really notice uh, and see, it makes also your cushion that's much squishier yeah so if your cushion pad isn't really up to it then a bit what of wadding it, that's <laughs> such a good idea and you can get well we worked out i think you can get if you did a 20 inch cushion which is quite big you could get six from each piece wow wow that's amazing and also bags i always put wadding in my bags yeah. even if it's just like a little tote bag that you take to the supermarket yeah a bit of wadding between the main fabric and the lining just gives it a bit of padding protects what you've got in it and makes yes. it look quality yes suddenly yeah. you look like you've made something really posh excellent <laughs> just with a cheeky bit of wadding with a cheeky bit of wadding oh, like that <laughs> now you're getting two of those uh, for only 14.99 no wonder it's been really busy as that um saving five pounds there nine seven seven five six five I mean, you might be getting your wadding and going into the basket um, to um, obviously get that uh, that wonderful prize draw. Now, yay! I know I've suddenly grown. Paula's step. Um, now, patterns. We have got some lovely patterns. We have got more. Check the website out because I know um, I know Rebecca did 12 patterns, actually. But the ones we're featuring on today's show, these all use your fat quarters. And I know some of the patterns Rebecca um, rewrote, so they're perfect for your fat quarters. And I think that's a beauty thing, the beautiful thing about your fat quarters, again, because when you look at this, you've got all those different pieces of fabric but it hasn't cost you a fortune. You haven't had to buy huge pieces of fabric. That is gorgeous. That's absolutely gorgeous. What amazing fabric. So you've got the beautiful cushion. That's all. Oh, let me show you it back. I mean, obviously, look at that fabric. That's amazing. Sorry. We're not we're not selling the fabric, however. Oh yeah, yeah. We have got extended delivery as well, twelfth of August, so not too long to wait. Can you believe we're nearly in August? Um so you've got the gorgeous cushion. Now you're getting four patterns for twenty one ninety six. You've also got um the lovely bag, the stripy bag, and that's a really nice big bag, really um well really functional actually whether you're using it as your shopper that one's got loads of wool in it so it's a really handy bag is that and again those fat quarters gorgeous way of using those uh, we've also got the lovely little uh, purses. Now, um, you demonstrated these last night, didn't you, I did, Rebecca? yeah. yeah. So the, uh, in the instructions, it explains how... They're all made the same way, but it, there were three different sizes, and I've just put the measurements in so you can make a wash bag and a pouch and a zip purse. Yeah. And I like it because you were talking about doing the tabs. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. to get that nice, smooth finish so your zips it's, aren't disappearing into the seams. Yeah. They look more professional. I like that. Um, and again, you can do these with your fat quarters, but then we've got the tree skirt as well. This is another one you can do um, with fat quarters. And if I show you this, 
I mean, you will need eight fat quarters for this. I'm going to put it here so you can see the tree squirt. Squirt. <laughs> <laughs> tree. tree squirt. <laughs> tree skirt. <laughs> if your tree does that, naughty tree. Um, so, <laughs> uh, um, so that's our tree skirt. <laughs> Got it. Um, and you were saying, Rebecca, if you don't cut the middle out, that makes a yeah, really well, nice The way that covering. I've designed it is you make, put it all together and then you quilt it. And I actually used the wadding that we're selling in that. Yeah. You need one piece for it. And then when you've finished it, you then cut the hole and the slip. But if you don't do that, it makes a brilliant table topper. Fantastic. So you could use this pattern with non-Christmassy fabrics. Yeah. If you just wanted, you know, say you were having people round for summer or Easter or a yes. special birthday or an occasion. Or you could put it on a round table or yeah. in the centre of a big table. Yeah, that'd look really pretty. The um, William Morris fabrics uh -huh. would that look you're amazing. covering up. Yeah. <laughs> it would yeah. look amazing in that, wouldn't it? Yeah, it, it would look beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, now, if you do want the patterns, £21.96 is your price. You get in all of them, all four patterns. Please check the website because we have got the other webs um, the other ones on the website. They're just there at the bottom of the screen for you. So if you do want these four, however, 359443. Now, something that was ridiculously busy last night, the beautiful William Morris. I'll show you the first option. This is your first option. These are stunning. I mean, the prints are timeless. The quality is absolutely sensational. If I open those up, you can see the size that you're getting in each one. They're just beautiful, aren't they? They've, mm. They're just so elegant. Absolutely sensational. Now, 40% of option one has gone. Let me just show you the designs. I mean, look at this. It is sensational. You've got that beautiful, beautiful natural print. I mean, look at that. Uh, uh, William Morris fabrics are just exquisite, aren't they? Every single one. I mean, and next to the black, don't they look good next to the black? Every single print is sensational. Now, when I was listening to our Miss P last night, um, all William Morris uh, fabrics do have to be signed off by the v &A, which is quite fantastic. Aren't they beautiful? And the quality. I mean, because you're getting a lot of fabric there, you might be making bags, you might be making cushions. Um, you might be making a beautiful patchwork skirt out of that, actually. And they all blend together beautifully. Now, that's option number one, if you'd like to go for that one. Option number two is the richer, darker colours. And we are approaching limited stock. I mean, look at these. Look at that fabric. I'm going to open this one up for you. Oh, man, these are so beautiful. Look at that fabric. Isn't that just exquisite? They've just got that touch of luxury, haven't they, William Morris? Do you know, William Morris, it's one of those that even if you don't know it's a William Morris, you instantly recognise it. You know, it's one of those. And look at that again. So that beautiful, you've got kind of a, a blue-grey going through there. Then you've got that really rich, dark navy blue. That is exquisite with the acorns and all the florals. Really beautiful. And of course, when you look at the blend oh look at that that is stunning the fruits there stunning 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 and then the last one is that beautiful sort of um almost like a duck egg blue but not quite yeah that is stunning okay that is absolutely flying if you do want to get hold of that one um you need to check your baskets out. We've already had a sell out on one of the big William Morris, uh, but if you do want um, the, the collections, that is set to £24.95. Absolutely gorgeous. 169506. Okay. These are sensational. We've already had a one sell out. Now, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull my what's it over. Bear with. So I can reach. Because Miss P did this last night. She actually unfolded it. Look at the size of this fabric. You have got two metres by 108, which effectively... So is that that's nearly three metres, isn't it? We're looking into that. Yeah. <laughs> it's... It means, I mean, look at this. So, Rebecca, when I were listening to you last night, you were saying about 
this is basically look at the size of this it's basically used for backing a quilt but it I is mean, i mean it's the it right could be anything it's, it's, it makes it easier wow. to back quilts because it's in one piece you haven't got to join it so it's that makes massive. it massive well it is it's, it's enormous but also it's you could use it for bedding it's big enough for yeah a double bed size <gasps> bedding imagine that on your bed it, because oh my it's gosh you know two meters by three meters yeah yeah but brilliant for patchwork too. You know, if you bought a yeah. couple of those, you could make loads of things. But also, um, I use it for dressmaking. Yeah, I was going to say that would make a stunning dress. Really would, wouldn't a it? Stunning skirt or more. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you could make so much with it. Yeah, it's just a really lovely thing because quite often people put sheets or plain fabrics on the back of quilts. Yeah. But how nice if you spent the time. Yeah. Yeah, and when you fold it, you know, when you've made your bed and you just do that little yeah. fold or over. Yeah, or even just like oh. a, a small patchwork bed runner to put something like yes. that on and not having to join it makes it so much easier. Yeah. And it looks professional. It does, it's, and it's a good quality. So I was just going to say it feels beautiful. So that it has so many uses, but, you know, do think about it for things yeah. like lightweight curtains or dressmaking. Yeah, well, if you do your curtains, if you line them, because that would look amazing It would, I mean, it's not your heavyweight curtain weight yeah. but for some lightweight lined and interlined curtains i mean it's beautiful it's stunning that is stunning or um, 300 these, cushions yeah Perhaps yeah not loads of cushions um now you've got this is amazing so you've got your choices now your first one i mean look at that so this is your verdant oh, they're <laughs> fabulous honestly when you get these home it's one of those it just feels luxurious straight away the second one is your mole and then the third one is your autumn. I'm not quite sure which is my favourite. It's all of them. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> um, you save you saving six pounds, forty nine pounds and ninety five pounds. You have got your flexi. Make the most out of your flexes. I'd be um ooh now you see you could get so you could do like a patchwork um you could do a lovely patchwork cushion or something with that or actually because that one matches perfectly like you could use this as a bigger quilt and then put different pieces in with the other william morris i'll shut up now uh, get on the website <laughs> chanda.com um obviously everything is on there we've got a one day special but we've got so much more if you're buying from this hour you will be entered into that prize draw so please please um have a little shop there's loads of goodies look look at that there's loads that i haven't even seen we've got books we've got tools there's all sorts we've got our seven day savers as well so you've got some lovely bargains um check all it check it all out Obviously, all available from hachanda.com or 01733602000. Okay, enough of me. It is our lovely <laughs> Rebecca. Rebecca, what are you going to be uh, demonstrating well, for us in this I'm hour? I'm going to show you how to make the strippy bag. Now, I've already made it in one of the fat quarter fabrics, which is the blue print one, which um, they only had over there. But I'm going to show you as well, because it's such a large bag, you could use it, you know, to take shopping or for uh, an overnight stay. But the reason I designed it this way is that you can use five different fabrics in it. So it's really good for one of these fat quarter bundles. But it's also really good for children, maybe a baby changing bag or something. So I've used one of the um, fat quarter bundles, one of the five packs. In fact, I've used the foxes, the one that Leonie said that she liked earlier. No, my favorite. To make it. Because I think this is perfect for um, a bag to, for, for children. So the instructions... For children or for Leon. For children or for Leon. <laughs> or for people who love foxes and hedgehogs and owls, because yes. that's what's in here. So in the instructions, there's everything you need that will tell you how to do it. So I'm just going to run through to start with. So it's called the strippy bag, because the front and the back is made from strips. And I know it, it, people keep calling it a stripy bag. Maybe I should have called it that, but the, <laughs> <laughs> maybe that I would have been easy. Stripy, Everyone says stripy, though. Yeah. I should have just called it that. So <laughs> what you do to start with is you've got to choose which of your fa fabrics you're going to use where. Because you've got fabrics that are for the top and the bottom of the bag. You've got fabrics that go across the front, and then you've got fabric for the handle. So decide that first, because obviously you'll get a fat quart of each, so it doesn't matter. Um, I decided to put um, one of... There's this really lovely sort of minty green. I decided I to put that. that across the top. Use the animals and the peach for the centre because they're slightly smaller prints. And then there was a, a really nice um, darker brown print that I chose then for the handle. So just have a little think and play around with it first. Fold them up. That's what I often do is I take a piece of fabric and I fold them and lay them next to each other to decide what works. So that's how I did it. So then you cut all of the stripes, strips. 
strips. <laughs> Even I've seen stripes now. Oh, we'll get all of the strips. We've convinced you, haven't we? And um, to just change it up a bit, I could have done them all the same width, but I've got narrow ones and wide ones, and you alternate the narrow ones with the wide ones, and you alternate the colours. So to start with, you lay out them. So you cut them all out, and then lay them out in the order you want. I laid them out so that they weren't they were alternate, narrow, wide, narrow, wide, narrow, and then you join them together. So I'll just show you. Lay them all out first. Here, the other half I've already joined to just speed things up a bit. So that's the front of your bag. And then just keep them flat on the surface so you don't get them mixed up or number them. And then all you have to do is pin them together at the top and the bottom. They're only um, short st strips, so they're quite simple and quick to sew. And then um, I'm using a quarter of an inch seam allowance for this so just make sure that you've got your you run the edge of your fabric along the quarter of an inch marking that's on your sewing machine or if you haven't got a quarter of an inch like I haven't because I've got a metric sewing machine um, you can mark it with a piece of masking tape or I know where the quarter of an inch mark is on here. <laughs> um, I bet you do after a few years, do I? I do, <laughs> actually, yeah. I know where this one is. I'm not sure why I've got a metric plate, but there we go. I do a lot of metric as well as imperial sewing, strangely. It works. Um, but if, you, if you're not used to sewing, you're going to be sewing a lot of straight seams in here, so it's really good practice. But if you're not used to sewing um, straight seams, then you can just draw them on. So take a ruler and I'll do it on the next one instead place them right sides together and on one side of it mark I'm going to use this is a heat erasable pen but you could use a pencil because you know this is a this is marking on the wrong side just use something that's not going to show through I'm not hiding it's just the light of the cameras looks like I'm hiding but because <laughs> <laughs> I've got a, a shiny ruler you can't you can't see so um, for your first few strips if this is this might be something that puts you off Starting sewing, oh, I can't sew in a straight line. Well, you can, because I can. So if I can, then we all Anybody can. Anybody can. And the only thing is, you know, it's not a massive skill. It is merely practice. So, honestly, this the best way to learn how to use, use your sewing machine, if you haven't got it out of the cupboard for a while, is to use it. Oh, yeah. And that's it. I mean, it's funny, <laughs> isn't it? You're not going to learn how to use it if it's still in its box. I know, and everyone goes, oh, I haven't, yeah. oh, I haven't got that out for ages. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, my husband bought me one, but oh, well, just get it out and use yeah. it. And the great thing about buying all these fat quarters, you've got lots of fabric. You've got fabric yeah. you can play with, fat little bits of fabric you yeah. can have a go with. You know, if you make a mistake on making a small zip purse from an 18-inch square fabric, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. So, yeah. look here, I've drawn it on. So all you have to do is, so if you haven't done much sewing before, well, reverse at the start it, and finish because it um, stops the seam coming undone. And then just take it slow. You know, you can go really slowly. Yeah. Most machines have a speed setting, which is slow or fast. But, you know, take <laughs> it really slowly. Or if your machine doesn't have a speed setting, I'm not taking it really slowly now, um, just lightly press the pedal, not really, really hard. And then as you, your confidence grows, then you can do it, but on your sew machine plate there are lines that you yeah. can that you follow. But drawing a line helps to start with. So that's two. When you've done these, I'll just show you over here. Can you see over here? Do you know what? I'm going to move my eye. Oh, thank you. Rebecca. There we go. Oh, thank you. Um, we can see you now. Look at the glory of a heat erasable pen. Look at that, your iron, it's gone. Love, that's my uh, one of my favourite things. The heat erasable pen. If you buy pen. nothing else yeah. one day, buy a heat erasable pen. They are a little bit like magic, aren't I they? I just love them. Uh, they mess with your head because it's like, how does that even happen? I know, it's and I tell fabulous. you what's weird is if you put it in the freezer, it comes back. No. Should really? you ever want to put your fabric in the freezer? <laughs> yes. How funny is so that? So I think they must have. that out and why? Somebody told me and then I tried it. Uh. <laughs> but it must be. So if you live in, like, Norway or northern Canada, they must be rubbish. <laughs> because, you know, they all... Can you imagine if you've written something on fabric? That'd be hilarious. And you go out shopping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Oh, my yeah. God, it's all coming back. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how long that happens for, but I did try it to see. Uh, to that's see. brilliant. Because I know some people have said... This is how I found out. Some people were flying over to the US for a quilting conference. Yeah. Uh. And in the they had all their quilts with them in the hold in the aeroplane because it was so cold. When they got out, all the pen marks were there. Wow! 
How funny. Fascinating heat erasable pen facts. Amazing. We like them. <laughs> pen facts here on a chander. <laughs> so press the seams open, makes them stay nice and flat. And then all you have to do is sew the others. Try when you cut out your fabrics. Some of them are directional, like these foxes. So make sure your foxes are all facing the same way. Oh, yeah. But, Upside down foxes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, the majority of fabric, quilting fabric, is multi directional, which does make life easier. But sometimes, particularly when you're talking foxes, you need a direction. <laughs> um, although I have to say, the hedgehogs and the owls that are on here are all over the place. So that's <laughs> quite nice. All over the place, owls. All over the place, multi-directional. I like this one because this does seem your your stra strippy bag. Strippy bag. Strippy um, bag. I know why I don't say it. It is because I think, I don't know what I think, but it's, it's not stripes of fabric. No, it isn't. I know, but every, I, th I think it's just the way the words fit, but everyone's called it a strippy bag. Yeah. I should have called it just the strip bag. Do you know? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. No, that would have sounded all sorts of wrong, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, that, that's it. I think that's why it's messing with me head, yeah. you see. <laughs> It's like, is this your, your costume that you, I don't know yeah, what I'm the strip, thinking. No. Yeah, the strip, no. I should have just called it the week, do you know why? It's because it's not a weekend bag, it's not a shopping, it's not a baby bag. It it's can be whatever you want it to be, innit? So, um, but yeah. I will think about that next time I name something. <laughs> and I shan't be calling it a strippy bag. I'm going to give this a very, very quick press. The strippy bag. And not press the seams open. I like it though, Rebecca. It does seem very, very um, achievable. Well, it does. So look, now we've joined together. There's the bag front. Obviously it looks a little bit narrow at the moment with our eight strips. You make the bag back in exactly the same way. Um, but just when you lay out the strips, because the side of one and the side of the other are going to draw, are going to meet up here here's yeah. one here's one i made earlier this is the bag back when oh. you put them together so that will join there and that will join there just make sure that those two fabrics are different does that make sense yes yeah get that does that make sense that so when you sense. when you first of all lay them all out lay out your sort of 16 like this so that you make sure that they they go, they, and I've worked right it out, you have to cut four of one and three of another, two, and two of another. So I've worked it out so that it will work. Cool. Right, so now you've got to sew the top and bottom of your bag on. Uh, the, re the reason it's got all of this, I could have just done the strips longer, but I wanted to use more fabrics. Yeah. So yeah. these could have been longer and I didn't need to have the top and the bottom, but then you get more fabrics and it just looks more interesting. So now the bags, you can sort of see it coming together. Yeah. But this is so big, it'd be perfect for a changing bag. It's perfect for everything. It is, like you say, it's one of those that's just really versatile. And it would be amazing for your shopping bag. Oh, you can get loads in it. Loads and loads. So, now you pin the top. See, I can do this. You, you can know, do this. when you look at it, I love that, because <laughs> it, it's like, yeah, I could do that. I could, I could do, do that. Why can you do when I cut the fabric, it's important you cut these to the right width, obviously, and length. I use a rotary cut and ruler because it's quicker and it's easier. But if you don't have that equipment, once you get into sewing, you really will have it because yeah. it is quicker and easier. Just draw the lines in pencil or measure them with a tape measure and just cut along them. But just make sure they're accurate because then it'll all join together properly. Yeah. Now, when you're sewing a flat piece of fabric like this is to a seamed piece of fabric like this is, sew it with the seams on the top. Because, ah. because you've taken the care to press them open, not those two, because I did that quickly. Um, you don't want you want them to stay flat. That's the whole point. Of course. And if they're on the underneath, um, then they might get twiddled over. Right. That's a really good point because I wouldn't have even thought about if that. If you're sewing together two pieces of fabric, both of which just seemed obviously one's on the bottom, but you just have to watch it as it goes yeah. underneath to make sure. You'll find that because this is seamed, it looks like it's shrunk a bit. So just pin it either end. It hasn't, but it's just the seams are pulling it in and then pin yeah. it in the center. Cool. So you do the narrow one goes on the top and the wide one goes on the bottom. And the reason for that is the bottom is, is boxed. Again, we've got a quarter of an inch seam allowance and we sew together. So now when you reach the seams, slow down a bit. So you make sure the seams stay flat because what often happens is as they go underneath the foot, the foot wants to lift them up. Uh, yeah, and then yeah, you'll yeah. get twisted seams. Oh, you don't want that. No.
twisted, twisted seams. seams. So now because I pressed this really quickly, my seam isn't nice and flat, so I've got to do hold this by hand. And then you realise it would have been a lot quicker to yeah. just ah uh, yeah 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 because otherwise to just press them open in the first place yeah yeah twister seams I do like that it's yeah you don't so want a twisted fabulous. seam because you know this is a bag and you won't notice but it's really good practice to get into yeah. once you start doing this and you're making maybe a quilt that's got lots and lots of seams if the seams are all twisted then it will lie funny on the, on the top and also it's harder to join other pieces on yeah. when that happens. And so, that's a nice, it's like you said, that is nice to experiment with, you know, to get into yeah, it. Yes, start off with something, you know, with like a bag. So look, there's the top one, and then all you do is sew the bottom one on. And remember, we are going to sew them with the seams on the top. Wonderful. So you're watching your twisted seams. Yeah, watching your twisted <laughs> seams, which you don't want. Uh, and it does, just pull it like that, and then get the centre, because, you know, the, the seams are... are pulling it up a bit but they yeah. are once joined together they are exactly the right length so if you if you haven't got a mat and a rotary cutter and a ruler it is it will make a world of difference it then it's not just for patchworkers and quilters either yeah I yeah. use my um my rotary cutter for cutting all sorts binding strips oh and sneeze the dressmaking it's just an essential isn't it yeah you know all bags or cushions because Quite often you've got to cut something, you know, if it's just a one inch strip for something. Um, and I bought a mat and a cutter and a ruler probably over 20 years ago wow. and I use them all the time. And obviously I have got through several cutting blades. Yeah, yeah. That's good though, isn't it? I mean, that yeah. is an investment, quite frankly. Well, it is. And, you know, and if you're going to buy, well, I mean, I've got various different sizes, but buy the biggest mat you can. Yeah. Or the biggest mat that will fit on your table. Yeah, because then it's going to last, isn't it? Well, it's just then you can cut bigger pieces of fabric. And it, you know, it, it takes a little bit of practice, but not much. And then yeah. it's, it's just quicker. But it's just something, you know, you've got your sewing machine, you've got your fabric. It's just another piece of equipment as well as the heat erasable yeah. pen, obviously. Yeah, which is absolutely essential. Just so you can play the freezer game, if nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's going to try that. It's not going to work in their freezer. So now we've got the front, of, front of the bag. And as if by magic, we have the back of the bag as well. I love that. We're going to leave you for one okay. second. Oh, good. I, I can love iron this. those fabrics. <laughs> I love those fabrics. Okay, um, this is your one day special. Now, it has been really busy. It's a bargain. You've got so many different fabrics here. It is going to be uh, contents may vary. Over half the stock has gone. And there's such a wide variety. I mean, there's bright. So I'll tell you what, while you're panning across, I love those uh, muted Christmas. They're absolutely gorgeous, really, really pretty. So you've got Christmas, you've got really fun and funky, you've got um, soft pastels, but then you've got bright, uh, really happy colours. I love those as well, those really bright gorgeousness. Look at that, rainbows. So you might be making, I mean, there's so much you can do with these. When you think about you getting 25 um, pieces of fabric here, 25 fat quarters, love that one. Um, and, and I mean that price, 39.75. Uh, it's working out per fat quarter at one pounds and sixty pence. So it is a serious bargain. Um, and I love. I keep finding prints. I like the really bright. That's well nice. Um, okay, if you do want to get hold of this, it is your one-day special. Remember, this is a time-limited um, offer, so this will end this evening. You have got extended, um, sorry, you have got delayed dispatch on this one. It's going out on the 12th of August, but you haven't got too long to wait. And it is amazing, the longer I stand here. I mean, I haven't even looked at that lot. Look at that collection. They're beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? Oh, you've got, yeah, they're really nice. That's my new favourite. Uh, obviously, every single time I look at it, look at it, I'll have a new favourite. Um, okay, it is your one day special. That is 769354. The wadding now. 70% of the stock has gone. Um, I mean, you're getting two packs of this. Remember with this, I mean, it's huge. When you look at that piece, of course, with something like this, you might be making, you might be um, using it for making a throw for the city or for your bed. It might be if you've got your, your camper van or maybe your narrowboat, latest obsession. Um, I know, I know, now it's... 
narrowboat yeah. cushions, narrowboat mm. everything. I love um, narrowboats. <laughs> um, you might be putting it in your cushions, you might be putting it in your bag. You're getting a big piece, it's value for money, and you're actually getting two packs. So it's fantastic value for money. Just um, £14.99. pence. Obviously, if you're going for your one-day special, or maybe you're going for your William Morris, you've even got um, your Flexi Basket there as well. Um, if you do want to go for your lovely wadding, and it does feel really fabulous as well, 977565 is your item number. Now, Patterns. We've been chatting about the patterns, obviously. Um, see, if I don't bring mine over, I just, let my little nose just sits over at top. Sorry, it's over there. Oh, does it matter? Let me get it. Um, so, your patterns. You have got a pick and mix with your patterns. Sorry, it ain't got wheels on. Which is a good thing, really, because if I stand on it, I could be off. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Meow! <laughs> I'd have a lovely time. Um, so anyway, your patterns. Now, pick and mix. Uh, have a look at the website for more details about the, the various patterns that we've got for you. The ones that we're showing you, you've got the beautiful uh, cases. So it might be a purse. It might obviously be makeup. It might be... Um, you know, all your, your bath stuff uh, for your holidays. You've got the bag that we're having a look at in this hour, the lovely um, strippy bag. <laughs> um, you've then got uh, the gorgeous cushion. I love the cushion. And it's a really nice size as well. And then, of course, you have got that wonderful tr Christmas tree skirt. I love these because there's so many different ways you can use them. But please check the website for the other patterns. They've all been designed by Rebecca. Um, so you know you can use your fat quarters. So, I mean, you're getting loads of fat quarters for your one-day special. It's so nice having patterns that are specifically designed for you to use those because, obviously, the prints and the way it's been designed, it's maximising the fabric that you're getting with your fat quarters. Isn't that a beautiful design? Absolutely sensational. Now, if you do want to get hold of any of your patterns, really, really good price. And, of course, you've seen how Rebecca um, teaches. You've seen how easy she makes it. Rebecca's written these. She's designed them, written them, so you know they're going to be really nice and easy to follow, really easy to go through as well. We've got the other designs on the website, um, so do have a little perusal, because there's loads of different ones. Oh, what's that one? Bottom right. That one looks interesting. The rainbow quilt. That's gorgeous. And these are all, you can do all of these with your fat quarters. That is so exciting. Oh, look at that. Yeah, they're lovely. Um, check those out because obviously it is a pick and mix, so you've got loads and loads of different choices there. Uh, pick any two on your pick and mix. Do not miss out on those. Now, obviously all the patterns have been designed for fat quarters. However, oh, go on. Has it? Okay, option two is technically sold out. If anybody doesn't check the baskets out, I am going to let you know. If it's in your basket, you need to check those baskets out. In 10 minutes, we refresh the baskets. So it means if it's just sat there for longer than 10 minutes, we empty your basket and we let it, you know, other people buy it. So if this is sat in your basket, you have to check it out. Technically gone. Um, but, so, shall I move? No, okay, I won't move it just yet. So, so this is option one. Option one is equally, oh, we'll be able to spread this out better now, is equally beautiful. I mean, this will go so well as well with that big fabric that we've got. I mean, look at these pieces. William Morris is just uh, style. It's just um, the colours, the colour palette. It just works. I mean, look at that colour palette. Do you know, these have got a really nice, cool tone to them, haven't they? But they'll work with so many other things. I mean, really, when you look at this, you could bring in so many other colours into this one. You know, it's going to... The greens that we've got over there, um, that would work with these. Blue tones will work with these. And I like that. I like the fact that they're quite a neutral palette, which will allow you to, to obviously bring a different flash of colour into this. I adore these. I just think they're absolutely exquisite. It's very sophisticated. I mean, when you look at that, that is going to look good anywhere, isn't it? Look at that fabric. Have you seen that? The beautiful leaves. That's so pretty. Isn't that stunning? Look at it. 
I love that. Um, so, what other colour would you pop into that? Or would you leave it as such? Would you then see with something like this as well? Like, you know, if you were doing um, some creative stitching over the top, you could add a little bit of gold braiding on that. That would look really, really beautiful. So many ways of using it. Classy, elegant, timeless, and a really good price. $24.95. You are saving £10 there. 169506. Can I just show you what I mean by a different pop of colour? Look, if you brought, look at that. Look how that pop of colour works with those. Do you know what I mean? So if you were creating something out of these, so maybe, because you could create a small quote out of these, definitely, or a beautiful throw, and then use that at the back, how amazing would that be? And that's the lovely thing about William Morris, how well they blend together. Um, if you do want to get hold of these, 169506, don't forget the quilt backing because they have been seriously busy and they're beautiful. They're so beautiful. Bottom of the screen there, 49.95. You're getting a massive piece of fabric there. It's two meters by three meters. So if you do want those, and please, we've already had a seller on one of those um, last night. That is 191178. Now we have got seven day savers. Um, yay! Now magazines, yay! And the lovely thing about these, all your gorgeous sewing magazines as well. So if you haven't got these yet, this is a really good way of stocking up. And you've got loads of little extra gifts with each one of those. So you've got, um, you love sewing, that's issue 82. Quilt Now, issue 76 and 77. And as you can see, you've got loads of different little elements um, that are giveaways. Do check the website because you'll have more information. But only 13.47 for all three. Oh, I love magazines. Now, we've also got, oh, decorative thread, C. Now, the silver, that William Morris with the um, decorative thread on it, the silver would go amazing on there. Um, now, 169, or oh, the gold, like I was saying, because that would give it a completely different look. That Wouldn't that look amazing? You know the, um, the beautiful uh, Christmas, the, the Christmas skirt? In those William Morris fabrics that we've got left, we a little bit of that beautiful thread. Uh, 169018. Right. We're back to the, the strippy, strippy bag. Right. Stripey bag. So strippy. in the time that you were just talking there, I've joined the front to the back. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm fast, giggling at strippies and stripies. Strip, strippy bags. So it shows how fast it is. So I've placed the front and the back right sides together, and I've sewn them together down the side and across the bottom and up the other side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to box the corners. And what that means is that, you know when you get a bag that's got a little slight base across it? Yeah. So it's not yeah. just straight down the side. Um, it gives it a bit of depth, but it makes it easy to put things in that if you've got to stamp something up. Yes. Um, and the way that you do this is called boxing corners. So the, and the reason that's why that the top strip is narrower than the bottom strip, because once the corners are boxed, some of the bottom strip will go into the base. Of course. So what you do with any pen... Could be a heat erasable one. Oh, get the heat erasable one <laughs> get out. The, get my favourite pen out. <laughs> is we're going to draw a square. So you measure, this square happens to be one and a half inches. Okay, okay. Um, on the inside of the bag. Oh, I wish I'd used a wooden ruler. It's fine in normal light, but you, these studio lights. Um, Does not make it, it trickier you to see? You can't see a thing. <laughs> right, so you, you <laughs> draw... A box. Okay. You do that on both corners. Let's just do one for now. Um, and this do, this makes the size of the box may, it depends on how deep you want it. For this ah, bag, right. one and a half inches work. If you want a deeper um, base to the bag, you cut a bigger square. Okay. So cut it out like this. Right. Now open out the fabrics like this. Give them a shake. And then we need to match these seams. So you've got the side seam and you've got the base seam. And we're going to open it so that they're joined together. Ah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, good. So it's going to the way about. Yes. And then match the seams. <laughs> I love it. I mean, mine made less sense. <laughs> so the way about so in my head that made more sense, but it yeah, definitely Yeah, so doesn't. the side, so the side <laughs> seam and the base seam, yeah. you match up. Amazing, yeah, get that. Got that? Yeah. And pin it there, and then pin it either side. 
see something like this as you know like um as someone who doesn't so if you said you know or we're doing a, a box a box, yeah, but box i'd be corner. like i don't under but actually yeah that's easy that makes sense doesn't yeah, it so there are various ways of doing this i just find this an easy one so now you've done that all you've got to do is sew across using your quarter of an inch seam allowance wonderful and watch out for your twisted seams yes and this one because i didn't press it is about to get twisted but just stop and lay you can use your pin to lay it flat yeah now talking about the wadding with the um i've made one of these with wadding yeah just to give it a little bit more structure because it's quite a big bag if you're going to use wadding and it explains it i'll show you in the instructions look oh, there's fabulous. mine with wadding look there's the box corner um you put the wadding onto the front and the back. See here, there was the wadding pictures. Onto the front and the back before you join the bag together and box the corners. Right. But that's explained in, I've put in the instructions, if you want to put wadding in, do it now. If you don't, let's skip this section. Right. So the wadding that we're selling here is perfect and it's actually what I use to make this bag. Amazing. Because they sent it to me. Amazing. And I like it. Yeah. I like that as well because we bag this size that just that extra little bit of wadding yeah really, it just really gives give it. it a bit more structure yeah um so if i turn this right sides out now you will be able to see what's happened obviously we haven't done the other corner so uh, yeah, the other corner is got. flat yeah normal normal boring bag oh boring boring oh. Oh. this one Look, Ooh, exciting. interesting, interesting. Oh, boxy. Boxy. <laughs> so, when you do that, now the top strip and the bottom strip are the yeah, same. I like that. Are the same width. Wow, well, it's like magic. And then the rest of the bottom strip is going into the base. So, just by yeah. doing that simple two minute exercise, you can use that technique for anything. That's a really good technique. I like that. And you can put that, you know, in this. Um, I've got a little zip purse, which is one of the patterns we're doing, and I box the corners of this. I mean, and it's a very small one. Yeah. But it's just enough that if you were making a bag and you wanted to put your makeup in, it stands up yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, I really like it because it does make a difference. But it does. It makes. Yeah. You know, it's a very simple little thing. Yeah. When you're working it out and calculating, you have to add a little extra fabric for that to happen yeah. but obviously in the instructions are all there anyway that's brilliant i really really <laughs> like that uh, can i just give a really quick um okay the word in technically sold out no mm. um our emily is working on it we're it's trying to get good, um we're trying to sort it out so we can get some more she's working on it we're waiting to hear who are we waiting to hear off do you want me to name check <laughs> <laughs> ian poor ian. ian he's like oh not live on telly leona Sorry, Ian. Um, and actually, he's on it, he's on it. So, yeah, we are waiting to hear, but at the moment, technically sold out. If any bounce back, if someone doesn't check the baskets out, I'll let you know. If we manage to get more, of course, we'll let you know. Um, but back to you. Okay, so what you need to do is, I've just drawn that one while you were chatting. Um, chatting, no, talking about wadding. Chatting. Yeah, yeah. Let's hope Ian's buying more wadding. Ian, buy wadding. Nah, <laughs> poor Ian. Yeah. <laughs> I we... love... <laughs> love Ian. Ian, buy Wadding. Uh, we Ian, love Wadding. Ian. <laughs> oh, I do like name checking. It always makes me giggle. Yeah. Which is, uh, it's and now he's cruel. watching it going, just shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. It's not my Wadding. He's not watching. He's trying to get Wadding. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I hope he's here. Stop watching and buy Wadding. He's going to love us, isn't he? <laughs> uh, let's hope we'll be back later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so, it's our last show, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> right, so look, I'm just done, I'm going to do this one really quickly just so you can see it again and you can see how quick it is. If you press those seams open before you um, join them together, it makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. Top tip. Yeah. Which I didn't do. So now look, just so you can see, we've got two, 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 two box corners. Amazing. So. To line the bag, because I always like a bag to be lined, um, it's cleaner, nicer, stops it fraying and yeah. looks prettier. Well, especially when you've done your, your you know... All your, of that, yeah. yes. So, in the, um, because I only had five fat quarters of wadding, there wasn't enough fabric to line it, but because you're getting 25, there will be. Yeah. So, what I always like to do when I make a bag is I like to have a strip of fabric that's inside it that just blends with the outside and oh, then the nice. lining goes below. It just gives it the nice extra Ooh, touch. Yeah. So I chose the. So when you're choosing which fabrics, I chose the Foxies, 
to go across the top of the lining and then I've just chosen a, just a little print that I had. You make this in the same way as the, in, the outside. Obviously you don't need the strips because that would be a bit of a waste yeah. being as it's inside. Yeah. You could but you don't need to. So the measurements are all given in there and you box the corners in exactly the same way. Yeah. Then before you put it all together you need to make the handles. Okay. So we've just got two minutes. So you cut, there's your strip of fabric without the pin. You sew two pieces together because there's four strips and then you sew that in half and you turn it right side out. Now we have a handle. How easy. Yeah. So there's two pieces joined together, sewed together, blah, 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 turn it inside out. So what you do is you take the front of your bag. This is before you, you put start putting lining. the lining on because yeah. the handles are going to be sandwiched between the outside and the inside. Okay. So we pin these on into place first. Um, Measure across, all the instructions are in the measurements, and the best thing to do is, little tip, is pin it at the top, but when you pin it on, make it extend beyond slightly, Okay. because that just gives it a little bit of extra strength, because you're going to be sewing here, if you pin the end of your handle right up to there, if you've got a lot of pressure uh, on it, it could pull. Yeah, pull yeah, through. yeah, that absolutely makes so sense. So just have it, you know, it's only a few fabric threads that it could easily pull, so just have it extending yeah. slightly. Yeah. Pin it into place. And you're pinning it on the right side. On the right um, side, and right sides together because the seam, you, uh, yeah, yeah, when yeah. you press this, you put it on the centre. Um, when you're, you will sandwich these between, so you'll sew the outside and the handles and the lining all together at the same time, and you don't want wonky handles. Yeah, yeah. So because they're really unattractive. We've just got seconds left, our lovely Pin Rebecca. it just below there. Yeah. Okay, and then you pin the other handle, the other end there, and you do the same on the back, put the lining inside and it's done. Boom. Just I like that. I love that. I love that, just like just that. Just like that, it's done. <laughs> um, Rebecca, that's ace. And that is such a fantastic bag. I'm going to show you the one that's well, on that's here. Well, that's one of the other fat quarters that you might be able to see, that you might get. Don't they look good? So, so fabulous. Okay, we're nearly out of time. Thank you very much. Check your baskets out. <laughs> I know. I know I were too busy looking at bags. I'm now wearing it. Um, okay, next, oh, the fabulous Pink Pig sketchbooks. You know I'm a mega fan of these. We've then got the Juki sewing machine and then Quirky Christmas with lovely Hobby Art. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Tachanda guest demonstrators? or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps paper crafting products and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Kathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand-illustrated stamp and stencil designs. 
whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, Get Inspired on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy, and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi, I'm Joe from the Mill Shop Online. Welcome to the Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Mill Shop Online shows on Hochanda. there welcome back we've got a fabulous hour ahead of us now of course we've got our wonderful quilt event going on but intermittent we've got fabulous little crafty shows that have been flooded into the schedule as well and this is exactly what we've got here it's an amazing hour we've got the lovely joe channel with us good morning joe good morning How i are love you? you in that blue it really suits you, know, you so well i've decided that i might have this as a uniform <laughs> Oh, no, see? I won't, I won't, I won't, but <laughs> Maybe I do, have, it looks I do nice. have a lot of blue, Yeah, though. it looks good, and yeah. you, you fit in with the decor I do, well. I do, <laughs> see, because I live here. Uh, well, it, is, it literally is that Jo is almost part of the furniture here, we love her being here, and we also <laughs> love it you. when um, Pink Pig are here. Now, we yes. haven't seen Pink Pig for a little while, because no. like a lot of companies, they kind of had to, to kind yes. of step back during um, the, the situation, obviously, yes. all isolating and everything, mm. but they're back up and running now. They are, bless them, they've been so, so good, they, they, they've really have you know obviously it's all been very difficult for everybody and they're very well they are a big company but a small family company yes. or family run. Family ethically, that's right, absolutely yeah. Yeah. and so they've done their absolute best for ev all their members of staff and I know that they were praising them no end and yes yeah, so we we sort of said when you're ready when you're ready when you're ready so we are sort of yeah so we've got it. them back which is great because I they've think people missed. are soon starting mm. to need them again well this is it and of course those <laughs> situations when we've been at home for the however many 15 20 weeks however long it's been I think that's given us the opportunity to kind of get I know lots of you have said this lots of crafting to maybe getting those journals out the cupboards yes. getting the pages yes. filled getting yeah. the covers filled and that's what we're going to be looking at during this hour so lots of different um, sketchbooks and all sorts of different bits and pieces we're going to be sharing with you um, including the bundle that we've got on the screen which is featuring um, you can see there you've got your 8 by 8 which is this one larger one you're also going to be getting your A5 which is this particular one and a little, little bitty, but it's not so itty bitty because it's four inches square, and all of those coming to you for thirteen ninety nine. And Joe, I know the one yes. that I'm holding here. This is one that you're going to be you're looking at with your demonstration. You're going to be putting the, the back yeah. cover on in place. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to just put the back cover on, and I've just done that one. I put it on a, a photograph on yesterday, just to um, just another one to go with my massive collection of books I that I've decorated over the last couple of years and uh, yeah just another little um, idea but uh, also we mentioned about while we were in um, in lockdown of course Barbara has been doing the the shack hasn't she? She has indeed and yes. of course she's been doodling now these would 
be fantastic Major. for that job. Yes. This is amazing. This page that's been completed here. But of course, let's talk about the blank pages. Yes, what's of so course. special about what's inside right. these covers? So these every single book you've got on the counter and every book that we have here, unless we say different, is Amelay paper. Amelay. Um, Amelay. And um and basically what it is, it's made in the Lake District and then took into Yorkshire to be then made at the Pink Pig he headquarters. Okay. And basically it's actually artist material Ooh. I know but we sort of like adopted it in the craft industry and um, we can honestly what you could throw at these pages is not worth not throwing at if you see what so I mean. So we can stencil, we can yes. stamp. Yes, we can spray onto them, we Sketch. can put we can put loads of water on, we can pick our, our stencils up. Now of course I know we mention it every single time but of course Arleone has got Lots of these. Yes, lots yes. and lots and lots. She could build a house with the amount <laughs> that she's got. And of course you do see her using them constantly. Yeah. So that's a really, really good representation of how good they are. And but I of love course, this. why not oh. use it, of course, like I've done here, to make um that's that a beautiful wonderful. I love this size. This is the 8x8 eight eight size for making guest books, um, memory books, um, obviously um, little photograph albums. Well, this is it. Now, um, you're getting all so three many sizes. different things. And it's a nice yeah. manageable size piece, isn't it, 8x8? Eight eight? I think 8x8 eight eight is ideal. Um, because it's it's not too big to make. Say if you wanted to make a scrapbook or memory book, yes. it's very manageable. Yeah, it is indeed. Yeah, I love this one as this well because nice. it's got the it's got the side entrance yeah. which I like. Well, this is it. I mean, the thing is, obviously, you've got your cover, your board cover, and that's something that's very key that mm. you are going to be able to obviously work with this. And that's right. Portrait landscape. Absolutely, portrait or landscape. Lovely. Over that one, I just did that. Uh, oh. Gosh, a few months ago now, but I did that tree just showing how much you can really laden on to those front covers, and they do not bow. They don't. I mean, Honestly, you have a look at that. See, you can it's see. fantastic, great board. And you've got on this particular one, I think we've got rice papers on there. Yes, texture rice paste. papers. I've got texture paste, rice papers. Beautiful. I've got inks. I've got sprays. Um, I've got um, stamping. Yep. So adorable. Yeah. Uh, and there's further on, we've got some more of the four by four books because. Now, of course, we are coming up to, I know, I know at the moment it doesn't appear that we, I don't know what we're going to be having with regards to Christmas fairs. It's all very much up in the air. Yes. But, do you know, I don't think it does us any harm to prepare. Oh, gosh, definitely. Because these sort of things, even if, sadly, we don't have them later in the year, then we can always pack them away for another year. Well, and they won't it. damage. They won't. So, no. so these are fabulous. I know lots and lots and lots of hundreds of people have bought them in the past and they've decorated them up and sold them at fairs and that they've been so did. popular and even for your own use if you make your course. list if you're using as planners mm. then you can see that you have got your fabulous books there beauties as well with these obviously you've got your spine which we'll see joe working with but they will sit flat as well so if you are wanting to they work do. they'll open out nice and flat and of course you can double them back on themselves so if you are a little sketcher you can use yep. it as your artist board as well so all of those 13 pounds and 99 pence a three three one one a three four um now i've got lots of options for you so do jump ahead and have a little look we've got the lighter pages i think we might have some darker pages available as well they're all on the website but check out these larger ones and these are oh, fabulous gorgeous what a lovely area to be working on now these are 11 by 11. oh okay now this Which is, is an interesting nice, yeah. yes it is it's an interesting one because um and you get two of these. You it's, do, yes. It's a yeah. phenomenal price, and it's, Amy. You choose. It you really decide. Is. Yeah. Now this one just—it's just—I I don't think there's anything in that one, but it's very, very, very simply done on the front there with a rice paper, paper designs, rice paper, um, and then I've enhanced it with lots of different mediums. That's crafty paste, Beautiful. so many different things, and that would make such a beautiful photograph album just, or scrapbook, yeah. wouldn't nice. it? Absolutely fabulous. Um, but again, if you like journaling in bigger format, 
these Absolutely are perfect. perfect. And you can see there are plenty of room yep. with the, these. You are going to choose. So you cover, um, so if I turn this one around, you can see you've got yellow on this one, just as you've got there. That's called amber. Then I you've also that. got that gorgeous turquoise there, and really showing off the inclusions that you've got in those papers. And then, of course, you've got your black and your white. And your pages in all of these are your white pages, uh, mm. but just to let you know. So 481121, £18.99 and 99 pence for two of those, I think is brilliant value for money. Mm. But we're going a little smaller, and um, we're going to landscape with these particular ones. And you get three of these. So this is a really good bundle to go for, because you might have three different scenarios with mm. these. So yeah. when we're working with the pages, I'm guessing we can use them for acrylics, watercolour. Absolutely. Honestly, see, you name have it, several. I have literally thrown... I know there's a couple of examples there that have got the black pages, but I did want to still include them in that pile there, because the size, I wanted to see the size, what we could do with them and uh, obviously uh, and uh, and that's um as we said before that's my nanan mm -hmm. oh, that's so that beautiful. would make a fantastic album and black pages in memory albums they are amazing to use because obviously photographs really pop the vintage they do, photographs indeed, yeah and of course you've got there you've got a baby book of course you could then go inside if you wanted to and put little pockets of course and do all of that sort well, of thing there's loads. so many different things and of course the um the covers do come off all of them okay all of them and um, i will explain i will show you and how. the weight of the pages do we know that the weight of the page oh, i think was it 270 you know, it's 270 on this gsm and it's, is that across all all of them, all it's of the same them. within all of them. Every okay. single nice one and easy. has got 270 GSM and it's the MLA paper and of course it is back and forth. It's beautifully and beautiful and smooth. Look at that. I love to colour. There's a lot on that. Ooh. I love that. Do you know that's Powertex? Wow. So you can see how good, how good that is. These, These are just some of the bits that we, we what we've did was we, we can't take all our um, uh, pieces that we've made to every exhibition and every show so we tend to sort of put a little album together of what we've done and inspiration Amazing. I so love that's it. what that is so um, look fabulous and plenty more pages to lots, go with lots there. of pages to go yeah but that that's beautiful. got a lot on it on the back oh, yes, we've got so the has, yeah. on the back as well so you know don't be afraid to to really laden them up and you'll see Gorgeous. in this particular bundle they're actually the board covers on this one the gray yes. board covers yeah so they are that little bit more affordable because of course they don't have the handmade paper on this is so true. but it doesn't mean you can't decorate them no you, you can't no, cover exactly. them over then go for it now i know um yes. you're working with some of the, the liquid I, wax yeah so this afternoon i'm going to demonstrate this i haven't done it for such a long time it's a faux leather looks amazing and i haven't done it for a long time and you know i'd never tried it with the liquid wax from that scrafter so i thought yeah. i'm going to Give it so go. two o'clock if you want to pop back Lovely. and have a look at that we will certainly have a little look at that but you can see here there's a whole host of different examples examples and as Joe said very affordable way for you to get hold of your mm. three books so of course you can use them um, all at the same time if you wanted to as I say different scenarios it might be using one with your watercolor paints one for sketching maybe one to try out your different textures and ideas or one to turn it into a little photo album it's entirely up to you but they are absolutely beautiful and of course they are landscape but if you do want to turn them around and use them portrait then we're not going to come around and take them back off you they're your books no. you can do what you like with those so at 11.99 8 Six six one four. If you fancy getting hold of those, but we're going to look at other sizes for you. Um, having a little look at those smaller ones, now the four by fours. I love this because you've got a bumper bundle with these. You're actually getting eight of these. Now they've got twenty five leaves within there, so good content within there. And these are perfect, especially if you're wanting to make gifts with mm. these. So same cardstock is exactly the same. The larger ones, if yeah. you, you're using, you're used to that cardstock. But have a look at this. What a clever little idea, little recipe um, and notebook there or that could be um, by the phone absolutely it? yeah it's just too fun. nice to use by the phone to be fair <laughs> Um, but again, all the different techniques you can use on your larger, that's you can use on your smaller. This is a nice idea. What's this? There, what it is, it's my That's Crafty Sprays. Oh, I so see. So I know when I get a new spray, I spray it into, onto a piece of black and a piece of white, and then I see how it comes out. Clever. So nice I think it's a nice little then. reference book. Isn't and this good? sort of size is perfect for doing this sort of thing. Jotting down what inks you've got, what sprays you've got, what stamps you've got 
what dies you've got of different companies. And when and we do get back to the exhibitions, I that's useful to fit into your pocket, isn't it? So it you don't will. double up on it things. Is. And I've seen lots of ladies do it. In fact, they've come up to me <laughs> and showed me. Now, what's this? Oh, now, these are, I made a little, uh, a little pocket book for my circle that's crafty um, uh, stencils because Clever. I was forever not losing them but they were small so it's I thought it would be quite handy to yeah. put them in and it's easy then just to lift them out and Again, and also see where you've got one missing. Well, this is it. Oh, yes, <laughs> definitely. So it's in the palm of your hand as well. But again, yes. because you've got the similar style covers, make sure of your grey board and make sure of your kind of inclusion paper. So take the most out of those if you want and see leave mm. a little bit revealed there. But again, just a really nice little size. And again, big enough for you to incorporate with other little projects here. You can see here a piece of grey board where it's been attached to it, making, again, a lovely little notebook. And again, I mean, I love this idea, making <laughs> gifts with them. Yes, yeah, so simple. And this is what I'm saying about getting prepared, mm. because all these sort of things you can get prepared for. Well, even for your own Christmas gifts, to be fair. Of course. Yeah, get yes. ahead. We don't yeah. know when we're going to have these shows. We don't know what the future holds at the moment, do we? So let's take advantage of these while we have the opportunity to grab them. So we're um, at 318061, just £16.99 pence if you are wanting those. So, uh, yeah, lots more to share with you. Um, so do stay tuned. Um, we've got some demonstrations coming up, as Joe mentioned there. But, of course, we've been talking about the books the journals but working with your grey board lots of those elements may have been attached to grey board and that's what we've got here a nice selection of different sizes different shapes so we're going to whiz through these and then get over to the demo with joe so have a little look at this the first bundle that we've got for you uniformity of size with these ones i think because these ones are all a5 that we're looking at here as well we've got some of the varied bundles coming up so if you want to jump on the website and have a look for those you can do but these ones are all your a, um, a5 now you're going to get 20 um, sheets or 20 sets should we say so you're going to get 40 boards in total so when we say 20 sets we were assuming that you're going to be using them potentially as covers so you're going to put them together like so but you don't have to of course you could use them just as a little room plaques or as we saw earlier on with some of those um, finished ideas it could be that you're using it in that kind of scenario if you wanting to one thing i noticed here at the back joe these die cuts oh uh, please the, the grey boards. The, it depends on what machine. Okay, fair but enough. But I know it does in some of them. So, okay, yeah, so, sometimes it's the so kind of the, the weighty um, ones. You know the deep dish, uh, the um, Tim, uh, you know the Tim Holes, the big shot. The steel, um, the steel rule dies. That's the one. Yeah. Thank you, yes. Um, in my big shot, yes, they will. And I have done them before um, many times. And also they emboss. Oh, okay. They, these emboss as well, so you can run them through an embossing folder. Uh, obviously, you just need to make sure that your machine will cope with it. And um, if it doesn't turn, don't turn it. That's, my, <laughs> that's always my rule. And yeah, emboss with them, and they're lovely embossed. Look really nice. And embossed. this one is one that's been kind yeah. of sliced up, so you yeah. can cut them maybe with a guillotine craft knife. Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Lovely. There you mm. go. So it gives you an idea of how you can work with those as well. And of course, because you've got the stability of the grey board, perfect for all your techniques, using all your texture paste and things like that. So that's that bundle, ten ninety nine, very affordable. Fancy popping that one into your basket? Well, five zero six seven six four is the item number. Then we come to the kind of um, almost like mixed pack where you've got all sorts and this is lovely especially if you're just getting started because you've got a little bit of everything in here and that, that's exactly what I like lots of square pieces though so different sizes so you've got your four by fours which of course we did see as the covers a few a few moments ago then you have got some large pieces now I think the details on the screen are for the next bundle that we've got because you've got your four by four squares you've got your six by six squares and then you've got I think it's eight by eight squares with the largest one that we've got there so yeah um, there's no um, a5 in this one, which I think the A5 and the 4x4s are the next bundle that we've got. Shall I show you those since I've got They're only there. Let me show you them. These are the details on the screen for these ones. So you're going to get your 4x4. You're also going to get your um, A5. Well, no, it's mentioning 6x6 as well. Is it everything? You're getting everything. Oh, no, you do. Sorry. Oh, you, my yeah. goodness. I thought they were separate. Oh, let me bring these together then. Oh, I thought they were two different bundles. You're getting loads. My goodness. That's a game changer. £12.99. So you are getting your square 
um, that's what confused me because they're kind of over on that side. So you've got all your square ones there. You've got your different sizes there, your larger ones, and you're getting your um, A5, as you can see there. So mixture from your, a, um, your 4x4s right the way through to your 8x8s with your square. And then, of course, you've got your A5 there as well. So a little bit of everything. My goodness, I didn't realise it was as generous as that. Um, and again, use them in so many different ways. Love this. Of course, it's going to take all the texture paste because it does. I mean, look at that. That looks like you've got a piece of wood that's been used there, but it's not. Um, of course, as you saw earlier on the square, you can use it in a whole host of different ways. Turning them into almost like canvases. In fact, they can sit on top of your canvases because they're not adding a huge amount. Um, but this one, I think this is a little drawer unit, actually. Look at that. What a clever idea. Got a little drawer in there as well. Oh, chocolate box. Oh, I say. <laughs> no chocolates in it, just saying. No, sorry. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Make your own conclusions from that. <laughs> Actually, it came from here. It came from it here. It was when we had oh, well, those... if it's leaving here, there won't be any chocolates <laughs> no. in it. That's for I, I, I took the empty box. It was <laughs> when we had the posh chocolates with the gems in around Christmas time. Oh, yes. And I said, yeah. oh, I well, like that box. I love it. I don't blame you at all as well. There you go. Um, Molly just said, oh, I remember taking it out the bin. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> oh, you I'm cheeky. <laughs> um, I love this. <laughs> How rude. How this rude. is nice. With a new, I love that because you've got the stencil going over the top of the print on this one. Mm. <laughs> Molly's card's been marked, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> have a look at these. These are beautiful. The finished sandal. Now, Joe, have you created I've done all every of these? Single one. Oh my goodness! And they seem to be gathering speed quite rapidly now. I've got two boxes of them now. These are <laughs> incredible. Now, if you want to get hold of your grey board, then this is a brilliant bundle to go for because you are getting so much in here. And of course, it's one of those things that it doesn't go off. You can use it in months, even years' time. Although it won't last that long because when you start using it, you won't want to stop using it. So, twelve ninety nine five one eight zero one two. Now, talking about our lovely Joe, so it's only right and proper that we head over. <laughs> to see Joe. So don't forget any of those goodies that you're wanting to get hold of. If you've got any questions, then do get in touch studio at achanda.com. So I've been playing with you, Joe. It's your turn it's to all play. Right, my turn. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to create Right, for us? so what we've got is I thought we could just do um we're going to do just the back cover of this front that I did. So if I put this here. Yeah, Beautiful. oh, lovely. Now, so, uh, basically, very, very straightforward. It's just really lovely to be able to, I think, to... To have um, the book with this beautiful paper on the outside is adorable. But, of course, we're crafters and we want to do more with it, don't we? So we want to use the inside, but we also want to decorate the outside before we actually do anything with the inside. So what I want to do is, just in case we have got, and we, um, we, all, we do have um, a lot of new v viewers, I want to just show you here just how we take the actual spines Apart. Now that's good because you can see there you're just doing it with your hands, you're not having to use any I tools am. or machines. No, not at all. Um, but they are extremely, extremely strong. Okay. I know it sounds daft, they, they're strong in as much as you can put them back and forth and back and forth and I've not once actually bent one out of any proportion that it hasn't gone back. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And well, I do I like to take, if I'm really messy in with mm. a page, I do like to take the page out. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. But they do open out flat as well, but sometimes they you, do. Want, you want to decorate beyond where the holes are, like kind of where mm. the margin is. Yeah, absolutely. So so this is why I do tend to take the covers off to, um, to actually do the fronts and the backs. So then we've got, um, obviously, l lots of room there, lots of canvas that we can work on. So that's how we take them off. I have took the back off already. Now, also, I would like to just point this out because you will always know that it is an original pink pig book when it's got this on the front. OK, so um, if it hasn't got that and it's saying it is, it isn't. OK. okay? <laughs> no, I like right. that. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I like that. It's because it just well. shows. <laughs> and you can see here, made in Great Britain, and it's fabulous, isn't it? It is. And you'll also always see one of the pigs upside down as well, <laughs> by the way, just as a matter of interest. So um, we'll just take that one off as well, just for the time being. Um, this is a page that we're going to do um, in the second half of this morning. So I'm just going to put that there. Okay. And then I'm going to just take another page out just to show you. Look there we go. So that's that. Yeah. 
yeah. it's like bored. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It really is quite amazing. And when you get, and um, uh, this is artist quality, and it really, like I said at the beginning of the show, it, it is only that us crafters have stolen it. Like we do, we, <laughs> ste we steal a lot of art products, we do. don't the thing we? I love is it, it's the, the kind of quality that um, Pink Pig are happy to put in all of their products. It's yes. not a case that you've got a different a kind of different contents within them. They're happy. It's like one size fits all kind yes. of thing, and that's what they're using, and that's the confidence that you've got yeah. when you start crafting because it's one less thing to think about. That's right, and I think it's really commendable of them because they could have actually have given up, given crafters. A lesser quality paper. Well, yeah, we yeah could, yes, because, because we if we don't necessarily because we need it, yeah. no. But because we're getting what we're getting, and it's and it's across the board. Whatever you buy, you're getting exactly the same. It's exactly the same paper, made where it is, and everything. Then you know that you could actually pick this up and draw into it, watercolor into it, and do everything with it that you can Good when point. you're crafting. And um, just let you know the details are on the screen for the set that Joe's working with. Um, what was the update? Sorry, Rianne, on that one. Over 20% of the stock has gone, my goodness, yeah, very, yeah. very busy. This is a very, very popular one. Now, today uh, we don't have any um, new todays in as much as the, the, the different sizes of bundles because they are really, they're terrific at the factory. And Rachel, who organises the shows, uh, content and everything, she's ever so good, bless her. But, of course, at the moment, it's, it's not quite so straightforward as it normally would be. They're also getting really busy for all being well, the school's going back in September. Yeah, the thing is with Pink Pig also, what we need to remember is these are the number one a company um, to actually go to, uh, to for universities. Oh, okay. um, so for the books, and of course, even if some university courses aren't going ahead in September, they are still going ahead virtually. Yes. So the students will still oh, need yes, their still books. Need um, what are you popping through your Right, so there? what I'm doing is, um, I've just got some fine texture paste from, um, from That's Crafty. I'm almost out. It's right at the bottom of the bottom. Uh, but I have got it, I have got Got enough and what I wanted to show you is basically just popping it through um, one of my Molina stencils you will find this on the website we don't have it actually on the show but obviously any stencils that you've got or, or whatever you know just have a have a little play I'm not going through all of it I don't want to go through all of it because um, I'm going to go over I want I want what I'm looking for is different texture, as in layers, and, and I'm putting it slightly thicker in some areas than others as well. So, of course, when you're doing something like this, it makes a terrific gift for a crafty friend, doesn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Because you spend the time actually um, decorating it, and you enjoy what you're doing doing that. And then, of course, you gift it to somebody who then enjoys filling it you well, know so it. i and think it's lovely they don't necessarily have to be a craft i mean no, not many at people all. enjoy stationery no. and using books and making lists and things Doodling. like that exactly yeah. i yeah. love to doodle yeah. i don't know about you but i love it i say i was doodling it keeps me quiet i'm guessing if you're giving it as a gift <laughs> then you could actually stamp up some pages and turn it almost into a coloring book couldn't yes you? you could that's a super idea mm. i like that idea yes put in your favorite stamps that you've got yeah into the book and then give it to them yeah. that is a lovely idea yeah. now uh, so you can see here what i've done is i've popped it on there oh wow so look how now i always like to show you how look at that look at this this gray board now this Beautiful. gray board what we've got on the show can you see the depth of that oh, that's yeah, lovely that the pool there as well Fabulous. Beautiful. thank you molly that's lovely i'm just going to put this now you redeemed got, yourself oh, now molly <laughs> She's forgotten about the mention of the waste paper basket now. <laughs> I saw I won't forget that. I'll tell you now. Yeah. Um. <laughs> that, that Joe Channon goes rummaging that through the rummaging bins. Through the bins. <laughs> but would you know what's funny, though? They know, because if they've got something like that, they know, oh, Joe will like that, to read purpose. It reminds me, I've got a gin bottle at home for you. Oh, thank you. I forgot to bring it in. <laughs> she didn't bring me full bottles of gin. She just some empty <laughs> bottles of gin. But that's fine, because that's what I like. So you can see there, that really is quite lovely, isn't it? It's standing on that board. Now, what I do want to point out, the mount board that we've got on the show is the exact mount board as well 
as what they use on all the books. Oh, okay, right, so, okay. so I know I love quality. this. Oh, no, right, no, okay. there's no lesser quality. Just haven't got the holes in. And there's no. It's just that's right. So you can do whatever you want with it. So, so you're getting extra actually, aren't you? You, you are, haven't got the holes. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of that. Now what I'm going to do is, um, I'm just need to give that a very very quick dry. Um, just a quick blast. It won't take me two minutes because no, it dries yeah. quite quickly. I don't know yeah. whether you want to. Yeah, that's why you're doing that. Because it just shows you, I mean, the amount of content you can add to them. Here you can see, I mean, this is very much kind of grungy mixed media, almost steampunk effect here with loads of texture paints and paints and spritzers that have been used on there to really add um, depth. But then you've got the light look, as you can see with this one, where fabrics have been used, where the beautiful papers have been used, turning it almost into like a little memory album or a guest book, as Joe mentioned. I mean, there's plenty of room in there for lots of signatures, lots of um, wishes of uh, good luck and um, good fortune. And again here, whether you're making them for yourself to use, whether you're going to be using them for trying out different products that you've got, whether you're going to be using them for getting creative with these, they are absolutely beautiful. And of course, the beauty is you can use them in so many different scenarios. You can stamp on them. You've seen that we can use a texture paste with these as well. You can draw with them. Um, so many different scenarios. And of course, the beauty of this bundle is not only are you getting the larger one there with your 4x4, four four, you're also getting your A5 as well as your 8 by 8s I love these little dinky ones. They just sit neatly within the palm of your hand. And I think it gives you a nice opportunity for you to try out those smaller ones. I think if you've tried these out once, as you will do with this bundle, you may well find yourself coming back for the bumper bundle where we've got eight of these featuring there. So if you are one of those people that want more of those smaller ones, then do check out that bundle. But I think with this one, you've got the best of all worlds, haven't you? Because you've got all three sizes there, $13.99 for those. I can hear you stop, Joe. I've stopped, I have. Now, um, so that's... Um, that's pretty much dried as much as it needs to be to, to carry on. Now, what I did do is um, I've gone ahead and uh, these are um, just um, hearty clay oh, okay, yes. uh, from uh, some of the Zuri moulds. I've been very, very lucky mm -hmm. to oh, obtain. Yeah, got a good selection of moulds here. Uh, oh, mm. yes, yes, yeah, absolutely. So, of course, um, with, <gasps> I know, I'm sorry. I'm going I've to got look away. I'm actually, look away for anybody that will be offended. I'm going to cut the bee in half, sorry. <laughs> but I've got a half for later. That's a good point, actually, <laughs> yes. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to put this just on to the side. That's why I'm doing half. Now, um, obviously, just um, well, that's crafty glue, as usual, just putting it on. Um, and Joe's um, using a lot of that's crafty products. Don't forget, yeah. we have got a brand section where you'll be able to find all of these. So, as you know, I, I really... Um, I really enjoy they using fabulous. them. I, they are, I have yeah, the little um, quality. I don't think they do it anymore. The selection pots, you know, like the smaller pots of all the different mediums yeah. and the crackles and everything. Yes. I think I um, doing it now. I think that we ought to, uh, I might have a word with Laura about that. I think that would be quite good a really to get nice that way back. To just yeah. They're nice to transport as well. Um, yes, so they are. When I come in and do my crafty shows, they're easy for me to bring. But they're a nice way of trying out the they different are. products before committing yeah. to the larger yeah. pots. Now, uh, so I'll just put this on to the base here. So this is going to be the back of it, but it doesn't matter. You can still so decorate the back as much as you can the front. And then um, I just need to go over with some um, some paint and I'm guessing the thing to be aware of as well is make be aware where your holes are because this is going to be the back cover yes. so if the holes were on the other side the right hand side then you wouldn't be able it'd be, everything would be upside down wouldn't it yes. when you come to put it on the back yes. so yeah just yeah. be aware yeah. of that yeah so um so we'll just pop now what I've got I've actually got some of my um, my rich craft the chalk paints uh, I just love Joe, the colour. Um, yes. Before you, you kind of put everything in place, can you do you want to just double check? Because Molly's just saying, and I'm just trying to think now. Is that going to be upside down when you put it onto the back of your book? Do you want to kind of just mock it up to start with? Because we think that maybe no, it, it could, could be. be. You're right, Molly. You've, you've, you really are. She is. That's why she's a director. She notices these things. So Thank I've got you, to Molly. It no, you no, 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 no. That's absolutely brilliant. Thank I you. I haven't I've said it, but I haven't figured it out in so my head. <laughs> yes. There's a bit of a delay. It's a bit like a satellite delay between my head and my mouth sometimes, and that was one of those situations there. <laughs> so, so we want it like that. Now, if you rotate it round, I think you'll be yeah. okay, won't you? Yeah. So if we, we want it like that, don't we? So you we? need the holes on the right-hand side, don't you? I do. Yeah. So if you but flip that so, over. So if I put... So if you lay it down on your mat with the holes on the right-hand side, that's where you were before, I think. If you rotate it... 
That's it, 180. There you go. I think you're OK there. Are we in agreement? We're in We've agreement now. We've got plenty now. of thumbs up now, because this is, this is a huge commitment of mine, getting Joe to change this demonstration. <laughs> Does that make sense now? Let's have a look. So when you put it in place... Yeah, because if you book his face down... Yeah, so it's going to be that way when it's finished. Yes, which is right, isn't it? The decorations yeah. on the outside. Is that that's where yeah. you wanted it to so be? So I want. I actually need the the. Um, so I the way need. Around, isn't it? I think. We won't put the butterfly on. How's <laughs> that? Oh no! <laughs> no, we'll put it on last. <laughs> we'll put the butterfly on at the end. I'll oh, bless you, Joe. It's all right because actually the butterfly is just an added bonus. <laughs> okay. It's just an added bonus. I think it's confusing because it, it obviously is. You've got it's the because we've got the, the yeah, box face up yeah, with the cover, but yeah. when you actually put it face down, I think. No, don't worry because actually the actual technique or the actual decoration, it, it, it's nothing to do with the butterfly <laughs> actually, but it was just a but bit of a bonus. To, you can add to it over because time the butterfly anyway. looked lovely on it. So, oh, yeah. I feel dead guilty so no, now. no, please don't because. <laughs> I would have been cross with myself if I've got that butterfly stuck. It's, it doesn't matter how I do this. It's just making sure the butterfly and the bee well, is, is the it. right like way around. Like you say, you can finish this off, get it in place can, on your book and then add the embellishment. Yeah, I can. So, now, because this is quite... Um, because I've put a reasonable amount of, of um, the fine texture paste on the top, so I'm needing to sort of go in a little bit. So I'm not using my best brush. What paint are you All using? Right. It's a lovely I've actually, colour. Yeah, it's beautiful, actually. It's the, uh, the rich craft that we did the oh, other week. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's coming back in I August. Did. I noticed those um, shows in the schedule. So, yes. yeah, I'm hoping that I get some of those. Oh, yes, I hope so, because they're oh, fantastic. I can't wait. Can't wait. It was such a popular show. Mm. Um, we should be getting it any day to start doing our sample work. So I'm hoping so. It's very exciting. Lovely. I did offer to go to Turkey to fetch it, but no, I'm oh. joking. But no, I'm jo we no. might not get you back at the moment. That's no, the actually, you might not. Yeah. So that's not a good idea. No, We're I not wouldn't. willing to risk it. I wouldn't go. I'm joking. No. Now, the, what I wanted to show was, it's like a stone effect, isn't it? This is what you can see here. This is what, um, this is what I wanted to show you. So um, you can do it as light, as dark. So this actual colour is... Do, 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 I've got it here somewhere. Paris linen. Oh, I know. terribly posh. So Turkey, Paris, Ooh, Munich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's the song. Oh, it is. Yeah, pop music. I just re yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm Oh, that was a while ago, oh, wasn't it? it? Yeah. <laughs> and I bet Jimmy doesn't even know that one, do you? No. <laughs> right, so this dries really quickly. And then what I want to do is I want to show you how we can just um, put some of the age in. And this is, this is actually a rich craft um, product. Um, it's actually the antiquing cream. Um, just, just great fun to just have a little go with. Love it. If you don't like the um, the idea of putting the antiquing cream on, don't. Just just leave it as it is. Maybe dry brush over the top with um, a little bit of a different colour if you wanted just to pick that detail up. It would be lovely to dry brush over because you've got all this fantastic texture going on. Oh, right. I have a fabulous so, question come through. Sandra's oh, e um, emailed in. I do love it when you come up with your questions because oh, quite often there's scenarios that I've, I've not even thought about. Um, she wants to use the mount board, which of course is similar to the grey board that we've yes. got on the covers here, yep. so it's kind of um, relevant at the moment. If um, Sandra wants to use her sprays, is she best to gesso the covers before she gets the sprays out? Will the sprays be absorbed into that grey board? Yes. Now then, two reasons for doing that. A, because it would be less absorption. Yeah. Um, which would it, it? It's still a fantastic grey board, but like it's grey board. It so if you put surface, moisture, porous, it does, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but also um, by gessoing it, whether she gessoes it in white or black, it will then um, um, have. So you've got then the colour is uh, you've got a base yeah. like a white or a black base Using rather than a grey base. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. You're going to use less spray. Mm -hmm. You're going to get the more of a truer colour of the spray, especially if you go with white. Wonderful. So it's Sandra, a great so, question. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, good question. I do so, appreciate uh, yes. you taking the time. Thank you very much. So, any more questions like that? Do get in touch. Studio at Yeah. Joe mentioned also, she is back again a little bit later on. Did you say two o'clock? Two o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Two o'clock today, and then I've got a little sneaky, crafty one uh, uh, tomorrow at 
11. Oh, fabulous. Not with pink pig, but with um, 13 arts, yes. Lovely. They snook that one in. Snuck it in. <laughs> I love uh, it. I it's keeping me out of mischief Once at the moment. You, we don't let you go. Um, no. I know tomorrow, I think you're up with the Leonie at 11 o'clock. Oh, know she loves really? these. So, yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, Do you know, we haven't hour. worked oh, actually sorry, Leonie's together. Leonie's today. Sorry, get myself mixed up. 2 o'clock today, Leonie's up with the, um, the pink um, Oh, is pink, she? Pink pig, so she, yes. Excellent. We haven't worked together. We've seen each other, but we haven't worked together. For mm -hmm. she might absolutely well bring some ages. In. So lovely. Smashing. And Jenny's in the studio today, isn't I she? Know. Oh, oh, it's a lovely, lovely, it's always, lovely it's day. It's always a lovely, lovely day. Time. You've just got to hunt people out now, though, because we're all in different rooms and everything. <laughs> so <laughs> social <laughs> distancing. <laughs> <laughs> we need like one of those tracking things on, you know, like MO, MO5 or somebody's got, like, a, there probably is one upstairs in management somewhere, literally tracking us around the building, <laughs> yeah. knowing where we are. <laughs> <laughs> right, so um, you can see um, now, it's, it looks quite dark, but uh, now this is very, very few times I ever use um, a baby wipe these okay. days, because you'll always see me using my cloth and everything. But I must say, it is really good to use it for this. Okay. Because, um, for lots of different reasons, it's I, just that I it's... I still um, like my baby wipes, because I use them like for sewing and things like that. Yeah, so, yeah, it, yeah it, I just try and, I just try and don't use them as much as, uh, yes. because of the, obviously, the environment purposes. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I still, I still do use it for this. So basically, when you're rubbing it back, what's going to happen is, obviously, the antiquing cream is going to sit into the, um, into the creases. I could do it a lot, lot heavier than this if I wanted to, that but I don't amazing. want to do really. It's like stonework. It is now. stonework, yeah. isn't it? It actually, Mark, Mark said to me the other day, he said, you know, it looks like you've done stone art from yes. Protex on yeah. it. And, um, and it does. And it's like as if it's, if it's giving it a faux. Um, a stone artifact on it actually. Fabulous. Um, so just giving it a wipe over like so and then of course you can do as much or as little as you want that's that's the key if you wanted it darker obviously put more antiquing cream on if you wanted it lighter then not as much and then um, just need to give it a very very quick dry before I then dry brush it but then what I would do is I would dry brush over just to pick up the um, finer detail mm, but, okay. um, but if you keep it in the natural colours it's really um, quite um, quite lovely now while I'm just doing that if I just show you here what I've also done is on the front cover is I've actually used um, it's my that scrap of stencil with my, my words for journaling actually and I've just put in there you can see ideas story life um, creative and then art at the bottom and it looks as if it's actually been chipped into it yeah very so I thought that was just another little idea just coming up with different ones really yeah. so uh, so that's dry dries ever so quickly so it's not a um, a big problem and then we just go, this is all, there's hardly anything on this brush at all. And then just build up and build up and build up. I don't, you know, um, you, you know how, how to dry brush. I can't um, believe, Molly's just told us we've got 15 minutes left. Really? Oh my goodness. That's silly. That it is silly. Are you pulling, you watch, are you please, pulling Molly? your leg? Are you pulling out? <laughs> <laughs> right, it's a little bit too. So if you just go over, and again, this will all depend on how much or how little. Now, little areas like this look, if I just very, very carefully just nip over that with a, the, ti the tiniest bit of paint, and also in this corner look, look how, look how that pops out, look. That kind of it's gorgeous, it, yeah. isn't it? It really is quite smashing. And yeah, just another idea. Peaceful. And it's, um, it would, I think this would make a lovely, without, obviously you've got the words on, but without the words, maybe a telephone um, yeah. uh, 
a yeah. directory or Beautiful. putting your business cards in or Wonderful. you know now, things joe because we're yes. running out of time i'm no going to very problem. quickly do a little bit of a recap i'm going to let you Absolutely. kind of get to your next stage because i'm guessing the cover's going to go in place in a little while but yes it is yeah the book that um, joe's been working with is the eight by eight that you've got in this first bundle that we've been chatting about so you've got obviously your three different sketchbooks coming together the quality of the cardstock inside is amazing we're looking at 270 um kind of all-purpose cardstock that you've got in here so you can watercolor you can stamp you can use your alcohol markers on this, your texture paste as well, um, all those fabulous mediums, but half the stock, did you say half the stock? Oh, over 40%, I do apologise. Um, it'll be half the stock before we get to the end of the hour, just saying, just getting in there early. Um, so you've got your 8x8s, you've also got your A5, and then of course you've got your 4x4s. So that is a fabulous bundle, 13 99 very affordable. If you want to go larger, then you've got to pick a mix with these, and you can choose any two. Could be two repeats of the same if you want wanting to, so you might want to go for a couple of the ambers, or you might want to mix your amber up with your turquoise. Turquoise has been a very popular one, and then of course you've got, you've got your black there and you've got your white now the pages within all of these are those light pages that we've just been looking at so your white pages throughout all of those but again amazing value for money 18.99 good open area as well for you to decorate so if you want something that's got a larger scale to give you plenty of room then there you go details are there so 481121 18 pounds and 99 pence for two of those but then you've got your landscape books as well now again it's the same content within each of those covers so you don't have to think oh now hold on i want this particular paper so I can only go to that size it's more about the size of these than it is about what's in the covers because it's exactly the same so here you've got your landscape or indeed you could turn them into portrait if you want to they don't have to be landscape but again you've got the grey board cover so the grey board covers make these a little bit more affordable potentially than the ones that we saw with the inclusions because you haven't got kind of the decorative element that you would have with the others but this does give you the ability to make your own decoration with regards to the covers whether you're using your papers and you're using them in a landscape way whether you're using them for um, kind of like a, a little photo journal maybe of a baby's first year potentially um, you've got lots and lots of content that you aren't going to be able to create with these and again being those boards with grey boards you can do the kind of techniques that we've just seen Joe working with a few moments ago again the pages are all white all waiting for you to add that gorgeous colour and detail to so if you fancy those ones 846 614 is the item number now if you want to go smaller the 4 by 4s they're all coming together in this one because you are getting 8 of these 40% of the stock has gone of these and they are very popular because not only are they perfect for you to use for kind of cataloguing and, and looking after and getting organised because of course that's exactly what we saw with a couple of these from Jo she's got the little storage element there she's keeping those little, little mini stencils in um, and of course she has got the ability with uh, one of these to, to keep kind of cataloging all the different sprays and spritzers and things that she's got but then you've got your practical ability with these to turn them into excuse me <laughs> it's a little tiny sneeze thing. I was conscious of the fact I didn't want to sneeze over anything that was here so yeah I think I contained that so sorry very delicate little sneeze there um, you've got your notebooks <laughs> Highly amusing. There you go. So yeah, if you wanted that one, three one eight zero six one. I've got another one brewing. So very quickly, let me show you these. You've got your grey board. You've got your grey board in your A five. Details popping up on your screen if you want it. No, I think it's past. We're all right. Um, so you've got your forty boards in total for ten ninety nine five zero six seven six four. And then the other way you can get hold of your grey board is with this bundle here, where you've got your mix of all sorts. So you've got your A five, you've got your eight by eight, your six by sixes, and your four by four all of this loads and loads of that for just 12 pounds and 99 pence and hand back over to Joe now so <laughs> right. that, jo. yes, no problem at all <laughs> now um, when you put in um, your books back together so you've got it all open again okay so it's all open from when it was before now what you have to do is you have to think about it the wrong way around okay all right all oh, the times many I've done this Hayley honestly I've got it all together and I've thought <laughs> You silly, silly girl. So what you need to do is you need to put your back page on first. So you're going to pop your, going to put your spirals on through like so. Right, it's really, really straightforward to do. Try not to make it a big, big, um, a big problem here. You do need to ju uh, just pop your um, closures. Just you can see how easy that is. Look, can't you? And then just pop that back and then that will go into the back there like so. 
All Perfect. right, so that's your back page. And then obviously, if you, um, with regards to putting the rest of them on, if you wanted to put them all on together, obviously, you want to, you've, you've, you've finished with all of these pieces and, and everything else. So if we go back, okay, now that's at the back there. Just bear with, let me just, and then you roll, roll that round. There we go. I tell you what, if I take this, this, this one off. Let me just do it all together. I wasn't going to do it all together, but I will do because I've got a minute and the time. Yeah, all right. You've yeah. Probably got, ooh, probably Sorry. Six, I think. Oh, six or oh. seven. Oh, well, I can just take your time. Take my time then. So, <laughs> so we'll do it in order then. So we want this one on first. So make sure that you've got it on uh, the right way round. That's it. So when that rolls round, that's going to be like that. Okay. And you yeah. have to do that. When you do it, I love that. Do you have to bend your knees in the same yeah, way you as you do. just did? Exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember the first time I got one of these and I took it all apart and I thought, what did I do that for? <laughs> Why did I do that? So then you've got, obviously, you've got your front you cover on there. You can do a little practice run, can't you, there? That's right. Once yeah, so. it's lovely, isn't it? And I'm going to leave this one out because I'm going to use, we're going to play around with that one in the next hour. Lovely. And so we'll put that one right now then. So if I put, here we go, put that there and it goes there. That's it. See? You can do a dry <laughs> run before you commit it That's to That's right. Just time, pretend. Yeah. You know, like we do when we're little. And that's it. I'm and still then, pretending with a lot of things. Oh, I, now, Jo. My life, I just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so then just push, just hold them together. Just push them together. If for any reason you do have any problems then I um, you can always just get something just to push it on a little bit okay yeah. I actually you know you'd really would need to be seriously struggling not to be able to do it and it's nice because okay. you're kind of working in little segments you can see that you're kind of putting two in place yeah. at oh, a that's time what I'm yeah. Doing. yeah so if you just do a couple and then if you pinch. just do a little bit and then just do it again, then that's absolutely fine. Look at so that. then, of course, what we've got now is we're going to do that in, in the next hour. So, so we're now we've got it. We've got our front cover that we did. And, of course, we've got all our pages and everything. And then we've got our... It's still, still a little bit damp on that back bit. That's it. That's it. And then, of Look course, we've got that. our back cover there. Isn't that so, beautiful? And, and that and back we, cover was just grey. It the was. Of the hour. Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. So, and it really took hardly any materials. Um, I will put that um, when, when uh, in fact, I can put it on and then I can colour it up um, when that's stuck down. Okay, so that's no Lovely. problem. And we can put the little bee... Oh, it's going to be upside it might down. Be the other half that you said that you'd be able to save and use on another project. There you go. Use it sooner than we. I've been really dim this morning, haven't I? <laughs> it's kind of, it's the <laughs> Don't email in and say, "Cool, Joe, you're it's being dim." It's the rotating dim. and the flipping yeah, that's so, um, yeah, confusing me. If you excuse the expression. So then pop that at the top there, so it looks as if it's flying off the page. Lovely. And then what I will do with this is I will paint it. Give it a little bit of the Paris linen over the top and then just rub over some of the antique cream. Still about six minutes. If you did want to do it now, you can do. Or oh, can if you I? Want to can make I do it? that? Yes. Oh, that's yes. fantastic. Thank Plenty you. If you don't mind, that'd be lovely. Mm. Thank you. Oh, I feel as if... <laughs> it's lovely. Not at there all. There we I'm go. No issue at all. Yeah. So, and again, just to recap, this is your, your hearty um, clay. That yeah, this is the hearty clay. Um, so, of course, it air dries. I did um, do it um, in the mould yesterday and then just left it to dry. Um, and don't worry if you just go over. You can see I'm going over. Mm -hmm. don't, don't worry about that because you're going to go back in with the antiquing cream in a few minutes. Lovely. Um, just to give that... Um, uh, the, the finish off and that will then go underneath as well and so go down the sides as well because you, you don't necessarily have all your crafting goodies at the same time so you no, might just be getting right. started yeah. just getting started potentially maybe this is the first time that you've invested in your pink pig um, sketchbooks and you, you may have already have a stencil at home so you can build this design up course, and then as time yeah. goes on you'll be buying additional bits and pieces say potentially the moulds to create the elements that Joe's working with which just shows you you can add to this as time goes mm. on so it might be an odd button that um, you find or oh, a broken lovely. earring. All those lovely. different things could be added as time goes on. And the quality of the covers will allow you to do that. So it it's not will. a case of that once they're dried, that's it. You can't do anything no, more. No, absolutely not. In fact, I've, I've added a lot um, to some of my pages. 
um, some of my front covers and my pages as well. Sometimes um, I use, like, like we all do, and especially Naomi, of course, um, um, we pick up a lot of our uh, uh, stencils that we haven't quite used all yeah. the ink off. We've got ink on here. Yeah, yeah. I tend to have a book around um, and then create all the backgrounds in it, which is lovely. And but I even think... so, you can add into it. You can stick into it and as I, well, like I a scrapbook. I don't know if it's Leone or whether it's Lou, who's basically... Well, you know how sometimes you say, well, put a piece of photocopy paper down to protect your surface? They've actually spritzed embellishments and things on top of a page. Oh, yes. And use that to start building up your next oh, page. Oh, yeah, yeah, smashing. So, yeah, yeah um, it's Leone. She's got a big, one of the bigger books. Oh, right. Well, yeah, she's, she's got one of the, the really big books. And she she uses it as actually, as a like a desk. Yes. yes, clever idea. So it is a lovely idea. Yeah, um, it is. Those larger um, ones, incidentally, you can get two of those. They're 11 inches square, um, and you're getting them both for 18.99. And you choose, you decide. Could be a couple of the amber, might be amber and the turquoise. The turquoise one is the one that's most popular. So if that is your choice, you need to be so equipped with that sooner rather than later. And of course, you've got your white and your black in there, all with your white pages. So yeah. there you go. Might they they are them. super, and don't be afraid of the size of them. Yes. Yeah. You know, um, I have to say i don't know whether you want to grab that one at the back there Kayleigh. that's well, actually a proper that's that is actually a um oh, just got some scrap that pages in yeah now this. that's um yeah so that one is um uh, i'm actually doing i've got some scrapbook right. pages it's a work in progress in. Oh, yeah wow. i just add on it's not a specific scrapbook it's not something say for a holiday for yes. a for a wedding it's just for, when you feel, feel it's the need. just when i just feel like doing a page and the thing is you know? as well what you've got here you've got the ability you've shown us how easily you can take those covers on and off oh you yes. can actually take the pages out here and kind yeah. of put them into different books as time goes on yeah um, what a fabulous accolade there to those trips i love it there you go so yeah. you could be potentially making this into your your, your journal um, of your there trips and your holidays or your plans as well let's face it many of us um, won't be going um, necessarily too far this year with regards to our holidays so why not plan for that trip of a lifetime maybe you're thinking well I'm gonna leave it for a year why or not? two um, and uh, get myself ready do your research get all that information together mm. and put into your, your albums as well I'll tell you what they are fantastic for the bigger books is to give in a bride to be oh yeah mm. yeah I know yeah. a couple of ladies I know that have purchased them for that reason that's reason. a nice idea because you can put yes. all like your menus yes. and your, your different yeah and also and if things. you're expecting a baby as well you could put idea. your different bits and Good pieces indeed. in so there you go so there we've got now you can see there we've got i've just put the um, the antique in cream oh, on the top beautiful. and you just go all over the top and then you literally just wipe back beautiful so you can see there, you've got all that beautiful dimension that and, uh, and interest. And of course that will dry lovely. And it won't buckle. This is the thing. These are quality. They Absolutely really are beautiful. quality. Wonderful. Yeah. Perfect timing as well, because we've got about thank a minute you. left. Thank so you. So there you go, Joe. Thank you so much. Joe's my gonna pleasure. Be back at two o'clock with Leone. And of course Leone will add her own testimony she as will. with regard to these books because <laughs> she used them time and time again. So you can see we've got lots of different opportunities. We look got the details on the screen again for the same size book that Joe has been working with. But on this occasion you have got your kind of um, it's almost like your handmade papers that have been used for the front cover. You still got your board cover so you've still got the quality with these but of course you have got the added advantage that it's almost started off with that gorgeous detail which of course you can enhance if you want to been very popular at 13.99 you've got your larger versions with your 11 by 11s and of course we've got a whole selection uh, with regards to your grey board covers and of course those grey board kind of blank pieces as well so if you want to make something that's more freestanding then you can do but of course all beautifully demonstrated by the lovely joe joe thank, thank you. you again inspiration always a pleasure always. Thank always, you. Always is. Look forward to seeing Joe again here. Thank so you. make sure you do come back at two o'clock with Leone this time. But don't forget, Leone is here. Um, she's presenting again. She's back up in the next hour with a lovely Gary from Ajuki. So they're going to be chatting at sewing machines. That will mean that um, we'll be able to get an entry for that prize draw. I think you only got half that sentence. But anyway, what I was saying is we've got the prize draw entry um, for the next hour. Dukey sewing machines. Then we're going all quirky with Christmas and uh, hobby art before we're looking at the one day special.
Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi buy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies. We have colouring daubers. We have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Would you like to enter our biggest ever prize draw? Complete any purchase during any live show featured within our Summer Festival of Quilting event and you will receive automatic entry. Keep watching the shows as the mega bundle grows. Prizes will be added throughout the week and everything could be yours. The lucky winner will be announced at the end of the 4pm final call show on the 4th of August. Good luck. Hi, I'm Julie and I'm Paula and together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Julie Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hello and welcome. It's lovely to have your company. Um, okay, I'm going to start with uh, telling you about the wonderful Summer Festival of Quilting, um, which is very exciting. We're running this till the 4th of August. Now, um, somebody is going to be exceptionally lucky because they're going to win a huge prize. It's the biggest prize we've ever given away on uh, the wonderful Achanda. In 
And almost every hour, bar this one, because Duke have already given us an overlocker. I think if they give us another machine, that would be ridiculous. Um, but in every hour of the, the, the sewing hours, the Festival of Quilt Hours, um, something will be added to this incredible growing prize. We've already got amazing fabrics um, from the wonderful K Fassi. Absolutely gorgeous. We've got an overlocker. This isn't the one on the show. We will be showing you the one on the show. But it's a cracking machine, and this is worth £600 from the amazing Duke who we'll be chatting to in a moment. We've also got um, a gorgeous jelly roll full of the most beautiful, and it's a mordor, um, full of the most beautiful autumnal, <laughs> auto I hate that word, um, autumn for colour palette there. Absolutely. But honestly, it's one of them I can't say. And then we've got that beautiful quilt. I love this. And look at all your fabric i love how they're all bundled up that's so cute okay now someone is going to be lucky and win all of this um it is growing every single hour um it is going to be growing all you need to do is order something now if you're ordering in every hour those multiple orders are going because it's per order so if you're putting say three orders in one show those will go in as three separate chances to win. I mean, this is quite a big deal when you think about it. Um, so please have a look, have a look what you're getting. Um, make sure you check your baskets out. Um, the, uh, the prize winner will be <laughs> a reset, that brain reset. Um, the, um, the prize winner is going to be told um, on the 4th of August, and that's going to be on the final call. How exciting is that? Can you imagine what the bundle's going to be like by the 4th of August? I mean, it's already amazing, and we're not even 24 hours in, so please check your baskets out. Now, we've already chatted about the incredible Juki because, of course, of course, we've already got an overlocker. However, however, we have got um, now this overlocker. Thankfully, I do not have to talk you through this. Uh, we've got the amazing Gary. We are going to be saying hi to him in a second. We're just getting our cameras over there. But this is an amazing system. This is um, um, an overlocker, but actually you've got the um, the air. It, it's actually, in order to thread it, that's the word I'm after, it's actually an air system. Gary is going to be showing you how to do this. So, Because when you look at it, when you look at a, an overlocker, it looks kind of scary, doesn't it? And when you open it up, it'll be like, oh my word, how do I thread that? But seriously, this machine has been designed to, uh, to be able to thread <laughs> ridiculously easy. And Juki is such a good brand. Uh, Gary is there. Phew, I can talk to Gary. Hiya, Gary. Good morning. Good morning. How are we doing? Oh, very well, thank you. It's a while since me and you worked together, oh, isn't it? As we were saying before the show, it's been a few years. Mm, it's absolutely, been a few. indeed. Uh, Juki are such a good brand. I mean, we were chatting about this before. They, they, they basically design and construct ma um, industrial machines, don't they, Gary? Absolutely. Well, over 40% of the world's manufacturing machines are made on the Juki, so uh, people do appreciate just their level of quality um, yeah. and their performance. And that is amazing. And obviously they've got heritage, because is it about 80 years they've been going? It is now, just over 80 years of manufacturing of pure sewing machines. That's wow. it. They, they actually started in the domestic market. A lot of people think they started on the industrial machines, but they did actually start with the domestics first, moved on to the industrials, developed the industrial market and a lot of features there and thought, hang on a minute, we can put industrial features on our domestic machines. Yeah. So, and then that's when they upgraded, obviously, their domestic machines with industrial features. And again, performance-wise, as, as we've seen before, and as we're going to hopefully show you again very shortly, of how well it copes with just all your different fabrics, how nice it is to use, the smoothness, the quietness, mm. and just the quality of sewing. So yeah. you know, that's going to be great to see in the next hour. Amazing. And I mean, there's such an investment. I'm, I'm just going to give you numbers on what you're going to get and then hand back over to Gary because obviously I am not the expert here. Although I have seen the overlocker, it has been a few years, me and Gary um, have worked on another channel in a past life and I must admit when we had the overlocker it was like oh my gosh because it does when it's all you know all your your threads are up it looks quite <gasps> intimidating but Gary just goes zoop and it's so easy but he'll show you all of that. So within this you're getting your overlocker so think about um, you know those difficult to sew materials 
Think about things that need that stretch. Think about when you look at a professional seam, the, your, you know, your clothes that you've bought, have a look at the, the actual, you know, your seams. Mine are actually just normal on this one, but so many are uh, using the overlocker. Um, it is a really, it's one of those systems that if you are into so, and if you want those professional finishes, this is what to go for. Now, you've got your bonus thread. You've actually got 10,000 meters of bonus thread. So this is gonna last. I love that it's in the white and the, the beautiful ivory there, because obviously that's your basics, isn't it? It's the ones that you're gonna use all the time. I like that. You know, when it's a free bit, it could have been like the colors that they needed to get rid of. Instead, it's the colors that you are absolutely going to use. Now, you're making a massive 100 pound saving on this, which is a big saving. Obviously, this is a considered purchase. Of course it is. Um, £994.99. We have got your three flexes, so you can split it over those three months. £331.66. Um, it is a really good system. 780142, that's your item number. Okay. That's all the bits, enough of me, our Gary. So, for starters, tell us all about the overlocker, Gary. Why do we need it and how easy is it to use? Right, well, everybody needs an overlocker. <laughs> uh, for construction, for sewing, patchwork, quilting, soft furnishing, even just general repairs and alterations. It makes life so much easier, so much quicker, and the performance it gives you is that professional finish on there. But so, with a lot of people at home with overlockers, the things they do struggle with is playing around with tensions for different types of fabric and also then setting the machine up in the first place. Well, hopefully, welcome back if you were all here for the first hour when I was here, and hello to everybody who's joining us for the first time. First of all, I'm going to start with the overlocker, where I finished last time, and then we're going to move on to the sewing machine side, and so we're just going to have a little bit of a swap around. With the overlocker, this the main features on there which we can hopefully just run through quickly on here and the number one is the threading that's what we all we all sit back and we, oh no i don't want to thread my overlocker i've known people just keep to one color don't ever change i've known people to buy a second overlocker to have no. them set up in different colors yeah this <laughs> solves all of those problems so first of all what i'm going to do is just snip uh, snip uh, exactly it. Like so that, that there'll be people who've got an overlocker who've never done that in their life. And if you can, what are you doing <laughs> that? Why, why are you not knotting on and pulling through? Well, that's not always a good idea because obviously they can get stuck, the threads can break, but also it can pull it out of the tensions as well. So you're always best to thread an overlocker from scratch to make sure it's correct on there. So what we're going to do is literally a big catch tray on the front that just pops off. Okay. I'm going to lift the presser foot up. There's two reasons for that. One thing, the machine now will not work, so it's a good safety feature on there. And second of all, means any threads now through the machines, I can just pull out and discard oh, wow. on there. That's so easy. just get rid of those. Now, uh, threading the overlocker, we're going to open the front flap. And again, as soon as any of the doors are open, the machine has a safety feature. So any moving parts, you know, fingers are not going to be inside while they're moving. So a good feature that way. Also, the side opens on the overlocker as well, so we can get right through. So wow. cleaning for maintenance sides as well. Obviously, with an overlocker, you get a lot of fluff, build up, threads. So maintenance side on the Juki overlocker, very, very simple that way. So setting the machine up to thread. First of all, we've got a lever at the front here, so we just flick that up into place, and then we turn the balance wheel on the machine over and it will just lock itself into place. There's no specific for that, it will automatically do that for you. Once that's done, we're now ready to thread the two loopers. And as everybody knows, it's the loopers which really cause more of the problem. And yeah. on most overlockers, you do have to thread the loopers in a specific order. Well, actually, you have to thread the whole machine in a specific order. But with the MO2000, we don't have to. I'm just going to take the first thread, because it's there, under the guide at the back, through the built-in tensions, in through the guide, and then we've got two threading holes for the loopers. We've got the red and the blue. So first of all, we're just going to keep it in line with the tension. So that would be then the red one, which I'm then just going to take the end of the thread. That will then just locate into the hole, like so. And then all we do is just press the button just for a couple of seconds. Done. So that's my first one threaded. See, it's always magic. Nice oh, and easy, I exactly. I've seen that for years, As Gary. near as we get there, you know, that's it. You haven't seen that for a long time, haven't you? Bring back all those memories, that's oh, great. Oh, it's fabulous. <laughs> so now we're going to take the second one, and then down through, this time it's the blue, down behind the guide, and then into the second hole, 
Again, we just take the end. All I'm doing is it's about a centimetre just over high, there, or about half an inch. So, and again, it just pokes into the hole. Okay. Again, we just press the button, a couple of seconds, Boom. and there we go. That's our looper. See, done. that is so, like magic. <laughs> yeah, it's just how you remember that, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Nice and easy on there. <laughs> so, once that's done, we then got our two needles. So, from there, I'm going to take off the looper threading, so I'm just going to flick the lever down. Also, by the way, you do get a very good instruction manual. It's a proper book as well, no download or anything like that. And obviously, there is um, all our helplines. We're here to back you up, uh, look after you, any questions or queries. And it does come with a DVD as well, so you've got a good visual there. Excellent. So, once the lever's down, one thing the cameras are not set up to see, but there is a little mark on the side of the balance wheel, and it's, it's very visual, so you can easily see it. And all that's doing is putting the needles in the highest position, because we have got built-in needle threaders as well on our overlocker. Oh, wow. So again, not just the loopers making it easy, we can actually, for the threading of the needles as well. So I'm going to take my next thread, this time it's the green, exactly the same through the tension. This bit then goes across, it's colour-coded green, over the top, through the guide. This is not a lot of difference from any uh, sewing machine, really. You've got Take up lever, check spring, tensions, guide above the needle, and then the eye of the needle. So once that's done through the guide, the needle threader is this little lever here. So we can flick it over to the right or left. So at the moment I'm doing the right hand needle. Pull the lever down, it just locks itself into position. I don't need to use both hands for that. Once it's there, I just hook my thread onto the threader. The lever then just pops up, and there we go. That's, that's so cool. Needle done. So, that's your right hand needle, we just pull the tail through. That is so good. Nice and quick. Especially and when you've got two needles, because that could be proper. Exactly. Tricky. It's not just one needle we're dealing with, it is the two yeah. needles there. So, they are normal domestic flat sided needles, the same as all your domestic sewing machines, so there's nothing special on there. Yeah. And then over, this time, we are doing then the left hand side, so through the left hand guide, left hand guide. And then with the needle threader, we're just flicking it over to the left, lock it into position, hook the thread, and then that's that done. That's and that's so your whole clever. overlocker threaded. Boom. So obviously, if we're using it, I can do the overlocker as a two thread, I can do it as a three thread, it has four thread, three thread roll hem. So there's a lot of variations on that. At the moment, I've just threaded it up as four thread, so all four threads there. At that point now I'm going to put the presser foot down, so I've now got tensions on my thread. I'm going to close the doors up, like so, and then with all these tails, what I'm going to do is just turn it over a couple of times by hand to lock the stitches in. And what a lot of people don't like doing, because again, a bit wary of the threads pulling out through the needle or, yes. or jamming and locking up, but I am actually going to cut all those tails off as close as I can. Wow. Yeah, oh. that would be scary normally and as well. that is it. Sort of just that worrying factors. But again, yeah. you don't want tails there. You don't want them to get yeah. caught into your sewing or anything yeah. like that. And then, catch straight, that just clips back on the front, like so, and now we're all ready to go. Wow. So, See, that's so quick, isn't it? And that's the thing. It saves you time. It's quick. It's easy on setting the machine up. Then, also, what you don't want to do is then have to fiddle and play for different types of fabric. I should want to know whatever type of fabric I'm using, whether I'm constructing, whether I'm just neatening, I should better just pick it up and sew it. Yeah. So, what we've done, again, just as a quick test on here, Calico. Very everyday, 100% cotton, doesn't stretch, doesn't move, anything should sew that without an issue yeah. at all. So we've got it under the foot, literally everything now this side of the plate, the cutting blade is here, it's going to remove. So nice and smooth, it doesn't vibrate, it doesn't bounce, full metal chassis inside, DC motors are very smooth, controlled, it won't just race away. Yeah. So literally two layers of cotton. Oh, it's a lovely, Straight quiet on. machine, Gary. Thank you, yeah. That's, again, the sign of the build, the quality, the performance that way. There's no rattling, there's no vibration. Yeah. Again, which a machine shouldn't do when you're using it. So, and even when I'm going through tougher fabrics, denim, heavy duty denim, to about a 10 ounce denim, that one. So, straight from calico, straight to denim. So, again, I'm not going to touch anything at all. And it's cutting as well. It's cutting and sewing at the same time. And then from there, so it's cutting, seaming, and overlocking. So, we're doing three operations in one. Wow. And again, this always saves you so much time, more professional. And then, Using those fabrics, no sewing machine likes, or hardly any sewing machine likes. Lycra, two-way stretch <laughs> nylon lycra. No moves one likes all over lycra. The place. <laughs> it slides, it slips, it puckers, it moves. Yeah. And if you actually look commercially, 
anything made out of this fabric, generally a sewing machine wouldn't touch it. It would all be done on an overlocker. Yeah. And with this one, so I've gone from denim, now straight on to two-way stretch nylon lycra. Again, I'm adjusting nothing at all. Mm. And this is going to go straight through. An, an overlocker, Gary, for lycra, uh, is it recommended because it allows the stretch? Uh, the, uh, the idea with women, again, as I said before, we can use a two thread, a three thread and a four thread. A full thread will give you the two rows of stitching, which gives you full elasticity. So, yeah. as you say, absolutely fantastic for lycra, for stretch, for jersey. A four thread overlocker, full elasticity, double seam, double strength. So yeah, yeah that that is a must. On so that. if you yeah, if, so for dance costumes, for oh, anything absolutely. like that, dance costumes, like leotards, dance obviously um, for gym wear as well. The last thing you want to be doing is cyclist. Is cyclist. Let's face it. Yeah, how many times <laughs> yeah, you're behind the, the cyclist in the back of their shorts is split. You don't want to see that. Obviously, it's not been done on a proper overlocker. So <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's, it's having the right tool for the job. Job, but yeah. also then having a tool which will do multiple jobs, yes. i.e. not just one type of fabric. Yeah. Another well, thing is construction. Obviously with like heavyweight vinyl leather, yeah. it doesn't fray, doesn't move, um, no stretch, so why would I need an overlocker? Well, generally, with vinyls and making bags and that, you construct with it. Yes. So why not construct with an overlocker? Again, it will cut any waste off. I've not adjusted anything, even though I'm going straight onto vinyl. I'm going to run that straight through. Again, it doesn't strain the machine at all. Yeah. You can tell it's running very smoothly through. Crystal Organza, wow. completely opposite type of fabric yeah. on there. Very sheer, slippery, shiny, frays like anything. Yeah. Just again, run that straight through. Wow. So from one to the other, again, just showing you that performance level where you shouldn't have to fiddle, you shouldn't have to yeah. play with your own locker. So from one to the other, I'm just going to run that through and cut the tail off. Look at that. And now, we have just a, a small selection of fabrics on there. So first of all, we've got crystal organza. Yeah. Again, perfect. Open the seam up on the inside. Look hasn't at that puckered seam. It, hasn't pulled it on there. That is absolutely spot on. on that. So yeah, thank you. So again, that's what it should be though. Yeah. It's the, yeah. And then construction, vinyl, levers, hardware in fabric. Look at again, that. If you want those strong seams on there, that will really yeah. give you that two rows of stitching for extra strong. And so I can really give that a good pull. That's yeah. not going to come apart at all. Very, That's very really powerful good. seam. Lycra. Again, there's something where you really need a strong seam. <laughs> Especially <laughs> so, as everyone's been encouraged to get their old bikes and out. And this is it. We're all out on our bikes again now. So I want to do that bit more exercise instead of staying indoors. Lycra. Two-way stretch. That's very, very. I can't stretch that anymore, really, without breaking. And actually, the when you first did there. that, I couldn't even see the join then. And at that's first. the nice thing about it. Even though I've used a complete contrast of thread, I've got gold thread on a yeah. turquoise like, and you still can't even see the stitches on that. That's really good. Going on to denim again, perfect seam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the back, it does give you again. It's quite nice with the denim colour with the gold on there. It's yeah, quite like good. That. Yeah. <laughs> and then just your everyday colour, calico, cotton. Yeah. Again. No puckering, no pulling, absolutely perfect seam. That's amazing. And again, this is why we love an overlocker, because it makes a professional finish on there. But the difference is between having an overlocker, I can just get on and go without having to fiddle around. But knowing that, I can set it up, threading, changing the colours to match my fabrics instead of keeping to one different type of, of thread. Oh, I can mess around. I can use floss threads. I can use decorative threads. I haven't got to stick to just an overlock thread on there. Amazing. So, Obviously, just with that quick performance, I know from the last hour, the hour just went so quick, I just sort of run out of time. So hopefully I'm not speaking too fast and going too quickly. But one more thing we'd like to show you on, while well, I've got the overlocker in front of me as well, is then changing it into a free thread. Okay. Why do I need a free thread? Well, a four thread, you say, will give you two rows of stitching, so it gives you a bulkier, sl stronger stitch on there. If you want just a very fine neatening stitch, then all I need to do is remove the left hand needle so i'm going to cut the left hand thread okay people say well can i remove the right hand needle of course you can that's a new problem it will do a free thread on both needles but usually if i want a free thread i want a narrow neatening stitch so by removing the left hand needle um. i've taken the stitch narrow if i yeah. was to remove the right hand needle i'd leave the stitch wide right so yeah, i'm sense. just going to remove the left hand needle and i like that it's it's quite um obvious which one you need to you know remove that that's quite it's sensible isn't it's, it this is it and it is just there straight away in front of you 
And so have you physically taken, you've physically taken the needle out as well? I have. So if some right. people sort of say, do I need to take the needle out? Again, I would say to that as well, really, why would you leave it in? Because yeah. it's going to make a hole still. Yeah. And obviously it's going to weaken the fabric that way. But also, with the second needle there, obviously it can still catch the, third th the first thread. Right, um, yeah. So obviously it could give you loops of stitching. So I would try, uh, definitely every time, for, for the sake of undoing the screw, I would take the needle out cool. on there. And it's easy anyway. I mean, it's again, that only took you seconds. As quick and as easy as just dropping that out, loosening the screw, tying it back up again. Right. And now for free thread, so if we are just to neaten fabric, so again, this particular very yep. fine sheer fabric again, I like to pick uh, the awkward fabrics as such to say. Obviously, right. phrase like anything on there. So, construction with something like this, you may want to do your thread seams standard, you may need to do adjustments, so for like bridal wear, etc. that yeah. way. So, all I'd want to do before construction, I can just neaten the edges. So, by doing that, I'm just going to run that through. Again, I've touched nothing at all. All I've done is remove a needle. I've changed no tensions, adjustments. I'm just going to run that through. It's quick. Just well. to show you, then, a nice, neat, free thread, very narrow. Wow. Uh, on there. Yeah, that's so spot that will on. just give you a very quick neatening stitch. We've obviously I've taken the bulk of the second needle out. Yeah, yeah. But what I can do with that now, just by a flick of a switch, is turn that into a roll hem. Ah. So, if we look on the front of the machine here, we've just got a little lever. So what I'm going to do now is just flick that lever towards us, yeah. and now that's turned it into a roll hem. Wow, just like that. Just literally, just like that. So I'm going to start sewing again now without adjusting anything else at all and it will give me a roll hem. To be fair, with the roll hem on here, it's more like a P, what they call a Pico edge. Yeah. And that's an elongated roll hem. So what I'm going to do now is on the side we've got our stitched length control. I'm going to put that down to one, which then, like your sewing machine, it'll be a much closer, tighter stitch, so it's more of a satin stitch edge. And if I now run that through again, see, you this see is a big difference. And also, what I can do on some fabrics, on very fine fabrics, I want a nice tight finish on there. Throughout everything I've done, all the different types of fabrics, I've not touched the tensions at all. Yeah. Number four is my even tension. But what I want to do is a nice tight stitch. So, play with the tensions. I'm just going to turn now the right hand tension up to sort of seven and a half. Again, you can vary from fabric, it's a personal choice. Yeah. And then, if you're not quite sure oh, so yeah. what to do, on the front of the overlocker with the instruction manual, I can turn the pages till I then get to the roll hem, narrow seam, free thread roll hem, is exactly what I'm doing. Press the information, and it will actually then give me all of those instructions which I've just told you on Oh there. my gosh, so that's clever. So it's there in front of you, as well as the instruction manual, as well as the DVD. Yeah. It does give you that information screen there that's in front of you. brilliant. So, so if you put your instruction history, manual somewhere safe, don't panic. And that is quick as well, Gary. I think that's something that um, is a bonus. And now we see this as a raw edge, the roll hem finish, if we can get a nice close wow. up on that one. <laughs> it is that is amazing. Very fine. Again, there's no puckering, there's no pulling. So that gives you a very, very wow. neat roll hem. And again, obviously with a very lightweight chiffon. Yeah. I tell you what, Gary, that looks really decorative as well. You can, the, In them the, gold threads, that's that it, looks the raw so edges pretty. There. Um, it does give you that. Literally, you could leave that for scarves. Of course you could. Instantly making for scarves or yeah. something like that, no problem. Yeah. But even up in the ante and going to, again, going that crystal organza. I'm yeah. not going to change any settings. I'm going to whiz that through. I love it because it's, it's one of those machines you think, right, do I need this? And then you look at it and think, oh my gosh, yeah. And obviously this will give you a real contrast now with the purple and gold. And we can just have a little close look at that. Oh, I love that. And there, so again, you say use it as a decorative edge. Uh, that looks there, amazing. Absolutely no problems at all. Again, no puckering, no pulling, exactly how it should be. <laughs> Gary, that is so, so professional. Thank you. Well, again, the overlocker does it for me. Yeah. So, absolutely great that way. They say wow. the instruction manual is there. So, now when I want to go back to my normal sort of four thread, program it in. Four thread, it will then tell me to insert the needle back again. 
Uh, so it's very, very straightforward instructions on That's there. That's amazing, so Garrett. Garrett, thank you. Brilliant. Well, again, just a little bit more of what the overlocker can do, the performance, just that quality level on there for you. So. That's amazing. Amazing. Right, I'm going to remind everyone <laughs> what's... Thank you, Thank Gary. Thank you, wonderful. Um, okay, Gary, he's going to get set up to, to show you that sewing machine again, but if you want the overlocker, how amazing is that? The speed of being able to thread this system up is phenomenal. I mean, that must be one of the, the biggest selling points, because quite frankly, when you look at it, it's like I was saying before, when you look at an overlocker, like Gary was saying, I mean, it can be a bit scary, a bit daunting, and time consuming. I'm fiddly and a faff. This makes it so quick and so easy. I mean, it is quite magnificent. Um, you can create, and I love it because it's showing you on the front all your different variations of thread, all the different types of finishes. And when you've seen the quality of what it actually does, it is phenomenal. It isn't taking up too much space, which I really like. Um, it is one of those, though, you taking this, you're setting it up and just leaving it because obviously this is a workhorse. Remember, Duke. Um, they, they, they are responsible for manufacturing um, well machines that are used in factories all over the world and I think it's one of those brands that you absolutely can trust. So think that you've got that technology in a home machine I think is quite fantastic. Um, I love that it's now going to tackle all those really awkward, it's funny actually because I did say to Gary because obviously me being me, I never, I, you know, from one side to another, I don't really know what I'm doing. But I have bought, I went and bought this lovely sort of jumpsuit thing and it's all floating material and it's way too long for me. And I'm like, oh, I should have brought it in. <laughs> but it's okay, we're going to have a juke at a chandler so I can borrow it. Anyway, that's by and by. Um, if you do want to get hold of this, it's going to give you professional. I mean, it's going to give you those incredible results. You know you can trust the system. What I do love about it as well is you know you can trust Juki. They're going to be there if you get stuck, if you don't know. Um, you know, if there's any questions, you know you've got that support as well, which, of course, when you are spending a considerable amount, you need to know that you've got that, that um, support system there as well. It's an incredible machine, though, isn't it? Now, now, not only are you getting me a machine, you are getting 10,000 worth of threads. Um, that's your bonus that's thrown in there. You don't really need a bonus. Look what you're getting. You're getting a juke. Okay, if you do want to get hold of this, 780142 is your item number. You've got three payments, three, three, uh, 331 pounds and 66 pence. 780142 is your item number. Now, very quickly, um, we have got our electric scissors. Now, these are a bit clever so what you've got within the box you're going to get the the electric scissors itself you're going to get your two different blades um, for different types of materials and again you do get your instructions in there the blades just screw in and it they even give you a screwdriver don't they which I think is quite fabulous. I mean, that's quite a new, decent little screwdriver now. Um, you've also got now the charging units this is quite cool so you get your, your um, your rechargeable battery so that one it can be charging but then you get the one this is plug in so this is the one that you can use when you're at home this is the one that you you can use when you're not you know or you're in a workshop or you've taken it to a workshop how it actually works and it's interesting when we were talking about this earlier and i had a little go and you'll have to excuse me because um because I'm, I'm left-handed, but when I use scissors, I use my right hand. But weirdly with this, obviously, I could use left hand. But I don't know if I can get my head round cutting. Oh, I can, with my left hand. Oh, that's quite revolutionary. But I can use it with my right hand as well. That's ace. Now, it's only going, and Gary was saying this, it will only go as fast as you actually move your hand. So obviously, if you just want to take your time, you can do that. But if you want to wee, <laughs> that's way more satisfying, then you can do that as well. So, if I, oh, I'm going to just want to play, aren't I? When Gary's talking, when he's on the sewing machine, if you just hear these little noises, that's me <laughs> just cutting bits of fabric. Oh, how look 
look at that. Ooh, that's the smallest amount of fabric. Anyway, um, if you do want to get hold of those, so you have got the two blades, you've got the rechargeable unit there. Um, it's really portable, is that? So you could take it to your workshops and it is really good fun. Um, and obviously, it, it might look as though you're going to speed along, but you don't need to. Full instruction book there as well. Now, £168.99 is your price. I just want to play, I'm not going to lie. Two payments, £84.50. I like it as well. It's easy to change the battery all you need to do is unscrew there and take that sorry not the battery the actual blade which is really really handy as well lovely piece of kit and um, 319 is your item number I like those and um, have a look at the website achanda.com remember if you are purchasing in this hour you are going into um, that fantastic prize draw that we've got which is building up every single hour it's very exciting indeed and there's loads of good is on the website so please check that out um, I'm, I'm going to point out the the soy trolley bag that will not fit the machine that I'm going to tell you about the machine is a is a bigger machine that will fit in that bag but they are really good bags so please have a look at the dimensions of those now there's laws on the website at chanda.com obviously you can ring and order anything as well 01733602000 right this is phenomenal. Again, Gary is going to be talking through this. Um, the first thing when I saw this, the first thing that hit me was this space. Oh my gosh, you have got an incredible amount of space to work with. So think about quilting, you know, think about those massive projects. Um, I mean, there is so many features in this machine. It is an incredible machine. You've got your touch screen. Um, there. I think what's important though, again, with, we're thinking about Juki, aren't we? So we're thinking about the technology that goes into a Juki machine. We're thinking about, you know, this is something, the, the, the actual technology is something that's actually used in manufacturing, you know, when industrial manufacturing. But that has been brought to us in a home machine. So that means it's not, and me and Gary were chatting about this, you know, this machine, it's for sewing. It's a sewing machine but it's going to give you those professional finishes. That's what Juki, uh, uh, you know, in when you're thinking about manufacturing, you're not trying to think about all the, the fancy fiddly bits. You're trying to think about doing a really good job, professional job, and quick. You know, you want that speed, you want the accuracy. That's exactly what you're going to get in this. I must admit, the what you get with this machine is phenomenal. I mean, the accessories itself, you do get the case, so you're already going to get the bag. When you get this home, though, you'll be putting it in its place and that's it you're not going to be carrying this round it's a very you know it's a good quality sturdy machine you've then got a huge host of feet i'm not even going to try and talk you through the all the different feet because you've got so many different feet i love the packaging you know you're getting a lovely case there and um, gary will tell you about the two different plates which are really interesting actually because you've got because as i was saying this is for um you know, when you think about your sewing, straight stitching obviously is one of the things you'll do the most. And this is designed to give you professional straight stitches. Um, there's so many features. I mean, it's cram packed with features. You've got, I mean, the foot itself. We're chatting about that. Look at that for a different foot. So you've got a little reverse button. Amazing. Um, but, but look at this because you are getting as well 200 pounds worth of additional feet in this. So that £200 worth of additional feet, that's if you're buying it today with Hachanda. I mean, you've got, it is absolute cram packed. Obviously, there's so much to tell you about this machine. You've got, and the, even the instruction book, that is all English which means you don't have to flick through to find the boat but look there's so much to tell you there's so many features i mean it will do your free motion if you're doing quilting i mean this is really clever if you're doing quilting and um and your fabrics obviously you've got all those different layers of fabrics this machine has been um it's ingenious really it'll actually feed all those fabrics through at the same time for you with no faffing about which is incredible i mean you've got so many stitches is available um, again look at that we were talking about you know uh, a sort of a, a sewing machine but yeah you've got a lot of sewing capabilities there as well you've even got four alphabets and I love that you get um, the Japanese alphabet as well how cool is that I think that's beautiful I just love that I just think that's really fancy um, 
It is amazing. Now, if you do want to get hold of this, don't worry, Gary is here. Please, if you've got any questions, this is a considerable purchase. If you've any questions, please treat this show as though you were able to go to a shop and, you know, ask about it. Email in. We're live. Studio at achanda.com. So if there's anything you're thinking, will it do this? Do I need to know this? Please, please get those emails sent in because, honestly, Gary is, has a wealth of information. Now, if you would like to get hold of it, 494335 is your item number. Um, it is a, a, you know, a considered purchase again, £2,794.99. We have got flex there, obviously. Um, so you can split those payments, three payments, £931.66. You're getting so much built into this machine. Um, I don't even know where to start, so I'll pass over to Gary. Gary, where do you start? Because honestly, this is a jam-packed machine, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Well... Uh, for the people who joined us earlier on this morning, welcome back. And for people who are starting with us for the first time, hello. So <laughs> this, the Juki NX Kiri, uh, wonderful machine. As you can see, 30 centimetre, 12 inch arm, very nice gap. Also we've got the heights with the bulk. Other little features, we've got built-in walking foot, dual feeding system automatically built. As you were saying earlier about going all over these different layers without them slipping and moving. It's not an attachment, it's actually built into the machine like the proper industrials, the full industrials would be as well. As the only just sort of mentioned briefly about an interchangeable plate and foot, well, from when I left the show last time, I set it up to a straight stitch machine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it on the straight stitch machine at the moment. I'm going to do a little bit there, and then I'm going to change it back over to the utility machine. But while we're set up with straight stitch, some of the features that we know that people can struggle with and with the machines they've got is now we've got a straight stitch plate, we've got a single straight stitch hole, and then a three-point feed. So we've scaled everything down. So the nice thing about that is performance side. If you look at all the industrial machines which are straight stitch only, this is the setup they will have. They have no zigzag slot, they will have no multiple lines of feed systems. Everything is much finer just for that straight stitch control. So one of the attachments that comes with the machine, obviously one of many of the attachments it comes with, is the quarter inch foot with guide. And then the guide on the side, which we all uh, sort of know on that, it will give you that perfect quarter of inch allowance. So basically everybody can get that for their machine at home. But what we can do is one step further now on this is I'm going to put the foot on and I'm just going to line it up underneath, drop the foot down, it will then just collect the foot That's and cool. nice easy clip on there. But once the quarter inch foot is on, I can actually now engage the walking foot or dual feeding system. So I, I don't just have to use a walking foot as normal utility, See, normally I can there. use the walking foot now with uh, various different feet for patterning, uh, for utility, obviously quarter inch, straight stitch, patchwork. I've got many, many options now to use my dual feeding system. That walking foot normally, that would be a separate foot altogether, wouldn't That's it? That's right. It's usually a screw on separate attachment, yeah. which will basically allow them uh, to stop movement of layers of fabric, but having it built into the machine, and you say I can use it now on many, many different sewing yeah. applications because I can use the different feet with it. I've never seen a machine with that before. Yeah, it's, there is machines out there, but what unique to Juki is we've, we have actually got, because we've got the industrial sewing screen on here, yeah. sorry, I did explain, say that before, which I haven't said this time, the screen we've got on our machine is we've lifted from our industrial machines on here. Right. Very, very intuitive machine. I can program it, I can set it and store settings. So when I'm coming back to do Pacific jobs the same way, I haven't got to keep reprogramming it. Also, I can adjust the walking foot. It's like a differential feed on an overlocker where I can get the top and bottom feed to move at different spaces. That is a unique feature to a domestic machine on there. Yeah. So it will gain that jukey performance of perfection. But one of the nice features it's got on here, quarter inch seaming. So all I'm going to do, two pieces, so patchwork with fabrics, as we, as we all do the patchwork quilting pieces. So I'm going to actually start with the first stitch is actually going to be off the edge of my fabric. Right. So, which a lot of people wouldn't dream of doing yeah. because straight away they think it might just chew it straight down into the machine. So I'm going to start sewing. Obviously I've got the edge of the fabric next to the guide. Yeah. And then it does help if I plug it in. 
I can use the machine <laughs> with and without the foot control. <laughs> and obviously last time I was using it without, so this time I will just plug the foot control back in. <laughs> <laughs> so that is an option though, you, it, can, you don't have to if you don't want to. That's the nice thing about it, I've got perfect speed control on the machine with a start stop, so I can yeah. literally, if I wanted, I could have taken that out and I could sew. A literally a stitch at a time performance that way. Right. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So then from there I can stop that. So what I'm going to do is put the foot control back in and then just start sewing again. So with that now, I've set the speed higher so that was just going. Uh, <laughs> and he's off. And I'm off. And then let's, sorry, let's set that again. So literally next to there, so it will then give me my quarter inch seam allowance and then, straight away. Obviously having the dual feeding system, it stops any slippage movement. But what I can now do, especially if you're then piecing, is take my next two. I'm not going to lift the foot, I'm not going to change it. The foot's actually, sorry, lifted automatically, so I haven't got to do that. And now I can run from one straight onto my next piece. Wow. So it doesn't pull the fabric down. It hasn't puckered and pulled at the beginning at the end. So I can literally then go from piece to piece to piece. And that is right next to the the original, the first one. There is literally no gap, but it hasn't actually sewn the fabrics together. It right. is just a line of stitching in between, because obviously with that we can then just cut them apart separately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then what I'm going to do now is just get to the end of my seam, then stop. I'm going to put on next to the foot control, as you pointed out, we have a two-piece foot control. So then what I can do is you accelerate to this side and then next time I'm going to press then the button next to it. I've got it set, so it then lifts the foot, changes the needle is down. So then if I want to pivot, I have them pivoting as well. Amazing. And then if I wanted to, I could actually set it then with the stitch thread cutter. So I can program in so it then actually cut the threads for me as well. Um, or I do then just have a manual cutter. So if I haven't programmed it, I can then just press the scissors, it will cut the threads for me, stop, bring the needle out of the work, raise the presser foot up for me as well, so I then I just have to take it out. Amazing. So literally, you say from edge to edge, it doesn't pull, it doesn't pucker, it's giving me that perfect flat seaming on there. Yeah, So that's perfect. All your patchwork piecing, you can just do lines and lines of squares, quarter inch seam them all, and then join them together afterwards. So, that's little amazing. features like that, which people, we do find people can get frustrated with, it starts chewing your fabric up as well. That it's just not going to do. Yeah. Again, saving you time, giving you better quality stitch and better performance on there. Yeah. So, that's obviously the way we've set it up using the, in the dual feeder, the straight stitch feed, as well as the straight stitch plate. Yeah. And then, so if we want to set it back, so once we've actually got the gauge, the screen now will tell us it's only going to do straight stitch stitching. Right. It knows the difference between you can't do anything wrong. It physically will not allow you to do anything else which could potentially damage the machine or ruin your stitching on there. That's so so that's the nice thing about that. And then what I can do is take the dual feeder off and then that just pops up out the way. Press the button so I can just drop the foot off as well. And then changing the plate and the feed, all I do is just pop the plate up, then that will just come out. That's so easy. Nice and easy. The feed will then just pop up, so I can just interchangeable feed as well, so that cool. literally just comes out. Again, that all stores in your nice storage box, and there keeps it all out the way. And then your new feed now is a seven point multi feed instead wow. of a three point feed. And it's pretty obvious which feed goes with which plate oh, as well. Oh, you cannot, yeah, one of them won't fit with the other and vice versa right. on there. So, so that is now the feed on and then all I do is slide the plate into place. I love how easy that is. And that's it. The machine will recognise that and it will tell you and you actually have to respond to the machine to say yes, I, I do know that. Now you've done that, it will now select all patterns instead of just the straight stitch patterns Amazing. on there. Amazing. So all then fancy stitches, because it's got 350 odd stitches, it, hasn't it? Absolutely. Well, and again, this is just the set stitches in there. Yeah. Because, again, obviously we love, we love a bit more time if possible, but as we say, even with the first hour, it went so quick this hour. With all the stitches on there, I have got memory facilities so I can join stitches together to make my own and create my own patterns. I've got full elongation, I've got mirror image in two-way mirror image, I can override length, density, width, so even though the set pattern's in there, 
351 patterns for different alphabets plus Chinese script lettering. Um, you have got a lot there to play with, but I can then play even more by creating my own designs, by joining patterns together and playing around that way. Amazing. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot there to play around with. Um, also, another nice thing which people are getting ill news the creative sewing, freehand embroidery. That's, why not make that as easy as possible? So, it comes with the, with the freehand foot, so it's not an optional extra. This actually, with the bonus pack we're doing at the moment, it actually comes with two variations. We've actually got the ruler freehand foot and the stippling freehand foot, so they're both included in the package at the wow. moment on there. With the free motion feet, we do have to unscrew the ankle. They don't just clip on and off these ones. So okay. for that, we will just take the ankle off. Well, you're doing that, can I ask you a question? Absolutely. Um, we've got a question from Patricia. Hello, Patricia. Hi, Patricia. Hey. She says, um, morning. She says, please can you ask Gary if the cover is a cover which sits on top of the machine or is it a bag you lift the machine into? I already own the DX7, which I absolutely love. Uh, but the, the I'm not saying it right. Kiri, am I saying the that Kiri, right? Kiri, absolutely. Yep. Um, is calling my name. Wonderful. Oh, Patricia. So, yeah, with the bag, Gary, is it... A, um, yeah, it's a slip over, isn't it? It is. So, um, with the DX uh, machines and the, uh, the sub machines before that, obviously, we were a shorter arm machine. Yeah. So, glad you're enjoying it and appreciating that, that just juky performance on there. But again, upgrading to the NX series, which has then got the longer arm, it's obviously a much bigger, a big, bulky case would add a lot to it. We have now put a full triple handle in so you can carry it quite easily with two hands for support on that yeah. way. The cover then will slip over the top but we've made it a semi-rigid cover so it's hard either side to protect the machine but it will then fold flat so if a storage area so it's a lot easier then that way to store. Yeah that's but obviously good. it is solid so it does protect the machine and we do have storage area for your foot control like we would have had in the previous machines as well so yeah so it is a pop-over cover where the handle would then come through the top on there. Thank you, Gary. Okie dokies, no problem. You should let us know how you crack on. We want to know if it, if it does fall into your basket, Patricia. Indeed. Well, <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's certainly with what you've appreciated through your first Juki, this will just enhance and grow more with there as well. Could, could so, I ask you another question? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Trisha from France has emailed in. Isn't it exciting? Hello, we have Trisha from France. Um, morning to you both. Good morning, lovely Trisha. She says, I want to sew heavy duty leather. How many layers would I be able to sew easily with this machine, please? So with the dual feeding system, um, as we did earlier, I, I haven't got actual leather here, but we have got some, some thick upholstery vinyl cotton back, and we were sewing through eight layers of, of it very, very easily uh, on there. So um, the nice thing with the industrial feed system, I've got full control over the stitch length, and as we did earlier, which hopefully I might get time to show you again, because with domestic machines, when using heavyweight fabrics, levers, upholstery, people tend to want to use a heavyweight thread, which domestic machines really don't like. But we've got a reinforced elongated straight stitch on here, which will give me that upholstery effect. So it will give you the strength and it will travel all the layers through without, again, sticking or pulling because of the built-in walking foot. So certainly eight layers, but as, wow. as we know, depth of fabrics do change quite a lot on there, especially when it comes to leather with the backings, etc. that way. But um, we've put strapping, bag handles, so we've got thick webbing on sort of four layers of leather, absolutely no problems at all. On Amazing, there. So, thank yeah, you. Yeah, very, very powerful. That's brilliant, thank you Tricia. I really hope that helps you keep those emails and questions coming in studio at chandra.com. Right, back to you Gary, what were you showing right, us? So what we've done now is we've put the, the zigzag control back on with the normal sewing foot, uh, feed, etc. that way, and now I've just put the freehand motion foot on. So what we're going to do is the drop feed is actually now on the screen. So okay. you've got the picture of the teeth, so I'm just going to press that and it will then reinsure whether I want to. So I'm just going to drop the feed, click the arrow to confirm that. So and again by doing that it will restrict on some things, so again it won't allow you to do the wrong things. Yeah. But at the moment with most free creative sewing, I'm actually going to unplug the foot control. I can set the speed to a comfortable speed where I am. Yeah. And now it just glides, so I'm not playing around with anything else at all. I can just use the presser lift. So with this one, because obviously we're doing free motion and different types of waddings and quilting, 
notice I've not got a lot of movement on there. Yeah. So it's sticking. With hopper feet, I generally don't recommend a hopper foot. It's best to have a gliding foot. There's less chance, well, there's less vibration for starters and there's less chance of it catching threads or anything that way. But what you want to do with a gliding foot, it has to be smooth. Yeah. So what we've done here on, on the jukey side of it, now, like the industrial, we can actually control the height of the pressure foot. So as you can say, we can take it up and down for different types of clearance. Oh, wow. So now by adjusting it, so it's going down, it's quite tight, taking it back up, it will now allow me to free move. Ah, so if I'm using a thicker cool. wadding or thinner wadding, I can adjust it. Because what you don't want in freehand is bouncing here. Because yeah. that's what can make it miss stitches and obviously loop stitches that way. So now I've got it set to the height I'm comfortable with. I just tell it OK. Then I can just press start. Oh, and it's so, so smooth and quiet. Yeah. And it's like, I'm not a freehand embroiderer. Um, but this machine just glides. Oh man, that's where you get me, Gary. Because I'm, I that just I love freehand embroidery. I just think it looks amazing. And, and even on full speed as well, you say there's no vibration. It's not clonking. It's not wow. clicking. Wow. So that is gonna so cool. Just play around with it, as it a little bit on there. And again, you can just see how it glides. Yeah. And honestly, it just makes it a pleasure. But because of the control I've got, you say I'm not a freehand embroiderer by a long way. But the control I've got just allows me to get that more perfection on there. That's and then when amazing. I get to the end, so I say I can just press stop, use my scissors, cut the threads, then stop, lift the foot up, and then when I show you the back of it, if you can see there, which a freehand embroidery should be, just as neat on the back, there's no loops, there's no skips, yeah. so, and obviously that's the front. That's so that. cool. So whether you're doing tight freehand, whether you're doing loops, curls, following, and yeah. again, as I said, this is a ruler foot as well, so if you've got rulers, absolutely no problems at all. So converting from straight stitch machine to a utility machine to do freehand embroidery, it is as simple as that. And you say, I'm not fiddling with dials, I'm not playing, I'm not adjusting. It's just happy to go from one to the other without a problem at all on there. It is incredible, Gary. Thank and you. And I think that's uh, the thing, isn't it, with this machine? There's so much to talk about. Anyone thinking about this machine, Gary, for you, yeah. what are the, the sort of key features that make this incredibly special? Well, the key features, are, again, it's not the sort of machine where people sort of say would it be my first machine if I'm a beginner is it obviously it's considered purchase because of the price point on there but whether you are a beginner whether you are intermediate whether you're advanced this machine will look after you as a beginner it won't allow you to do things wrong um, and the, the fine, we do find a lot of people when they start out well I'm new to sewing I am a beginner they end up buying a basic machine but when I say basic I don't mean basic as in the amount of stitches I mean basic as in the quality of build and the problem is once you go to the quality of build being basic that's when it's not going to like fabrics that's when you're going to have to play around with it keep adjusting so for a beginner that's the machine I don't recommend. Mm. It may be the price point which is more acceptable, but it could put people off sewing if it's not coping with fabrics, especially now with bag making, soft furnishings, home deck, where people are going to a lightweight, sort of as a class as a beginner machine, and realising it's not sewing it properly. Mm. Automatically, if you're a new sewer, you might think it's you rather than your brand new sewing machine. Yeah. But there are some machines out there not really designed for heavier work, not designed for a lot of work, more designed for basic sewing. So the nice thing going to the jukey side, you can start with your basic sewing, get on and absolutely love it, which hopefully will encourage you then to use more of it, which then allow you to grow and grow, yeah. and then obviously expand to whatever, you, whatever type of sewing you want to do. Yeah. So yes, it's considered purchase, and certainly for a beginner, it's going to be very difficult, but it is a machine for life. Once you have it, you appreciate it, you would then use it more, and then end up getting more value out of it yeah. that way. So yeah. It is fantastic that way, but obviously for advanced sewers who really then know what they want from a machine, when they sit and use and they see it and feel it and think, oh, my machine doesn't do that, my machine doesn't do this, and when I sit at it and you just, the performance of it, and it doesn't matter what I pick up, that's the nice thing about it. I haven't got a fiddle, I haven't got a play, so beginners don't want to do that, but also as advanced sewers, they don't want to do that either. So it is good for all markets on there in the consideration of obviously the price point is the main thing you look at. Yeah. Um, but once you go there, you say you're not going to be changing it every 12 months. It's not going to restrict your sewing. It's going to yeah. do what you want it to do well. Thank you, so, Gary. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, yeah, it is fantastic, <laughs> isn't it? Um, what an hour now. You are getting, remember, 
the machine, you get this massive um, surface area. You've got the lights, which are adjustable as well. Um, you've got the 12-inch arm on there. So for quilters, I mean, as you already see, for quilters, it is amazing. Um, there's so many features packed into this machine. You are getting £200 worth of um, extras as well with this machine. Um, please check your baskets out. We have, have we got another hour? Oh, is that the last oh, this, hour? Th this is my oh, last hour, I know. And it. I've seen to just shown very little for, oh, for what we've done, but we've hopefully seen a lot for what you've done as well. So. Gary, we've got seconds. Thank you oh, so wonderful. much. Wonderful. Well, great to be with you again. It's lovely to see you. So hopefully we get to work again closely soon. Thank you, Gary. Oh. <laughs> that we haven't got another hour um okay uh please check your baskets out on that one but we've got the lovely journey in the building it is hobby art then quilters stash and then patchwork ninja stay tuned if you love cake and you love to bake we've got something you're going to enjoy here at achanda's crafty kitchen we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavouring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilise within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, Set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on The Crafty Kitchen. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand drawn by me, they're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on her channel. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. The company has been going for a year and a half and as a crafter I wanted to find a box which I could receive every month and would be full of craft supplies. As I couldn't find such box I decided to create it myself and that's how Craftbox started. Every box contains at least 15 products which are beautifully hand packaged by a team based here in Cambridgeshire. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the craft box shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing fabric freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut 
meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Pachanda. Hello there and welcome. Welcome back. And as you can see there, we've got a fabulous hour dedicated to hobby art in this hour. And of course, you mentioned hobby art and we know who's going to be here. Fabulous Jenny, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. It's good nice to, to be here. It is, it is. It's lovely to have you back again because it's been a little while, hasn't it? For yeah, I was here last month, but yeah. that, that was the oh, first must have been time. on the other yeah. shift, so yeah. that's why I didn't yeah. get to see you. <laughs> um, now, I have to say, you've bought some amazing stamps. And as always, a little bit of humour added into the mix as well. So we've got some fabulous stamps to share with you details of which are already up on your screen and you can see straight away freedom members you've got a cheeky little discount there and i do like a freedom members discount because of course it helps towards the expense of um, christmas and let's face it many of us have already started with our christmas cards and if you do like to create something that's got a little bit of humor in it then this is definitely the set for you now we'll hasten to add we've got them as a bundle with your savings but they are available individually so if you do want to go for any of these and you can get hold of them check on the web website we'll probably bring the details up at some point but I love these, Jenny. These are so comical. <laughs> yeah, we, we thought we needed to smile at the moment. So and the first time we've ever done it, but they're all got a humorous theme to they them. They have, and I love that. You can see the little moose there. Um, and then here we've got the little guinea pigs. I love the antlers on the <laughs> guinea pig there. So, so cute here. Love it, that little kind of weak noise that they make there. Christmas squeakings instead of Christmas greetings there. And then our little pooches. Here we go. A fabulous little array of um, little dogs and puppies here featuring here. I love these. These are lovely, and I love this because you've got like a crisp outline, so ready for you to add all your colour. Yes, that's it. Yeah, you know, I love colouring. So. Yeah. yeah. And we have got some absolutely incredible finished samples, so let me share some of these with you. Kicking things off with your mousse, um, and again, it is part of your bundle, as you can see at the top of the screen there. And the artwork, let's talk about the artwork here, Jenny. So who has created these fabulous images? They're my design team, they're second to none. They're absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, they never fail to amaze me. So um, the names are all on the back. So you know, you know, name um, checks them out. The uh, art itself, though, created by Sharon. Yeah, they're, they're by Sharon Farr. She always does our um, Christmas funnies. So literally, um, I think oh, the, the only set that hasn't been done by her is "Do Not Open Till Christmas," and that was done by Becky, my daughter. Oh, okay. But, um, you know. Becky will often come up with an idea and Sharon will run with it or, you know, or vice versa. They, they, they're a good team. They do, they work so well. And they, like you said, they're designed here. I mean, not to pop my specs on so I can read some of the names that we've got here. So we've got the likes of lovely Sally created here, a little bit of a craft board going on here, craft card. Love that. And the colouring again, I mean, it gives you plenty of room for you to actually add that detail. Um, Carol's been busy here, as you can see there, adding a little bit of sparkle in the background. Um, incidentally, if you play your order and checking your order out do keep an eye um, on your basket as you're checking out because one of your end of call items is your little um uh, what's it you um wing costello um, as you're checking out lisa b a busy busy b there you go as you can see there love the little uh, bunting there with the lights there and again all of these you've got some amazing results we've got heidi's got involved with these as well so many different stars as you can see working our way through there's another one there from hallie so apologies um sally should i say apologies if i've not mentioned i think i've mentioned everybody's names carol lisa and Lisa again there so that one is your mousse which of course is part of the bundle that we're chatting about but then another new one to share with you is a fabulous little Christmas squeakings which I love um, and I love it I mean here you can see who we've got here Martina Martin, yeah. Martin and I love this shake a card put your carrots and your little sprites and elements in there clever idea 
absolutely beautiful. And Jenny, I mean, these are gorgeous. And here you can see, look at the result here. Yeah, that the one's look. from Elaine. It's so clever, isn't it? I love it. It's not wonderful. And we've got a little stencil coming up in a little while, which will give you the opportunity potentially to add your snow. So do um, check those out before you exit your baskets. Um, Elaine, again, busy here. Nice mixture of texture with this one as well. Yeah, the design team went mad for them because several of them have got... Um, uh, They've got pigs. little guinea pigs of their own. So oh. Heidi, Martina, and so on. Yeah. Oh, look at these. Oh, they're adorable. They're just waiting for the Christmas lunch there, aren't they? That's Sally there. <laughs> of course, an alternative Christmas lunch, a little bit of um, watermelon there, apple, and of course, of course, the things that we shall not name, those little sprouts. Making an appearance at an Aiden Dunn. Yeah, well, people might not know what I'm talking about at this stage. <laughs> so, uh, um, Carol, again, busy there. You can see them look, having a little look over the garden wall there. And again, whichever way you're going to be crafting with these, you maybe you're going to take inspiration from Bernie here. And that is a big mound of uh, things that we shall not name there. <laughs> now, if you're wanting to get hold of uh, that particular stamp, it is available by itself, as they all are. Um, and uh, some of you are going for it by itself, but don't forget you are going to get that saving if you do take advantage of them in the bundle. And it's an eight pounds and sixty pence saving if you are a freedom member. Now the last one is the one with the little dogs in here, and again, I mean this is brilliant. It is. It's thinking, sweet, isn't it? Well, this is the thing is, there's lots of people that adopt animal charities and, and making Christmas cards to, for the animal charities to sell. I mean, you can't go far wrong with these, can you? No. Well, we've got um, we've got a, a puppy. He's eight months now, oh. and already his family. Yes. Yes. You that's know, right. Yes. Absolutely. So I'm sure lots of people will feel the same. Oh yeah, and I'm looking here. Um, Emily's suggesting as well with the the scarves. There, they could be um, football team colours, couldn't they? Quite easily. Look at this. Santa the cat did it. I love that. <laughs> Making sure that that little pooch is staying on the, the nice list. Just literally putting the cat on that naughty list straight away with that comment. Oh, what we've got here? Oh, a little waterfall card. Look at this. With all those images coming through absolutely beautiful oh, what's happening there oh the cat did it look at that one that is definitely after dinner snooze isn't it there beautiful and of course all of those wonderful stamps are featuring within there and that one elaine again thank you for that example there now 20 percent of the bundle has gone where you are getting all three stamp plates there 44 stamps in total with your five pounds saving unless you're a freedom member when you'll find that you're saving even more 32 pounds and 37 pence very popular. Most of you going for the bundle, to be honest, rather than the individual. Makes sense too, doesn't it? But then, of course, do not open till Christmas. And then here you have got those fabulous sprouts. The green things, that's the word phrase, isn't it? Now, these are coming together as a bundle. So if you haven't got them, you can get them together. Equally so, you can get them separate as well. So the green things is the larger the two stamp plates that we're looking at with those grand, oh, very angry looking Brussels sprouts, as you can see there. Um, and uh, again, across the two, you are going to get 38 stamps. Jenny, I love the humour because Brussels sprouts pretty much are famous for Christmas. Christmas, yeah, they? so the, this was last year's and it was one of our best ever selling stamps. I'm not when surprised. it came on the show, it sold out twice. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, of course, we have new crafters come and join us every time, so you might not have seen these before. And have a look at this. We had, um, oh, who was he? Um, it was Lou, wasn't it? Lou the other day. Um, and she, it was Apple Blossom, they got those shaker cards, not shaker cards, the penny slider cards. That's absolutely perfect if you did invest in those. Um, and again, all sorts of different styles oh pull both at... tags Ooh, and I have to pop this down oh look at that i love that extend i'm fighting to, it to pull it pull too out. far it's just got stuff probably on the whoops the little mechanism there you can see they're absolutely yeah. fabulous i have another look at that one in a few moments again building up the characters as you can see there you've got a whole wealth of different stamps allowing you to make your small cards your large cards and of course they're nice and easy to cut out these ones jenny yes <laughs> very i do like something that's simple to cut out i must admit from the bunch of us that's good <laughs> like that and there you go <laughs> love it um, a nice kind of traditional um, start to them as well especially when you're bringing in your red and green as you can see there Christmas green things and that's the thing sometimes you don't have to you can't kind of use the proper name for them can you because people are like I don't like sprouts but there you go oops a daisy little sprout cracker doesn't smell like the sprouts in there I think you might have some of these and of course these are something you can get hold of we've seen these before though. chocolate sprouts 
There you go. Um, and uh, you can see there, yummy or yuck, which one? See, they're a bit yummy for me. I do like sprouts. I like sprouts, too. I love sprouts. In fact, just um, Christmas. Christmas Day, Boxing Day, we have bubble and squeak. Exactly, yeah. But they've got to be cooked right, haven't they? You can't have them all mushy and horrible. Oh, they've no, got to have a bit no. Of, My brother has to cook the bubble and squeak. It. He spends about half an hour doing it, but it's yummy. I do like a end. bit of bubble and squeak. That's kind of like your Boxing Day thing, isn't mm. it? There. Now, have a little look. This is the other oops, the, the other stamp plate that comes alongside your um, your green things. And this one is your Do Not Open. So with this one, you're going to get all sorts of elements that obviously complement the stamps that we've been just looking at. And I love the caution tape on these, Jenna. Yes. The, uh, Becky designed this one to go with the sprouts last year. Um, and we put them on the telly not thinking... We thought it was personal. Okay. We didn't think it would be popular and it sold out like that. Um, <laughs> be because obviously other people's families are like ours. Oh, it yes. says from, um, it says something like uh, from your favourite child. <laughs> and um, I've got three kids, so that's the competition. Oh, we and we that thought one. that was a personal thing, but everybody identified oh, yes. with it. Yeah. And if you look at the wordings in there, it, it's, uh, it goes well. It does indeed. Um, and again, brilliant value for money. Loads of fun with those. So if you fancy that duo set, £22.98. But as I say, if you've already got one of those sets and you want the other one, then they are available in Individually, pop them into your basket. Next one, oh, this one's nice with camels, and of course, camels quite significant with the um, kind of the traditional Christmas theme. But have a look at this one, camel ye faithful. Oh, cheesy! I love it. Now this is really good fun. So you've got large stamps with these, and I love. I love this. It's humour throughout the whole bundle here. These tags, you pointed these out to me, Jenny. Yeah, earlier. Goldie, Frank. A myrtle. That, that's <laughs> yeah. Becky's sense of, uh, of humour. Gold, frankly, sense of myrtle. I love that idea. And, and some, again, beautiful finished samples. This one's quite a traditional that one is look. stunning. I'm just going to slide this off. I haven't opened this up yet, so I'm not quite sure what we're going to get with this. Oh, wow. And there they are. My goodness, that is a majestic scene, isn't it? Beautiful, as you can see there. And again, lots of opportunity for you to add your colour to these, as you can see. Again, we saw baubles earlier on. Something that would be certainly something that you could be doing with these characters, as you can see, they don't get the hump. <laughs> That's a good one, isn't it, for somebody who's not necessarily getting into the Christmas spirit, rather than bar humbug, don't get the hump there. And again... The characters, they've got such personality, these, Jenny. Yeah, the other thing is, um, you can actually use them all year round. Some of my customers um, at the moment, uh, one lady this week, she uh, put, she's made cards saying don't get the hump and put little face masks on them. Oh, clever idea. So without the hats, they can be all year round. Love it. There you go. So if you fancy getting hold of your set, come all you faithful, then £14.99 is the price of that one. So 271923. Now we have got <laughs> we've got Daryl, Daryl, the quirky turkey. Love it. And I like this. I think he's hiding. I think he doesn't want anybody to know he's a turkey. Because it's never a good time to be a turkey, really, is it around Christmas time? Um, now here again you've got a vast array of stamps, loads of different stamps, lots of personality with them. And again, you've got large stamps, you've got small stamps, you've got some featuring kind of just faces. I love that just popping up. I should have done that, shouldn't I? Hello. <laughs> Lovely. Um larger stamps as well, as you can see here. Um and again, just a bit more humour. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely adorable. There you go. Did somebody mention Christmas? Gulp. Yes, you can imagine that thought, can't you? 22 um, stamps for 14 99 That's what you call that. Fabulous value for money, isn't it? So pop those into your basket as well. 651555. Um, five. Now, we've got some beautiful mica mediums for you to work with. We're going to see Jenny working with these in a few moments. Um, we've got them available for you as a lovely set where you've got all these gorgeous tones coming through here. Now, they are individual little palettes, so you can tip them out. Be careful not to tip them all out, but let me just put my hand there. So, they're kind of little pans. There you go. It's touch and go as to which one would come out first. But there you go. Little individual pans. Jenny will be using these. You can use them literally with a spritz of water as a light kind of um, element or add water, let the water soak in and almost turn them into a pearlescent paint. And the beauty is you have got some amazing colours, especially if you are using them on your black cardstock, as you can see there. $17.99, a brilliant value for money and something that's definitely worth adding into your basket. 891-215 if you're wanting those. And then the last but by no means least, stencil.
stencils and we've got some beautiful stencils here and you will have seen these with many of the finished samples as we're working our way along these are something that are brand new Jenny and they're practically yep. warm aren't they we were having that conversation yes. earlier <laughs> <laughs> um, you'll notice with them you've got lots of content within them things like your snowy scenes the fabulous uh, little robin featuring there as well but you've also got wavy lines which mean you can build up a fabulous kind of skyline with any of these cards and you'll see just how well they work along many of the stamps that we have been working with but of course stencils give you so much opportunity to craft in so many different ways keep your eye on that robin because we have got so many different variants of how you can work with it not just working with your paints and your um, your papers but what about working with your fabrics as well that's the beauty of a stencil so many different ways you can use it so 12.99 975 244 do jump onto the website now there's lots and lots for you to look at and as i mentioned do keep an eye as you're checking out your basket some enter call items that are definitely worth adding into your basket including that little um winker stella and we have got some brand new colors with regards to pens as well so do check out those pens um, you can see there we've got the full set there with some new sets new colors are being added to those so yeah if you fancy getting hold of them please do so um and yeah um anything you've got that you want to ask questions you know how to get in touch studio to Handup.com. I'm going to hand over to Jenny now. What are you up to with your demos, Jenny? Yep, yeah, I thought I'd start with this one. Okay. Oh, that's cute. It's, um, yeah, let it, uh, what's it called? Merry Christmas. Merry okay. Christmas. I love that. So that's the one I'm starting with. Okay. So, first of all, I'm using a press. This is quite um, a large stamp, so I'm using a 150 millimeter square card um, and you really need that size that's the smallest that this fella can go on although there are smaller ones in the set blue panel 135 millimeters and a watercolor panel 130 millimeters square so I'll just take out my paper let's find a piece of card there we go and I'll just put my magnets in so I'm using VersaFine the reason I'm using VersaFine is it's waterproof when it's dry and I'm going to be using the clean colour pens there we go and just press it down it's because it's such a large stamp it's quite a good idea to use the press if um, if you can, actually, it came out perfectly. That is a good but, size stamp, isn't it? Pardon? Good size stamp. It is, yes. Yeah, it's a really, uh, and great fun. I've really enjoyed playing, well, you can see the design team have enjoyed playing with oh, them. Loads, ca there are cards everywhere. Now, you've got they, two shows, haven't you, Jenny? Because we're going to swap some of those finished samples around a little yeah, bit later on. Yeah. What time are you back later today? I'm on again at three, but Lovely. they are all on the website anyway. Wonderful. Um, we behaved ourselves and put them on all on yesterday before I came up here. So, you mm. know, if you miss, miss them or want to have another look. Um, and that's like a gallery of all the finished samples. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay, so there's my, my finished card. Leave it to one side for a while to dry. Um, so there's one I did earlier. And now I'm going to start building it up. So um, what I'm going to do, which bit shall I do first? I'll do the colouring first. So um, let me just pick out some colours. I'm using the clean colour. Um, I think it's the 90 set that you've got on the show, right. isn't it? Um, yeah, we've got the 24 as well. Okay, so, yeah, so the 24 is a selection, the 90 is the full range. It is They've indeed. only just introduced the last 10. Okay. So there are nine colours and a blender. So the details on the screen, that's going to include those new colours that we've just been chatting about. So, yeah, again, some lovely colours um, within that set. You've got your Flexi by Naturally on these. They are an investment of anybody's money, but these are the brand new colours. And um, I know Jenny was wanting me to draw attention to the fact that you've got your vanilla, your light beige and your medium beige there. So those are really helping you with those skin tones if you're trying to get those results. And, of course, you've got your little area down here. It might look like there's a pen missing, but it's your blender, which means that you're going to get those amazing colours when you're blending from one colour to the next. Right, I'm not going to colour all of this, but I'll just quickly do some of it. So what I'm doing, I'm using one colour. Uh, this is watercolour card, so it's the easiest thing to begin with um, because it teaches you how to blend. But what I'm doing, when the colour's on, before it's dried, I'm just pulling it down and that gives me my shading. 
I might be talking to the converted because I use these so much, but well, if you're new... Well, this is the thing, because they are an investment, so people instantly will be thinking, so, so why do I need this? So why do they need them, Jenny? Because they blend perfectly. You get a watercoloured effect without... Um, all the hassle and I challenge anybody who says they can't um, color to use these and not be able to color you can just you know use them solidly but the fact that you can move the color um, and this is just one way of using them um, I've got a be beginners tutorial um, on the website the first video on there but you can see um, if it so you do it while it's still wet so you don't do a massive area at um, a time because it will dry quickly um, if it does dry so uh, say, say it dries like this and you get a line across mm -hmm. then all you do is you take the darker color onto the light color oh, so kind of and then go nib. back over the the joint and pull it down oh, and you okay. so that's what I'm saying you know they're very easy to use even if you get interrupted at uh, in the middle you can go back and you can carry on right so what I'm going to do I'm not going to do the whole thing it will take the show so somewhere around here I've got one that's um, a bit quite a bit further on Fabulous. So, uh, and I'm going to, um, I've stopped at that point because I'll use other things later, but now I'm going to do my background. So, um, what I need to do is I need to use a mask and this okay. is the mask it sheet. So it comes in a pack. Oh, lovely. And okay. It's matte one side and it's slightly tacky the other side. So it's reusable. You can see here's one I've used before. Now the mask well sheet, loved. is that something that you bring to us, uh, bring to us here at Achanda, um, Jenny? I can bring it in, yes. Oh, right. okay. yeah, yeah, no problem. I can put it on the next show. In. It's just, it's not very expensive. So um, I didn't know whether you'd want anything that. Oh, but I'll add it on to the next show. I think it'd be popular. Um, when you cut out, so what I've done, I've stamped on it and I've cut it out. I've put it onto a piece of coloured card because I'm a messy worker, so I would lose it. You know, I'd turn it, you know, I wouldn't see it. So um, what I've done, I've cut it in two bits. So I have got my little robin. So I'm just sticking that in. I hate doing this bit live on telly because it does take a little bit of fiddling to get it right and it is worth the effort. So I'm pulling this off. Um, what I would normally do, I would put it onto the, when I finished for the day, I'd put it onto the front of the stamp set. Ah, good tip. So, yeah, so what I'm doing there is, this will, will take a fiddle. As That's you can okay. see, well, I do need to get it exactly in place. Well, we've had a lovely email come in from um, Sylvia. Was it, is it Sylvia? It was Sylvia, yes. Um, saying how fabulous the hobby art stamps are and how you get such a crisp impression with these. So the, that cleanness of the line, I think, is the key thing with these stars. And she's loving the humour in this collection as well. Um, and that, as many of you are, I mean, they're fabulous stamps and they have got that little uh, kind of essence of humour. We're looking at um, the um, Moosby Christmas. And, of course, one of the sentiments on this one is, uh, um, well, actually, what was the sentiment on this one? I forgot now. Is it... What on the moose? Yeah. Uh, Merry Christmas and Merry Christmas. That um, is it. There's yeah. another one. I can't it think what it, it is. It must be Christmas. It must be Christmas. That's the title that we've got now. There no. you go. And you are getting it as one set within the set of three, and the details are up on your screen. We'll look at them in closer detail in a while. Right. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to do the background, and I'm using the new stencil. Now this is meant to. You can do any. Um, line at the bottom so you can create snow so you can use it that way obviously you could turn it over and do it that way so and you can do it at any angle now we like to give value of mo for money so we put various bits in there um, now the disadvantages of that is if you're heavy-handed and you slip you can get um, oh, a mark yes. from the cutouts so what I normally do before I even start for the day just cut a piece of, a, a, well, you don't even need to cut a piece of paper. Just use a piece of paper when you're doing it, and that will uh, stop any problems like that. So whichever angle you like, and I'm just starting with tumbled glass distress ink, and I'm just pulling the colour up. I'm being a bit careful um, because 
I don't want to move my mask and it's got lots of little tiny bits so I'm pulling away from the mask okay. um, because when I start I get a bit carried away and I get very like that I get okay. very heavy handed oh, yes. so and I can flick the edge up so what you do is you pull away from the mask That's I did a good that tip. deliberately you know I love that. Uh, but tip. you know, I, I just get on with it. So um, I'm fairly heavy handed. So um, if you're, you know, if you're more gentle than me, do it any which way. But basically pull away from the the mask. And um, it's been a popular bundle. Um, that's a wonderful stencils there. Half the stock has gone of those. They're only 12 99 uh, oh, um, And with the stencils, you've got obviously that gorgeous effect that you've got there with that snowy background. You've also got your literally a snowy um, background with the little holes in there. And then you've got things like your trees and that wonderful robin that we saw in all those finished samples earlier on. 12 99 for those at 975244. Right. So I've just gone in with the second colour which is broken china, you don't have to use more than one. And where's my faded jeans? There it is. I use a different smoothie for that. So just putting a bit of darker colour on, you know, do as much or as little as you want to. You can introduce other colours as well. For instance, if we just put a little bit of wilted violet in. So it's basically, whoops, it's basically, you know, whatever colours you like. There we are. So we've got quite a nice image there okay Lovely. so i'm going to turn over to another one so this one's a bit further forward okay. so we have our uh, that that's what it's like when it's finished and i'm just going to use that scrap of paper again now you can you, you can do a mask if you want to so um you know I've, I've cut a mask here and i could put that over but a piece of paper will do it is just to do the background and what i'm going to use now are my starry colors you can see oh, mine are very well loved beautiful and i love these because they're like little little pans individual pans I've not yeah. come across these before um, jenny Oh, I, think, I, I like Kuretake, so yes, I like their yeah. products. I've used the clean colour for years, and I've used these for years. In fact, anybody who's a follower of me will probably already have these. Um, but, um, yeah, because I, I love them. So um, I'm protecting the bottom because I'm going to be working on the background. Okay. Now, what you need to do, you need to put some water on. Um, I'm it, What I would normally do is put some water on, go away, make a cup of tea, come back, and it'd be right to use um, because it starts off quite watery um, let's see I'll do it on the back of this so it starts off quite watery okay. but that will give you a lovely sheen as well nice. but then if you work it in it gets creamier and creamier so it's almost like a pearlescent paint Can you see then. oh wow yeah and um, the micro is very strong actually I'm gonna put some more water in there because I'm doing a different technique I actually want it quite watery um, but if you put it on, if you get it creamy and then use it, it's extremely strong. So if you painted it over something stamped, you need to keep within the lines because otherwise the lines will disappear. Point, yeah. But what you can do, if the lines disappear, you can go over in black anyway. So what I'm going to do, is this Lisa who's on the design team, she calls this the boing technique. A boing. <laughs> So oh, what I'm doing is I'm just flicking and we've got that nice cosmic background there. You have indeed. Saves me lots of stamping. There you go. It does indeed. And that will dry and I'll have a beautiful um forgot something. I was supposed to stamp my trees first. Oh. So uh, what we will do, um I should have done it the other way round. The joys of life television, eh? Oh bless um, you. I'll, what I'll do is I'll just take that. No, I will, I'll leave it on. Um, yes, the joys of live television. Because what I won't be able to do is stamp properly over the mica. Right. So the mica you do last of all. Okay. But we we'll go with it anyway. Oh, no, I've got a problem. So it's it's fine. It's like a variant from a theme, isn't it? So on the original one, you've got the two brush up in the background, but you don't yeah. necessarily always want to do that. Um, I'm guessing you could kind of decoupage them and I'm, put them on if you wanted to. Yes, you could. Right, so I think that's dry enough. Normally, I would just let that dry naturally. But you can see, sort of on dark colours, you get fantastic. That's fabulous. So 
again this is why I need um, a scrap of paper even though I've got the stencil I'm just going to use the trees and I'm going to use two greens um, doesn't have to be versifying can be whatever you like they're just two greens that I like so what I'm doing is I'm just stamping at the edge off the page and then I'm just going to stamp here different levels and this is the darker of the two like so and just do it different levels take the rest of your ink off go on to the lighter one don't have to do this you could actually use second image anyway but I quite like the effect of um, two colors there we are and I wanted it quite strong oh, so there, there we go, go. That looks fabulous. so last but not least let's put some water onto one of my golds so this one is champagne gold and again you need to leave it for a minute or two to dry I'm going to take off my mask now Oh, and wow. what I'll often do with the masks, actually I've already put um, Winter Stella on this one, what I, I, I do with the masks is, is if I'm at home, I'll often just do them in um, two bits. Okay, yeah. Um, just makes makes life easier. And the Wink of the Stella are on the show. They are. And, I think it's just um, checking out your you, order. If, that's what I've put on that bit. I'll put it on that bit as well. And that bit. Be careful if you're using it near a colour because obviously you could pick up the colour and you can put these on the trees like so or you can on the original I had um, ordinary glitter on but we'll make life easier on ourselves here so you can see I hope that that is extremely glittery you probably can't but um well give it a yeah. wiggle jenny because we might be able to see this it's re this is really beautiful i call it grown up glitter because it's very subtle but it's very sparkly it is amazing and um, of course those winker stellas I, I use those personally myself because they do add that sparkle yeah i also amount. use the winker stella pens okay. and they're fantastic if you want to get into small areas like this i mean i could do this with a brush but you know right at the last minute somebody talks to you or something and you go over the edge so um, with a pen it, you're much more in control it's uh, for small areas so for something like this we can go around that and we'll ha still have that lovely sparkle but last but not least on this I'm just going to put a little bit of color on there on, the, on a tile pick it up with a wet paintbrush in fact, actually, what I'll do, I'll pick it up with the Wink of Stella. So what happens now, I'm going to be colouring, but it's uh, w putting some colour in, but it's going to be twinkly as well. There we are. And you can still pull it out if, it, you know, if you've done too much. And then you've got beautifully glistening snow there. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to do is just work this champagne gold in so that it's creamy so that it's thick and then i'm going to take most of it off remember because it while it's wet you, you can do whatever you like with it but once it's dry it, it'll solidify again so you're not going to have any waste from it it will just go back into the palette and um you 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 know you, it's there next time okay so there we go i'm just coloring in with my gold very very little it goes so far you really don't need much at all and if i'm careful if this brush is is uh, small enough i can just do the little tassels there too get into those little areas and it just takes your card to another dimension Whereas it was a nice card, now it's sort of, um, you know, a, a ex really expensive card. It looks as though you've... Well, you have taken a lot of trouble on it. It is... There we are. And I'm just putting some dots on. And these will really shine out. So, 
have a go at fabulous. that card, but do Look. it the right way round. Trees <laughs> first. But it still looks fabulous, Jenny, even though you added them afterwards. I've just managed to find another little card here to hopefully show you just that little sparkle that you get from the Wink Costello, because I think you'll be able to see it on the trees that have been used here. So when we give it a little bit of a wiggle, you can see that sparkle coming through. Absolutely incredible. So it's a kind of a variation um, on the card that Jenny has done there. You can see that gorgeous gold coming through on the scarf there as well. And, of course, featuring on the, uh, the antlers there. So, uh, yeah, do keep your eye open for those little um, Wink of Stellas as you're checking out your baskets. But, of course, working with those wonderful um, stamps. Jenny, we're going to be back with you in a few moments. Is okay. that OK? Yes, if I'll you're swap done, over. Did you want to add anything to that? Uh, no. Just or one thing. Once you've um, cleaned your brush, there'll be mica in your water. OK. Um, which doesn't matter. It except that everything you paint with that water for the rest of the day will have a, sh a slight twinkle. Right. I don't mind that. Um, I, I just go with it. So, okay. you know, you'll often see a slight twinkle on the card. But if you don't want that twinkle to continue, clean water. Perfect. Love that. Top tip. Thank you, Jenny. Be back with you in just a few moments. So, of course, we've been chatting about those wonderful stamps. So, we've got the details on your screen there. Rapidly approaching half the stock has gone of these. So, you can see you've got all of the stamp plates there featuring all 44 of those stamps. My goodness, you're getting a lot for your money with this one. Just £35.97 is your price on this one. You're looking at um, a £5 saving. Sorry, I've got a little bit of a tickle coming there. So 729174. Let me show you a few of these finished samples. <coughs> I'm just going to pop a cough three to it. Wait a moment. <coughs> I do apologise. There you go. Have a look at this. Thank you. Again, featuring the little moose there. <laughs> moose be Christmas. That is the theme that we've got with this set, as you can see there. And you've got 16 stamps with this particular stamp by itself. It is part of that bundle at the bottom of the screen. So if you can go down that route, you will get your five pounds saving. So with this one, um, you can see that it really is a brilliant value for money. Different shaped cards with these as well. As you can see, they're really getting that watercolour effect, making some beautiful finished examples. As a design team, have had so much fun. You can see already with these ones. So that is your Moose Be Christmas. That's in your bundle. It's available individually as well. But then, of course, you've got additional ones within that bumper set. So we're looking at our Christmas squeakings. And this time, what have we got squeaking? Oh, it's the guinea pigs. And you can see here, they are having a feast here. Oh, look at this. My goodness, that, that's how to spend a Christmas, isn't it? All those wonderful Brussels sprouts. So 30% of the stock of this one has gone individually. Um, and I love the idea of this one, featuring the little Brussels sprouts. We had an email come in from, was it Karen, I think, emailed him. And she was saying that, whoops a daisy, last year she made all of her Christmas cards using the little Brussels sprout stamps that we've got again on the show today. And everybody kept their Christmas cards because they just thought they were so humorous. So that's a nice idea. This could be the one that you use in this year, Karen, because I think that anybody that um, appreciates those Brussels sprouts will know that the little guinea pigs do love this. Oh, she went for the turkey this year. She's gone turkey this year. So that's not a problem at all. But if you do fancy going for this one, you have got your 15 stamps set again. $14.99, incredibly affordable, but again, part of that bundle. And of course, the bundle has got that £5 saving, so it kind of means that you're reducing the price of each one of those sets. Last one we've got is your little pooches. And these ones are your Christmas tails. And this time you have got, obviously, your doggy-themed elements here. So with these, it could be that you are working with all of the stamps, to be honest, because you've got a lot within there, 13 stamps. Perfect opportunity for you to do your little um, waterfall card there with all the little pooches featuring in there, as you can see. Or maybe you're just going to take a couple of them. Just use them on the cards there, adding your detail, adding your colour. And don't forget the clean colour is a perfect way for you to add that colour, as you saw from Jenny there. Just an easy way for you to blend those colours, gives you confidence and of course gives you those incredible results that we like to achieve. £10.99, that's all that you're paying for this one. But don't forget, you've got your savings, so it's almost like you're getting that one for a half price deal if you're going for the bumper bundle. And of course, Freedom members, you've got a higher discount on that. Next one that we've got for you, um, here you can see you've got a little set of two. Now, but you do not open till Christmas. And then, of course, you have got your green things with your sprouts. So, again, they can come together, as you can see on your screen there. You're going to get both of those, 38 stamps in total, £22.98. Um, Very popular bundle. Some of you might um, be new viewers to us here at Tachanda and might not have seen these last year, but they did prove to be very popular. As Jenny said, regularly sold out. I struggled to keep them in stock, to be honest, and Karen used these during her Christmas cards last year. Half the stock has gone of these, and as you can see there, you've got all your sprouts with your fabulous little expressions on there. 
all coming together and of course you can use them in loads of different ways now if you wanted to go for the sprouts by themselves well you can do do consider going for both of them though because many of the sentiments that we have been showing with these do feature both of them but equally so it's down to you so if you wanted to go for the sprouts by themselves the details are there 14.99 got 25 stamps with those but as I mentioned, they work alongside those. Um, keep out or watch out, as we've got with all those fabulous little elements. I love that. Watch out, watch out. Sprouts are about. And um, Sprouts rule, as you can see there on the little uh, placard that you've got there. And again, a really nice set of stamps. But stamps that you're using lots of different scenarios as well. So you can see that you've got bubbling squeak there, lots of love at Christmas. But then you've got your caution tapes running through these as well. Do not open until Christmas. That is the rule. You do not open until Christmas. And of course, it is the season to sparkle. Well, there you go, featuring on them. So if you fancy that set, just ten ninety nine. But what about if Christmas gives you the hump? Well, this is the set for you. Because you can see here you've got your fabulous set here with your camels, including Don't Get the Hump as one of those sentiments. And this is your Camel You Faithful for 15 It stamps just £14.99. pence. Heading back over to Jenny. But what we'll do is uh, let me check here and show you this one. This is the one Karen's gone for this time with the turkey. And of course, this one you've got, um, don't want the quirky turkey. Five, um, sorry, an A5 stamp there with 22 stamps in total. And you are loving this particular one. I love those googly eyes, looks amazing. £14.99 and, and a quarter of the stock has gone of that particular one. So we're going to head back over to Jenny. Um, and I think, is it Daryl you're working with next? Um, I'm going to oh, use the, the little peaches. puppy, Aww. yes, make a little card um, with that, and it uses the stencil. Um, I'm amazed what you can do with stencils. Yes. We've only recently introduced them, okay. and it's opened a whole new world for us all. Right, okay. Now, so, the stencils, incidentally, are not limited stock at the moment, so if you want them, get hold of them as soon as you can. Right, okay, so um, this is the Robin stencil, but it's got holly on there as well. So this is, um, I've, I'm using card today, but all the sh samples that I'll show you in a minute, we just done on copy paper. Okay. You know, it, it works perfectly well, but, um, you know. Using card for the telly. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What type of card do you tend to use, Jenny? Have you got a favourite? Um, well, I use, um, we, we sell watercolour card, um, oh, okay. and it's the watercolour card that I like. Yes. It's, it's actually Fabriano, but it's, oh, it's, right. uh, it's packaged under our name. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a very good quality card. So I use that a lot of the time, but obviously I do use... Um, uh, alcohol markers as yes. well so then I use a smooth card and this is this is actually just a piece of card um, I was sitting comfortably at my desk couldn't be bothered to go anywhere else to find it so I've just actually it's actually just a piece of ordinary card Lovely. so what you um, you know that you would stamp on but for a background you can even use copy paper it doesn't need to be ex anything expensive so what I'm doing here I'm u just using the holly and I'm using one of my finger daubers um, these these aren't really good um, they come in a set there, there we are they're from Crafts 2 you they sell they? them on the website we I have think. yeah John regularly brings those yeah, so you can do it randomly or you can be quite precise. Um, you know, you can join them all up or, or what have you. But I'm just doing sort of a random pattern wherever it goes. Um, I can always fill in gaps afterwards if I need to. Let's just do it quite quickly so we can get onto the main card. So that's what I would do. And then I would stop, look, fill in the gaps. We'll have another big one there. And so the finger daubers are quite good for this precise colouring. If you're using um, a, a distress tool or a, a smoothie, you can go, you know, no. onto a much larger area. Can I just very quickly mention, I think we need to have a little word with um, Jenny. So apologies for pulling away from the demonstration. Important news is with regards to those stencils. They have technically sold out, which means if you have got them in your basket, you need to be checking your baskets out. We are literally having a conversation with Jenny now to see if we are able to bring any more on extended delivery. I don't know what the outcome will be. But if you've got them in your baskets, I do hasten to get you to check those baskets out because even if we do get extended delivery, you will get those straight away so uh, on their way to you um, within the, the next day or two 975 244 if it's not already in your basket be be as quick as you possibly can with those so uh, yeah technically sold out so check your baskets out with regards to those okay so just carry on until you've got sort of a random pattern um, also 
don't waste your time. So if you're using this as a background, um, you're probably only going to use um, the, the outside bit. So draw a pencil line, use the inside bit. So draw a pencil line before you start and, um, you know, draw around that and then you can see exactly which bits are going to be showing. So, so is it, um, stencils are back now, just a couple of days extended delivery on there. Sorry Jenny, carry on. That's okay. Um, yes, so I've made a mark there. All I would do with that is just go back in and just cover that over quite easily. Don't even need to re-ink with another berry. There we go, mark gone. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. And that's what it would look like um, if you just did it that way. Very okay? effective. But there's lots of other things that you can do. So this one, can you see it's a lot stronger? Oh, yes, yeah. And it's very glittery. Mm -hmm. Now, that was using my Wink of Stella ah, okay. pen. So that's the one you use for precise work. So what we can do we can just go round each one like this. It takes a little while, but it does, you know, it really makes such a difference. Um, I don't know that that's going to show up on the screen, but it is really very, very twinkly. Oh, yes, you can see that. There you go. Oh, Molly's yes, you can it. see that it. That's amazing, lovely. Doesn't it? Um, and then if you did it that way, you'd get, whoops, lost it. That's what it would look like all over. So very Beautiful. twinkly, very stro that strong. That looks amazing. Um, now, this one is very strong. But what I've done as I, when I was working, I actually um, drew around each stencil. Again, I actually find it quite therapeutic. Obviously, these have got a right and a wrong way. So, no, hang on. Oh, Jenny, it, which one an is email it? come through asking, could we actually use, you know the little palette that you were using with the micas, could you use that in the same way as the pen that you just used? You know how you added the, the gold detail? Could you do it with the... Um, the oh, yes, yes, you killers, could. Yeah. But obviously, you'd have to use a very fine brush. Yes, because if you're doing it as a lamp. It's oh. great for... Uh, as, as you can see, absolutely fantastic on dark yes, colours. Yes, yeah, shows up beautifully. Um, less is more. You don't yeah. want to use too much of it. But it, it makes beautiful cosmic shimmer backgrounds. Gorgeous. And with mixed media, nice. it, it yeah. really is. Um, it, it really Lovely. is beautiful. Lovely. But yeah, you can you can paint with it. You can do whatever you like with it. So this one, which is very very strong, um, is I've just drawn through the stencil with a pen like so okay and then once I've drawn round it then just colored it in so you'll see straight away oh, you get wow, a much yes. stronger look Gosh, that's quick but well. my favorite look is the random look which is this okay it's outside my comfort zone because you just relax and you just do uh, whatever right hang on I will use this pen. Wonderful. Um, Just to give you a time check, Jenny, we've got about eight minutes left. Okay, right. So where's the one that I did? I've lost it. See what I, I did tell you at the beginning, I lose things. I've turned it over, that's why. <laughs> so um, to do this sort of effect, which is my favourite, you can see the difference if you look at them side by, by side. One is quite st static and strong, mm -hmm. but one is quite... Um, freehand. I'm not worrying whether I keep um, to the outline. So I'm literally just using it as a um, an outline to, um, you know, as a, as a template really. But if I go outside or it's not perfect, I don't I don't mind. And I really quite like that game. Again, if you do the berries, you don't have to do the whole thing. So just relax and let it go, and that's, um, I think that makes a fantastic background. Lovely. Right, so get on to our little dog. And oh, again, I'm lovely. using Versafine so that I can colour in. And I'm using a die cut circle. Allow it for a minute or two to dry. 
and then just colour in. Wonderful. So since I used fired brick in the um, on the stencil, I'm going to use fired brick to colour in. But I'm going to uh, that's I don't want it exactly like that. So I'm going to just add some red from okay. one of the pens. Um, I could even pick it up the colour and do it that way. So I could pick up the um, dis uh, the fired brick and it will change it slightly so it will be slightly richer mm -hmm. than the background but it, well, you know it will tone because you're still using the fired brick colour so there we are you can see it's oh, yes, coming see back coming, it comes yes. back to red it will come back to its well, own colour so if I just pick up that colour and is this one of the clean colour pens again? yes this is one of the clean colour pens and what I do when I'm using clean colour I keep my own record it's nothing fancy, it's just for me, but I just do it on, oh, that's a good on idea, flip the charts yeah. um, and then straight away I can see the colours. That's a good um, tip. And I also, um, you can download from our website the 490 sheet. Oh, to actually colour in. I think I've got Because one of although you've got a printed one there, which yes. is fantastic, there's nothing like colouring it in yourself because then you can see the true colours. Good point as well. Um, so uh, yeah, perfect way. If you do go for that complete set of 90 there, you are getting those brand new 10 colours that have been added to the collection. And these are lovely because you've got kind of flesh tones within there as well. So uh, if you do fancy getting hold of those, three flexi buys, 072942. And of course you have got your smaller bundle and you won't get any crossovers unless you go for the complete bundle. So if you do want to go for the smaller bundle of the 24 and then add into them, you can do it as time goes on. Um, details on the screen there because of course we are working with one of those really cute little stamps that we're um, launching them during this particular hour and you've got 44 stamps coming to you not just the little pooches that we're looking at here but it's called the Moosby Christmas stamp collection and you've got all the brand new stamps there from Hobby Art and of course um, Jenny has been working with them throughout. Right. About five minutes left Jenny. Okay we can do this it's fine. Um, so I made a mistake I, I didn't intend to colour the box just went into colouring mode <laughs> um, but so what I've done I've actually I'll, I'll, um, I'll finish colouring this first and then I'll, I'll go on one okay. so um, I'm using mustard again which is number 67 and I'm pulling it I'll be pulling it out because this is the colour of our dog Oh, and what's your dog's name um, it's pumpkin pumpkin because he was buried um, he was born on Halloween. Oh, I see. <laughs> um, and but he's a sort of he, he looks more like a cocker spaniel. But he's um, his parents are both cockapoos. Oh, I see. But he's not curly. His brothers and sisters are. Oh, so um, yeah. So at the moment, all dogs tend to be coloured brown in our house. Right. So what I'm doing there that's dried quite quickly because of the heat in here. So what I'm doing, I'm going back to my mustard. Just pulling a bit of the colour off. Don't do it over the the paper because you could make a, um, you know, you could flick it. Okay, so basically you colour your ribbon, you colour your dog, and if you um, have coloured in the eyes as I have there, just use a white pen. Mine is around here somewhere. There we go, and just pop the eyes back in like that makes a difference that small bit here's one that's one further ahead and I've already stamped on scrap paper and as you can see it's just copy paper and I've um, so I, on a scrap piece like this I've stamped over it and then I'm just going to put a bit of glue very little glue that's far too heavy but what I will do there is I will just get a bit of kitchen towel because I, I just want it because it's copy paper I don't want to use too much glue I to be honest I normally do it with my finger because okay. that just takes enough off and then we'll just stick that into place like so perfect there we go and it's actually a lot quicker than it looks um, to finish it off you just use um, a little bit of colour around the edge. I'll use the finger cot that's already got a bit of green on it 
and that is just enough to take the whiteness of the card off okay and then this one's already finished but I would just go over with the gold pen again I'm having one of those days of losing things oh, that's bless, quite yeah. common for me there we are so you can always go over some areas if you want to and if you want something really sparkly just let's do it on this one we'll go over the, um, the ribbon just be careful because you can move the color so if you do this that's actually really nice on there um, just clean it before you go on to the next thing so that's going to go onto your card and there, there we you are. go job done beautiful but look how glittery that is that that's ribbon. amazing that do Absolutely. keep your eye on your basket as you're checking out your basket you'll come across that wink of stella it's definitely worth adding in jenny thank you so That's much okay. and i love that all those different techniques with those stencils as well don't forget they are a back in stock and um, a little bit of extended delivery on there now i'm holding up the, the little dowel set that we've got here because we've had an email come through from somebody who's trying to find tories trying to find the the turkey stamp it's actually um, called daryl daryl the quirky turkey so that's the one that you need to look out for for that stamp set and of course that is the one where you've got all those wonderful turkey images that you're going to have loads and loads of fun with. I love that one. It looks like he's almost breaking, breaking out of a box there. But the perfect opportunity for you to use your wiggly eyes as well. Um, so if you're wanting this one, just £14.99, you're getting 20 stamps within that set. And as you can see there, lots of fun to be had by all. And that is the key thing, unless you're the turkey, of course. Jenny, you are back a little bit later on. Yes, I'm um, back at three. Three o'clock, so make sure you do stay tuned and come back and see Jenny later. But of course, if you've got any goodies in your basket, you need to be checking those baskets out. I've had sellouts during this hour, so please... Please do not be a victim of those so make sure if you've got anything in your basket you're checking your basket out and then you can ensure that it's on its way to and if it is those stencils just an extra day or two on that delivery of those but um, they are back in stock which is all good news so get hold of your bundle get hold of them individually it's entirely up to you just make sure you get hold of them and I'll see you later So yes, of course, it's time now, 12 o'clock, for the one-day special. So we're going to have a little look at the Quilter Stash Bag with the lovely Rebecca. Then I'm going to be teaming up with a fabulous brand-new guest all the way from Australia um, before we go back to our Pink Pink books. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity, we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent, and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings-on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month.
Over 12,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member, which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hochanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hochanda family. Would you like to enter our biggest ever prize draw? Complete any purchase during any live show featured within our Summer Festival of Quilting event and you will receive automatic entry. Keep watching the shows as the mega bundle grows. Prizes will be added throughout the week and everything could be yours. The lucky winner will be announced at the end of the 4pm final call show on the 4th of August. Good luck. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Hello and welcome. Well, it continues the Summer Festival of Quilting um, and it's getting bigger and better every single hour. It's very exciting. Um, I am, of course, talking about the wonderful prize draw. Now, someone is very luckily going to win the, the whole prize. So far, okay, so far, and every hour it's bit well, every sewing hour, the, well, the hours that are part of the summer of um, the Festival of Quilting, there will be an extra prize so we've got incredible fabric and i mean look at the colors amazing we've got look at the duke now um the overlocker this isn't the one that we had the live and the show but oh my gosh it is a fantastic machine um that is your overlocker we've also got this beautiful quilt um it's got the gorgeous pattern and you've got all the fabrics they're really, really sweet are these. I love all the little bundles of fabrics. You've then got, you've then got this beautiful, um, Morda jelly roll and look at all these colours. I mean, this is beautiful. It's called Spice It Up. Really autumn. But yeah, when it's actually called Spice It Up, you can see sort of the cinnamons in there, can't you? It's got a real, yeah, a real beautiful. Oh, look at that. I love this. I'm making Kim suffer because I'm showing you these. Uh, she, I wouldn't let Kim, who's in my head, I wouldn't let our Kim see our price for this. I were, I were, I were making her, I were making her wait, bear with. Um, so, in this hour, how much is this worth, our Kim? This is worth £69.99. pence. This is worth £59.99. Um, it is a mode of fabric. Again, look at these. Mm -hmm. This is now, look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? This has just been added to the prize draw. You are getting 24, what are these called? fat eights gosh um 24 fat eights i mean these are beautiful the colors the print it is modern really really gorgeous gorgeous um fabrics and of course wonderful quality this is called the new hope collection by joe morton and they're stunning that is all part of the um the wonderful prize draw look at this so the value now and this is only till today 801 pounds and 91 pence
so far. It ends on the 4th of August. Imagine the value by the time the 4th of August rolls round. Imagine the stuff that someone's going to win. Now, to win, all you need to do is purchase. It is going to be, so say you ordered, I don't know, in every hour, then every time you order, that goes into the prize draw um, kitty, if you will. So your name will have been put in three times there because it's per order. So obviously, um, have a look in, in the show. The more orders you place, the more chances you're going to get. That's basically what I'm trying to say in a very long-winded way. Um, if you do want anything, check your baskets. I, I cannot wait to see who's going to win. How exciting is that? Yeah, none of us. It's not going to be any of us, unfortunately. Uh, now, it isn't just me in this hour, of course. We have got the one day special and we've got our lovely Rebecca in the building again. Are you, Rebecca? Hello, back again. Back again. Back again. Back again. You've been busy throughout as well because you finished the bag off. I did. And well, you got ready for the next Well, we were hour. nearly there with the bag, so it seemed a shame not to finish it so you yeah. could see what it looked like. Yeah, I'm going to show mm. everybody in a moment. And then I'm getting ready to show you how to make a fat quarter cushion. Amazing. <laughs> I love it because this is the thing, isn't it? We're quarters um the you get so much material for your money don't you yeah you do i mean you've each fat quarter is 18 by 22 inches it's basically a yard of fabric cutting quarters yeah that's why it's called fat quarter yeah that eighth is half of a fat quarter amazing which is what you were just showing nine uh, by 22 yeah i see maths isn't it yeah, maths. it's all maths all maths it's all maths, <laughs> it's all maths. <laughs> yeah. so, but you're getting 25 of them which is great because yeah. you can you could make a whole quilt with all 25 or you can make lots of little projects or yes. just add it to your stash yeah and that's the thing isn't it because there's so many different colors and prints yeah there's always something and you know if you're making a little purse or a cushion or something and you want to put a little zingy lining in then you've yeah. got those ready yeah absolutely thank <laughs> you but right, i'm going to show everybody what we've got now already how much has gone my love 60% of the one day special has gone. I mean, it is going to be um, a, a selection that's sent out for you. Contents will vary. But I'll give you a bit of an idea of what you might be getting. You might be getting some Christmas, okay? There's some beautiful Christmas. What I like about this is there's, um, there's all sorts in here. You know, there's a beautiful sort of traditional Christmas. There's then, I mean, when you look at that, I love that. That's very contemporary. And then this Christmas is beautiful. I don't, it is Christmassy, but isn't that just gorgeous? I really, really like that. So you've got a whole mix. I mean, there's then, look, there's really cool prints. I love that. Brilliant. There's some really good quirky prints. There's some beautiful colour palette. This is what Rebecca was working on before. In fact, let me show you the bag because that's the finished bag. Obviously, you can get the pattern for that as well. That is one of the patterns. That is the strip Strippy bag. bag. Strippy bag. I'm still having trouble with I your strips. I really call it foxy bag. Yeah, it's a strippy it's a foxy, strippy, bag. Strippy foxy bag. <laughs> yeah. um, which is just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's really nice and big and absolutely achievable. Have a look at, I'll talk about the pattern, but that's one of those fabrics. There's florals, of course, some beautiful florals. I mean, just have a look at those gorgeous color palettes. There's fun ones. I mean, there's loads of fun ones. Hello. Oh, they're fabulous. Oh, they're, they're really pretty. There's loads of different colour palettes in here. Um, I know that our Rebecca's going to be using these in the demonstration um, for the cushion, and I love those. I just think they're so, so pretty. Oh, Kim, you're loving these coral ones, and these where they've got the, the metallic finish on. Ooh, sparkly. So you've got some metallic finishes. You've got purples, you've got yellows. And um, I love, again, there's some really fresh prints in there. I mean, that's really, really pretty. Um, so much variation. I love that one as well. So what are you going to be doing with these? You know, are you going to be making, I mean, um, you know, are you going to be making a mat for the dog? So to put his, um, his, you know, his food bowl on. Are you going to be using these for cushions? Are you going to be using these for um, making beautiful purses? We have got, of course, um, the lovely, the lovely things that we've got on the show. The lovely patterns for those. Um, are you going to be making with something like this? Look, is that a little um, oh bottle? See saucers sauces uh, a lovely little apron obviously there's so much you can do with this now are you going to be making an 80s 
<laughs> I, I think that has got mm. an 80s look about it. I was going to say an 80s neck chief. <laughs> Who knows? I know, right? I know, I were, I were trying a little bit too hard there, weren't I? Now, this is your one-day special. What you have got is an absolute bargain. Um, you've got a £30 saving. It is going to be sent out at random for you, but it is working out at £1.60 per fat quarter and you've got a beautiful collection they will be coming to you in the colour families anyway so it will all make sense now 12th of august that's when they're going to be sent out for you if you would like to get hold of your one day special it is seven six nine three five four but two thirds of the stock has gone now um, you've got your fat quarters so what our rebecca did of course was give us patterns and some of these have been rewritten so they'll work with fat quarters so it makes sense so if you are going for a pattern and your one day special you'll be able to make something straight away you have got loads of different options now the ones we're, we're talking about in this hour are a set of four you're saving eight pounds on this just 21.96 you can pop that in your flexi basket so we've got the beautiful Christmas tree skirt and that is really nice it's a big piece as well you've got the cushion which we will be seeing in this hour the wonderful strippy bag which I really like and I loved how achievable that was you could do I could do that um, and then we've got those really nice zip cases I like this because achievable projects brilliant for beginners uh, brilliant to just you know create something really fun great for gift ideas but with something like this obviously it makes you look at your your stash and create something gorgeous let me show you that tree skirt and I do have to just nip over here because it's quite a big piece of this so that's your tree skirt and we were talking earlier on in the last hour and Rebecca was saying when you make this initially if you don't cut out the circle in the center then you've just got a really nice table covering and it would look absolutely gorgeous with that and you don't need to do it in Christmas um, you know in Christmas uh, colors patterns at all in fact the the William Morris fabrics would look phenomenal in that so please have a play of course of course you know that you know if you so already it's like i know um if you do want to get hold of any of the patterns 21 pounds and 96 pence that's for your set of four however we have got a pick and mix option as well and as i said um our rebecca did rewrite some of these so you've got loads and loads of choices you are picking any two and they all work with your fat quarters and there's all sorts there look on the website and then you'll be able to see them better in more detail but there's all sorts and there's some beautiful 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 projects. I mean, that rainbow quilt is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Really, really pretty. Um, if you do want any of those, check the website out at chanda.com. Okay, now the William Morris. Oh, these are so beautiful. The other one did sell out. Option two did sell out. We've got option one left. So, what you get in here is if I just open one of these up, this is the full thing, not a choice now, it's a full thing. You've got your seven piece fat quarter bundle. I mean, isn't that just absolutely exquisite? Um, William Morris's fabric is just beautiful. Every time it's beautiful. I mean, the actual designs are sensational. You know, they're, they're very, obviously, they're very natural. You know, they're absolutely timeless. They're sophisticated. Whatever you make with this, it just looks expensive, quite frankly. Because it does, doesn't it? It just looks expensive. Um, what you can do with these as well, because it's got a gorgeous soft palette here. You know, the tops and that beautiful sort of grey running through here. So it will allow you to bring in a lot of different colours like an awesome blend will work with this uh, blues will work with this you know kind of cooler tones are going to come in in fact if i just pick up this one this time and just drape it over the top look how those colors will work see so when you bring in a stronger color with that they'll absolutely work so say you made with the fat quarter so say you made a quilt you could always back it with this one that would look absolutely sensational or of course you could just bring a, a tiny bit of this maybe you're gonna be putting that round the uh, the binding i couldn't remember what it was called then that with me binding <laughs> so that, that's my yeah um but how beautiful is that i love these it's just absolutely sensational if you do want to get hold of this one two-thirds of the stock has gone 
only twenty four ninety five. You're saving ten pounds there. Um, stunning. Now that is one six nine five zero six. Next, let me just get my doodle. I feel like I'm really pulling this along. <laughs> Don't mind me. So oh, <laughs> seamless. <laughs> um, but it's great because I can see. <laughs> um, now, this is amazing. In fact, I'm going to show you how much has gone on. Lovely, Kim. 30% on all three options. So this is huge. Absolutely huge. Look at this. I mean, I mean, let me just get end to end. It's really hard to get end to end because it's that big. So it's two metres by by almost three metres, isn't it? Two metres by almost three metres. So this has been obviously that kind of piece of fabric you could easily back a quilt with. But, I mean, that is a bed cover on its own. Um, lightweight curtains. I mean, when we were chatting about this before, Rebecca, it, you can do so much with this piece of fabric. It's huge. Well, you could back a quilt and, and make some matching cushions. You yeah. could use it to dressmaking. Yeah. You can make a whole set of dresses with that. Yeah, of course. Because it's a really nice weight and quality. I quite often use that quilt and cotton for dressmaking. Yeah. But I mean, it, yeah, it was. Just a really nice thing to have. You know, it doesn't have to be quilt backing. The beauty of yeah. it being so wide is you don't have to join it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just think that is and incredible. It's, and it's a shame sometimes to spend all that time on a quilt and not back it with something beautiful. Of course it is. I mean, that's it. A quilt is so special, isn't it? And then you've got enough there, probably, depending on your quilt size, but you could bind it with that. You could yes. use some of that in the patchwork as well, yeah. so it all tones Which together. Which would be beautiful, wouldn't mm. it? Like, if you'd done a quilt with the other William Morris yeah. and then, and like, backed it, some but, of them. oh, yeah, that and it's would just look a, it's sensational. It's just a lovely quality, very useful fabric, yeah. and yeah. I think it... The, when you buy decent quality fabric, it's worth it. Yes. Because you, yeah. you can tell the difference. Absolutely. And I think the, the print, I mean, William Morris print, it, it's just exquisite. Mm. You know, and obviously with anything William Morris, yeah, it has to be um, approved. I mean, you, yeah, you can't just, you can't just um, print a William Morris fabric. It has to be approved by the V&A. And I mean, it, it's just sensational. All three colours are lovely. So that's your first one. So that one's called Verdant. The next one is Mole. And I love that, actually, because I think that one, you could, again, bring a lot of colours into that. I am, that one, I think, um, you could actually get away with it being quite Christmassy as well. It's got yeah. such a cool tone to it. It has. It's very classy, though, isn't yes. it? It's, you can put some real simple elegance in your home without really trying yeah. very hard. Oh, definitely. <laughs> That's what's good. Yeah. Absolutely. I love that. And then last but my no, by no means least is the autumn one. And that is beautiful. I mean, those colours, you know, the reds going into the orange. It's just, I love it because it's just so, as we were saying, classy. But yeah, making just a tablecloth with these would look mm, phenomenal. Yeah. A table runner. Oh, yes, yeah, so I came. Dining room chairs. You're um, having it, are yeah. you? She's having it. But a whole tablecloth for a special occasion as well yeah. is, you know, really worth it. But there's so much there that it would be a tablecloth, it would be some cushion backs, you know, there's... Yeah. It's not just one thing, yeah, which is quite handy. Absolutely. It's stunning. Um, if you would like this, humongous piece of fabric. So two metres by almost three metres for just under £50, £49, £95. It is William Morris. It's quality. Uh, two payments, £24.98, £191198. Um, now, obviously, we've got loads of extra goodies. We've got some seven-day savers for you. And I was chatting before, actually, about this. That those colours, see the William Morris, you could add a little splash of metallic with those as well, yeah. just to give it a completely different look. Um, it is a seven day service, so you're saving £10 there, £14.99, 169018. We have got another um, a seven day saver. Um, Oh, sorry, it's not a seven-day saver. I'm talking the rubbish. Um, but it is on the website. This is well cool. Fisker's uh, folding roll, which is really handy, isn't it? Um, six by 24 inches there. £22.49 is your price. Check out the website at chanda.com. That's where we've got all our goodies. Uh, you can ring us as well. 01733602000. Right, our Rebecca. Is it mm. cushion time? It's cushion time. Cushion time. Um, now, I'm, I did make this cushion <laughs> at the beginning of our one-day special, but... But what I wanted to do was show you how 
one pattern could look so different in different fabrics. Yeah. So I made it using the peachy metallic ones, but I really like this fabric. So when you buy, when you get your 25 fat quarters, they'll come in families. Yeah. I don't know yeah. whether that's the technical term. <laughs> I think that works. Does that work? Yeah, the technical it term. It's a family. Makes absolute sense. So you get five fabrics, but they all go together because the colours and the prints work together. So you don't have to think about it. And, you know, I struggle. I mean, I might do lots of sewing, but I struggle with colour choice and think, oh, does that go with that? But when you've had them pre selected for you, you know it goes. And it's also quite a good teaching thing. So mm. you think, oh, so lime green and pink and blue do go together yeah so who and knew? who knew who knew but, but they do does. but they do and i don't know why they do mm. but they just do so in this little family you get um a patchwork print i've got a bigger piece of it here to show oh no i haven't got a bigger piece here because i cut it all out <laughs> i thought i did i have a different one um and it features all the fabrics that are in the rest of the bundle. So I just wanted to show you how that works. So what you do to start with is you've got to decide which fabrics are going to go where. Because you've got five fat quarters, you need to choose where they're going to go on your cushion. Because basically, it's called a window pane cushion. Because it's a wind. Oh, you've got the bigger piece. I've got there. it. I can yeah. show them I here. I cut mine up, you see. It's gone. It's in pieces. All gone. Mine's all, all in pieces. Gone. There you go. You got it. So it's a really lovely fabric. Yeah, it's really it? pretty. A real patchwork. Yeah, it's proper patchwork, that. You could quilt that you could make that one piece because 18 by 22 so you could make an 18 inch cushion yeah. and just quilt it yes and you could work a sort of a zigzag stitch around the edges of the patches yeah. and it looked like you'd actually done it yourself yeah but yeah you hadn't yeah a bit of cheating but that's you know with any of these fabrics just one will make a lovely cushion front yes yeah anyway or you can cut it all up and sew it all back together again <laughs> like <laughs> It seems a bit mad, doesn't it? Uh, it seems Why do you cut it all up and say that I think, I bet people, mm. like, we're the same, like, paper crafting. I bet people who watch us think, mm. what are they doing? Why, why would you cut Why it would all you up? do that? And then sew it all back together again? But it's so, so satisfying. <laughs> it looks nicer, that's why. It looks nicer. Yeah, because it's such good fun. So, um, this is the window pane cushion because you're framing prints, so you can use this design for anything it works really well with prints that have got tiny little details of interest like flowers or animals and you can cut them into the right size but the frames of the windows it's best to do them in a contrasting fabric so with the cushion that I've got over there yep. I did the window frames in a white because the prints themselves were a very strong yes yeah with this one I've decided to do my frames in a darker color because the prints are lighter Beautiful. So you just need some so in each of the fat quarter families that you'll get there will be one that will be slightly different that will stand out so i've used this darker pink and then you cut uh, all yeah. the pieces up as per the instructions and then what i do now is i lay it out just to see what it's going to look like so i could arrange it so it's sometimes quite nice to see what it looks like before you start sewing the whole thing together anyway yeah so it might look a bit odd because it doesn't quite fit like those three pieces need to fit across there which don't look like that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. You think, oh, God, I've got it wrong. But they will. They will. Because when you sew them all together and you'll lose it with the seam allowance. Trust the process. Trust it. Just trust. <laughs> I've spent ages chewing the end of a pencil and getting a calculator out <laughs> to work this, this lot out. It's been designed it, proper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> with the pencil. So you just lay out all of your pieces to see how they work. And then you start sewing them together. Beautiful. So I love things like this because every time you do it, Depending how you lay the pieces, it can be utterly different. Well, also, it helps you if you plan it a little bit in advance. Yeah. Because then you, you don't really want to have two pieces the same together. So I'm going yes. to put that one there and that one there. And then the beauty of the mobile phone. Who Take knew? A photo. Take a photo of it yeah. and then you remember. Yeah. I just love that. I used to spend ages like labelling things and going one, yes. two, three, four, but now you can just do it. So you can lay it out like that and go, oh, isn't that in the right order? Do I want to move any of the prints around? Oh, yes, I think I might swap that. You know, I do, that's got, I'll put that one there. Oh, no, that one sat next to that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, for example, but that just, and this, in the instructions, you know, if you take, if you have a look at them, it shows you all the different stages here yes. so that we're going to do this central panel first then we're going to move on to the whole thing so you can see what you're supposed to be doing so we're going to start with the center panel so we'll move all of these Wonderful. don't need those now well we will need them but we don't need them right now this minute also in the um, instructions there's enough fabric of one of them that's the cushion back ah fantastic so you will have quite a bit left over 
of some of the fabrics, but there is enough to, to make the whole cushion back out of one of the fabrics. Wow. So that's quite nice. So literally, there's uh, just one bundle you yeah, can make the whole cushion. Yeah, and you get, and there will be fabric left over. You, can, you could make um, a couple of the zip purses as well. Wow. But I've used five because I wanted the variety of the prints. I yeah. could have used less, but it's really nice to have the cushion back in a complementary fabric. Yes. So when you're deciding which one you're going to go where, have a think about which one you would want to go on the back. Perfect. Okay. But you can't have the one on the back that's the window frames. Right. Yeah, that won't work. Okay, yeah. Specific rules. Specific rules, but you'll know that when you read the instructions. Now <laughs> I've lost my pieces underneath. So what you do to start with is the top row. We're going to join these together. So these little little strips, you just pin them together. I'm not even well. I am going to pin them together because you should really. You don't need to because they're quite small. Yeah, they are teeny tiny. They're teeny aren't they? teeny tiny. So now we're going to. Just sew them. Make sure you sew in a straight line, following the seam allowance, which is set. Mm -hmm. And just use your um, foot plate as a guide. So, ooh, that one didn't like that. And then, if you if you keep your fabrics laid out, and you haven't taken a photo, then <laughs> that's fine, because it's it's easier actually. Yeah. It doesn't take up loads of space anyway. But you can then just keep picking them up. It's quite handy, obviously, if you've got a table next to you. But, yes. Um, put them on the ironing board. How I always find wear. fabrics are very safe on the ironing board. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could put anything on mine, it would be really safe. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just because you're going to need your ironing board anyway, but they're just sort of safe. They don't get knocked up, yeah. over or people put stuff on top. Yeah. Then, um, when you've done that, I'm going to move the iron, So, because I'm not sure whether it's central. There we go. Let's press the seams open. Always press as you go. Before you do that, just one thing, is press it. Just press the seam that you've done. When right. you sew, the, knee, the action of the needle and the thread going through the fabric disturbs all the fabric fibres, so it sort of puckers it slightly. Right. You'll get a nicer finish if you just quickly do it. And honestly, if you make a whole cushion and remembering to press the seam before you do anything, it will become natural. Okay. Like and it habit. is it's one of those that's just handy. Yeah, well, any sewing, always press yeah. your seam. It's called setting the seam. Yeah. It does make sense because when we see you sew, like in a few moments, um, if if you've got all those seams and the, the dancing around, it's not easy then, is no, it? No, and it just makes it... So you always need to have your iron and your machine. Mm, yeah. Just so one of those handy things. handy if you've got that, that small ironing board. It's really I know. Under. I bought myself one the other day. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. It's, it's really useful because I can just keep it on my table. Yeah. That is really, really handy. I mean, I know sometimes, you know, you need the bigger ironing board to iron, press big pieces of fabric. But for just on the side like yeah. this, you can buy even smaller ones as well. But I quite like that one. Yeah. I think that's handy. So now we're going to sew this strip across them. Because we're sewing a plain piece of fabric to a seamed piece of fabric, have the seams on the top. And the reason for that is um, it's easier to keep them flat. If you, when you're sewing, if that gets twisted, you'll end up with extra bulk that's so not very nice. It's not the end okay. of the world because clearly the sewing police won't be coming round your house. <laughs> Are you sure though? Well, they haven't come round mine yet. <laughs> and if they were going to, I'd have had it. So, um, if they were there, they'd have been at yours. Yeah. Just remember, there's just there's a lot of sort of snobbery in in any hobby world, yes, isn't it? Where is. people think, oh, this is the way you do it. Well, actually, yeah. you know. It's okay. Somebody invented sewing, didn't they? You can do whatever you like, really. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But it, it does help to keep them flat. So as you're sewing over them, just hold them flat. Wonderful. And if they twist, which they do sometimes, well, there we are. You could unpick it or you could just leave it. But, yeah. you know, if you can do something to prevent that, do try. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's just it... all about you've spent the time, you've spent the money. So if you can get a nicer finish. Yes. It's worth it, really. And it is quite practical as well, because obviously if it's bumpy in bits, yes. it can be, yeah, it can look not as pretty, but... Now, some quilters prefer to sew their, press their seams to one side, or open, it's up to you, really. All They're right. stronger if you press them to one side, because obviously um, you've got more pull on the seams. Yeah. But this is a cushion. It's not going to be... Yeah. Yeah, so you don't need that. It's not like clothing, is it? So, look, we've done one there, and we've done one there, and I actually made one before just to speed the process up here's Yay. one i made earlier yay so there we go so this is the central section so this when you choose the fabric that you're going to have as the center square
the, that fabric also goes around the border of the whole cushion, which is quite nice because your eye is drawn to the yes. square in the centre and then it's echoed by the border. So yeah. think about that one too. It's probably best because it's a big square to choose the one, the one that you like the most. I've chosen it because it's the biggest one. It's like the feature print. Yes. And yeah. on that cushion, I chose one... I mean, that's a different range of fabrics, but I chose the big print. So. Yes, I love that big print. I that is that. amazing. It's like a mad raccoon, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, it does. It just looks <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, angry raccoons. Angry, mad Angry raccoon. raccoon. Sunburnt raccoon. <laughs> yeah, he, he's had too much of the, yeah, too many rays as that one. <laughs> um, um, I nearly called you Angela then. Where did that come from, I don't Rebecca? know. I've never been called Angela ever. That's so bizarre. I have no idea. Anyway, um, I'm Rebecca. Wait, who was the email from? Yeah, it wasn't even the emailer. True, dear. See? Um, so, uh, Rebecca, have you used the folding ruler? Um, I haven't, but I would like one of those. Right. Because I have rulers. I have two of them, and they're quite big. But well, I, that folding ruler, see, look at mine, they're quite yeah. long ones. And I like this length because um, it's the length of my big cutting mat. And if you've got a metre of fabric and you fold it in half, then yeah. it fits across that. So if you're cutting strips from a metre of fabric, yeah. you fold it in half and you can cut them all the way across. Excellent. Um, but it's a bit of a pain to transport. So the folding ruler yeah. would be fabulous Because the transport. folding ruler ends up at the same as this. And I haven't used one, but when I saw it on there, I thought, oh. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if there's a spare one that nobody would notice. <laughs> I don't that know. That could just sort of slip onto my <laughs> yeah, trolley. Yeah, could always have a cheeky rummage. I so what do. did Trudy actually ask? <laughs> <laughs> the difference between the folding rulers... Um, So we've got to, uh, let's have a look. So one six by twenty-four inches, which is that one, and then the square, the, the size. Yeah. So one of them's a square ruler, and one of them is the long ruler. So what would we use uh, the square ruler for? Well, then? that's for when you're. Sub I mean, cutting, you can use it for anything, smaller things. Obviously, you've got to think you, you've got, you're not going to cut half metres of fabric yes, with it. But yes. if you're cutting small things, so say if you're doing half square triangles and you need to cut them to size, once yeah. you've done them, you always trim them down afterwards. The smaller ruler works better for that because it's more manageable. Yeah, yeah so not as faffy. Yeah. Oh, and, that's brilliant. And maybe you're working on a smaller cutting mat. You know, I've got a really big cutting mat because yeah. I do far too much cutting. Then a smaller ruler is easier. You can turn it round. Perfect. It's oh, quite nice you. to have a collection. Yeah. That yeah. 6 by 24 is a must. Yes. And then after that, just buy others. Okay, then add to it. Thank you very, thank you mm -hmm. very much. And thank you, Trudy. Thank you for your question. Because that's the kind of thing I go, what? Um, but thank you very much indeed, Trudy. That's a good question. There, there, was so good many, there were so many rulers. Yeah, that's rulers it, are wonderful it? Things. But they've all got, I suppose this is it, as you get more into mm. it and build up your collection, they've all got the use, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, I've got a beautiful wedge ruler. It's just a wedge ruler. A wedge ruler. It's a nine degree ruler and it's like 30 inches long and it's just a wedge. But it's perfect if you want to make a whole circle. Fabulous. And you cut all these wedges out and you end up. Ah, okay. With like like 40 or something to make a circle so it's very niche it's very specific but if you're making a big circle there's nothing else that does the job as well amazing it's like with all these tools isn't it you know it's yeah. like a stitch ripper i mean i wouldn't be without a stitch ripper yeah. but it only does one thing yeah 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 that's it isn't it i mean you just build it up as you go along god don't you you've yeah. got your essentials but then you just build up and I could spend ages talking about mm. air erase, heat erasable pens. Oh, you like them? We're still don't talking we? about them. We okay. love the heat erasable pens. <laughs> I, still, I, don't. Especially I found out you could buy fine ones as well, oh, and thick ones. Amazing. <laughs> See, there's, it's a whole world. It's a, whole it's world. a heat erasable pen world. <laughs> I want this iron no. as well. I'm just yeah, gonna... that iron's lovely, isn't it? So look, now there we've done the central <laughs> section. So that was quick, wasn't it? That's beautiful. So you can do that and just chat to someone at the same yeah. time as well. And it looks really pretty, does that? I, I love like these. That. Well, because everything is echoed in here, isn't it? So you haven't yes. really got to think about it. Yeah. Then what you have to do is you um, let's get your square, my squares again. So now we're going to do the sides. Clearly, you haven't moved them all out of the way like I did, <laughs> or you've taken a photo, like I haven't done. Um, I think it was sort of in this order. Yeah. Just try not to have. I mean, they're all separated by the little window frames, but just try not to have two together when they're the same. One, two, three, four. Make sure I've got the right number there. Yeah. 
Because <laughs> that really wouldn't work. Yeah, I'm really, well, I'm just, I'm looking at that thinking, how is that going to fit? And I've made that. <laughs> but it is, it is. Um, I love it. Trust the process. Trust the process. Trust the process. process. Are you going? I know, and I'm looking no. at it thinking, I'm I've got trust the process. Um, so you sew all of those together, mm -hmm. and that's what you end up with. Beautiful. Because I made the other side. Look, see? Say, trust the process. That's amazing, isn't it? Look. Yeah. That but by the sense. time you cut it out, so join all of those together. See, it does work. I know, I know, but I honestly, <laughs> despite the fact that I have done this, no, it doesn't because I've got too many, haven't I? No, <laughs> no I haven't. You've got, I've got, got the right one, number. A big one, a little one, a big one. Just need to no, trust it's it. right. It is right. It's right. right. That's amazing. I love that we're looking at that. And so, our and I've designed it, and I've just made it, it <laughs> and I'm still going, have oh, I got too many scum? <laughs> You see how long these uh, things take me. Oh, that's so funny, Rebecca. <laughs> right, I'm going to give everybody a reminder of what they've you got. You do that, and that, I'll sew these together. That really makes me giggle. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. That's the kind of thing I do. Is this Move right? Up. We see this is it. I remember many years we've been doing our particular craft. We still doubt ourselves. It's rubbish, isn't it? Well, especially because you're on t TV. If I sewed them all together and I went, yeah. oh, do no, you know what? Awesome. Yeah, Got and if it's going to go wrong, it will be here, my friend. Yeah, it will, it will. It will. Okay, <laughs> one day special. Um, so you have got this fantastic collection of fabrics. You're going to be getting 25 fat quarters. It might be a beautiful collection of Christmas and then spring, something fun, um, something gorgeous and bright. Um, you might be getting those beautiful metallic prints there. You might, of course, be getting um, the wonderful, which is one of my favourites, the one at the top. This is my favourite. That one, I think that is lovely look at them aren't they beautiful i mean that might be in there uh, contents will vary but what we have got is a phenomenal collection and because they are getting 25 of these you will have something that you're absolutely going to love and you'll have projects straight away as soon as you see it you'll have projects that you think yep that's going to be that that's going to be that whatever you're making maybe you are going to be making the gorgeous bag or the wonderful cushion that we're seeing at the moment um, have a look on the website for all those different different uh, lovely patterns that um, that we've got available for you. I love it because every time I look I see something different. You know, something I didn't see. That's um, made using the poppy and the daisy. Oh, beautiful. When you get so, to that one. Look at that. With oh, I love inside. that. And it's got daisy, the daisy one inside it. Oh. That's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. That is so beautiful. Um, okay, right. That is one of the patterns. I love it because it looks so different when it's in a different fabric. Right, if you do want to go for this, um, you're making a huge saving, £30 saving, uh, 769354. And how much has gone, did you say? 70. Right, 70% 70 of the stock has gone. You've only got one more live hour after this one. If you do want to get it, you know what to what do. What are going to do if it sells out? What we're going to do, I'll have to dig them rulers out for you. <laughs> have to just see. <laughs> rulers and William Morris, you'll be fine. <laughs> and see, this is it. You'll be fine. What are you on about? You'll be absolutely fine. Um, okay, now these are your patterns. So you have got a set of four patterns, just twenty-one ninety-six. You can make, and I love that. Isn't that pretty? That, of course, is a little purse. You've got three different purses in there, uh, three different sizes that you can make. Absolutely adorable. Love that fabric. And you've got the stripy bag. Obviously, looks completely different depending what fabric you use. And it is a wonderful, it's your shopping bag, it's your craft bag, it's your, your overnight bag. Um, it's just because it's so big, Look, you could fit all sorts in there. Absolutely gorgeous. And you have got that proper little, the, the box, is that what the it's called? The box corner. Well Boxed done. corners. So <laughs> box it sits corners. proper as well. Um, and of course, with this collection, you've also got the cushion, which uh, we're seeing currently. Now, if you do want all of your patterns um, for just £21.96, that's 359443. We have got your pick and mix. So do have a perusal because there's some lovely patterns there. And of course, I'd love it because we know you know these are going to be utterly achievable and all designed to use your fat 
quarters. Uh, you pick and mix any two. There's a lot more on the website. £11.98. It's actually 12 options on there. 045752 is your item number. Now, the William Morris. Stunning. Just stunning. Imagine using the William Morris to make those beautiful little purses. Imagine using the William Morris to use um, the lovely cushion. You see, this is the thing. Whatever pattern you have got, this is going to look sensational, quite frankly. The, the quality is beautiful, but that print, every single one of them, I mean, look at that. The stunning. I'd love a, look at that, I'd love a house full of William Morris. It's just so beautiful, isn't it? Um, timeless, absolutely stunning. Um, okay, if you would like this one. Now, you are getting seven pieces here. And they are big pieces as well, and the quality is just sensational. £24.95, saving £10 there. Yeah, it'll go really well with them all. Shall we bring them all in just to show you? Look, bring in them all. Bring in them all. <laughs> uh, bring in them all. Yeah, look at that. That looks so good, doesn't it, together? Boom. Yeah. That is amazing. And then I'd want just a darker colour there, maybe a darker, you know, a darker plain. Pull out one of those, maybe the black or the deep grey, a deep plain one, just that would look phenomenal. Oh, I like that a lot. Um, OK, 70% of the stock has gone with your fat quarters. That's 169506. That's your height. <laughs> That's your item number. <laughs> Just makes me laugh. Um, ooh, I had a bit of a wobble then, getting on my step. <laughs> um, OK, yeah, these are amazing. I mean, look at this fabric. I'm folding it rather than opening it this time. Because look at that, the mole's gorgeous. Look, look at that fabric. You're getting a lot of fabric. It's just amazing. The mall's gorgeous. The mall's gorgeous because it will work with so many other patterns and colours and prints. I mean, that's the lovely thing about this. If you're using these as a, a quilt backing, um, you know, your, your quilt might not be William Morris. So what are you going to use it with? I mean, if you're using it for to go with those, it's going to be amazing. But, I mean, with this one, there's so many colours that you can actually work with it. Um, obviously, this it doesn't need to be a quilt backing you could literally use these for your um your your actual um duvet cover quite frankly it would look so expensive i mean there's you you're getting so much fabric you know two meters by nearly three meters this is going to give you so many beautiful projects um stunning now you've got your different options so the verdant 40% of the stock has gone. Your beautiful mole, 30% of the stock has gone. And then the lovely, uh-oh, the lovely autumn approaching half of the stock has gone. Stunning, absolutely stunning. I find it very difficult to pick a favourite because I love every single one of those. And I'm, I can imagine, I, I want curtains, I want um, bedding out of this, the cushions. And even if it's just, you know, if you've got a beautiful, like, um, I don't know, it might just be a real nice ivory and then just a splash of that, a skirt, it would be amazing. I'd, I'd, I'd have a skirt in that one. Oh, they're stunning, aren't they? Um, £49.95, you are saving uh, £6 on that one. And of course, if you do want to get hold of that, you have to check your baskets out. Flexi, £24.98. 191198. If you are buying anything from the hour, you are going to get put into um, the wonderful prize draw. It might be you. Um, and there's so much that you could win in this. I mean, already, we're only... We, we've only just begun, really. We're not even 24 hours... I <laughs> know. Everyone starts singing in my head. I was singing. Were you singing that? <laughs> Only just do, 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 do. Um, <laughs> um, But already the the actual value of the price is over. Is what is it again? Eight hundred on one pounds and ninety one pence and that is going up every time we have one of our um festival of quilting shows it is very exciting is that imagine getting that i mean the duke overlooker overlooker overlocker we've got the the fat eights which are beautiful that gorgeous jelly roll 
I mean, it's just, yeah, it's sensational. Um, anyway, someone is going to be winning that on the 4th of August. Exciting. Um, OK, enough of me. Let's see what you're doing, God, Rebecca. Well, well, well. This look is, at that. Look it at works. how far I've got. Boom. See, this just shows you how quick it is. You're cooking on gas, love. Well, that's why, you know, if you cut everything out right at the beginning, you've got it all ready to go. It's yeah. like you don't do a jigsaw if you haven't turned all the pieces over, do you? Absolutely. That is just, that'd be crazy. That'd be stupid if you haven't found the corners Absolutely. and the straight edges. It's always the corners, isn't it? It's always the corners. Corners and edges. Oh, I haven't done a jigsaw in years. Oh, I love a jigsaw. Oh, corners and edges. Except for those baked bean ones, don't like them. <laughs> so, well, now, if, look, it works. It worked. It's amazing, isn't it? It works. It works. So I joined these sides to a vertical window frame, and then you join that to there. So... Right sides together again, and remember what I said, if you're sewing a fabric where it isn't seamed, to one that is seamed, put the seams on top because it's easier. Um, when you seam fabric, it sort of shrinks a bit because some of the fabric's sort of pulled up into the seam. So although it yeah. is the right size, pin it at the ends first, and then just pull it slightly, because it's, it's just pulling into the seams a bit, okay. and then put a pin in the middle. If you've got a really long piece of fabric to do, then it's best to measure it because you can't pull it and pin it at the same time. Yeah. If you see what I mean. Yeah. It's just because although it is the right size, sometimes it, it looks wrong because some of the fabric is jumping up into the seam. So there we go. So we'll just sew this one and then you'll be able to see what this, how this has come together and how important it is to choose a fabric for your frames that will contrast a little bit but what you know what you can do is obviously you know when you get your 25 fat quarters you've got a quite a big stash you could even use a plane for these frames yeah yeah and then save one of them for something else because that's it a plain one it does really help patterns to pop doesn't yeah it? so you could just use um and because you know well i'll just press this one open so you can see because with a lot of these fabrics there's lots of different colors then you can just choose a, mm. a plane that coordinates with them yeah and your plane I, I think that's interesting as well because the plane will definitely um, affect how it looks oh completely you know if you I mean out of that I'd go you know the really poppy lime green yes. I love that that but would look that amazing would be so different so uh, if you pick say the you know kind of the white in there or the or dark the pink. red or yeah. you could even use like a black and make it really yeah, yeah. really stunning so look there's the center of the cushion that's done that's lovely that's, that's so really pretty, pretty isn't it and then yeah. you just have to add borders all the way around so i've cut these out beforehand i've just got to remember which one goes where so d goes to the top and i labeled mine so i didn't forget yeah so d goes on the top and the bottom so you sew those on, yeah, and then E goes down the sides, which will uh, fit when you've sewn them on. Honestly, yeah. looks we like trust it. you. Trust me now. <laughs> then we when, trusted you before. You just didn't trust <laughs> and you. I, I didn't trust myself. <laughs> when you've sewn those on, you then take E. And do you remember I told you that the outer borders are, are the same yeah. as this one? So yeah. because you've now framed, this is your window. This is just the edge around your window. This is the wall around the window. Uh -huh. So you put that one on the top. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Now it's not fitting, is it? And again, you know, do what I'm doing first to lay it out because maybe your print is directional. Make sure you get it the right way up. Yeah. And then finally, we have F. And, and when you cut them out, do what I did. I just wrote on the back of them. But with you your can, pen. Oh, yeah, with my, with my, why aren't we selling these <laughs> small pens? We sell thousands We've of them. We've gone through those. Thousands. <laughs> or just pin a piece of paper on them. Yeah. So although this doesn't look like it fits, that's what it will, that's it so will look pretty. like. And so your eye, because this is on the edge, is then drawn to the centre. Yes. And it, and it echoes it. And then when you've got this on the back... What a pretty cushion. Oh, how pretty. Quite easy, though, yeah. wasn't it? It's, that's what I love about it. It's so achievable. You know, I, I me, mean, not being a sewer, that mm. doesn't like, put the fear of God into me. No, I mean, it's fine. Do you know fine. what I think? That could do that. Well, yeah, all you, the, the key is cutting out your pieces yes. accurately. So if you've got a rotary cutter and a ruler and a mat, that's yeah. easier and quicker. But if you haven't, just measure and draw. You could even draw the whole line in pencil. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you when I'm, I'm going to pin this one on with the when I should showed you that other one earlier. There weren't many seams, but you've got quite a lot of seams here. So it looks like that doesn't fit. Right. Of course. It looks like that's too short, but yeah. you need to stretch it. OK. All to do with the seams and 
place a pin in the middle because you don't want to have if you don't pin it in the middle then you'll have end up with sort of bunched bits and it is the right size it's just the, the seams pull it in you know when you start doing more patchwork if you're joining things together quite often if you make a patchwork quilt a lot yeah. of them have got borders all around the edge yeah. and you put the board on think well this is never gonna fit but you just you just but, make it but it fits. does because it's the right size it's just that the seams pull it in yeah so you know this is a really good practice if you've not done a lot of patchwork yes. there's a lot of straight pieces with seams on top so you can practice there's a lot of seams in here as well so if you think oh I can't do a seam allowance well you By will the be end of this to, you will <laughs> and you'll get fed up with drawing your seam allowance lines on and it is I, I think it's a lovely um, yeah definitely a lovely one to practice on because it's a really pretty piece when it's done yeah but if you have gone a little bit wonky somewhere it's mm. not too big a deal no, is it, it doesn't really matter does it no but you know if you wanted to because you you know, hopefully we'll get some Christmas fabrics in your little bundle. You know, yeah. what a nice little Christmas cushion. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Or if you've got a special piece of fabric that you really like that's got something pretty on it, um, then that's this is really nice to frame it. Yeah. Like, you know when you have those lovely tea towels? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. don't want to use them because yeah. they've got something really nice on. Cut up a tea towel. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I like making things with tea towels. It's quite nice, is that? Because, yeah, there's so many. You buy them like, when you go on holiday or something. But, you know, and they you? have lots of little things on them. Yeah. But you could cut up the centre for that. And oh, then you cute. could. It's a lovely idea. But then you've got all... That's the good thing about always having a big fabric stash. It's like yeah. it's like if you're a cake maker and you've run out of flour. I mean, yes. it's just, you know, and you haven't got, like, soft brown sugar in yeah. your cupboard. Yeah, you need... That's <laughs> it. If you do sewing, you have to have fabric. Yeah, and so that if you wanted to make something, it's, so it's a really good way of framing prints. But, you know, if you're really nervous and you're not sure, then practice on some spare fabric. Just have a go at cutting. Yeah. And honestly, if you haven't got a cutting mat, I really assume will. Yes. Yes, make sure you do get those. I mean, obviously, we've got loads of extra goodies on the website. We've got um, essentials. We've got seven-day servers as well. Um, and with seven-day servers, you've got some really good prices. So uh, you can't, now just stand here, like, chilling. Um, these are lovely, your metallic threads, um, handmade by our lovely Haley. Well, they're not literally handmade by Haley, they're from. <laughs> they're from our Haley. Um, and they're beautiful, of them. Really, really gorgeous. Contents may vary, but some lovely colours. Saving a full 10 quid there as well. 14 pence and 99 pence. 169018 is your item number. Uh, we've also got the magazine. Scenes, um, which again really good deal there saving 10 pounds and 50 pence and each one of those magazines does come with little extras so you've got some um, lovely little tools and things in Ooh, there nice. um, and patterns so yeah definitely worth getting a hold of those um, saving 10 pounds and 50 pence that's 736 365 they've got dress patterns in dress there number. yeah I like the look mm -hmm. of them it'd be nice if that William Morris back in front yeah it? yeah it would you, oh, no, oh. you wouldn't see anyone else in that mm. dress, would you? No, exactly. Yeah, that would be beautiful if you want the William mm. Morris mm -hmm. dress oh. pattern. I love it because our Kim don't really want you to buy it because she wants to get hers. <laughs> um, so make sure you do get your wonderful William Morris fabric. It is stunning. Um, the mole option is 60%. So if you do want that, mm. you do need to check your basket out on that. The mole one is absolutely, they're all sensational. I mean, look at them. They're beautiful. And you're getting so much fabric for your money. Two metres by 108 inch. That is humongous. Um, yeah, it's stunning. £49.95 pence is your price. 191198 is your item number. Right, back over to you. Right, so look, I've, I've just... I'll unpin that so you can see. Look, it does fit, see? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't doubt this one. I knew this would work. I was just counting my squares. But now I'm putting these borders on, and it's all just starting to build, isn't it? Beautiful, yeah. I do love that, because when you were saying it, it did sound like you were convincing yourself, not us. <laughs> I, know. I was really worried. It does, it does fit. It does. It does fit. I've made quite a lot of these, but I was really... It just... Space, yeah. I don't think maybe I've got rubbish spatial awareness. Actually, I have got rubbish spatial awareness. But it's maybe. Maybe about Don't it. go out driving no, when, um, good, no. when you're on the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks absolutely beautiful. It's lovely. But as you can see how quickly it can come together. So, yeah. you know, in, in an hour, yeah. two, maybe give yourself two hours tops of cutting it out. That's yes. done. Yes. Wow. 
imagine. Imagine. And if you were buying those, I yeah. mean, obviously, hand making them out of your own fabrics looks even better. Um, I'll give you a quick recap um, because obviously we are running out of time. We're I really know. running out of time. Okay, your one day special. It is going to be. Um, it's going to be selected for you and sent out, but. There's so many beautiful prints in here. You know, there's all sorts. I love the fun prints. I love the, the really, oh, I should, the, I love the dinosaurs. Hello. Aren't they cute? Let me show you the other one, because I showed you that one in the last hour. Love that one. Look at them. Oh, they're so cool. What's your favourite now? They're so cool. What's your favourite, I came? Mm. Oh, I like those. Oh, look at those. That's pretty. Yeah, the rainbow ones are cute. They are, but that is so lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. You like the pinks. I like the blue. What about you, Aunt Holly? The dog ones. These ones. I knew where they were. <laughs> Boom, straight in. <laughs> I knew where they were. Aren't they just lovely? you got a little collar. See, you've got your balls and your bones. And then I like that one as well, the sort of sketchy dogs. Yeah, I like sketchy dogs. <laughs> um, they're fabulous. You've so much choice. I mean, this is the thing, isn't it? Whatever you get sent, it's going to be beautiful. And every time, literally every time I see one, it's like, oh, I don't remember seeing that, little birdies. And they, they've got all the different colours that match. Like, look at those. How cute are those? They're so pretty. Um, if you do want um, your one day special, please check your baskets out. It has been busy yet again. And of course, we've only got one more live hour after this one. Um, so how it will come to you, you're going to get five bunches of five. Um, and it is just amazing. You're saving £30 there. Such good value for money. 769354. It's working out at £1.69 per fat quarter. That is such a deal. Please, please, please check your baskets out, though, because you haven't got loads and loads of time now. Um, that is 769354. Okay. Now, the verdant, over 70% of the stock has gone. It is sensational. Don't know if we can get any more of this. We've then got the beautiful mole. How much of that has gone? I love that one. That's your mole. 60% of stock has gone. And then look at the autumn one. Look at that. It is stunning, isn't it? <laughs> um, and again, that is phenomenal. Phenomenal. What colours are you going to put with these? What are you going to do with yours? I'd love to know, but we're running out of time, actually. In fact, I'd better say, how much time have we got? Like, seconds? 30 seconds. Uh, Rebecca, thank you ever so much. Yeah, no worries. No worries. I'm going to stay and finish this off, I think. Oh, <laughs> really we'll done. be able to see it in next hour. <laughs> yeah. um, thank you, Rebecca. I really like your shows. It's been a um, pleasure. Obviously, check your baskets out. You've got so much choice. Those William Morris. That with that. Oh, my word. They just look so good, don't they? Um, so much choice. Right, don't go anywhere. Obviously, we've got loads more coming up. Make sure you check out your basket, because it might be you who wins that beautiful prize on the 4th. Okay, okay. Oh, this show's good as well. The Patchwork Ninja, honestly, the stuff is beautiful. And then with our Joe, Pink Big Sketchbooks. And then wonderful Jenny's back in the building with Quirky Christmas. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques? By watching and crafting along with your favourite Tachanda guest demonstrators, or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. 
Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows here on Hojanda. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and join Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. Would you like to enter our biggest ever prize draw? Complete any purchase during any live show featured within our Summer Festival of Quilting event and you will receive automatic entry. Keep watching the shows as the mega bundle grows. Prizes will be added throughout the week and everything could be yours. The lucky winner will be announced at the end of the 4pm final call show on the 4th of August. Good luck. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello there and welcome back. Well, our fabulous event continues. We've got our summer festival quilting happening right the way through until Tuesday at six o'clock in the evening. And of course, we are gathering prizes for you, supplied by our wonderful team of suppliers here, of which I will be introducing a brand new one, the Patchwork Ninja, in just a few moments. But Di, and I hope that is how you pronounce your name, Di, um, has donated a prize to our fund. So I'm going to go down into my crafty cellar um, um, and bring out a fabulous prize, which is going to be significant with regards to the hour that we're bringing you. So what you've got here is a whole reel of buckram tape, which we'll explain to you more about in a few moments. You've got some incredibly um, Japanese um, engineered needles, which are very key, incredibly strong and hard for your projects. And then you've got your Japanese thread. You will be able to use these to create the most incredible bags. Now I'm going to pop this alongside all of our other goodies. Let's pop it down at the front there next 
to those wonderful spotty fabrics. Don't forget, this prize is growing and growing and growing. So, of course, we've got fabulous fabrics in here. We've got some strip rolls in there, fat quarters, incredible fabric. Oh, I like the look of those myself. And, of course, we've got that incredible overlocker. So, it could be that you will be winning these. So, how do you get involved? Couldn't be simpler. All you need to do is place an order during one of our live hours during our sewing event, um, and you will be entered into the prize draw. You don't have to enter any codes or fill out any questionnaires or leave any emails. Now, it's one per customer or one per show. Now, we don't announce who's going into the prize draw until we draw that winner. And that's the key thing. That winner will be drawn in the final call show, 4 o'clock on the 4th of August. So, as it says there on your screen, good luck. And for full terms and conditions, do jump onto the Hachanda website. And, of course, it could be this hour that you are placing your order to get you entered in that prize draw. The more um, often you're placing your orders, the more opportunity you have, the more chance to win. Now, of course, I promised you an amazing hour, and I'm really looking forward to this one. We are talking Patchwork and Ninja, and I think we have Dai, who's going to be joining us via Skype. And I think the correct greeting is Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Oh, konnichiwa, how are you? Konnichiwa. Hello. Now, have I pronounced Patchwork your name Ninja. correctly? Is it Dai? Yes, Dai. Yeah, Dai is a Patchwork Ninja. Wonderful. Yeah. Now, I'm really excited about this, uh, because we are going to be learning some yeah, amazing too. techniques, which you'll be taking us through. And we've got some amazing products, which I'll be introducing in a few moments. But tell us a little bit about yep. yourself and Patchwork Ninja. Yes, um, thank you. Uh, thank you, Hayley. Um, I, uh, my name is, is the Dai, the Ninja, Patchwork Ninja. I grew up in a patchwork shop in Japan because my mom has been running a patchwork shop for 40 years in Japan. Now, um, we've been uh, doing the business, like just, uh, um, I've been doing a patchwork business in Australia for 10 years, and we've been teaching our fantastic sewing techniques in throughout the, all the world, like just uh, Australia, New Zealand, and Japan, and the UK, like we were supposed to be in the Birmingham show, and we are looking forward to coming back for next year. Oh, yeah. There are many of us that are so disappointed that Festival of Quilts hasn't gone ahead. But, of course, we have to be mindful of the, the situation. And we could see in your background there that fabulous bag that you're going to be teaching a technique um, to. Now, we've got a kit. The yeah. details are up on the screen, so our viewers can obviously get involved with this straight away. But this is something that you're going to be um, teaching us um, and showing us via this particular kit that we've got. You've got all your gorgeous Japanese fabrics in strips. You've got your handles. You've got your book around tape and of course you've got your technique and all those little fundamentals those little elements that you need to create this amazing bag yes that's right that's exactly like we're going to teach you how to make this bag here today and the great things about this bag is actually you can make this bag with little sewing because like you can weave this bag yeah, just weaving the f uh, fabrics like this, it's not going to be strong enough to make the handbag like that. But this bag, you can, you know, carry around like this. You can use it for every day. So it's very heavy duty. So this um, background tape, yeah, background tape, it's very easy to use. Like that's heavy duty, that's a Japanese product. And we're going to teach you step by step through how to use these tapes. And also, like you just, we are sharing a lot of, lots of sewing hacks, which is 99% of sewers never heard of. So it's going to be really exciting. I am, and I, I must admit, I was looking at this earlier on, and it is incredible. Um, obviously, you're going to get your template, your instructions, everything that you need to know within your kit. Um, and the details are there on your screen. So if you want to get involved, you can do. By all means, you can do. Now, um, Di, if it's OK, shall I let you get ready for your demonstration? Because I know you need to alter your cameras around. Absolutely, yeah. I'm, I'm getting ready right now. And then just, uh, yeah, I'll let you know like, once I'm ready. Wonderful. I will be back with you in a few moments. Um, so let me introduce you to all the different things that we've got here. We are incredibly busy already, and I'm not surprised because these are stylish bags, and I'm sure you, like I, have seen these around. Now, this is the complete bundle, so you've got literally everything that you need in your bundle to be able to create this incredible bag. So you've got, as you saw there, those beautiful, almost like foil prints, Japanese fabrics are just so absolutely exquisite to work with. They're beautiful quality. 
um, and of course you can see that coming through there with that gorgeous foiling then you've got your strips your strips are already pre-cut there's no measuring done with this you have got all the fabrics that you need here to create those beautiful um, effects with regards to your fabrics and this is something that is key I wouldn't know the first place to go to get these incredible handles which you can see that feature such a significant part of your bag and of course the the quality and the craftsmanship within these is absolutely incredible so you're going to get your two sets of straps and of course you are going to get your instructions there's just a couple of things I would suggest that when you come to check out your order you do potentially add in as your final core elements and we will see oh does that come with it? oh so it does it's over there already I do apologize I couldn't see because the bag was in the way but the bag is fully lined as well so that is the key thing you're gonna get your needle grabber we will see that in action with the demonstrations you're going to get your threads and your Japanese engineered needles as well but have a look at this this is absolutely beautiful it's such a stylish bag and such a wonderful size as you can see there and all of that gorgeous weaving going on right the way through now Dai has uh, promised us it's minimal sewing so we will be seeing that in a few moments so if you want in your kit then please do get involved two flexi buys on this one spreading the cost and it's a very popular bundle so 390724 now of course you might want to go for some of the other wonderful things that Dai has bought so let me quickly show you some of these as well now on this one here again this one we've got different style fabrics I think featuring within this particular one so again with this one it's looking slightly different you haven't got all the additional bits and pieces so you haven't got your um, your needle grabber you haven't got your thread included within this one but what you have got is still your lining fabric and of course the fabric cut in strips there as well as you can see um, you've also got your template that is included and of course the knowledge that you are going to be able to create this so this might be a nice one to add into your basket alongside the original ones don't forget if you do want those additional bits and pieces that you are getting included within the uh, the other bundle they are there for when you come to check out your order so do consider popping these into your basket as you go so make sure you get hold of those as well but for the time being details are there seven ones it wrote 231 58 pounds and 99 pence as you can see the incredible um, price there two flexi buys of course as well one thing is that I mentioned there he's out in Australia so we have got extended delivery with these just need to bear in mind that and it's the 13th of August but definitely worth the wait now if you're thinking I've already got some beautiful fabrics that I'm planning to use then what you can do is go for this bundle here and this is proven to be very popular as well so in this one you've got the template the knowledge the tuition that Dai is going to be sharing with us you've got your book from tape there and as you heard from him that is manufactured in Japan so we know we've got incredible quality with that one and you can see that 17.99 is going to get you both your booklet as well as your book from tape there nice little addition to add in as well because of course that's one of the things that you'll be using over and over again is that book from there so seven seven six zero eight three that's going to give the stability and the sturdiness to your fabrics when you're working with them um, and don't forget as you're checking out and I'll keep bringing these back in again but you can add these in at your end of call so if you do want your threads if you do want your needle grabber then add those in alongside so you will be able to see there's no additional post and packing with regard to those as well so that's the nice thing about adding those in and of course if you do, do want to add this in alongside any of those other items with your flex the order you can spread the cost of this one as well so it works out where are we it's going to work out about what six pounds and no um eight pounds and fifty pence i think is now eight pounds there or there but so details there seven seven six zero eight three just one more thing that i would suggest that you add into your basket and that is these i'm going to leave them on their stand there because um, obviously if i hold them up it's a bit trickier here we have got a pack of 25 japanese steel needles don't forget these are included if you are going for the first item that we've been chatting about but these are the needles you need them to be incredibly sturdy they're strong they've got the strength with them and there's a reason why Dai has or um, decided to include these ones within the show and he will explain that as the hour progresses so three zero two nine six nine just eleven pounds and ninety nine pence so do make sure you're popping those into your basket we're gonna head back to the, the bag um, as we go we're gonna jump onto the website but one thing I do want to mention is the seven day savers don't forget you only have up until Sunday morning to take advantage of these You've got a variety 
variety of different things you can add in and you can see you can add any of these goodies in something on there that you might want to consider um, if you are into your sewing then we have got your threads which are available on there as well but any of these goodies you can add in then of course there's no additional um, price with regard oh no actually that's the end of call with these you have got your post and packing to go on top but if you're a freedom member then you don't need to worry about that so there we go whistle stop tour because I think the thing is that we want to see how this bag comes together so Di are you ready can I hand back over to you yes I'm ready um yeah please give yeah like I'm ready like this I'm ready to start presentation anytime wonderful let's go for that then because I can't wait to see how this bag comes together great thank you Haley yep yeah, excellent let's, let's go for it what so, do you need to do first yeah so like just so we're going to make these bags yeah it's very handy like just uh, uh it's very simple all you have to do is like see using this background type and then just diffuse your favorite fabric use your fabrics onto this background page and just weave it that's how simple is that but first step like just it's very very important things to do um, first things you need to do is to cut your background tapes, yeah, not the fabrics. It's very important thing. So like, I'm going to tell you one more time. You need to cut your background tapes first before the fabrics. So if you have a kit, like, if, um, as Harry explained, like it's already pre-cut, but don't even look at your fabrics, just background tapes because this background tape is 16 meters yeah so you need to have 16 strips of one meter long background tape so you need to cut into one meter precisely you have to it has to be very precise one meter cut background tapes and you just you need to have 16 of those and not even one centimeter longer then just you won't have enough so imagine if you cut your fabrics fabric width is 110 centimeters. So that's the common mistakes people make. You line them up and cut them into 110 centimeter. So please, please don't do that. So forget about fabric first. Just cut into your background tapes in 100 centimeters. That's all you need to do. Now, if you cut your fab, um, background tapes in 100 centimeters, it's time to fuse your fabrics onto your background tape. Because you need to make lots of strips. You need to make lots of strips like that. That's a heavy duty strips. You need to make 16 of those and then just you can weave the bag straight away. So it's very heavy duty. Okay, now I need to get the steam iron ready, yeah? Um, we're going to use steam iron for this project. And first, and before fusing your fabric, like just I'm going to show you one of the very important tips for you, okay? Actually, this is the top secret for this project. Like I want you to have the, exactly the same setup for this project, yeah? Um, just I'm going to show you. Can you see? This is the mattresses. You know, this is a rubber four mattresses like just I got from hardware store. And I want you to have exactly the same setting, like just put it underneath and then just cover it up with a piece of fabrics. So you can iron it. You can iron your fabrics on this one. And also Later on, when you're going to weave these strips, you want to pin them down so that like just you can fix the positioning of your um, those background strips. Yeah, that's really crucial. So like just uh, yeah, it's a good grip. Like just you can pin it down like this. Yeah. So like just it's very very handy. I want you to have the, exactly the same uh, setting. Like just a. Yeah, you can get it from hardware store. Now, if you look at this background tape, 
you can see the shiny side of it. Yeah. So like just under the light, like just the one, it's one side adhesive. So you can see the shiny side of it, like that's the adhesive. So place the fabrics wrong side facing up and background tape on top. Make sure adhesive side is facing up and place it as center as possible. Now, avoid the selvage. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold this over and we're going to fuse with dry iron first and steam iron on the way back. Is that okay so far so good? Looking good to yeah. me. Excellent. Looking good. Yeah, excellent. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, so keep going, yeah? So, like, just, uh, I'm going to um, teach you one of the fantastic um, sewing hacks today. It's called Ninja Timber, yeah? That's a sewing hack you can do it um, even from today, and then that's really fantastic. You know, the common mis um, common problems, are like, when you um Fusing your fusible interface, like I think, like just in the UK, you say uh, bundle web, yeah. When you fuse a bundle web, like just uh, it's going to it's going to peel off, like just it peeling off sometimes, like it's really annoying, like it doesn't fuse, it's peeling off. We have a solution for that. So we're using a ninja timber. This ninja timber is amazing because it takes the heat away, like when you fuse your fabrics onto your bundle web. So bundle web has got that adhesive. While adhesive is melting, it doesn't fuse. It only works um, when the uh, adhesive start cooling down. So this actually Ninja Timber, it's made out of camphor oil. oil. Um, it's taking the heat away from your uh, um, stabilizer. So I'm going to show you how to fuse your um, fabrics onto fusible background tape. So now, Adhesive side is facing up. Die. Yes. Could, could you possibly move your strip of fabric about um, an inch further away from you so as we can see that better on our screen? Um, inch away from the screen. From you. So towards the wood. Towards the wood. Ah, oh, yeah, like like this. Perfect. We just okay, okay. We, we couldn't, Thank you. couldn't Thank you. quite yeah. see. Is that couldn't good? Quite no? see. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Haley. Now, can you see this selvage? Because, like, just uh, as I explained to you before, fabric is way longer than your background tapes, so you can avoid the selvage when you fuse it. And probably, I will pin here. So that like just you won't move around. It's good to pin it because like just uh, remember like just we have a um, mattress under this. Now we're going to use dry iron first because like just it's getting really close to your finger, so I don't want you to burn yourself. So just dry iron from right hand side to the left hand side. Just dry iron. So folding the raw edges down, and then just a folding, also folding with the edge of the iron, yeah? So I'm going to try not to touch the white bits because it does have the ad adhesive, so I don't want to make a mess on my um, iron, okay? So I'm folding this edge. I just move around like this, this background tape because like this, you know, um, yeah, and it's keeping like this. Yeah, so this side is done. Now I'm flipping to this way. So raw edge is coming on top now, okay? Then I'm going to fold the rest of the raw edges. Now, I don't want to leave any air on both edges. I want to have really nice and 
tight and beautiful strips. So I'm going to pull this, stretch these fabrics as much as possible and just bring down here. Okay. And then I'm going to use a dry end because I don't want to burn my fingers. So keep putting using the left hand side if you're on the right hand side, if you're a right hand person, then I'm going to fold with my ironing as well. I'm ironing on this edge. Yeah, so like I said, I'm folding using my iron. I'm going to move this up so like this you can see much clearer. So now we came from right hand side to right hand side, but it's not fused properly. So I'm going to use a steam iron now coming back from right hand side to right hand side. And I'm going to use my ninja timber. Okay. So now, so it's a steam ironing. So it's fusing really properly. Now the adhesive is melting really well. It's heated. And as soon as I'm pulling backwards, this ninja timber is attaching to the tip of the iron. So this ninja timber is straight away taking the heat away from this on the way. Yeah. And also like this, you can press with this ninja timber. So it's going to be like this. Yeah. So now you make the beautiful strips. No air in both edges, around those edges, yeah? So like this, you can make really beautiful strips. It's really nice and tight and beautiful. These things actually make a difference. It's like just if you want to weave the beautiful handbag. And you need to make 16 of those. In our kit, like we have a um, four different colors. Four is a good number because four by four is 16. So if you want to use your fabrics, please choose like just four different colors. Like just maybe you can put them together and then how it looks like and just if they look like it. Um, Dai. Yes. Um, the fabrics, yes. That you, the fabrics that you've included in this bundle, they are beautiful fabrics, Japanese fabrics. Yes. It is. Yeah, it is. It's a Japanese fabrics. Um, lately, Japanese fabrics is like just really hard to get because like um, not many com uh, manufacturers actually making it because um, in Japan, like um, people love like just you know Western fabrics in Japan, so. <laughs> So not many people actually making it, but like just, yeah, well, we are lucky that like just, yeah, we have some of those like just, you know, Japanese fabrics. These actually, the um, designs are from kimono. So like it's actual kimono prints, but oh, it's wow. So it's great for patchwork. Beautiful. Uh, and we saw there when you were pressing with your iron, it's so crisp when you press it. Yeah, that's right. So this technique, Ninja Timber, you can use it uh, anyone can use it like this. Uh, unfortunately, we can't send it to the England <laughs> because it's timber. Uh, yeah, but like just, just um, um, but the thing is, you know, like just, uh, uh, well, we have a friend like this, you know, carpenter friend like this in our neighborhood. So like actually, that's why we made it like this. You can curve this one so like you can have a nice grip on it. And if you, um, yeah, use a timber like just, you know, pine tree is fine or like just a camp for oil, like it creates lots of aroma, like when you heat it up and taking the heat away from this one. So like you use this technique, like, you, yeah, that's really useful. Fabulous. Um, a top tip there. And, and that's what we're getting. Patchwork Ninja, if you have just yeah. joined us, um, we're looking at this fabulous bag. Uh, and Di is in Australia. He's teaching us one of his fabulous kind of hacks. And he's got lots of those. So I'm going to hand back over to Di now. Yeah, OK. Thank you, Hayley. OK, so now we're moving on to um, now we, we're moving on to how to um, we're going to start weaving yeah 
And then first, like, we're going to lay the first eight strips. Remember, like, now you have 16 of those, yeah? 16 of those for each, four different fabrics. Now, we're going to start laying the fabrics. Um, we need to have a instruction ready. So, like, just, uh, um, I'm going to show you the page one of the instruction. So, like, just, uh, we're going to make something like this, yeah? So... Okay, now we're going to start. We're going to start placing like this all the strips vertically from the left to right, and we lay the first strips here. And then please make sure it's wrong side up. And now we're going to measure forty-four centimeters from the top edge of the fabrics. Okay. So 44 centimeters from here to there, and I'm going to pin it. Actually, I'm going to start from there. Can you see? Perfectly. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, now looking good. Now looking good. So like just a 44 centimeter from here to there, um, I'm going to put the pins here. Why I'm going to put the pins? You're going to find out a little bit later. So, like, you just remember, it's uh, good to put the pins here. Like, just it's not in the instruction, so, like, that's the tips to take away only now, okay? So, first one is done. The second one. So, looking at this diagram now, page one of our instruction. So, first three actually level so like just we following exactly what the diagram says so the next one is level like just those two the level up at the top and again 44 centimeter line we're going to put another thing in there yeah the next one um next one it's the same. So first read the level at the top. And um, please make sure no gap in between, no overlapping. Please. Okay? It's very important. Okay? Number four. Now I want you to have a look here. It's a four centimeter below. The number four is four centimeter, four centimeter below compared to the first three. So now I'm going to measure four centimeters here, and then place it here, okay? Yeah, so these ones are 14 centimeters down. Yeah, now the color kind of rotates. So now repeats, so color repeats, black, red, green, navy, and what comes next? Black, so like we're going to put the black again. Now, according to instruction, that's two centimeter down. So I'm going to measure two centimeters. And I might look a little bit pedantic about like just those measurements, but please, please follow our instruction, this diagram. Do you know what happens if you don't follow this instruction? It's really disappointing. When you're weaving up here, Sometimes you won't have enough. Like you just have a couple of centimeters of the strips short. That's really, really disappointing if, if that happens to you. So our diagram is based on to our, you know, experience. So like just please make sure to follow this diagram. And yeah, so number five is here. And number six. And the next one is red. According to our instruction, that's three centimeter below. So three centimeter below. And I'm going to put the pins here. And it's getting, next one is green, three centimeter below. And it's gonna be like this. And then the last one, is last to the level at the top. 
So these ones. Okay. So now we got eight ships laid vertically from left to right. And these top are exactly looking like our instruction here. Like that. Except now we are start we're going to start weaving. Okay, we're going to start weaving the strips. So we're going to start putting the strips across and then start weaving. We're going to use just only basic weaving technique, one, one, one under, one over. So from now on, like you're going to hear me saying one under, one over all the time. Like I'm repeating like, like that, like, like, like saying mantra, because it's really important to keep saying out loud because otherwise I get confused. Now, looking at this diagram again, here, this diagram says first one should start with one under. So we're going to follow the instruction and then just do exactly like what instruction says. So start with one under, one over, 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 yeah? And now you understand why I put the pins here. Because these strips go any further upwards, yeah? So like this, it stops here because we want to keep the strips here. Because this length from the top edge of the strips to this corner is 44 centimeters. And now this length here, from here to the top of the, uh, the edge of the strips, that's 44 centimeters as well. So we measure exactly like that, and then probably it's good to have a pin here, okay? Now, one done. Next one, because previously we started with one under, Next one, we start from one over, yeah? So one over, one under, one over, one under, one over, sorry, one over, one under, one over, one under, one over, one under, one over, one under. And then you can keep pushing this. Now, please have a look on the right-hand side and then follow exactly what the diagram says. Here, first to the level. So this is here. Okay. Um, next one is Okay, next one is green. Because previously, like we start with one under, so like just we do the opposite. Start with one under, one over, one under, one over, one under, one over, one under, one over. And now one centimeter sticking up here. So I'm going to measure one centimeter here. And here, please have a look at this one really carefully now. We need to keep all those lines as straight as possible because these were the very fundamental weaving parts. So like just it's easy to get it done really beautifully. Later on, like it's getting really bit more difficult. So like just, just try to get it done really as beautiful as possible and then keep pushing from outside to the inside inwardly. Then just say, yeah, try to make it perfect. This, you know, at the end of the day, like this, you don't have to be too perfect, but like just, I think it's, yeah, just try to aim it perfect right now rather than later. So, because this one is very straightforward. So, like just, we keep putting the strips like just from left to right, and then just, uh, yeah, we keep weaving the all eight strips and all eight strips. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, Di, can I ask a question? We, we have had an email um, from a lady called Susan. And she's asking yes. about the fabric. Is the fabric waterproof? No, it's, the fabric is just 100% cotton. 
So it's not the waterproof, unfortunately. Can we so, wash the yeah, bag? So, yep. Can we wash the bag if we need to? So, um, the dirt or, yeah, please be mindful about the writing. Wonderful. Um, now, we have been very busy for the bag kit, um, Adai. So can I quickly just give the details to our viewers again? Sure, sure, absolutely. Yeah, Fabulous. please go ahead. So the details on your screen there are going to get you everything that you need for you to create your fabulous bag. Third of the stock has gone. Now, £73.99 will get you everything that you need. So let me take you through what we've got here. You've got your incredible lining fabric. All of these are Japanese fabrics, so we know we've got the quality there. Look at that beautiful lining fabric that's going to be used there with the foiling on there. It really does give that perfection with the results that you're going to create. Then the fabric strips. As you heard from Di, you've got 16 of these and these are what you are going to be using for you to create your bag with that woven effect. What you need in addition is the buckram tape and that is included. You've got 16 meters of this so you're going to need a meter, bang on a meter for each one of those strips as Di explained at the beginning of his demonstration. And then of course you need to know how to create your bag, how to do all that weaving and don't worry that is included with your instructions and of course Di has been showing us that throughout. Now obviously his demonstration is going to continue to the point where he's going to be stitching elements in place. So you've got that absolutely perfect. You've got those Japanese um, engineered needles here. Incredibly hard. Um, and this is something that Di will explain to the reason why he's chosen these in a few moments. Some additional bits and pieces like your clasp. You've also got obviously your Japanese thread that's coming with this. And you've also got your needle grabber, which we will see in action in a little while. And then you've got the most incredible handles. I mean, these are beautiful. They're going to finish your bag off to perfection. And of course, you've got a pair of those handles included but you will have the instructions you will have the knowledge from die there meaning that you can make your bag with the kit when it arrives and of course take that knowledge and create even more with your own fabrics 390729 you can see it's an absolutely incredible bag there and we are busy for the kit so there you go you've got your magnetic fastener there with your lining with your little pocket in there absolutely beautiful looks amazing so yes if you want a new kit the details are there lots of you've been going for additional bits on top of this set as well so let me give you the details of the other items that we've got so with this one you've got your woven bag kit so you're not getting the additional elements like your needle grabber you're not getting your thread you're not getting your needles but this might be a nice one to add in because it does mean that you've got additional of your buckram tape additional handles there and of course additional beautiful fabrics for you to work with Two Two flexi buy payments, £29.50, 710231 if you're wanting that. But what about when you've used up all of your buckram tape? Well, we can help you with that as well, or die can. So what you could be doing is you're introducing some of your own fabrics. Might be that you've already bought some Japanese fabrics previously um, and you're wanting to use this. So again, a full 16 metre roll there with your um, instructions that die has been showing us, but over half the stock has gone of these. So you need to be getting your order for these quickly as soon as you possibly can um, and of course the beauty is you can add this into your basket in addition to any of those other bundles that we've been chatting about it means that you are going to be able to make your second bag the moment that this arrives now of course those needles if you're wanting the needles by themselves we have got those available for you and a third of the stock has gone of these you're getting 25 in there and as I mentioned they are incredibly hard Japanese steel they are perfect for you to create those bags as you heard from Dai there He's pretty much known sewing and patchwork all his life and passing on those some kind of family held um, little tips and hints and, and hacks. Don't forget when you come to check out your basket though, do add these in. These are end of call items. So you've got more of your Japanese thread there and you've got your needle grabber. So just keep your eye open for those as you're checking out your order. 302696 if you, sorry, 969 if you're wanting the needles. But you can see here as we hand back over to Dai, all of that fabulous weaving is coming together. And as Dye has been shown us from the top of the show. It couldn't be simpler. That looks amazing, Dye. It's coming together beautifully. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, um, so like to say, it's getting along like just really, uh, yeah, nicely. So like just, I'm going to show you like just very important points. So like imagine like just you weave, uh, you put the, all the 16 strips and then that's how it looks like this. Yeah. It almost looks like a spider with lots of legs there. Yeah, that's right. Like it's almost like octopus and <laughs> spiders. Yeah, that's right. So um, 
yeah, you're going to wear, you, you, you done a weaving. So like just first, I want you to have a look like just what it looks like from the outside. Um, yeah, see, if you keep like your line, lines like really straight like this, um, you make really beautiful squares. Please aim like this, like just, you know, you don't have to be a perfect, but like just if you aim it, um, your bag will be really fabulous. Now, because you've done a really amazing work done, um, so you need to keep your woven area. Now, you need to shoot your, um, the, on the web here, yeah, on the web here to for, um, cover up like this your woven area. And also this is the background sheet, which is the same material as a yeah, background type. And then that forms the base of the bag. Now, it's very crucial point because like most people find it very complicated, but once you see it, like you're going to understand crystal clear. Now, do you remember these ones are 44 centimeters? Yeah. Yeah. If you have 44 centimeters, we're going to weave from that corner. Yeah. So we got to how to fold, how to fold, uh, how to weave those two strips because these two are next to each other. So I'm going to show you how. So before doing this, along the base of the bags, freeze fold up like this. Yeah. And we're going to start weaving those two strips here. So this is the corner. And we're going to weave those two. When you fold the whole lot along the base of the bag, these two are now next to each other, but like this, these ones goes to across like that. Can you see it? Yeah. Um, and then, like, please remember to keep one over one under principle. So one under one over, one under one over. So this one. Please don't do it too much. Just do little one, two, three, four, and use a craft clip to hold it in place. Yeah. So now one done. Move on to the next corner here, which is this corner. And we're going to, these two are now next to each other, but now folding upwards. So these two strips are cross really nicely on the right angle. And just one, two, three, four. And they use the clip. And move on to the next corner again. These two are next to each other and folding upwards and those two are crossed to each other okay and keep weaving using one over one under principle one two three four and the last one This is the uh, the last corner, and those two, and fold it upwards. Uh, one, two, three, four, and using the craft grips. Now we have done all four corners, the most tricky part, and ha let's have a look at what it looks like. Oh, it's wow! Already forming like a bag yeah yeah That's so like this, the, all you have to do from now on yeah 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 do you like it i love yeah, it it's, yeah, it's kind of, yeah you love it that's good <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a much simpler than you think yeah so like you see, if you know these tips like just a little by little and then just to keep rotating and we're going to keep weaving like this and we're going to start weaving very close to where that those uh, corner of the bottom of the bag, and then we keep weaving from here, here, here. Move on to the next strips, and then just we keep doing one over one under rule. So like just I'm going to say out loud like mantra like one over one under, 
Otherwise, I make mistakes sometimes. Right? Like just, uh, it's getting really confusing sometimes, but also it's very enjoying and also mesmerizing. So I done this way, this line. Yeah. Move on to next one. So this one, one under one over, one under one over, and one under one over. Die. Um, just to let you know, we yes. have about seven minutes left of the show. Sure, sure. Yeah, uh, it's good. Um, so, like, just uh, all you have to do is like just keep weaving, and now I will show you what it looks like. So, wow! You you're going to keep weaving it, and then just you need to stop some somewhere. So, counting from the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six layers, and now you need to know how to finish off. So like this is just folding to each other and use a craft grip and a hole, okay? And now you need to stitch up the line. That's the only stitching you need to do. And then just uh, um, place the lining in place in the inside, yeah? And you need to stitch the handles. The handles included in the kit has got uh, uh, already holes in there. So like just, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's good to sew by hand. And also like that's what the, our needles are for. Like just the sharpest needles ever in Japan and also heavy duty um, thread from Japan. And also um, needle grabber. And also needle grab I'm going to use, yeah. I quickly show you how to stitch up those because without using those three notions, like just it's going to be really hard to stitch up. Now, this lining, please fold this up. And then it goes like this. Oh, yes, I see. The lining folded edge, yeah, you, you see it, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we're going to start stitching the, this in the corner. Yeah. So I don't want to push the needle with my fingers because I know it hurts. So this ninja needle grabber, you can push the needle through and fit the needle in this pocket and then you can push this and then catch the needle and pull it through. That's clever. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. And also like this needle is so sharp so like to say you feel the differences when you're making it just because like your knot will pop up otherwise so like this just leave the tail and i'm going to pass the needle through and then just do it like that yeah then just your needle wouldn't pop through all you have to do is stitching up and then pass the needle through and stitch the next inner corner okay yeah and that's all you need to get done. And then just, just the last step is you're going to stitch up these sewn magnetic buttons. And then if you stitch up all the inner corners, and that's it. Wow, that's yeah, so like easy. You stitch up those. Yeah, so I'd like to say, you know, the trickiest part was like just the four, um, weaving the four different corners. And also, like, preparation is everything for this project. Like, it needs to be, measurement needs to be really accurate. So, like, just cutting everything in really accurately and also fusing the strips. Please be mindful like, so that makes a um, difference. It's right? worth taking and also, that like, time. Just, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, that's uh, how the step-by-step -step of this bag is all about. So, I love that. yeah, now, did you like it? I, I love it. Now, I'm going to show everybody um, the bag that you sent through to us, where the stitching is that you've just shown us. So, everybody at home there, you can see how um, Di explained that you've got kind of your, your stitches um, where those little peaks come together. So, where you've got the lowest point, that is where your stitch is. And I'm just going to pop my finger, just not where the magnet is. Um, so, you can see that you've got a gap there, <laughs> but then you have a stitch there and a gap here. 
and a little stitch there. So that's very minimal sewing there, working your way through. And then, of course, that magnetic um, clasp there. We have been very, very busy for these kits. If you're wanting to get a hold of yours, please be aware that half of the stock has gone. Now, we only have one show with Di, um, unfortunately. Um, hopefully, we will have more shows with him in the future. But this is his first ever show, and he has been absolutely brilliant. I mean, Di, you've explained everything so well. Oh, um, oh well, I think we've lost time for a moment. We've, um, yes, I just need to give you a few of the little details again and we'll see if we can get hold of die again. So um, you've got your bag kit, the details of which are on your screen there. So within your bag kit, you're going to get your Japanese fabric, giving you the lining of your fabric, which is absolutely beautiful. You've got your strips of Japanese fabric, which adhere beautifully to the buckram tape, which you are going to get. 16 meters of your tape in there. You've got 16 of your strips, so it's a meter strip. Do not dilly-dally from that. You have to be precise that is the key thing precise measurements then of course you're going to weave them using your instructions that Di has included and has he's explained to us already so do make sure that you do that you've also got your bag handles there within here a pair of those handles to give you those incredible results that you can see there so you can see that you've got all your additional buckram all featuring there 73 pounds and 99 pence is your price at 390724 now once you've created your first bank I know you will be itching to make your second and we've got an additional set that you can add in. Hasn't got all the additional bits and pieces in there with regards to the needles and the thread because you'll have some of those left over. But what you have got in this set is more fabric, more buckram tape and another set of handles as well as the lining and the buckram for your base as well. There's also an extra set of um, instructions there for you too. So if you want this one, 710231. Finally, maybe you just want to add in that buckram tape. Maybe you've got some fabrics already in mind. Then do make sure you're adding this in again another 16 meter roll of your um, buckram it's got the adhesive on there which is heat activated when you use your hot iron and follow the instructions that Di shared with us 17.99 it's been very very busy two-thirds of the stock has gone of this one so if you want in your 776083 don't forget those needles there as you saw there Di was explaining they are the sharpest needles from Japan engineered to perfection and that is why Di has chosen the for the show you're getting 25 of them 11 pounds and 99 pence 302969 and don't forget to add in those additional things wasn't that an amazing tool mind-blowing so your needle grabber your ninja needle grabber you need to be adding that in as you check out your order and of course go for some of that additional thread there because once you start making these bags I am sure you will not be able to stop die it's an absolutely amazing yes. range that you've bought us. I can't wait to see more from you. Yeah, thank you very much. Like just, I really thoroughly enjoyed, and then thank you, give, um, yeah, giving us opportunity. Um, we obviously, like just, we couldn't uh, introduce, you know, all the tech sewing techniques about this handbags like so you can see uh, some tutorial videos on our website as well if you're interested. Um, I love that. But you've certainly shared enough for us to get excited and want to get involved with these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's really enjoyed, actually, like this, you know. And also, like, you, it's a uh, lot to take, like this. Uh, so, like this, um, yeah, lots of sewing hacks, like I already teaching you. So, please, please use uh, Ninja Timber and also, like, just uh, heaps of other, like, just uh, sewing hacks. So, like, this, yeah, now you know crystal clear how to weave this bag. So enjoy making the bags and then, you know, like, just, uh, it's a really mesmerizing and uh, enjoyable process, especially weaving parts. So, like, just, uh, I hope you enjoy making these bags as well. I am sure we will. And I am looking forward to seeing what our viewers make when they get their kits home. Um, so thank you again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. And then, like, I, I, it's a fantastic honor. Yeah, it's a fabulous honor to like to be on this show. Um, yeah, like just uh, enjoy making the bag. Well, this is it, and the honor is ours. So goodbye to Di just for now. We will see Di again very soon, I am sure. But there you go. The details are on your screen there. If you want to go for your bag kit, you still have the opportunity, but we have been incredibly busy. It's wonderful that you've embraced this concept, and of course, Di's amazing kits. Just make sure you get a hold of them while you can. Bear in mind, extended delivery on these ones as well. So obviously, they're coming from um, Australia, so it's the 13th of August, but worth the wait. You are going to have so much fun with these when you get them home, myself included. 
So we've got another amazing hour with um, our lovely Joe coming up straight after the break with Pink Pig Sketchbooks. Then we're having a bit of a quirky Christmas. The lovely Jenny is back again. And then, of course, it's your last opportunity to see the one day special. Hi, I'm Donna, and this is my brother Simon, and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting, and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps and we've got a great range of inks which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly inks are loaded with mica so they give you amazing results on your projects. We hope that our products bring you as much fun, creativity and inspiration as they do to us. We love all of our products and we hope you do too. So make sure you don't miss our shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hojanda. Hi, I'm Pete from Artisan Design. We're a family-run company uh, from the Midlands um, and we have been going for around about a year now. We design handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts and I've loved crafts from uh, childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. I love to inspire. And what, what my aim is, is to get the crafters um, to see their own potential. I like them to be uh, in charge of their own creativity. What I hope is that our images um, provide the kickstart to your mojo and help you create your own works of art. Tune into our Chanda, be part of the artisan design world and come and join me on this creative path. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. 
Good afternoon. It's lovely to have your company, especially I've had a full day of presenting. Well, our Joe, we're just yeah. saying it's been a while, hasn't it? Hey. It's ages. it's ages since me and you have had a show. Is it pre-lockdown then? Definitely pre-lockdown. Wow. Yeah, wow. I think we had a couple of VT sort of chats. Yeah, but yeah. that was it. Yeah, Gosh. it's definitely pre-lockdown. That yes. seems, it actually seems quite a while ago. Long time. Long time. Yeah. Um, jo, we yes, have got darling. the amazing uh, Pink Pig. I mean, mm. I'm a massive fan. You're yeah. a massive oh, yeah. fan. Love them. They're just such good quality, aren't they? They are. They just they literally do just tick every single box that we're looking for as crafters, but not just that, but artists as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. proper the proper ones. Yeah, yeah. Then, I mean, then, you're a proper one. No, but I'm, I'm not. A plain one, I'm still you know? a crafter, <laughs> I'm a, I'm, and I shouldn't. But anyway, yeah. But they do because the quality of the paper yes. is yeah. just beautiful to work with. It is. So what we've got here is we've got the um, it's the two hundred and. 270? I always... 270. 270. 270, yeah. uh, 270 GSM, um, and it's the Amelie paper, of course, as we know, it's made in the Lake District, which mm. I love. I love yeah. that. Yeah. I love the way that yeah, it's made. Like that. And then, of course, it's taken in uh, into Yorkshire to be all put into the books in the factory. And what I love about the fact is that they've brought them into the craft industry, but they've not discounted on any mm. quality. Mm. Yeah. Whereas you know as well as I do, sometimes, for instance, a very good example, paintbrushes. Yes. Now you can yeah. get the most amazing paintbrushes for art, and you would, yeah. you know, would love to have those. Yeah. Mm, then we get crafting paintbrushes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, some of them can but be. But with this, yeah. Yeah. with this, no, absolutely not. Everything is the same all the way through. Amazing. Brilliant. I'm going to show everyone what Please we've got. Please do. Um, now, this is already busy. was busy in the first hour as well. I love this collection. Mm. So you're going to get, first of all, you've got your 8x8, perfect size to work on. You've then got the A5, and then you've got your Diddy 4x4. And I've left my 4x4 at home, so I can't show you. I know. Now, 60% of the stock has gone. Why do we like these? As Jo said, the paper. For starters, the covers are beautiful. Being crafters, you know, a lot of times you're going to cover this anyway. But if you don't get round to it, the covers are beautiful. You then get, to remind you, it's Pink Pig. There's so many yeah. pinks, isn't there? So many pinks. I, you know I get them mixed up all the time. <laughs> Literally get them mixed up constantly. But then look, that paper. It's not real paper, it's a card. It's a really good quality. And the gorgeous thing is with these, you can do all sorts with them. So you might obviously be decorating the, the front of the notepads. These are all ones that our jaw has done. Yeah. And obviously you can use all sorts of products. You know, I think because the covers are really nice and hardy, they take yeah. everything, don't they, Jo? They do. So you've got so much... Um, I, I can't tell you... There's, I don't think there's anything that I haven't actually tried to put on these yeah. books over the last couple of years. And and lots and lots and lots of moisture. Yeah. And, you know, it does not buckle. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. It's it, the most fantastic grey board on the front covers. Yeah. And, of course, really the pages. Is. It is. It's superb, isn't it? Yeah. We can use it to mop up and then we can go back and we can create an absolute beautiful piece of work with it. I later on, maybe a year later even. Yeah. And it doesn't yeah. make any difference. Well, that's it. I mean, I've got loads like that. Like mm. cleaning stencils. This is cleaning yep. stencils, but yep. they're making it yep. into something. Yeah, exactly. And I love that. Because if you have your art journals yeah. next to you, I mean, yeah, cleaning your stencils, cleaning your brayers, do it mm. in an art journal. That's a page yeah. I fill out with. Do it in an art journal because then you'll go back to it. You'll use it. And you can do all sorts. Now, this is a really mucky page because that <laughs> is using your that. paint but that. spritzing it. Look at it. It's, oh, I love that liquid acrylic. Yeah. Spritzing it, but it's already got a stencil on there. I mean, there's laws chucked at exactly. that. And it has worked. Yes. It and is look, fine. It hasn't disintegrated mm. the page because I know I've had journals. I've had sketchbooks. I've had books that yeah. I've turned into. Yeah. journals or whatever and do you know they don't sound no. the test of time it, we're not just saying that honestly yeah. this is what's happened yeah but uh, look no, at that. i love Beautiful. it absolutely I love that page. i've done quite a bit in this one mm. um now this is a good bundle if you do want to get this please check your baskets out i like it because they're really handy sizes mm. they're not daunting there's a good one to to start or for well for different 
styles. The thing is as well, you can't, I mean, obviously utterly portable, pop it in your handbag. The difference is though, the different sizes will make you craft differently, they'll make you look mm. at the page differently. And I like that because it makes you explore it. Yes. Which is yes. always really interesting. Yeah. I mean, this one, I'll just play around with this one, to be honest. I've got a few bits and bobs in this one yeah. that I've maybe done uh, on a separate piece as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just because you've done it on a separate piece doesn't mm. mean to say you can't stick it in. Absolutely. You don't have that to is, be on the page yeah, even. Yeah. And these are just They're literally. Beautiful. Well, I, I sit and I scribble a bit. Yeah. And I bought myself a compass the other day. Ah. And I thought, oh, oh no, just ignore that because that was just. <laughs> That's that, looking lovely, well, well, little rainbow. Well, I, I did. I, that was before I bought my compass, which obviously looked like I hadn't got a compass. I like um, it well, with a compass. Well, it, it, it'll perhaps come to something eventually, but... Um, but that's why they're yeah. nice. Well, that's yes. why they're nice, you experiment. I can grow on it. Absolutely. Yeah. Or just put gesso over it, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, exactly. Because it handles that. That's okay. right. First bundle, if you do want to get hold of this, only thirteen ninety nine. Check mm. it, that's a good price. Tremendous. Um, I sell these on, on my own site, and honestly, $13.99 for that bundle, amazing. Mm. Now, 331134, that's your item number. Sell them when we do workshops, they have many moons. When we do workshops, I mean, there's no way. The prices no. that we bring you here, we cannot sell them at my workshops for it, for sure. Um, <laughs> okay, these are good. Now, these are brilliant because yeah. it's giving you a massive surface area. Mm. Um, you're actually getting two for $18.99. That is such a good price. It's tremendous. Such a good price. <laughs> and it's up to you what cover you go for. Obviously, you might be um, covering it. You might want the actual cover. I must admit, if I were just going for the cover, mm. the blue and the yellow would be the one I would go in yes, for. Yes, I must admit. But also, if you want to do the front, mm. like I've done on, the, on th that one there. That's beautiful. Of Take just do the literally, just do the part of the front. Keep the yeah. surrounding yes. and the back the same the same colour as the book. Yeah, is. that is gorgeous. Is that a rice paper? It is. It's a paper designs, and I've just sort of added nice and that. gone. I'm, I'm was pleased with that. That's beautiful. Oh, Absolutely beautiful. I love that. Let me find another. Or is it just mine? So I see. It's funny actually. Yeah, I've only got one of the bigger ones. I at don't the do gowns yeah. in my covers hardly. I'm not. I, it's funny, isn't it? I'm not really a cover girl, but I'm a fill your pages. Mm. Isn't it funny? And that—that's that, when I did the set. in mine. Yeah. And I love it because yeah. I'm terrible though with me because mine. It's all this one's not. Yeah. Look, nearly all of mine. Look, you can tell the big ones. I clean my stencils. See, all those cleaning stencils, cleaning, also, cleaning, I have cleaning. Noticed. What you also cleaning. do is you also put the, that on your mat, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. work on Pick it, up. don't you? When you've yes. got a smaller piece. Yes. And I thought that was really mm. quite ingenious because, yeah. of course, you're collecting Absolutely. everything up onto the bigger bigger pad absolutely aren't you? and yeah. i mean it, this one if you've got your bigger stencils it takes oh, your bigger oh, stencils they do. beautifully so i've done quite a bit in this one as well and then you get to cleaning Cleaning, cleaning. Aren't they but, lovely to look back on there? Yeah, I love it. I love it. And it does, it makes you think, okay, I need to do something on this one. Um, okay, the turquoise. Oh, look, that's a nice one too. Um, mm. so, so it's like oh, yeah, cleaning. I like that. I love looking through them. Mm. I love looking through them. Um, okay, the turquoise is the most popular. You've got, of course, it, personally, personally, because I'm not really a cover girl, um, it'd be irrelevant, but the black. I always like the black covers because mm. if you put some on there, it looks really good. The amber is really popular. Um, they're all such a good price. Do not miss out on them prices. 481121 is your item number. Next. Now, these are good as well because, uh, they are. again, if you're not thinking about cover, if you're just thinking about decorating, these are absolutely perfect, aren't they, they, Jill? They are, and this is why we asked Pink Pig quite some time ago, now it must be nearly a year, if we could have them with yeah. the handmade paper and without and of course without giving it that little bit less um money to have to pay yeah. for them yeah. because you're doing your own decorating aren't you you're doing what what you want to do now i think it's super like we were saying this morning to actually decorate it and then give that empty yeah. book inside yeah. it as a gift yeah i think that's a beautiful idea super idea earlier and i don't really like this 
You've got your, your your stamps at home, maybe stamps that you've got in your own little yeah. collection. Stamp them in one of the books and give gift it to a friend. Oh, that's quite nice. A stamp nice. in friend to colour. Yeah, that's a lovely yeah. idea. Yeah, now you that could one, even. I mean, you mm. could even cut them out. You know, it course. doesn't have to be a book. It could just no. be images for them to use, couldn't no, it? Of course. Um, Love that. that one there, that one, that was just really showing how much moisture would go onto yeah. those. And I've used the uh, rainbow colours from 13 Arts on that one, um, on the front, on the back. Um, yeah, it's lovely, sprays. That. Yeah, please with yeah. that one. The colours are really well. Yeah, they're brilliant. Mm. And even, let me just get that. Oh, the Power Text Because that's a good old Power Text. Because <laughs> this is the thing, I mean, Power Text. And that's it been all over. It Power Text. It's been all over with yeah. us, that book. Because, of course, this oh, is I our little this. book. It needs adding on to, actually. We've got loads of photographs to go in it. But it's just a photograph album, or just oh. some ideas to just, when we're in workshops and things, you yeah. know, people want to have a little look and we can't take everything around with us. And, it's fantastic. You know, it's it's such we do a need good to one. add on to it, I've got to say. Yeah. This one, 40%. Now, the price. You're getting three of these. I like the way they're bound as well. Yes. Um, I think the price on that is ridiculous. Eleven ninety nine for three A5. I would definitely check your baskets out there i do love the fact that it is you know the exactly. the top i think yeah. it's a lovely lovely mm. um way to use it either like a notebook or of course landscape but that price don't miss out on that 846 615 is your item number no it isn't 846 614 <laughs> is your item number okay the little ones i've left mine at home and um, these are cool. I love these. A mm. lot of the time when I'm using these, I use them as a double page spread. Yes. So, which I really like. A lot of the time I'll use it like that with these because I think it just looks visually really interesting. It also makes you break up a piece, which means you, mm. you're using, you know, you use your imagination a little bit different because you have to decide sort of where you're putting things. I really like this side. But it's brilliant for little notebooks. It just taking it out and about. Yes, and it doesn't definitely. need to be a crafty journal. It could be a planner. It could be just a, a little mm. a jotter. Just a jotter. Because yeah. I know I jot. I, I have a notebook by the side of my bed. I have one in the kitchen. And I have one where I work on my desk. Yeah. And I do. I am a, I am a jotty down person. Yeah. If I yeah. think of something, I write it down. Then I can forget about it. Yes. Yes. Whereas That's I my just key. forget. Yeah. Um. Yes. I would. Yeah, I would. They're, so, they're lovely. And the way they've been decorated. And again, you can do all sorts with them. Mm. I do like the fact that you've... You know, you've used them practically, like you yeah. had one with the stencils yeah. in. You've got this one where, like, all oh, your swatches so you know the colours. I tell you what, look at these as well on your little notice board. How cute and is that? It's a lovely little gift, though, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. That is it's such... just a bit of MDF. It's nothing flash. Yeah. So it could you be MDF. It could be the grey board that we've got it on stage. It could. Absolutely, sure. it could be. Yes. And look definitely. at that. Your SP ideas. Yeah. How cool is that? <laughs> really, really nice. They're such a good size for turning yes. into something, aren't they? Doable as well. Yeah, very mm. doable. Not scary. Mm. Um, and the price. $16.99. You're getting eight of those. Brilliant for gifts. Maybe you've got grandkids and you're going to uh, give one to each grandchild. Maybe you're making things to sell, you know? which would look absolutely beautiful. What did you have these? Autograph book. Oh, oh last day of school. Emily had an autograph book that she <laughs> took to Disney. Oh. Oh, did you, oh. oh. So what, what with that, Molly? You took it, but didn't... So, Molly took it, but um, there were no characters, so a teacher had to sign it. Oh. It's pretty... That's, how can you go to Disney and not find a character? <laughs> <laughs> they won't come near them. I mean, this gets worse, Molly. Um, 318061. Oh, Disney dear. and we're not going near them, kids. Uh, 318061 <laughs> is your item number. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, it's well funny. 
<laughs> I wanted to be piglet when I went because piglet were missing. I figured I'd make a great piglet. Um, anyway, <laughs> next, great <laughs> boy. Now we're going to move to Disney and be piglet. Um, so you've got, I um, oh, love piglet. Um, so this one now, these are just ridiculously handy. You've got 40 boards in total, A5. Um, and obviously they're brilliant because you can do so much with them. I mean, you can create your own notebooks. You can do all sorts with these. And they make fantastic little presents or little gifts or if, of course, you're selling them as well. And it's things like that. You know, it's funny, actually. I was doing something yesterday on my show, my Stamperia, and oh, I was actually looking so for, for, you know, little things, little drawers. Yeah. When you've got grey boards, you can make it. You can. And I, I am never without grey boards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always got it. It's just handy. Yeah. It really is. handy and obviously it takes all sorts sorry i've just got random hiccups um 10 pounds and 99 pence is your price you've got 40 in total there that's five zero six seven six four my hiccups are normally really weird and i get about one and then they go here's hoping <laughs> okay next this is a great board collection really handy because you've got all your different sizes um so great if you are making little things just really really um, versatile. So you have got um, 24 by 4, you've got 10 of your A5 and then you've got 6 of the 6 by 6 there and 5 of the 8 by 8. So really good collection and of course loads you can do with it again. So you can just play. Um, that is 518012, your item number. You're getting loads of pieces for that price, mm. which is brilliant. And I do like this because obviously they are perfect for starting layering and getting dimension. Mm. Um, £12.99 is your price. 518012. Now then, we've got, we have got some reviews on the website and these are from that wonderful 1199 these. That is such good value for money. <laughs> and the reviews, let's have a little look at them. So we have got, um, oh, sorry, things are moving. Uh, <laughs> uh, great quality at affordable price. Um, these are beautiful sketchbooks and lovely to design on. Um, good quality and you can cover the front and back cover in whatever medium you want. Easy to make them your own and great price. So they are a really good price. And I do think, yeah, do not miss out on them. Obviously, you've got loads of options, loads of different sizes. Um, maybe me, I've got one of everything at home, maybe a few. <laughs> I've got about five of everything, but they are absolutely brilliant. Another lady who's got a bit of a stash of pink pink I is Adjo. I have, I must have, mate. Well, everything yeah. you can see is pink pink. what I've yeah. done. And I must say, I, I am very much moving into inside of them Good. and yeah. um i uh, so i i'm thoroughly enjoying doing such like you're very this, good so do you always remove your pages i'm not, really bad i never not do always mm. but the reason why i have for this one is because because we did this one earlier that's pretty um, and basically well i just want i thought it'd be a bit different a bit of a stone effect yeah, you know, but it's a bit of um fine texture paste that's crafty one so it gives that really nice um, stone looks yeah. as if we've chipped into it and a little bit of um, uh, some moulds we've got there so and then just dry brush it was re it was really really straightforward yeah but it just shows you you know you can really do some really fun things with them and um, but I have started using this one but I'm going to do a, a similar thing. It was never ever the same, is it? Never, never the same, love. No. If anybody said to me, could you actually do that? Never. No. Um, so uh, I'm going to, I've took this out because I will put it in another book, I think, because right. it's of going to course. be a little bit too similar yeah, to this Yeah, you don't one. want it the same, no, same in one book. No, I don't. No, but um, so what we're going to do, so I've took it out, um, like we so said, don't have to. I'll tell you what I do do, though, if I don't take them out, mm -hmm. I do put, Oh, you are good. You are good. Whether by the time I get, because I've got one book at home that is definitely my play. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. Playing around one. And it doesn't come out of the house very often. <laughs> Don't get seen. <laughs> Don't get seen. <laughs> now, so what we're also going to do, with what we've got on the show as well, is the, um, have you seen the uh, the paint pour backgrounds no. from Melina? I know, you know Melina, obviously, Melina Doll. Oh, I didn't know yeah. I had these on the show as well. Mm. Look, I oh, mean, they're, they're amazing, very aren't nice. they? They yeah. are quite amazing. They're beautiful. So, yeah, so 
I thought, well, I thought they would go rather well with what we want. Okay, so gorgeous. I'm just going to, yeah, they are. Um, they if really you do are want fantastic. those, the paper pack is there for you. Um, 063216 is your item number. They're absolutely exquisite. Um, now, only 999 as well. Um, and that is for 14 sheets. That's 063216. Yeah. Now, I'm going to send you over um, a piece just for you to feel. Oh, yeah, right. that is nice. Um, so, um, oof. It is gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, it's on a it's it's a silk paper. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's I like uh, that. it really is. It's 170 GSM. Um, I've had it on the, the That's Crafty shows, but I just thought, you know, it goes so beautifully mm. well. So what I'm doing, just turn a few bits up. I would normally use my scraps, and um, but I've pretty much used all my scraps up from these few pages that I had from the other. See, it's quite nice week. when you do, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, like that sort of thing. There's no way on this earth I would throw that out. Absolutely oh, not. Oh my lord! And if anybody suggested it, they go, you know, you sort of look as if to say, "Really? What are you talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> so um, now I don't want the length, so I'm going to just take it at the bottom, just bring it over there. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the paper down first. I know it's, it's it might seem a little bit odd way on. Um, nah. But I, um, sometimes I do this, sometimes I put my ink down first, sometimes I spray. But I th no, I want to just put the... Um, and do you know what I'm really... <laughs> I'm really liking at the moment. I'm quite liking the white space. Yeah, I yeah. might not end up with any on this project, yeah. but I'm quite liking it's it. It's nice Do you sometimes. Like it? Yeah, sometimes makes it quite fresh. It's quite nice it? to get a splash of that. Although, yeah, yeah, like you say, I normally end up covering it. Well, up. I sometimes intend to do that, and I and they tend to have a bit of you know some whatever, and then I think, oh yeah, that'd be nice, and then I put that on there. You think. Well, there's yeah. no white space now, <laughs> Yeah, that's all gone. <laughs> yeah. I like using scraps of paper as well. Yeah. And yeah. I, I've always been in it um, ever since I was a kid. I used to love collage as a kid. Oh, love I collage. I loved it. And this yeah. just reminds me of collage. Yes. And mine used to be a bit um, intense, though. I used to have a... Oh, <laughs> really? my word. Well, <laughs> it was when I started out on the vegetarian thing and the... Oh, oh okay. my word. Yeah, <laughs> my mum used to come in and it was like, Leone, what is that? All on my door. <laughs> It was quite heavy. <laughs> I'm not going to go into it because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's oh. the, the door of nightmares. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Right. Were, were you sort of like uh, making a point? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, of course you were. Yeah. Right, I did. so um, that's that. So the colours are just amazing. They really are. See, as soon as you just um, rip it and put it down, it looks yeah. fabulous. And um, it looks so different, doesn't it? It does. And I just think it's. Um, it is. It's worth it. It really is. Just to play around. I quite like if you just ho what I do. Hold it on this end, and just scuff it. Just be careful though, because obviously it's a shot. It's actually these scissors are. You couldn't travel all the way to China on them without getting hurt. <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> right. So uh, a bit of stenciling now. I think now. Earlier on. Um, I, on the first hour, I used to pour my fine texture paste, which actually makes me um, do something else. Yeah. Because I do, I, I always bring various other bits with me, even if I don't intend to use them. So I've got my black. So I thought my black would be quite nice on this. Yeah. So I'm just going to. You, I'm not going to cover all the paper up because that would just be criminal. <laughs> and if you're shouting at the TV going, don't do that, I'm not going to, I promise you. <laughs> now, this is my black um, texture paste. As we know, I, I, I use it a lot, love it. And it is something that um, I find extremely useful. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. and it, It's um, the one thing that I I often find I've gone and lost. See, straight away yes, it looks good, pops, doesn't it? It doesn't it? Yeah. It really does pop. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, now, I ought to give you that. Ha <laughs> shall I clean? Yeah, here we go. Clean, 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 clean. Have you got just Bobby on page? That Amazing. way down? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Thank you. Roger. Do you want that? 
Oh, I've got there's some. No, I'll just press it. You'll just press it, okay? Yeah. yeah. Um, so this, if you ha if uh, anybody hasn't seen this texture paste before, it is the the black texture paste and from that's crafty, and it is um, it dries matte. Now, as you all know, because I say it so many times, I like the fact that it dries matte. Yeah. Yeah, because I do. Because then mm. you can add on the gloss, you can add on the shine, you can add on the yeah. mic or whatever. But you can't necessarily take it away, can yeah. you? No, I think that's so nice. So I, I like to start matte and then build up. We can always add on. But we can't take we away. can't take away. Yeah, I so, do like That's a lovely stencil as well. It is lovely. Mm. It's a, it is a, it's a that's crafty one. So, yeah. you know, have a little look on the website. If it, I like this one because you can either do very feminine or very masculine yeah. with it and it really does it adds that little bit of something when you maybe don't want a great deal of pattern or flouncy yeah. flourishy or yeah, whatever yeah yeah um so yeah i do so um, just, uh, just give that a little bit tiny bit that's it that's all i need now um i've also got on the show the lusters so of course you can, they are always on the pick and mix beautiful and um the three that i've got oh, what i do like these they're I know, absolutely I do. gorgeous I, I do like them very now, much so. this would be worse so this is what you're talking about isn't it because if you've got a smaller page if you put your big journal underneath it exactly that's where you catch and this bits. is what will catch mm. so i really ought to do you want to borrow well, I don't. Is it a bit late now? Have I just? Have you? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's a bit late now, but. And I can't find a clean page. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. So what I love about the lusters is the fact that, obviously, you've got that mica in. Yeah, that's a lush. Which is really, really lovely. And of course, when you put it onto the black, then of course you've got that beautiful mica appearance as well, mm. haven't you? Yeah. So, so, yeah, because obviously it'll sit on the, the black and pop even yeah. more, won't it? Oh, I like that colour. Yeah, if you just, just tiny bit of spray, it, I want it to just, do just give it you drops. do it. You see, just because I want it to. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Won't, and I don't want yeah. to put too much red on because I don't want too much red. So I'm just going to pop that down there. And that's lush. Like that. So it is really lovely, isn't it? And yeah. it's very quick and it's very, very easy. It's not difficult. Well, the next we're one. just having, we're just playing, and we're just enjoying what we're doing here. And it's one of those that every time, like you said, it's going to be different, but it changes. Yeah, of every layer gives it a different bit of depth and dimension. Yeah, yeah. I, I thoroughly, I, well, you know, it, it's relatively a new thing, relatively new thing for me. Yeah. Um, oh, no, that won't dry. Don't matter. I'll put the dragonfly over the top. <laughs> um, um, to to actually do this sort of thing, because I always was very um, in control of what yeah. I did. Yeah. But I just love it. God. I actually really, really love it because I feel that you know you're not actually doing it for anybody else. Yeah. You're not making a card. You're not sending it to somebody. Um, you're not making a project to run it in a workshop. You're not yeah. doing. You're doing it for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're absolutely. doing it for yourself. And it's just experimenting yeah. and playing yes, it and having is. fun. Yeah, and it's also really lovely, I find, that when you get a new product, say you get a new stamp or you get a new texture paste, and you think, oh, I wonder what will happen with that, or... Yeah, absolutely. I wonder, what, I wonder what I'll do if I add that to this and this to that. And, and these books are affordable mm. to be able to do that with. Well, on the paper. It yeah. will take it. Jane Davenport does that. She said every time you I get a product, she, yeah. yeah. She said put like gesso, do a white a white gesso or a black gesso on the normal page and see what your product does on each bit. Isn't that a good idea? No, that is a very good idea. Mm. Yeah. Because yeah. then you've got your text going that. Like, if you put a note in your journal, you can always put like you can have a journal that's literally just for testing products. Yeah. I mean I don't, but it's a lovely idea. It is a lovely <laughs> Uh, I bet you do in a roundabout way, though. Uh, uh, well, yeah, sort of, but I don't do any notes. <laughs> so I've no idea. When I go oh, back and like, notes bit. No, no, yeah. no idea what that was. It's the mystery of it. <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> so it's the mystery. Um, right, so what I have done, um, this is one of my butterflies that I cut out from um, 
uh, one of my that's crafted stamps and if anybody's interested it is let me just check it's not on the show but it may be on the website it's a fantastic set I love it it's this one it's the art um, beautiful yeah we had it a couple of weeks ago actually yeah arty wings stamp set and that dragonfly and the butterfly well I love uh, well they're beautiful not many check the website out but do look, if, you, if you are just looking at that now what I have done is I have just um, stamped it out on I stamped it onto the paper beautiful because I think it'll go rather nicely all together and then I'm just putting one whole one I'll pop it over there and I've got one wing uh, yeah. yeah now of course the other thing that we need to remember is that even though we're the crafters and we you love the pink pig books of course they are artist material and of course even though courses in September may not be going ahead in the actual universities they will still be going ahead um, virtually won't they mm. so um, so if you do know anybody that um, you know is, is doing an art or um, media and, and very you know all those sort of courses they would really favour these. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, they'd, they'd be beautiful. Would. Um, well, they're great for your your journals when you you know you're planning what you're doing and that's practicing right. and yes. experimenting. Yeah. yeah. And getting all your ideas and concepts together. That's right. Mm. I'm just going to put a little bit of spray on the wings. There we go. Oh. And then just picking out. Now we do have these stumps on the show. And these are the lots of word stumps that we ah, do. Lovely. And we do have the alphabets as well because it goes so well yeah. with the whole concept. Like so I'm just going to pick just a few of a few words out. No, um, just... I think even though dragonflies are very, very dainty. Um, I think they're quite strong and they're definitely beautiful, <laughs> aren't they? Yeah, they really are. Really stunning. They're magnificent. Yeah, they are magnificent. We actually went um, to, um, it was a local um, reserve the other day. It's uh, salt marshes uh, near us and um, I just went for, went for a walk. Beautiful day. And um, I, there were some stunning dragonflies yeah. just bobbing over the water. There's some huge ones. Yeah, they are. They're huge. Massive. Yeah. In fact, you, you you get quite taken aback by them, don't you yeah. think? It could be scary yeah. if you if they're a wasp. Yeah. <laughs> but if, they're not. They're bottom flies. No, that's uh, right. Dragon flies. Oh, it's good. But yeah, so, they can be young. Yeah, they uh, they are. They really are quite uh, quite something, aren't they? <laughs> I know our friends Chris oh, and Molly. Stuart, they take Can I say what you just said, Molly? Oh, go on, Molly. What did I she say? Molly. Um, so we were talking about, like, dragonflies, and she said, they're like a moose. <laughs> a moose? But she didn't she did finish it. She said, I never expect them to be as big as they are. But it did make me laugh when you said they're like a moose. <laughs> as in? Sorry, Molly, that were really funny. Where have you seen a moose? <laughs> she said... Um, our mum said she thought mooses were horse sizes, but they're not. But it just made me laugh <laughs> where you sort of said they're oh, like a moose. Like, so they're like a moose, it, as in as you in don't the size, expect them it, to yeah. be quite so yeah, big. Yeah, yeah. And what that really, she when, like? when she said, when she finished the sentence, but when, before it were well, yeah. They're like you know, a moose. <laughs> do you know? Honestly. <laughs> Sorry, mum. I love you, really for <laughs> I do, honestly. Isn't she adorable? Yeah, she's fabulous. Mind you, she did tell everybody this morning that I, I take things out of the bin to recycle them. <laughs> so don't tell everybody that. <laughs> it's all right. When um, Le Blanc leave, both me and Catherine, the stuff that they throw away, me and Catherine have allegedly both went through the bin to try and... What was, that? what was that? When Le Blanc, because obviously when they go, because they're going back to Germany, they don't take everything. Oh, Blanc. oh So there's yes. things through in the bin. So I, I were rummaging through and... Um, uh, one at the crew said, oh, yeah, Catherine's already been there before you. So we both, me and Catherine both, been through the bin. <laughs> that does not surprise me in uh, the least. Well, it's very, it's a necessity. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to be wasting. No, absolutely not. And I like this because this is just another layer. So you've got yeah, the spritz. So it's just, you... um, yeah, it's just a, another little interest, really. It's, it's nothing fancy. It's nothing complicated. 
and then um, yeah Gorgeous. I'm quite happy with that I'm not going to really do any more like because I've still got a little bit of the white space yes, yeah maybe not all of no, what I, I really intended like that. I but, love um, it. and I've balanced my colors up um, with my thinking my dragonfly and then perhaps I would put a little possibly a little bit of accent on yeah. the actual dragonfly wings but um yeah that's yeah, gorgeous it's quite pretty that's isn't lovely it? it's lovely Thank right you. i'm going to give you a reminder because 80 percent of the stock has gone um you get in the eight by eight that is such a nice size to work on i mean you can do so much with it and obviously with something like that it's not that scary it's still great for cleaning pages Okay, I know cleaning pages doesn't look like anything, but you clean your paintbrush on your page and it can become an amazing background. You know, experiment with these. It takes it. It takes all the inks. You've got um, the A5. I like this one because obviously this one, it's got the ring bound at the side there. This is a big deal with these. They are ring bound. So it means when you're working, you can work completely flat or... Or if you're really good, you can take um, the, the cover off and take the pages out, which means if you are doing something really messy, you don't have to mess up the full book. You've then got the, the little wee one, the four and a half by four and a half inch, and that, again, is so handy. However you're using it, they're just divine, and the price is ridiculously good. I mean, £13.99 for these. Um, they're so, so cool to work with. Gorgeous quality paper as well inside. Now, if you would like all three of those, £13.99 is your price. 331134 is your item number. Now, next. So, I love these ones. I do use mine a lot for cleaning. So what I was meaning were, and what our Joe reminded me, so if I'm working, say, on um, something like, I'll show you what I mean. So say I've got that open, like so. So say I'm working on something that size. If you're working on something that size and you spritz it, rather than it going on your craft mat, you automatically start building up a background on the scrap paper it's really really handy to put down like that it, it's just interesting because you get different um different surface um different finishes or of course they're brilliant for stamping on they're brilliant for all your stencils they're brilliant for all your spritzes and your paints um they don't know how they did this <laughs> um they are just fantastic quality and it's the same quality paper inside each one of them there you go <laughs> um it's same quality paper inside each one beautiful to decorate on the front i love that one that joe did that cover is just beautiful isn't it you can absolutely scrapbook in these i mean of course you can put your photographs you could put so many things in there where is that oh yeah that's pretty isn't it there you go which is just gorgeous and again with something like this you can do all sorts i mean Aren't they fabulous? Absolutely fabulous. Um, and at that size as well, tell you what, I mean, I love using me, you know, all your gorgeous decorative papers. Get your Graphic 45, get your stamp area out with these. It makes the most out of your papers. Only 18 99 and that's for two of them. I mean, the prices are phenomenal. Do not miss out on these prices. Um, that is 481121. That's your item number. Now, next, again, your price, 11 99 for these three. It's just such a good price. Um, you can decorate the covers however you want. They're a heavyweight cover, which means something like this, it's going to take all your spritzes, your rinks, whatever you're throwing at it. And the quality of the car stock, as we've said time and time again, is amazing. I mean, it's a good uh, base for you to work on however you're going to work on it. And yeah, I love these covers. That's how it starts. But stick anything on there, it's going to look amazing just such a good price 11 99 you're getting three of those if you use them for workshops maybe you're taking them along there is um, a lovely lady who attends my workshops actually then she brings one of her no uh, one of her journals to each workshop and then she'll like clean stuff in the journal or when we're doing stamping she'll stamp a few extras in there so she can use them later honestly it's such a nice book as well because every time she comes it's like you know all reminders of stuff we've done it's brilliant Brilliant. And at eleven ninety nine for three, I mean you can afford to have one that is literally just a playbook. Um four What what what? <laughs> 
Dave and Brig have just brought three of them to extend their library of shame. I get this. I get it. Because what they're saying is, we already own too many, but we've just bought three more. I get you, I'm with you. And David Brig, thank you ever so much for the cake. The cake came, um, it's been distributed around the office. I did that yesterday and I've had banana cake today. It was gorgeous. Delicious, it's, thank yeah, you. Really delicious. The cookies, oh, <laughs> yeah, people love the cookies. Um, so thank you very much indeed. Now then, if you do want these three, 864-614 is your item number. The little ones, yeah, these are just well nice. Um, we love these. Whether it is going to be handy, whether it's going to be a little notebook, whether it is just going to be um, testing your paints you know maybe you're going to be testing your different colors de testing different techniques however you're using these i do love mine for me my stamping I mean, my, i've not done as much in my journals recently i'm gonna have a journal revival i've decided um absolutely be yeah i've got a cover full of journals in my craft room i've got a bag full of them what are you talking about this bag under here <laughs> I don't know, watch me branding. Look, 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 it's full of journals. But there are different styles, because I like, I like the black, I'm gutted I didn't bring a big one, um, a little one. <laughs> I've got big ones, but no little ones. 80% um, of the stock has gone here. Please do not miss out on them. They are cool. And at £16.99, that is such a good price. What does it work out per pad? Oh, well, bear with, bear with. Dooby dooby doo. Two pounds and twelve pence. Bargain. <laughs> Bargain. <laughs> Imagine decorating really? one of them and selling it. You know, or couldn't you? Or or obviously doing it like that. Selling it. Yeah, personalise them. Flog them. Stick someone's name on. Fl flog. Don't worry, man. Flog. Everyone, everyone looked really scared. I don't know what you were thinking I was saying, you dirty-minded young ones. <laughs> 318061 is your item number. What did I say the other day? And you all got scared as well. Anyway. <laughs> I you do it on, on yeah, purpose. Yeah, I didn't. Flop. No, um, on purpose. I'm not saying it again because now you made me scared. Um, okay, the grey board. The grey board's so handy. You've got 40 sheets in total. That's sheets. Um, and obviously, there's loads you can do with this as well. Um, it's a lovely surface to work on. I absolutely adore that. I think that's amazing. Um, 506764 is your item number. Um, we've then got a big bundle of grey board. So you are going to be getting um, your, your little one, it's so actually four before, you've got um, 20 of the four before, 10 of the A5, you've then got six of the 6x6 and five of the 8x8. And obviously loads you can do with that. See, I really like that, I think that's well cool. They're really nice for creating art with and they're really nice for layering. Like I like, you know, when you're, you're actually layering them up, and creating your art like that looks really, really effective. Um, if you do want those £12.99, you can scratch into them as well. You know, if you're using Seth, because Seth loves scratching into something like that, beautiful base to work on. Um, 518012. Now, seven day savers, we've got some ri Oh, I could have done with these. The little LED lights. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. £14.99 is your price if you'd like to get hold of them. Um, they're well handy. Mm -hmm. And you can put them in, your, in the top of your bottles, can't you? I really like them. And each one's a metre long, £14.99. Saving 15 quid there. That is really good. Gosh. Yeah, I could have really done with them for a weekend. Um, oh, scissors! We got some scissors. These are your awkward. Um, micro ser serrated and soft grip. Um, if you would love to get those, only nine ninety eight. That's a oh, really that's good a price. That's amazing. Five nine four seven eight eight is your item number. That's another seven day saver. They will be going up on Sunday if you want to get hold of these. Um, and then we've got your MDF. Uh, look. Um, you love a little sleighs. So you've got four sleighs. Is it four? A three? It says I'm seeing three. Oh, you get two little ones. Okay, you get two little ones. I'm seeing three. I'm seeing three. <laughs> You're getting two little ones and then the other two sizes. £14.99, 102826. I'm seeing three. I was seeing three. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, phew. 
<laughs> um, back right. to you then, Jo. Right, so what I'm going to do is just going to show you. Do you know, I haven't done this, I cannot tell you, it must be four or five years, and it's the faux leather. Yeah. Now, it's difficult to see. Well, you can see. No, it looks well You can good. see, but honestly, when you feel it, it's so, it's so smooth, it's, you would really, really think that it was, yeah. honestly. So obviously I've took the back off, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to put any of the, the metal um, embellishments on, because that's the front, obviously, and that's going to be my back. But I just want to show you, actually, how, how you do it, or just remind everybody, really, because it's nothing new. It's something that we've, we've done many moons ago, and it's one of those things that we keep coming back. And do you know, these on those little square ones yeah. with just a initials in the corner wouldn't that be yeah. really smart yeah, yeah it would. especially for um maybe a, a gentleman um a present mm. or something like that would be super that wouldn't it yeah you can now, do so much so uh just tissue paper scrunch it up just scrunch it up like that obviously something like your shoes or a packaging or you know the usual the usual thing that i do as you know well we all do don't we so just make sure that you're putting it down and, d and don't be don't be trying to take out the creases and in fact if anything if you can without trying without splitting it actually just agitate it a little bit before you put it down now you get something like that don't worry because all you need to do is just put a little bit more glue on Wonderful. take a little bit off here and patch it up i kind of like that yeah. Just, just yeah. A little patch up. Yeah, a little patch up. Um, but of course, the more interest there is, of course, the better. A little bit of actually, I won't need to patch that little bit up because um, it uh, it won't make any much difference at all. Now, um, actually, you know when the scissors came on for Oakwood yeah. Archer, I couldn't believe that price. Yeah, they're really I've good. I've got actually. both those sets of scissors and I've often got them with me. Actually, they're excellent. I would yeah. highly recommend if anybody's after some scissors to not to miss out on that one and it is a That's fabulous sure. deal it's one of your seven days service yeah check yeah. those out 998 and those bottle lights are so good aren't yeah they? yeah they they're are they're lovely yeah really good and you've decorated there. a bottle and you want to just uh, yes put a little bit of illumination in it right so of course it doesn't matter what uh, tissue paper you're going to use because you're going to paint it now the other thing is don't worry about the holes at this moment in time right because it's better to just get on with it and sort it out um and um to actually paint it now i'm using the it's the chestnut brown yeah um uh, it's the uh, that's crafty multi-surface wonderful yeah so and then if there's anything like this um oh, st st standing up proud not stuck down just put a little bit of glue underneath it okay and then it will act as sort of a adhesion anyway once it's dry and just make sure that you are sort of like more more stamping the um, paint into it than actually painting it in so that it gets in all the nooks and crannies i don't tend to use my best brush for just this really work it in. yeah um, that's well it you, well you're yeah. painting we've had a photo sent in oh Yay. fantastic let's have a look at sue's work oh that's oh, gorgeous so is that, that's emma emma is that emma Blake's? i think it's all yeah. lovely emma's um sue says these are rather addictive how <laughs> many have yeah. you got so Bill Sue, how many? Look at all <laughs> that. Yeah, there is quite a few. I'm counting. Gorgeous. There's at least one, two, three, four, five. There's at least five in there. Oh, yeah, they're beautiful. So I love it. I love the pile yeah, of fabulousness. Lovely. And um, yeah, I think she likes pink as well, don't she? Uh, <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, Sue. I love that picture. Keep your pictures coming in. Oh, We're very yeah. nosy. What do you use yours for? Is it an art journal? Is it like little memories when you go to workshops and little hints and tips and, you know, reminders how to use them? Um, we would love to hear from you. Studio mm. at .com. You haven't got long. How much have we left? How long have we left six minutes oh, Joe, that's back okay. to you. yeah no problem yes thank you everybody we do really appreciate it and i love it when i've been doing a pink picture because of course it's been a little while yeah because we've had um they've had lockdown lessons so they've had to you know sort of concentrate on other things and of course we've got the schools all being well um and colleges and universities coming back 
all been well in September and October, so hopefully they'll be really kept busy with us as well. Um, the pink pig people. Um, so while you're dry drying, off, yeah, of course. Shall I just yeah. give a quick reminder Please while you're do. blasting it dry? Yes. Give me a shout Please when do. you're finished. Yeah. Um, okay, because I know these have been so busy. You've got your 8x8, you've got your A5, you've got your 4x4. Four four. If you do want to get hold of these, however you're using them, you might be using them for all your stamping projects. Obviously, decorating the front is absolutely amazing. You do need to be quick, though, because they are approaching limited stock. 331134 is your item number. Um, yeah, I'm a massive, massive fan of mine. Playing! Um, yeah, I'd love to see another picture. Please. Oh, oh, from Carol. That's pretty. All and Creates. That is a beautiful oh, All and Creates. It will read him, really, that we know what. <laughs> yeah, it says that we know everything. <laughs> that's lovely. Thank you oh. ever so much. That is absolutely gorgeous. Um, oh, and Sue got back in contact. Oh, go on. How many? <laughs> She's run out of fingers and toes to count them all. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, you're you. as bad as me then, I see. Oh, yeah. lovely. Great though, aren't they? Yeah, I they love are. looking through them. Uh, back right. to you, Jo. Okay, so that's got the brown. So, of course, any brown paint that you've got, you know, no, that's uh, good. Obviously, if it's, a, if it's a matte finish, then that would be even better, you know, like I've got here. Yeah. And then, now it's not quite dry, but it is still doing what I want it to do. This is a very old, and I keep this for this sort of thing. It's an old, worn-up stain, distressing. Please don't use one of your new ones. Yes. Or one of your oxides. Just it's in case. It's far too good for one of those. Yeah. And yeah. then if, when you, you can see that now, oh, you can beautifully. Yeah. Thank you, Molly. So <laughs> that's what you do on the top of that. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, you just take it a little bit steadier than me and just do it. And then we've got the liquid wax. Oh. Now, we do have this in the show, and I specifically ask for it so I could show you this technique because I know lots and lots of you have got the liquid wax, always very popular yeah, when I bring it, really it on other shows. And this is perfect for using this. Now, in the past, I've used glycerine, yeah. which is absolutely fine, but this is proper wax. Yeah. So you're going to get that proper leather feel into it. Yeah. Okay, so all you're doing, you're doing you that. You can buff it up as well, yes, can't you? Yes, you can. You've got that sheen. Yeah, you can. So I would leave that to naturally, give that a little bit of a, a, a natural dry. You don't have to. You can speed it up with a heat gun if you want. Yeah. But what I'm going to do is, so we're just going to park that a second. And then if you see on here, what I've done, in fact, if I get my cloth actually it's a clean one today it doesn't look <laughs> it but i promise you it is and then what you can do is once it's nice and dry and i purposely didn't buff this one up so that i could show you the difference what you can what you get is you get that beautiful let's see if i can get oh look at no, that look at that shine yeah, the shine and i cannot express enough how smooth yeah and how lovely yeah. that that is it, and it looks, looks really professional it does. and then just the tiniest tiniest bit please don't spoil it but just the tiniest tiniest bit just on a little bit of the very raised areas of a little bit of um gold wax yeah just over the top and then you're going to, that's going to then pick up just those pieces there that you can't oh look at them. There, there you go. go and then by just putting a little bit of uh, metal embellishments on there yeah okay i just put that in there you could put some of these initials of course you could put initials down there you know like on a very posh diamond yeah that is but beautiful it's, it's just a nice little project yeah. that you can do with one of your books before you uh, then start filling it up yeah i mm. love that it's such Thank a you. nice size but i love that book remember that's mm. one of the gray board covers so that something mm, and something like yeah. that for 11.99 that know. price is i know i three, keep babbling three on about up. it just and all it is incredible bit of um, tissue yeah and then paint yeah. um okay so this one is limited stock if you want it you need to check your basket so it means less than 10 percent remaining limited stock now so do not miss out on this it's a lovely collection of books it's brilliant size obviously all the papers are such good quality and going through them if you haven't had one of your books yet 
Um, the, it's going through them that's so so lovely because it's like oh that were only the other day oh I were really yeah. chuffed with that one as well I'm and this surprised. is it it's Excuse really me. turned out well hasn't it and this is the thing I love it because <laughs> some like days it? you'll have days that turn out well you have days that turn out bad I love that one I like that yeah, one I that, love that obviously one. you'll have pages that you haven't finished it's brilliant. You'll see your different stuff that you've used. You'll see your different techniques. You'll see all the different stuff that you might have forgot about. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Yeah. See, the thing is, if the cards, you give them away, that's it. Exactly. You've forgotten your technique. You've forgotten that's your it. product. Yes. And if you really did want to make a note of yeah. what you've done or whatever, then please do a little yeah. bit of pencil just in the corner Absolutely. it won't make the the whole pi picture offensive or anything will it and no. it'll just give you a little bit of a mental note as to what you use i love it it's such yeah. a nice idea uh, joel thank you ever oh, so it's a much pleasure. thank you i love doing pink pig with one you left. one left sorry gone oh. sold out <laughs> One left. Yeah, one left, one left, gone. <laughs> uh, check out the others, though. Brilliant prices. Yeah, I love doing yeah. pink pig shows. They're so yeah. good, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're just, the world's your oyster. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Thank you is. ever so much, My Jo. Um, and you're back with 13 Arts? Tomorrow. Just Tomorrow. Just one hour at right. 11 o'clock. Yes, you just got it in. <laughs> <laughs> See, did she just get that in? Okay, uh, quick Christmas up next. We are lovely, Jenny. We've then got your quilted stash bag. It's the last chance for you one day special. And then studio lights. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies. We have colouring daubers. We have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody.
make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high-quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda. Hello everybody, a warm welcome. We've got such a lovely day here at Hochanda. Uh, I'm proud to say that we're going to have another fantastic hour with the lovely Jenny. Hello. Hello. Jenny, I have not seen you or worked with you. In, it has been months. It was long before lockdown. Wow. I thought I'd done something to offend you. Not, not <laughs> at all. Not at all. You know I love working with you. How have you been? Oh yeah, fine, thank yeah? you. Good. Yeah. Uh, I always, do you know what I love? And please stick around. If this may be the first time uh, seeing a hobby art and Jenny, uh, your demonstrations are always fantastic. Thank oh, you. Do you want to get the sense? No pressure you love, then. No, no pressure <laughs> at all. But you love to, you really do take so much joy sharing techniques with yes, people. Yes, yeah. You yeah, see yeah. It? I, um, it? If I can get somebody else, you know, as enthusiastic yeah. as me, I'm happy. Well, you definitely will be. So do stick around. <laughs> and something that's going to get you enthusiastic is the beautiful quirky stamp. So we're talking quirky Christmas with hobby art. Love the characters you're about to see. <laughs> Very busy. This was the, this is going to be the second hour now. You instantly get a sense. Now this is our first collection we're bringing you. Over sixty percent of the stock has gone. There is a freedom price, and we give you a cheeky flash of that. I will be repeating, uh, reiterating it. In the moment. Oh, there you go. Thirty-two, thirty-seven. Your price. Look at the amount of stamps that you are getting. They are. Is that? A sausage dog on ice skates, or it could be a cocker spaniel. It's um, well, it's meant to be our dog. Okay. He's a puppy. He's eight months old. His mum and dad are cockapoos, but he's come out more like a cocker spaniel. Well, wait, so, so two so, cockapoos? Oh, he's a bit of a cocker. He looks a bit more like cocker spaniel. Yeah, he's come out, but well, his brothers what, are curly like cockapoos. His name's Pumpkin because he was born on Halloween. I already love him. <laughs> We need to, now in future, next time we work together, please can you send in a picture so we can show everyone Pumpkin. Yeah, okay. We need to see Pumpkin. All right, well actually, do you know what? You don't need to see a picture because we've got Pumpkin <laughs> here. Look, is it, you've captured Pumpkin's essence in the stamp. Look at Pumpkin, very, very, oh come on, that's really cute. That is, there's no name on this one, Jenny, so is this one of yours? No, no, that's Becky's, Becky? my daughter, and it's her, it's her puppy. What? I say we, it's her puppy. Especially when he's yeah. naughty and oh, choose something, that's it's it. her puppy. <laughs> There's a mess. There's the Becky. Uh, or how about here? Look, Pumpkin's got into the presents, going through. Love Pumpkin, but there are so many other characters that you're getting as part of this set. Wait till you see this. Look at these. Tell us a little bit about these, Jenny. Um, well, Becky likes guinea pigs. Yeah. I didn't realise how popular they were until we sent them out to the design team. And several of the design team have got oh. um, guinea pigs. Oh, okay. So, Martina this being is Martine. one of them. Yeah, this one from Martina. I've got yeah. to show you this next one as well. Just genius. Uh, this yeah, is it's Elaine. brilliant, isn't it? What? E Elaine's a great animal lover as well. So, actually, most of the design team are. But so, I... I, I I didn't realise that so many of them had guinea pigs. Another That's one from Martina. That's my favourite. It shakes. And it's got veg. carrots and sprouts in it. Genius. <laughs> Genius. Or how, I mean, each one's so different. Oh, this is cute. So injecting a bit of, uh, this is another one from our team. Uh, look at this, a bit of Christmas. It makes you feel warm, doesn't it? Marianne yeah. did that one. Oh, sorry, uh, it is it's Marianne. It's absolutely I apologize, yeah. stunning. Yeah. Love that. So. So much versatility with these, capturing a mood, and there's still more uh, going. 
this next one is phenomenal. I cannot, I've, I've personally never seen anything like this from Elaine. Now what you can do is take out the boxes and you can customize. So it is uh, effectively the never ending calendar. So you can customize the dates are just re revolving around. Look at, and they're good friends. You can, <laughs> they remind me of two of my friends actually. But uh, with the moose, really cute. Or if you wanted to take it to town, sorry, that was uh, Elaine. And then we've got Marianne again here. Beautiful work from Marianne. So a bit of decoupage, really building up the image. Can we just pause for a moment? and just say thank you to the design team because my yeah. goodness Jenny they're good yes they are aren't they they're incredible Second to none <laughs> uh, you're very fortunate look at all of this two-thirds of the stock has gone you can see the amount of stamps that you are getting uh, because it's hobby art you know instantly you'll know the quality uh, the hobby art uh, brand brings you so good clear stamps exceptional quality uh, you can buy them individually but why would you when you can take advantage as a freedom member of that eight pound sixty saving if you do go for the bundle forty four stamps in total I get a real sense as well Jenny that if you do go for the bundle, all the sets do inter intermatch, so they play nicely together. Yeah, uh, they were designed by the same artist, Sharon Farr. Okay. Um, she's got our quirky sense of humour, so she gets us, and uh, uh, you've only got to say something like, guinea pigs, and... She's there. She's there. You've got, you genuinely have a very nice team. Yes, we well. have, yeah. We're, yeah. we're a nice, friendly team. And you get on with everyone. Yeah. Do you know what was nice? In between shows, uh, so I know that Jo Shannon, she's just finished a show in, in, in another set, but across the studio, you're having a nice little chat. So I like about Ho Chan. Everyone does get I on so well. I haven't seen her for ages. There we go. There's Joe. You can't see her, but Jenny's having a little wave. N nice haircut as well, Joe. Uh, okay, we've got to move on. I I'm sorry, talking about people you can't see. Uh, now, uh, we are very busy for the first option. That's disappearing. We might. We had. We did have sellouts in the first hour. That first option could potentially be going this out. I'm going to keep you updated. Uh, another one that's proving popular over 60% of the stock. It just, it lives up to the name. We talked about, we, we, we titled these hours as Quirky Christmas with Hobby Art. Come on. How quirky is this? There's an awful lot going on. Uh, so, are you a fan? I've got to ask, are you a fan of Sprouts? Jenny? I am, yes. I love Sprouts. And I love the bubble and squeak on Boxing Day. But, oh, bit of bubble and squeak. Oh, I like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, have a look from Sally. Oh, Sally. If you pull that, the tabs yeah. quite firmly okay. out, that's it. More. Oh. Pull up pull More. further. Okay. Oh. There you go. Oh, what? <laughs> Sally, are you kidding? And this is what I was saying that the, that is genius. So, created a whole scene with the sprouts. So I'm a great, I'm a great, watch out Sprouts about, you know that. Uh, or how about this one? Is this a penny slider? Yeah. Yeah, just showing you through. It's a little bit of a penny slider going in. Ooh. Oh, that works so well as a penny slider. Nice, easy one to cut yeah. out too. Perfect. So no Sprout about it. <laughs> I like it. Uh, or this is another nice one. So we've got, oh, sorry, that penny slider, that was by uh, Lisa. So Lisa did the penny slider. Uh, no name on this one. Do you know who did this one? Oh, yeah, I made that. Oh, you made it this It's a yummy or yuck. They're, they're quite nice for the table. And we have, you've got that stamp, yummy or yuck, in there. And you yes, can it's in them. there, yeah. Nice. Or how about this one? Uh, this is from... Maybe. Oh, oh that's Franca. Name. She's oh, in Franca? the Netherlands. Okay. She's done some beautiful artwork for <laughs> us this time, but sadly the post hasn't got it to us in time. Oh. But it's on the gallery, so well, uh, we do can have follow a look. you on social media. So, uh, well worth it. Oh, this is clever. So actually, with your crackers, decorate your crackers. And it's got a sprout in it. <laughs> I love that. So there we go. It just gives you an idea of what you could be making. We are getting busy for this option now. I'm just going to lift up. You need to see this. So when we talk about the size of stamps you are getting, it is the quality, the thickness. If I just show you there, you really, well, I hope you can see at home. They are thick stamps, beautiful quality. Uh, and I think any crafter, and Jenny, you'll know this, it's not all stamps are made alike. 
No. So uh, I know, and I really do, if you've ever used sort of good stamps, you know what we're talking about. If you've ever bought stamps and maybe they didn't live up to that quality, equally trying to use them, you know about it straight away. Yeah. These are very, very good. Uh, 22 98 is your price, saving three pounds, two thirds of the stock uh, going here. You get a sense of the theme. We are busy. We didn't even talk about it. I know we're moving on. But look at all the stamps you are getting here. So these are allowing you to give some context, inject some humor, caution, caution, caution. 38 stamps in total. Look, we all know the caution when you do eat your sprouts. Uh, do not open <laughs> until Christmas. That is a, okay, do not open until Christmas is a brilliant stamp to have. I, I think we all need that. Uh, watch out, sprouts are about, I mean, that shows the diversity and also the humor that you're getting with this release. 22.98 your price, 631.759 your item number. Okay, we're gonna move on. We have some more goodies for you. Uh, so, I'm gonna show this to you. Um, I met my first camel last year in Egypt, and I fell in love with camels. Camels are the friend, well, the one I met, he was super friendly. And we actually got to meet a, a baby camel as well, it was very cute. Yeah. So I like camels, personally, and yeah. you're getting here just a lovely set of stamps. I mean, for fourteen ninety nine, look at the size of stamps that you are getting, the diversity. So I know they're clear, uh, and the examples will uh, show them off a little bit better, but I just wanted to give you a sense of scale. But then, when you see here, what I like about it, we can go quite traditional. Now that's a beautiful, that is a if beautiful you, card. If you, that's by Sally, so yeah. if you pull so, that off and open it. I will. Oh, come on, Sally, are you kidding? There are some real showstopper inspirations yeah. from the design team. Sally, that is beautiful. You're getting some oohs and ahs in my ear. I really like that. Or how about, and I'll just put that to one side. I like this one. So we've gone very traditional, but hey, come on. How could, wearing the fez as well? Just like that. <laughs> we like that. Or you can tell that the, uh, the gallery, they're too young to know who that was. <laughs> or how about this? I had silence in my ear. We got, we got a cool camel, we got our funky Christmas camel, uh, and then we got the fez going on there. Uh, lot, lots going on here, beautiful examples. Uh, that was by Anne and sorry, I've been meaning to read out, and that was by Sally. So the, uh, the funky one I just showed you, that was by Sally. Okay, so details are on your screen if you want to go for the camel. Seven, four, and can, I, can I just appreciate the name as well, Jenny? Camel or you faithful? I won't sing, but uh, I could. Well, you, well, you, you're more than welcome. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine your price if you do want to get hold of your camel. Just something different. Have some fun. Inject something different into your stash. Fifteen stamps in total. Two seven one ninety three item number. And do you know what I like about the camel? And we've also got our quirky turkey coming up. You're using these all year round. I know they're great for Christmas, but you will still be using them throughout yeah. the whole year. Um, the the um, camels particularly, yeah. it's only if you put the hats on they become Christmassy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one lady, one of my customers, she's been doing cards and putting, don't get the hump, yeah. which is one of the wordings, and uh, not Christmassy and putting a mask on it for Brilliant. lockdown. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah. Relevant to the times. And the, the guinea pigs too. Yeah. If you don't use the ones, if, if you don't colour them Christmas yeah. colours, they can be they used can be all, all year, year round. round. I'm going to show you an inspiration now. If you're looking for any reason to get <coughs> hold of the turkeys, it's in my hand. Look at this. From Marianne. My goodness, I love that. They're just, I mean, fun. Uh, and that. It's, it's because everyone's running away because someone's mentioned Christmas. Did someone mention Christmas and they were, they were off? Or how about this one? Uh, this one's from, I think it's uh, Heidi. Heidi. There's Heidi. Holding that one. That's cute. Or, oh, these are great. Elaine. I'm using the sprouts as well. Very nice. Or, did you want to put the images on a cracker? How well? Does that work? Putting all those, uh, putting the turkey, that's Daryl our turkey, on the cracker. Look, you're getting 22 stamps in total. So an awful lot to play around with. But the whole point of these hours, and I'll just tell it for you because I know we're getting a bit of flash. Uh, the whole point of these hours, we're having some fun. So you've got the turkey hiding in the bag. You've got all your filler stamps. You've got sentiments in there as well. Does someone mention Christmas? You're going to have fun with that sentiment. You've got your uh, holly in there too. So lots. Uh, getting busy here, fourteen ninety nine. your price, 651-555, your item number. I want to say a big thank you to Jenny, because I know the stencils we're about to show you sold out uh, last hour, 
very kindly, Jenny, because no, we're not always able to bring back stock, but she worked very, very hard to bring them back on extended delivery. 2nd of August, 12.99, you're getting all of these, but, and there is a big, big but here, half the stock, and that's our extended delivery, actually over now half the stock has gone. And once that's gone, that is absolutely it. Uh, we, we begged, we pleaded, and we got a little bit more, but that, that will be it for this. Twelve ninety nine your price. It's dispatched on the 2nd of August. Uh, fantastic stencils, though. Look at this. So you've got your robin in there. Robin's very friendly birds. I've seen videos online with a robin. If you put some seeds on your hand and stay very still, they'll actually feed from your hand. Maybe it was just a particularly friendly robin. I don't know. Or how about... Now, that's nice. So, oh, I just, this was by Anne. Anna, Anna. sorry, Anna, apologies. And then you've got the That's Robin. Sally. Lovely. Or how about something, now this is very nice too. This was Sally. It's incredible what you can do with stencils, isn't Yeah, I mean, it? you're thinking, this is done with a stencil. Bit of fussy cutting, beautiful. Uh, busy for this option, say stencils on extended delivery. They sold out. Uh, we said we're over 50. We're now at 60% of the stock and it could be another item. To I think we're going to have a lot of sellouts this hour. Uh, final thing to share with you before we head over to Jenny. Kurataki, look at these. Jenny, for anyone who didn't see it earlier on, can you tell us a little bit about these? They're very concentrated mica. They're absolutely stunning colours. They show up particularly well on dark card. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, you put add, add water to them so you can spritz or just add a little bit of water. Um, work them in with a paintbrush and paint with them in very, very vibrant colours. Wow. They will last a very long time. The effects you're able to achieve You've got that blue gold, the red gold, the yellow gold in there, the champagne gold, uh, light gold, and your white gold. These are special. Really decadent mediums. We don't need to use a lot, but you're just adding that little splash, and it suddenly invigorates and takes whatever you're working on to that next level. Uh, we all know, and these are, you know, I, I don't know if you uh, think the same at home, but there are certain mediums we get excited, or I certainly get excited to use. These would definitely fall into that bracket. $17.99 your price, 891-215 your item number. Uh, something else that a lot of people get very excited about, the Kurataki pens. We have got the complete collection. Now, uh, up until recently, the full collection was 80 pens, but recently uh, a further 10 have been added. So nine colors and one blender pen. You have got the full set. I do understand it is a considered purchase, but for anyone who wants to get a complete set, the quality is exceptional. Three flexi payments of 112 pounds and 36 pence. You're going to be seeing the pens in action this hour, but they are amazing. Uh, we have got a smaller set as well. I'm just going to show you a set of 24, which we'll just share with you. So here we go. You've got the set of 24. If you do want to start maybe dipping your toe, ease your world, uh, your uh, way into the, ease your way into the world that is Kurataki. Uh, two flexi payments of 44.94, your item number. Okay, so that's everything that we're going to be featuring on the show. I think it's about time we head to Jenny for our first demonstration. What right. are we going to do, Jenny? I thought I'd do the guinea pigs. Nice. Christmas squeakings. Okay. Christmas so, squeakings. Um, so what you're going to need, that's a 125 millimeter craft card. Okay. Um, I'm using a piece of watercolor card. It's 110 approximately, but you're going to cut it down. So, okay. you know, once you've done it once, you could work with something slightly smaller and the green circles die cut is about 98 uh, okay. millimeters so okay. right so I'm going to start with my watercolor card and my little guinea pig um, first of all I need a pencil and I'm just using anything circular you know a mug anything at all just to get the size that you want okay. and I'm just drawing round to give me a circle then uh -huh. I'm using VersaFine ink because that's waterproof when it's dry okay and um, we, since we're coloring with the clean color pens Cute. that is what I want so nice firm pressure there so uh, I and like you can see beautiful image the characters of the guinea pig so, gu guinea pigs am I right in saying they talk to each other yes yeah that's I why they, they get on better being kept in pairs or more 
Yeah, yeah, they, yes, they do. Mm. Um, I didn't realise that it, that was the proper name for the, the sound as well. Weak, weak, weak. Well, I, I didn't know that either. But, the, the, yeah, I've, I've yeah. learned that since we've done a guinea pig, so oh, right, there, there you, go. you go. So it's less of an oink and more of a wo weak? Weak. Weak. But, yeah, um, if you look online um, and thing, you listen it? to people, it is, yeah. it's a known thing, but oh, I yeah. didn't know it. I, we're, we're learning. Yeah. Right, okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm using that circle as a frame. And uh -huh. what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two apart. I should have turned one up the other way, but it will be fine when I add the extra one. Okay. So I'm just going round the circle with the holly and the um, Brussels sprouts. Yeah. So apparently Brussels sprouts have got sweeter over the years. So if we get Brussels sprouts now, the very I'm getting giggles in my ear in my ear, but it's true. <laughs> the Brussels sprouts now are sweeter than they would be if you tried some Brussels sprouts say 20 years ago. Oh, I didn't know that. Get yeah, more people eating them. Yeah. yeah that was a conversational. That, yeah, it was a showstopper, wasn't it? That <laughs> one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, this is nice. And it shows actually in, in the collection, Jenny, that we've got so many stamps. So we've got our hero stamps are the main visual impact, uh, but you've also got a lot of worker and filler stamps in there as well. Yeah, that's it. Um, it, um, it always amazes me when the design team um, send in their samples. Mm. I sort of think, I didn't think of that. I didn't mm. think of that. Absolutely amazing. So where I've got two Brussels sprouts, you could do this with the same uh, you know, just just one pair. I've just used a, a mask there. Mm -hmm. You don't have to overlap them, but it just gives you a better sort of. Oh leaf. yeah, that's nice. Um, I would normally just move the same two. This this one's been used before. Okay. You that's the thing with the mask. It you can use it again and again. And I'll okay, just nice. make sure I do it at a different angle. Nice way to join them. And then yeah. we we'll just move that one. It's yeah. worth that little bit of effort. You yeah. don't have to, you can just do it without overlapping, but that's the way I like to do it. Yeah, really it works. Go. I like that. And there we are. We just move these carefully because if you've inked over the top, you know what might happen. You might just get that mark on that them. mark. So be careful. Mm -hmm. Right, so when you've got to that stage, yep. um, cut it out. Okay. And here's one I did earlier. And I've started to colour it. Right. So, you know, this is going to go onto our background yeah. and show up any colour you like, really. So here's a slightly different one with a sprout background. Cute. OK. But So what I've done, I've started colouring it. I thought you might go to sleep if I did the whole lot. Uh -huh. um, but I'm actually only using a couple of greens. So I'll choose a light green, yeah. a yellow. Actually, I'll use two greens. Mm -hmm. I'll use a deep green, a yellow, and a light green. Right. So for the holly, yep. I can just... Oh, first thing to do, I did it that side, but I waited until I was showing you before I did this side. Mm -hmm. Before you do anything else, just rub out your pencil line. Yeah. Because once you've coloured, you won't be able to remove it. Okay, good. So do that yeah. now. What is that then... about the Kurataki pens? Because I, I know you are a huge advocate. Yeah. The pens. Uh, ever since I've known you and worked with you, you've used the uh, Kurataki pens. For anyone who's not used them before, w what is it that fascinates you about them? Um, they're water-based. Mm -hmm. um, they blend beautifully, as you will just see. I've used a dark green and a yellow, so I'm just pulling that colour out to give me two-tone. Yeah. Um, but um, it will go back to its normal yeah. colour, so mm -hmm. there's no contamination. They're very easy to use, even for people, um, you know, who have difficulty colouring. Um, water, I would suggest if when you're starting, start on watercolour card. But mm. yeah, they're just so brilliant to use. Mm. Well, here I'm pulling the colour out, but the other thing about them is you can actually take one colour onto the other. Now that looks awful on your yellow pen, doesn't it? But if you start colouring in with it, like this. Uh, that's a nice technique. Right. 
okay and it uh -huh. will come back to its own color so can you see yeah. it getting lighter and lighter actually I want the holly um, darker than that so I'll, I'll just go on to the sprouts and color the sprouts with this okay but you can see um, although that is just um, two pens you can create your colors so you've got 90 colors anyway the the, the no, um, nine new ones mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of flesh tones in there so that was missing before they were you yeah. had to work at it but now it's so easy you've got all okay. those extra flesh tones yeah. Um, so Aye. yeah but yeah very easy to use very precise beautiful tip doesn't damage yeah. And they um, are, I mean, they are exceptionally good pens. They really are. What the thing is, and I understand it is a considered purchase, but if you already have Kurataki, uh, you know how good they are, and you're looking for the complete collection, great opportunity to do it and split the price into three payments as well. And it is, I think, there it is so nice to have that complete collection to draw from as well. So, whatever situation, whatever color tones you need, they are all to hand. But these are pens that you're going to really love and treasure. Um, the ni another nice thing about them, you can buy them individually as well. So um, we all have favourites that we're going to run out of, but mm -hmm. you don't have to buy um, every one. Yeah. You know, you can just replace the one that's run a bit low. That's yeah. run out, yeah. And you can see they're, they're quite precise. So even though I'm going into a little tiny area, mm -hmm. the tip is. Um, you know quite fine so right. you can do sort of large or fine work with it okay i have to remind you the stamps all sets are very busy at the moment we're working with the first option uh, that we brought to you uh, that is our moose it be christmas and uh, you're getting the well you're getting so many characters you're getting the guinea pigs in the mix you're also getting the moose uh, in there and you're getting the puppy aka pumpkin <laughs> it was very cute. So you're getting all of those. I mean, 44 stamps in total. The finished examples are incredible. Uh, and just showing you the stamp sets, this gives you an idea of sort of sizing wise. Oh, that gives you an idea of the kind of size of stamp that you are getting. Okay. Right, so. How are we getting on, Jenny? Cute. I don't want to do too much colouring. I'm going to bore you all to death. That's but... okay. There's something so peaceful about watching colouring being done. Yeah, but then I, I sort of think, oh, I'm taking too long. So, don't worry. But you can see the, the colours will just uh, blend so yeah. that you get that lovely finish. Mm -hmm. okay. you, you're a fan of Christmas, Jenny? Sorry? Are you a Christmas person? Yes, yeah. yeah. I, it's a time when you can relax when we're in this sort of business. Um, yeah. Christmas, you, you actually take time off and spend with yeah. family, and oh. yeah, it's, um, I do like Christmas. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not so sure. Uh, I'm, believe it or not, here we are doing Christmas in July, I know. but I won't do my Christmas cards till I'll be lastminute.com as oh, usual. Okay. Well, a lot of people, I mean, everyone works differently. Some people do leave it a, a little later, though I know a lot of crafters are starting now, especially if you've got a lot of cards to make, it's a good time to do it. And I, I know in lockdown, a lot of people have, have done their cards already. Yeah. So, um, Good opportunity. As yeah. crafters, I think we've been really fortunate because lockdown has afforded time for people to craft. It's actually brought a lot of people who haven't crafted for many years or are new to crafting into the crafting community. Yeah, uh, you know, we would... Joe and I were talking about it earlier. It's actually given us time to do other things. So yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. Nice. Um, I miss the shows, though, and I miss yeah. the workshops, seeing people. There we are. So that's Lovely. that done. Beautiful. Um, so what I, what I have done on this side, and I would do it on the other side as well, I've just used a Wink of Stella glitter pen. Yeah. Now, a pen is a hard tip so you can get into the fine lines like yeah. so. And these are on the show, the um, uh, Wink of Stella brushes, and these yeah. are fantastic. Yeah, they're very they're good. Just, it's grown-up glitter. You just get a beautiful sparkle, um, and it, this is what you use for your larger areas. And when we pick it so, up, we'll, uh, we'll give it a little bit of a, a wiggle. Yeah, so there we go. I'm going over the holly leaves. So for large areas, use your brush. Um, and it, you know, it, it, as far as I'm concerned, that's essential kit. Yeah. 
Okay. okay. So that's job done. Yep. Um, just on the the background, what I've done, I've uh, I'll show this one. You can sort of see the. You can hopefully see the glitter. Just show to that camera there, Jenny. Number one, just there. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Perfect. There, there we, we go. Are. So it's very difficult to see. I did, like I say, it's subtle glitter, but it's yeah. quite it's um, quite if bright, if you turn but it, very easy you turn to it. use. Tilt it forward a little bit more. I know you pass it to you. There yeah, you go. Yeah. Perfect. It, yeah. That's it, nice. But that is that yeah, is really that. very glittery. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the background, all I did was I used this stamp. Um, let me just stamp it so that you can see it. Mm -hmm. This is. Um, uh, it's a lettuce with berries on it, so it's f uh, the um, guinea pig's Christmas tree. Oh. Um, but what I'm doing... Oh, that's I'm, clever. I'm just using, just use an ink pad that you like, really. Yeah. I'm using a memento here, and I'm just literally stamping. What I would do, I would do it all over, um, either do it all over, like I've done there, yeah. or if I wanted to do one side, I'd still open it, Mm -hmm. Put a piece of paper there, mm. so that um, I'm working on a flat surface. If you try stamping over um, a folded card, mm -hmm. you're going to it's going to go wrong. Okay. Um, you know, you're going to it's not going to come out completely. Although it wouldn't matter in this case because it is that's only a, a background. That's a good tip, though. Jane. And this is a lettuce leaf, so that's how I did the background. Mm -hmm. Now you can see how strong this is coming out. Um, but it will absorb into the card. So um, after a, about um, half an hour, probably by the time we finish the show, yes. it will be a lot more subtle like that. Can you see the difference? Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, so just do that over. Okay. And then uh, basically you would just stick your little card on. And as I can say, lots of uh, variations. And on this one, I used the green ink pad mm -hmm. instead of a black so that it wasn't quite so strong. Perfect. So that's it. Thank you so much, Jenny. That's We've okay. got more demonstrations on the way. Uh, do stick around. We're going to have a quick recap. Uh, first bundle that we brought to you, very busy for this. But I can tell you now, a lot of people have been asking. They wanted to see Pumpkin. Well, it turns out we have got a rare picture of uh, the current manager of Hobby Art HQ sent in, <laughs> courtesy of Becky. Uh, there we go. Look, there's Pumpkin. Oh, somebody is getting a belly rub. How cute. Very, very cute dog. Yes, so but you wouldn't pumpkin. believe his mum and dad were cockapoos, would you? Mm, what? No, not at and all. And his brothers and sisters who come for play days were in touch of f with five out of the seven Puppies. Oh, that's lovely. Um, but uh, his brother and sister are, are curly, like a proper cockapoo. Oh. But we well, love him to bits. Becky, thank you for sending that in. I, I really want to see Pumpkin. Having a look, because in this set, you're getting so much. So we'll start with Pumpkin-inspired design work. So we have got a uh, little puppy. Come on. A puppy in a... Now, I know uh, a dog is not just for Christmas, but how cute is that? Or... We've got, and I'm just conscious to show you some inspiration. So that was from uh, Elaine. We've got another one here. I just picked that up. It is a beautiful water card, uh, waterfall card. Now this one is another one by Elaine. Going through, but good use of all the characters that we've got in the collection. That's very cute. So, oh, pull that back. There we go. So that's your waterfall card. So there's Pumpkin. There are more. Actually, I'll just show you very quickly. Uh, you've got this image as well with Pumpkin. He's got his little friend as well. So it's sweet, right? So you've got Pumpkin. But then you also have our fantastic moose in there as well. And the, oh, I've got to show you this one. I picked it up especially to show you. Look at this. Come on. It's another one from Elaine. How cute is that with the gerbils? Guinea pigs, even. Uh, yeah, sorry, I keep saying guinea, I'm so sorry. I don't, know why, I don't know why I said gerbils. Uh, guinea pigs. Or here, look, they've even got their hats. They're little guinea pigs. Fair, and I love the menu. Look, the Christmas menu here, we've got watermelon, beautiful, bit of apple, cheeky carrot, and a sprout. That's lovely. That's from Sally. And then I'm dipping down here, so I'm conscious to make sure everyone gets their work seen. Let's have a little look. They probably won't all be in the box. This is nice. 
It's another one from Sally. Beautiful. But you're getting this. You're getting uh, the additional stamps. I mean, 44 stamps in total. So we've got our guinea pigs, but then we've got our worker, our filler stamps, our sentiments. We are three quarters of the stock, and I haven't even shown you our fantastic moose. Uh, look at this. It's from Martina. How cool is that moose? Oh, oh, this is brilliant from Sally. Come on. Look at that. Look at that face. How cute is that? Or if you did want to decoupage up, another one from Sally. You, do you know what? I always get a sense, as a presenter, it, you can sense when a design team have really been inspired by a release. You can see the design team have had so much fun with this. And imagine the kind of inspirations you're going to be making at home. So uh, that's no name on that one. Do we know that's that Becky. That's Becky. Brilliant. So details are on your screen. I do love the fact we've got a freedom price on here. You're getting all three sets for $32.37. Think about that. Break that down. I mean, value for money, each set, just over £10. And you can see the size as well. If I just put my hand into shot, these are not small stamp sets. 44 uh, stamps in total. There is a great freedom price on there. 729141, your item number. Really busy for those. Inject some humor into your stash. For this, this is your Christmas. Uh, I, you can never go wrong. I think at Christmas, I know sometimes we want to do traditional cards. But we've all got friends who you want to send uh, a bit of humor to. And especially now. We all need, we all need a bit of a, a light-hearted uh, inspiration coming our way. So having a look, uh, this set now, we're at 70% of the stock. Our fantastic sprouts. There's one stamp in there, do not open till Christmas, which I think is a very valuable one to have in your stash. Sprouts, it, iconic vegetable that we can all relate to. So seeing it instantly... Have you got any friends who you think would appreciate that kind of humor? This is from Marianne. Or what about something like this? Watch out, Sprouts about. Come on, that's funny. Or, I mean, don't just think Christmas, because this is very nice. I thought that was very clever. Yeah, that is clever. Elaine did that. So turning the sprout into a little vampire vegetable. Or how about this one from uh, Martina, I think that is? Oh, come on. They're amazing. So it gives you an idea of the, the sort of quirkiness and humor that you're getting with this set. I do love the fact a lot of people uh, are buying this because it shows, and this is good, because I, I, I think, Ho Chandra, we're very lucky. We've got amazing audience. You're all part of the family. But whenever we ask for email stuff like that, you guys are very witty. You always come through and make us laugh. And I think you're really buying into the fact that these are quirky. They are a bit different. So have some fun with your Christmas makes. $22.98 your price. Saving £3. 631-759 your item number. Now, we're going to move on down. We've got our camel. This is a great name, though. Wait till you see the name coming up on your screen. $14.99 for the set. Actually, we're just going to flash another detail, so we're going to put the right details in a sec. So having a look, you've got your camel coming through. I'm going to show you details uh, for details. I'm going to show you inspirations for the camel. So $14.99, ca uh, camel ye faithful. That's very clever. Who came up with that name, Jenny? I can't remember It's now. a genius name. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's absolutely But we inspired. were all going around singing, um, O Camel Ye Faithful. And, uh... Camel Ye Faithful. <laughs> I think it's very funny. Oh. But the thing is with your camel, not just for Christmas, because I know you're looking at the inspiration thinking, well, okay, I'm just going to be, you're not just going to use this for Christmas. Look at this. Isn't that clever? That is brilliant <laughs> for uh, someone, you know, who, who likes a bit of humour. And uh, I do like the fact that it's, it's totally taking it into a, a, another context. And then we've got this one. Oh, this one was from Elaine, by the way. Loving that lane. And then you've got your Christmas ornament here. Don't get the hump. You've got that sentiment. Tis That's the Franca. season. Loving you. I'm sorry, Franca, that uh, I know you did send some more. And they just didn't arrive, so uh, I'm sorry. Have a look here. This is beautiful. This is from Sally. Sally, love that. I mean, you've got a lovely background. You've really built the scene, but you've finished it off with your character. Showing all the different geysers with your camel as well. So have some fun. Are you going to add the glasses? Are you going to uh, put the hats on there? You've got the fez too. Now, the fez, all year round. Obviously, here we've got a bit more Christmassy. Uh, summer holidays, 
anyone, even if we're not going away at the moment. And I will show this one again. It deserves to be seen. This is from Aunt Anna. And then this one is, who is this one by? Which one? I'm going to open that Oh, that's one. Sally. There's Sally. I mean, Sally, that is really is such a great card. Uh, $14.99 your price, 271923 your item number there. We will progress down. We got Daryl who is a quirky turkey. Uh, we like Daryl and look at everything that we've got going on here. So an awful lot of design work. So there's Daryl. It's like he's come, he's come right up to the camera. Uh, he's uh, Back here, we've got Daryl. I just love the different guys as he's running away. You've got uh, all these little elements of fences. So you're going to build up a scene with Daryl. You've got Daryl with his head in the bag trying to uh, keep a low profile. This one's good. I'm going to show this again because this gives you an idea from Marianne. When we talk about building up scenes, there is so much going on. So obviously, you're, you're catching the, uh, the fluster of the fact that it is, uh, it's Christmas. Someone's mentioned Christmas. And they're all running around. Or another one, this one's from Elaine. Trying to, and works well with, because obviously all the stamps work very, very nicely. This one's from uh, Martina. Like that, good background with Martina as well. This next, I'll show two more, I promise I'll move on. Uh, this one I, I would imagine is from Becky, there's no name there. Yes, it is. Yeah, <laughs> love that Becky. I really like that Becky. And then this next one, look at this, from Martina. <laughs> Isn't that that's really nicely done, Martina? Uh, Fourteen uh, ninety nine is your price. If you do want to get hold of the fantastic Daryl, I think Daryl and also the Camel, they're going to be iconic stamps from Hobby Art. Uh, you're going to be having a lot of fun with those stencils. They did sell out earlier on, uh, so in the previous hour we got them back on extended delivery. Three quarters of the stock has gone, so three quarters of your stock. Uh, Twelve ninety nine. Once they do sell out, they are gone. We're not adding any more stock into the mix. Nine seven five two four four your item number there. We're going to jump onto the website as we head back to Jenny. So we've got the Kurataki pens, whether you want to go for the complete collection, 90-piece pens there, or you want to go for 24, uh, 89, 88, uh, you've got the choices. You've also got the other mediums in the mix too. These have been very, very busy. So if you want those beautiful golds, uh, lavish gold, 17.99 is your price. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you, before we head back to Jenny, I have got a little swatch, because looking at the colors in the picture, they look great. But then, when you see them here, uh, Jenny, are these a watercolor? Yeah, they're water-based. Just water-based, they are. Yeah, yeah. water-based, yeah. So when you want to activate them, you just spritz with water, or you can work in with just they, a little bit of water. Well, black the more, are incredible. You know, the more you work them in, the creamier creamier they are yeah. so the thicker they are um, if you do mixed media as well and fantastic brilliant and and fantastic backgrounds I, uh, this morning I was splattering it on the background like a comic you know cosmic shimmer sky nice. good all right so what are we gonna do now um, I just thought I'd two versions but same card really just okay. uh, um, this one uses the stencil and if you put the gold it, on the um the yeah, antlers? It, that's it. So you can sort of see the twinkle. There yeah, yeah. Look, that's yeah. really catching up on the uh, camera, the yeah. camera, isn't it? And uh, you've got the glitter on there of the wink of Stella as well. Mm -hmm. So yes, I'm just going to do um, that card. If you do have any questions for Jenny, we would love to hear from you. Studio at hochander.com. Um, yeah, as I, um, I will be using the stencil on this since we still got some. Um, and somebody messaged in over. over um, between shows so mm. I'll answer that question in a minute as Great. well so um, I'm using the press to impress mm -hmm. just um, I, I just like th like this mm. it's um, great for building you know st start doing the bigger elements on your well you can do everything on it but the bigger mm. elements gives me a starting point really quickly nice. and of course if you're batch stamping it's fantastic because you can just make if you're inking your stamp, you might just as well do 20 as one. Mm -hmm. There we go. So there's my uh, picture. I'll use one that's actually already dry. Mm -hmm. And although it won't make any difference because I'm going to make it wet now anyway. So I'm just going to build up the scene. And what I'm going to do is just do the trees at the side okay. like this. And then I'll do this, the trees sort of the same level the other side. 
Lovely. And there's my seam. Don't worry if it doesn't come out perfectly, because when you colour it in, that won't show at all. Um, so, yeah, a good way of working. And we're getting that tree line, so everything that Jenny is using, you are getting in the set of stamps that we've got on the screen right now. So that is your mo uh, Moose Bee Christmas. Right, Moose Bee Christmas. I also like to sort of join it up so that you, it flows across. Yeah. So I'm just using my Millennium, you know, uh -huh. a, a fine liner from Zig, from... Um, Kiritaki. Yeah. Okay, so there's my picture. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the background and I'm going to do it with tumbled glass. Nice. You know, Jenny, what? that already looks great. Considering all we've done is stamped our mousse with the sentiment and added the tree line, all of a sudden you've created a real sense of depth yeah. with the image. Yeah, it would, um, you know, we, we, we are known for scene building. Yeah. So we, um, Sharon is so used to, you know, working with us mm -hmm. and she sees things the same way now. So um, what she does, she automatically designs it so that we can build scenes. Because I get bored. If a stamp set's going to do one thing, yeah, um, yeah I like it, I'll do it. But once... Um, I get bored, so I like to do something different. every time, and these, you know, really give you so many ideas, you can do hundreds of different things. Well, I think you described so that beautifully. What I've done there, I've just put water, this is watercolour card, right. um, I will bring it on the show next time when I've got more stock. Um, so what I've done, I've put water over it, which means that when I add colour, mm -hmm. it will um, just colour, almost colour itself. I've added water to the oxide and can you see what I mean? Because it's still wet, um, I'm almost not colouring it, it just does it by itself so it, it, it will fill in quite easily. So if you're not very good at colouring, you know you get halfway across and it dries and you get a tide mark, um, that's quite a good way to do it. Um, I, this morning I masked, but I didn't want to, you know, it, that's, I've shown you that technique, so I thought we'd just do something different this afternoon. Right, there we go. So there's my background. Don't have to be too precise. When it's coloured in, this isn't going to show that we much anyway. Then I'm going to use a, a stronger colour. Uh -huh. Jenny, we've got a couple of emails in. Would you mind if I read them out? Yeah, that's fine. These are great. The first one's from Angie. Thank you for emailing in, by the way. Uh, so Angie's saying, Hi, Jenny and Yanis. Love hobby art stamps. Thought you might like to see a journal made using the Camel, uh, Camel Ye Faithful stamps. It's, uh, that's amazing, Angie. I love that. Uh, so she said, just wanted to show you, uh, wanted people to see they don't have to just be for Christmas. Uh, those guinea pigs are adorable and have just fallen into my basket too. I've attached a picture of our Tic Tac in there as well. Oh, it's coming up, so we're just showing you too. Oh, what? <laughs> the guinea pig's so cute. It looks like your guinea pig, uh, pig is, 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 guinea pig, I don't know why I said that. It looks like it's got a big smile wearing lipstick. Obviously it's not, I'm just saying, very cute. I've uh, got another one from Teddy. Thank you, Angie, by the way. And we love, we love pet pictures. I want to I wanna meet one day. I'd love to meet Tic Tac. Uh, Teddy has emailed in. Now, obviously, Teddy is a very talented little boy. So, uh, Teddy's saying, me and my mummy are watching your show. Mummy loves the, uh, the piggy stamps. Think her <laughs> order is going in. Oh, dear. And there he is. Oh, come on. Do you know what? <laughs> Guinea oh, pigs are amazing. Gorgeous. We need more. I know we're going towards the end of the hour, but if anyone wants to send in a picture of their guinea pig, we need to see them. So, please. Or if you've got a pet camel or a moose, too, but guinea pigs, do email them. Teddy was cute. I love Tic Tac as well. Okay. Wait, you've created a very dramatic sky there. Yeah. It's even stronger in real life than it is on yeah. there. Right. Um, first of all, I'm going to answer the question that somebody asked in between um, shows. Uh -huh. This morning I used um, a stencil, yeah. but then I also did a paper one All right. and um, the question was why when you've got a stencil and you've colored with your stencil would you bother using a piece of paper yeah. it's because you can't stamp over a stencil so if you're built scene building yeah. if you use the stencil so that you've got an identical uh, picture if I I'll show you what I mean I'll do it with mm -hmm. the 
this. I've got to tell you, the stencil, there is a little bit of a stock warning coming up because they are at 80% of the stock. They sold out in the previous hour. They could sell out for a second time. And if that does happen, we cannot bring, hold, uh, bring back any more stock. You've got the robin with the leaves and the beautiful twigs. It's already uh, on a branch there. Then you've got the Christmas trees behind. And you've also got the beautiful background. And I do like the edges. You even make use of the edges of the... Uh, stamps Jenny which we're seeing here yes yeah that's that's what um, what that is and of course that fits one way mm -hmm. but then if you wanted to make that earth or, oh, um, or mountains or what yeah. have you you just carry on down and obviously you've got the other a different shape if you turn it over so yes yeah, so that fits very well thought up through top and, and bottom and feeling they're good so, quality so that's stencil. why I've done it because okay. if you do that um, yeah. I don't really want to be using these, do I, if they're, not, if they're well, no, about they're okay. to we've sell got, out? No, no, we've got stock. But, We're okay. Um, right, okay. Please do use them because we've do, still do, got do, a bit do. of stock left. There's my, there's my thing. So um, if I just fill in with this, I'm doing it really quickly, but you'll get the idea. So mm -hmm. you can do that but you, um, through with yeah. the stencil but you can't stamp over the stencil because yeah. it's too thick okay um, if it was any less thick it wouldn't be so let me show you what will happen where's my mm. tray so if you stamp over it like that because of the thickness it normally won't go to the bottom oh, okay okay so that's why I just use the piece of paper there nice Okay, so that answers that question. Okay. Right, so let's just use that one. Lovely, but this one's fantastic for instant drama for your backgrounds. Yep. Also, I'm thinking texture paste. If you want to put some texture paste in oh, to give yes. some relief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the snow. Um, they, they, um, they were a bit late getting to us, so we haven't had much chance to um, use them yet, but we will do a lot more samples with them, obviously. Um, there, there are a couple that um, you probably won't even find them. There's a, there's a couple of guinea pigs up with the stencils. Right. And um, they've got the, the sky in the background. Becky did those last night. That's the truth. So just to give you, because um, yeah, just to give you an idea of what you can do, yeah. but I think that shows it what I've done as well in yeah. a second. I love the you sense of background, but these guinea pigs are amazing. Love those. Right. So what I've done there, I've just used the stencil to create a pattern at the background mm -hmm. at the bottom. So all I'm going to do is go round with my wink of Stella and because they're water-based that will move it slightly yeah Jenny we've had a bit of news they've sold out no but the uh, Moosby Christmas stamp set we are now limited stock 10% of the stock remaining so that could be selling out very very shortly if you do want to get hold of all the 44 stamps that you are getting and my goodness character wise you've got a whole stamp set featuring the guinea pigs absolutely love those uh, we've also got pumpkin our cockapoo puppy that's more cocker spaniel and then we've got a fantastic moose in the mix as well so real character character stamps uh, and also very busy for the stencils as well I don't think oh, stand, uh, oh, Jenny Bit awkward. Sold out. The stencils have technically sold out but still oh, use right, them okay. oh, still, still okay. keep using them uh, if what? they're in your basket please make sure to check those out this isn't the fastest way, but I, it's something I quite enjoy doing. Uh, because mm -hmm. the bottom of, because of what I stamped, it had some snow on there. Oh, I just nice. wanted to carry that on. Yeah. Normally, if I was using this sort of thing, I'd just put acrylic paint or gesso or pen or mm -hmm. ink through, and I'd just do it randomly. But what I'm doing is I'm actually choosing some of the smaller ones, yeah, like so so that it ties in with what's already there. I would spend another five minutes doing it if I was at home, but you're getting the idea, so I'm literally just going to stop there. Okay. Okay, so you get the idea. And then what I'm going to do is, don't have to do this, I could just fill it, fill those in with a white pen. Got about but I'm using, two minutes. How long? Um, two. Oh dear, Sorry. right, okay. So look, I'll just do one or two. Yeah. And what I'm doing is 
I'm using chunky white embossing powder. Nice. Oh, we love a bit and of the chunky. Yeah, there you go. So it is, because I'm used the pen, it's stuck to where I've put the pen. Okay. Nice. And then that will just melt yeah. onto the card and I'll, ha um, I'll have a nice raised effect. Really sorry, run out of time, um, uh -huh. but um, well, that's uh, okay. What Can I've just done, see, yeah, see a bit have of I got time? Very quickly, yeah, I've got Look, a minute and I've a half. I've added water to this. If you just put it over, and Jenny, if, if we just, just put it over there, look, yeah. you can see, you can just paint in with it. There you go. There you go. Um, obviously, you would use a smaller brush, but look at the twinkle. It's still wet at the moment, but that's so vibrant. Yeah. And. Let's go to the finished sample. I always think I can do more than I can in the time. So and there we go. if you do go. want to see, I've got there actually a little swatch here. I mean, that looks really great. really see the colour. Uh, I'm just going to show you here. If you do want to see those colours, uh, those beautiful golds, how good does that look? Uh, details at the bottom of your screen there. Very quickly, I know we've only got a couple more seconds. I just want to revisit uh, the fantastic character stamps that you're getting in this set. We are limited stock, so whether they go right now or just after the show, what you are getting is such character-filled stamps. I mean, they're absolutely stunning. Got to stop there. Jenny, thank you so thank much. Thank you. It's lovely to have seen well, you. You too. Again. Uh, hopefully <laughs> it's not another year before we get to work with each other no. again. Jenny, thank you. Genuinely. Thank you. Uh, please follow Hobby Art on social media. How do we do that, Jenny? Oh, um, just go on to the Hobby Art website. We have a gallery, so all these cards will be on there. Um, on the blog, I've done tutorials, okay. including starting with clean colour. Thank you so much, Jenny. That's thank good. you for your company. I hope you love your stamps, and I can't wait to see what you make. So we have got our quilter's stash bag up next, the one day special, do not miss that. Then the lovely Lou is here, studio lights, uh, it could only mean one thing, a fantastic hour. And then we've got a studio light, wonderful autumn, one day special. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques? By watching and crafting along with your favourite Tachanda guest demonstrators, or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hello, my name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring to Achanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I 
like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on her channel. Would you like to enter our biggest ever prize draw? Complete any purchase during any live show featured within our Summer Festival of Quilting event and you will receive automatic entry. Keep watching the shows as the mega bundle grows. Prizes will be added throughout the week and everything could be yours. The lucky winner will be announced at the end of the 4pm final call show on the 4th of August. Good luck. Well, hello everybody. So we've got another fantastic hour coming up uh, with our one day special and lovely Rebecca. But because this is a soft craft show, it is part of our summer festival of quilting event, which means we are going to add to our biggest ever prize draw. Every hour, any show featured as part of this event, we're going to add a goodie. So I am adding a beautiful collection of fat quarters into the mix, which will raise the value. Actually, I apologize. These are half meters that you're getting here, not fat quarters. So you're getting a collection of half meters in here. So now the prize stands at 876 pounds and 83 pence. We are getting close. I mean, this is only the second. We started uh, yesterday, last night. Remember, this event is running through until the 4th. We will be announcing a winner on the 4th. Uh, so at 4 o'clock on the 4th, we'll be announcing a winner. And somebody was going to walk away with everything. We've got our overlocker in here. I haven't seen that. Uh, we've got a beautiful uh, little strip roll, jelly roll. We've got a quilting pattern going on here and fabric going through. So everything inside, somebody is going to win it. And it could be you. All you need to do is make sure that during the event, you have made a purchase during one of our Summer of Quilting events. OK, so details are on your screen right now. You can see full T's and C's on our website. And it's well worth having a little look but ultimately the one thing I'm seeing is that you've got to keep watching as the mega bundle grows because it is going to be the biggest ever giveaway we have ever done here at Hochanda ever 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 uh, so there we go uh, okay right we have got a fantastic show ahead of you this is gonna be the final call for our, uh, it's been a very busy one day special and we've got the lovely Rebecca joining me hello Rebecca hello good afternoon you've been having some fun with this I OBS. have I've made so many things so yeah. you started it and now you're finishing well, it there you go. it's got there's a, a nice symmetry to there that. is but mm. we've made loads of things that you've missed well, I, I've been watching at home. <laughs> oh, Don't you worry. Okay. I've been, I've been okay. tuning in. Um, I did see you on with Leone earlier on, actually. Look, what you're getting here, for anyone, this might be your first time seeing the uh, ODS, the one-day special, all 25 fat quarters. It works out at £1.60 per fat quarter, but please don't let the price deceive you because these are a quilting cotton. So Fabi's uh, quilting bag stash, your last opportunity to get a hold of these. The diversity that you're getting, and it's something we touched on when we launched, and I know that you, you're a huge fan of fat quarters because you're saying, Rebecca, that if you were to buy all of these, say, half meters or by the meter, 
you're paying a lot. You are, yeah. I mean, it's fantastic value for money, and yeah. it's great having fat quarters. I mean, they're a, they're a good size. You know, they're 18 by 22 inches. Great. So, so it's I basically a yard of fabric out. cut into four. Hence well, the fat quarter. Having a look here. And it's just really nice to have, if you've got 25 of them, they're such a mix. Wow. But the way that it's done is that you will get five packs of five, yeah. but each pack is in a little family. Well, okay. So you've got that colour family already yeah. sorted out for so you. So if you want to make um, you know, a patchwork cushion or a bag or something like that, the yeah. five that, w that you get, each little family, they all go together, so they, they blend nicely together. Okay. One might have just fallen have off you the fallen? end. Have it's you fallen? Okay. There's one just there. I don't. <laughs> then we'll, we'll get it back. It's gone. But look, we've got uh, over here. We've got our little poochies as well. Now I do need to reiterate that contents may vary, so these might not necessarily be the exact uh, pattern that you're getting. Thank you very much, by the way. Our floor manager extraordinaire, Molly, going above and beyond the call of duty. Crawling uh, on the floor. Craw <laughs> literally crawling. Uh, have a look. I know. I, I, I did open this one up last night, but. It's worth seeing. Look at this. So you've got a little bit of glitz going through there, so you've got glitter. I love the metallic yeah. thread going through it. Or, and these are nice. Can you imagine? And you are getting, because they're going to arrive in packs of five that you know that you've instantly got uh, fat quarters that will work well together. That's nice. Bit of a metallic mm. essence to it. So with, with these, and you've created some patterns for us. Uh, by the way, we have got queues on our phone line, so I'm really sorry if you're currently stuck in a queue. Get hold of the uh, one day special, but your name also goes into the hat for our biggest ever prize draw. I can't believe there was no overlock on I there. know, that's so exciting, Ooh. isn't it? Really, uh, wow. You just what, have to enter that. Rebecca, what would you say to anyone maybe thinking about going for this stash? What's the benefit of getting all these well, fat quarters? Well, it's two things. Say if you're a beginner and you think, well, I'd really like to get into not necessarily patchwork and quilting, but home sewing. Say so I want to make some cushions or some zip bags or, you know, a nice fabric bag to take to the supermarket. It's really nice to have that range because you've got a choice. If you want to line something, you've got a nice little splash of colour. If you really struggle maybe with colour choose and getting prints and colours that go together, by being given five families, yeah. you know that those five will go together. So if you're going to make something with it, it'll work. The patterns that I've designed that use the fat quarters, there's three of them that just use the five. So you know, right, well, I can make that. It's easy. Mm -hmm. If you're a bit, if you're a seasoned stitch and you've got loads of fabric already, then having this stash is just fantastic. It adds to it. You know, maybe you're, you want to bind the edge of something or put a bit of a trim. It's lovely to have this mix of fabrics because you've yeah. got things to choose from and inspiration. Well, we are approaching 80% of the stock. Now, we, we had a huge amount, and that's the benefit uh, for these hours uh, working, getting these Fabby, Fabby's uh, Quilting Fat Quarters. We had a huge amount of stock. So uh, we are approaching 80% of the stock. This is your last live hour. Take advantage of getting your name into the draw, but also don't miss out on this opportunity. We could, I will keep you updated, we could be selling out. It's going to be a close one, what goes first, the stock or the clock, but it could potentially see us, we could see a sell out. Uh, 769354, your item number. Now, we do have some patterns, so you just uh, alluded to the patterns, Rebecca. We've got choices here, you've either got a pick and mix or you've got the set of four brand new patterns. Uh, the set of four proved very, very popular. All designed, I mean all your patterns designed, oh, <laughs> Sorry. Do you know, I think it's the fan. It is. Oh, we might need to get the aircon off, actually. <laughs> um, the, all the patterns designed to work with the fat quarters. Yeah, Thank so you, some Molly. of them, I, I rejigged them slightly so that they were written in a different way so you could understand how to cut your fat quarters, how to choose which ones you want for what. Uh -huh. Because, you know, although, you know, as sewers, we've got loads of ideas, it's really nice sometimes to have a pattern where you know <laughs> Sorry. That, you're, that the fat quarters will work with it. Because then any, you know, you, it doesn't have to, if you've got more fabric at home and you want to mix and match, you just know that the quantity is right. Well, I'm just, <laughs> just going to leave it like that. It's going to fall. It's going to fall. Uh, you have, I'm just going to show you some examples. So we've got our beautiful cushion. So you imagine this with your fat quarter. How many fat quarters would it take to make that, Rebecca? Well, you use five because of the different prints, but you don't need, you don't use all of the fabric. So yeah. you do have some left over, but there's enough in it to make the cushion back as well. Incredible. And then you've got your uh, strippy bag. Yeah, and I made another one. I don't, is that one around? Because I made another one during the show. Okay. 
Um, oh, it's hand. underneath the tree skirt just in front of ah. you. So uh, that one is using one of the fat quarter packs mm -hmm. that you might get. And this is one, because I just wanted to show you oh, the this bag. Is lovely. You could use um, to take shopping for a night out. But a, That's beautiful. An and overnight using... bag. Wow. And I made that in, in the hour show. And that Rebecca, would be great that. for a child, you know, for a changing bag. Clever with the uh, handles in there as well. These have been uh, the fabrics used in here from our One Day Special. Yes, yes, both of them. That's yeah. amazing. But, you know, you, so it's a versatile bag that mm -hmm. you could use for children, use for yourself, okay. going right. overnight. Now, we have got a pick and mix with regard to the patterns as well. Just going to give you a different way uh, to shop for your uh, patterns. So with the pick and mix, you're getting a lot of choices, not just these four. Uh, what I'd advise is go onto our website and have a little look. Eleven ninety eight is your price, zero four five. Um, I'll get that. Where's it? 045752, your item number. Uh, so having a look at all your choices with regard to your pick and mix. I mean, choosing any two for that price is fantastic. And you've got a lot of choice. So 1198, yeah, your price there. We're all about bringing you choice. And here, and I have noticed that the choices have <laughs> uh, they've gone down because we did have two <laughs> options. So down to our uh, only option number one. So option two sold out. We are talking William Morris, seven-piece fat quarter bundle. Got to uh, just to remind everybody, everything on the show will be dispatched from the 12th of August. But what a collection from Mil William Morris. Beautiful tones coming through and absolutely sumptuous designs. And this is what we, we know and love from William Morris. So seven of the most decadent fat quarters. And you imagine making, let's say, uh, one of the trio of uh, cases. But imagine making that in William Morris fabric. Or any of the designs, or the bag as well. Uh, if you wanted to make that William Morris fabric. I love this one. Look at that. Instantly, it's designs that you know. Uh, if you are going to make a project, or a bag, or a cushion with the fabrics, anyone who sees it, the first thing that will jump to their mind is William Morris. I mean, it's, it is that iconic. Uh, the design work that you are getting. I think this is a beautiful collection. Seven fat quarters, William Morris, $24.95, saving £10. But we are nearly at 80% of the stock. You saw what happened uh, to option number one. When it's gone, it's gone. We're not bringing any more back on extended delivery. We have got some more William Morris for you over here. Uh, this is your backing. So it's a huge amount. <laughs> Who is this for? <laughs> oh, was that? It was a problem, and then Leone okay. used it. Oh, no, no, no. Well, it's I mean, I'm Phil. You're huge. like a giant now. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a little little stand I'm, I'm, I'm stepping on. Okay, so here we've got our autumn. This is your mole and this is your verdant. Uh, two meters, but the real, uh, I think, thing to uh, be aware of is the width. Because you're telling me traditionally, uh, Rebecca, width is about 44, Yeah, 52? 44 inches is, about, is the standard yeah. quilting fabric width. Okay. And this is 108. 108. It is absolutely enormous. But beautiful. Uh, Rebecca, you mentioned something on the show yesterday that stuck with me. How about using this for your apparel to actually make dresses? Yeah, I mean, I often use dressmaking, um, quilting fabric for dressmaking because it hangs well, it sews well, and it washes and presses well, more yeah. importantly. But, you know, that would look stunning. So whether it is, because you've got so much, two metres by that width, yeah. you, you know... You, you could back all your cushions and have a matching dress. You were, oh, yes, so true. <laughs> so true. No, but you'd see you on the sofa. <laughs> Cam <laughs> camouflage. That's very funny. Rebecca, that is very funny. I like that. Uh, so, three choices here. They are absolutely... Um, shall I open one up? Go on. Just to give you an idea. It is very, very big. I'm not going to be able to hold it all out because it is that big. So uh, let me just open this up here. Let me just see. Ooh. I mean, I'm actually not. That is huge. So I can't. I, I cannot physically hold it all up. That's how big it is. It, I can't. I can't hold it all the way up. Uh, so just showing you what you are getting for your money. Uh, Twenty-four ninety-eight. If you want to split the price into two flexi payments, uh, one nine one one nine eight. Your item number. The autumn is the most busy at the moment. But I've just shown you the mole. Then we've got our autumn, which is here. There's your autumn. And then, if I take this away, we've got our verdant in there as well. Okay, so 
We're going to jump onto, we're going to jump onto the website. And if only you could see, our floor manager was giving me daggers because, uh, bless her, she's going to have to fold this up. Uh, I'm going to help. So uh, there we go. Let's jump onto the website and have a little look. You've got five star reviews uh, in there as well. So much choice. The wadding, I'm afraid, has gone. We've had sellouts and uh, we could even have more sellouts this hour. We've also got the rulers as well. Uh, what are we going to be doing, Rebecca? Well, I'm going to show you how to make the Christmas tree skirt. Amazing. Because it's Christmas, obviously. But it's not just a Christmas no, tree well, skirt. No, well, that's the point. So in the um, Fat Quarter bundle, you may get some Christmas fabrics yeah. in the set of five. And I've used um, one of the, some of the sets here. You need eight fat quarters to make this Christmas tree skirt. Now, if you were watching on Sunday, I made this using some different fabrics, some half meters, but don't yeah. worry, I have rewritten the pattern and rejigged all the measurements with a calculator and chewed the end of my pencil a lot. And it works using eight fat quarters now. Amazing. But the other thing is, is that in the pattern, it does explain quite clearly. Can I just come and steal the Christmas tree skirt yeah. while you fold that Go up? For it. Right. Um, I'm going to just show it Help to me. you. <laughs> because, <laughs> well, you're helping. Yeah. Um, it explains in the instructions that this Christmas tree skirt has got a hole in the middle. Okay. Because it has to go round your Christmas tree. So I'm going to hold that up. Can you see there's a hole and a slit? And what you do is you wrap that, you put your tree trunk there and you wrap it round so that it lies on the floor beneath your tree. And then you can put all your presents on it. it you know, it's just, it's a bit more attractive because that bucket round the tree is never very nice or you might have a stand or something. So, but I explained in the instructions, the way it's made is you make the whole thing and you quilt it. And then if you don't want, at this stage, if you want to make this into a table topper, don't cut the hole out and don't cut the slit out. And because it's a star shape, it's beautiful for a table. So uh -huh. if you made it in Christmas fabrics, you could use it to put on your Christmas table. Yeah. Or will look fantastic in that William Morris bundle. Will look amazing. And then you can use it to put on a table. So, you know, with a white tablecloth or a tonal um, one, depending on the fabrics you use, it would look a really stunning. So if you're having a special occasion, you're having family round, or equally, if you bought the 25 fat quarters, you could use the fabrics from that and have a spring tablecloth or a summer one or a celebration one. Well, you've got the pattern. And remember, you've got two ways to buy that pattern, whether it's pick and mix or yeah. the set of four. But because in the collection, and uh, we, we can't guarantee what designs, it is, uh, contents may vary, so I can't guarantee what designs you're going to get. But one thing we can guarantee is the diversity. So you're going to have some Christmas in there, some contemporary, some floral, some young and fun. You've got glitter. You've got beautiful purples uh, too. You've got like bright summer prints in there. We've got our little poochies, metallic. So you've got so many sets to draw from. So whether it is Christmas or taking you through all seasons, basically. Well, and also what you could do is you could use the um, fat quarter pack that you've got. You could just use five and then you could pop some planes or some solids that you've got from your own collection so that you can save the more beautiful prints yeah. because it works well. The, the way that the skirt works is you need light and dark. You need four sets of lights and darks or very contrasting fabrics. So you could use one of the, um, the prints like these here. You could use the green prints but you could have that one and then put a plain green with it or that one and a plain red with it. Nice. So that's yeah. the great thing about having fat quarter stashes is mm -hmm. that you can mix and match it with other things. Things. Yeah, and it's it, just going back to having choice. Yes. So you have got so much choice in the mix. And I'm having a look here because we've got text, then we've got beautiful tartan or checks in the mix. We've got very traditional prints coming through. Uh, I love these because we've got quite modern prints as well. Yeah, sort of a bit Michelle. Aztec, isn't it? Yeah. With cacti like those. That's another one here with the llama in there as mm. well. So just choice. You're going to have choice. Also, and I know we're getting back to uh, Rebecca, sorry, but you're also getting <laughs> some for, for your younger makes as well. So if you're making something that you want to be quite cute, uh, you've got those designs. Yeah, okay. and it is choice, isn't it? Because, you know, it, when you decide you're going to make something, you don't want to have to wait and order it and go to the shop. It's like, yeah. oh, yeah, I've got to have it there and then. But something, and if I was watching, you're seeing fat quarters, and we're saying that, that with the price we've got on the show, and that is a fantastic saving, I mean, £30 saving, you would be forgiven for thinking, oh, quality-wise, what's it going to be like? Because it works out at £1.60 per fat quarter, 
but I can assure you, quality-wise, it is a quilting cotton by Fabies, so you know. Look, by yeah. Fabies as well, that's all you need to I know. I it's know, it's not a cheap, stiff cotton. It really no. isn't. I've been using it over, well, I mean, I've used it for quite a while, but the last five days since I've been making all the stuff, I've been using it, pressing it, cutting it, sewing it, and it, it is a good quality. It yeah. isn't one of your cheap fabric packs, no. honestly. Brilliant. I mean, one pound sixty for I know, a I know, one pound sixty for a good quality fabric. Yeah. That's what you have to remember as well. Yeah. So I'm just going to put the um, okay. this tree skirt so to one ahead. side because it's in my way. Sorry. So what you do to start with, take the instructions and it explains. First, have a think about your fabrics. You need eight fat quarters and you, they need to be in sets of four and you, they need to have a contrast. So either a light and a dark or two different colours. So this is how I've arranged mine. So this isn't sort of a light and a dark, but it's a red and a green. Okay. That's, I mean, look how different they are. I've got a check with a wreath print, but they marry well together. Mm. And here, these two are very similar, but they are a light and a dark. And mm -hmm. this one, you know, this is sort of traditional Christmas with trucks, and this is fairy lights. Yeah, you've got the tree on top of the car. Yeah, yeah. I, I love I loved that pack. That was yeah. a really nice one. And there's right. another um, fabric in that pack oh, with one. bigger cars. Yeah, well, actually. they're not cars, are they? They're trucks. Yeah, you know, it's, no, it's a car. It's, it's like a, a Christmas. Car. We've all, it's one of those images. We all... It is, isn't it? Look. So Lovely. I could have used that one with this one. Yeah. So first of all, decide your eight and pair them and remember what you've done because I cut all of mine out and then I forgot so when you've done them just label them like I did one and two because um, I okay. paired all of mine and then I couldn't remember what they were and then just remember that it's good advice yes because I did exactly that and thought oh, which one was number one uh, so cut everything out and then put it to one side okay and we're going to turn all of these into half square triangles and you do it in exactly the same way for each one. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to show you one, and then you can just do all the others the same. So you take one square, so from, from set one, one light one and one dark one. So this is so you're just dealing with set one. You don't join um, your half square triangles with any other sets. Just keep in your set. Now on the wrong side of the lightest colour fabric, well I'm saying the lightest because it will show up better, it doesn't actually matter which one, draw a diagonal line from one corner to the other. You can use a pencil, you can use an eraser pen, doesn't matter because you'll be cutting along that so it'll disappear anyway. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter which fabric you're drawing it on, obviously it's put it on the one that shows up the best. Okay. Pin these together, just don't have to pin it all the way around. And what we're going to do now is sew a quarter of an inch either side of this line. Right. Now, um, if you're used to sewing at a quarter of an inch and your machine is set up, you know where the quarter of an inch is on your foot or your foot plate, that's all fine. You sew a quarter of an inch either side. If you're not sure um, or you're not used to doing that, you've got quite a lot of these, about mm. 60 or something, I can't, I can't remember. Um, so, to start with, why don't you draw the line on and then you will get used to whereabouts on your foot and your foot plate you need to sew. Yeah. So, I'm using my um, long ruler here because it has a quarter of an inch marks. If you haven't got that, just use a tape measure, mark a quarter of an inch. Mm -hmm. So, but one tip here is that we'll, we'll, this um, table topper uh, Christmas tree skirt, it's got a lot of seams and a lot of fabrics in it. And every time you sew, even if you sewed at a perfect quarter of an inch, you lose a little bit just because the way that the fabric folds open, a few millimetres will disappear each time. And when you're sewing together lots and lots of things, those few millimetres add up. So sew a quarter of an inch, but as I, I've said it in the instructions, so you don't have to remember, it's called a scant quarter of an inch. Yes. And that means a few fabric threads less than a quarter of an just inch. Just a few, don't over again. Yeah, no, it's not an eighth of an inch. Yeah, it's, it's just a scant. It's just scant. And all that, all that does is it just allows that when you've opened up a fabric, it just allows that little movement. If you're not sewing together lots of pieces, it doesn't matter so much. But when you're sewing together a lot, those little millimetres or whatever they are, mm -hmm. 32 inches. So it's just a couple of fabric threads less. So to start with, I've drawn the lines on so I can see where I'm going to sew. But by the time you've done a few, you will get used to on your machine, whereabouts on your foot that quarter of an inch is. And then all you have to do is sew along these two lines. Not the middle one. The middle line that I drew right at the beginning, which is the, um, which was the diagonal line, mm -hmm. is the cutting one. Don't sew along that. But don't worry, 
it all says all of this in the instructions. You haven't got to remember that. Okay. And if you do sew along the middle one, you'll soon know because it'll be very odd because you'll be cutting along it. So, before you do anything, give it a quick press because the um, needle and the thread going to the fabric will distort it slightly. So now it's nice and even. Mm. Um, I used a heat erasable pen, so my lines disappeared, but that actually doesn't matter because all I'm going to do is cut through the middle of here. And if that line isn't exactly straight, it doesn't matter. So, okay. now I have two triangles, hmm. half square triangles, right. and I'm going to open them up. And now that's a half square triangle. So, two squares makes two half square triangles, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, what you need to do now is press the fabrics towards the darker fabric. And the reason for that is two, two reasons. The darker fabric may show through the lighter fabric if it was much lighter. Yeah. So you obviously, it's best that way around. The second reason is if you press your seams in the same direction all round, they will join together better when you assemble it, right. which I will show you. So I'm just going to press these. You'll see when I join these together to make pin, because we're making pinwheels. Oh, Half okay. square triangles are brilliant. You can do all sorts of things with them. The check with... The, I know. the design works well, It works, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. And, and I, when I chose them, I thought, is that going to look really odd? Yeah. But it actually just looks quite nice, like doesn't it. it? Yeah, very Christmassy. And what I love about it is, well, it doesn't matter where you cut it or anything, and even if you haven't, if the check isn't running straight to the line you've cut, it sort of doesn't matter, because when you look at all the ones that I've done, it, it, it just sort of, because all, they all move round and they're all facing yeah. different directions, you don't notice. Now, as you can see, these are looking a bit raggedy now, because where I cut it and pressed it, they're not exactly straight. When you join them together to make all the pinwheels, it's really important that they're exactly straight. They have to be exactly to size. So, okay. this is where your ruler and your rotary cutter come in. If you don't have this, you can draw the lines on there and cut along it, but it's just quicker. So, if you do have one, it's important that the um, angle, the diagonal seam that goes from one corner square together is straight. So if you have got one of these rulers, there's a 45 degree angle on here. Lay that across the seam, very close to the edge, because mm -hmm. we're only going to trim off a little bit, because these, these half square triangles need to be four and a half inches square. Okay. Can so I ask a question, with regard to the fat quarters, can we trim those down into charm packs? If so you want you know, to make them squares. smaller, yes, you can if you so want to. So how many to. on a fat quarter? How many charm squares? Well, would you a charm you square is five inches, yeah. and it's eighteen by twenty-two, so you'd get four across and three down, so twelve. Well, from one fat quarter. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. Because I'm just thinking, have we got any patterns that uh, at home? Just thinking about our one-day special, which is very, very busy. Uh, so, have you got any patterns at home that incorporate charm packs? So they're five five by five uh, squares, imagine being able to get 12 out of, I'm just going to pick, say here, opening this up, Tw and we are at 80% of the stock with the one day special. Now look at this, so you can get 12 of your charm packs out of one, uh, charm squares, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, 12 charm squares out of one fat quarter. So building that up uh, and with your projects in mind, and you've got so much to choose from as well. I know, you also think, oh, it's a fat quarter, but the fat quarters, you, know, you can make quite a lot from a fat quarter. So yeah. once you've trimmed the two sides, turn it round and just trim the, trim the other. So you're only trimming a, a little bit off, so mm -hmm. make sure you trim reasonably close to the edge. You can see, you know, it's only a, f a few little bits of fabric when you, if you sew all of them and cut all of them, that's what I did, yeah. rather than doing them one at a time, you end up with loads and loads of little bits of fabric nice. like this, all over the place. Because we were talking with Jenny <laughs> about her puppy. Now, you've got your puppy yeah. as well. <laughs> yes, I know. I keep her well out of the way. But I noticed the other day, because I was putting all these tiny bits in the bin, and I yeah. saw and she had a whole pile of them all hanging out of her it's mouth. Luna, right? Your Luna, yeah. Luna. <laughs> now, Luna is, and it's a cocker spaniel. Yes. Well, oh, same as... Jenny's uh, oh. was a cockapoo, but actually looks more like a cockapoo. Oh, okay. If you do get the Christmas tree pattern, you will see a picture of Luna in that pattern. <laughs> yeah. just saying. Sitting on it. Yeah. So now look, I've got my half square triangles, because I've trimmed them, they look all beautiful mm -hmm. and lovely. Yeah, it looks great. And they will fit together really well. So what you need to do next is you've got to make, take, um, you need four of these to make one pinwheel. And okay. I've made four before, four before, just to make mm -hmm. it a bit easier. Um, and then you've just got to arrange them. In the instructions, there's a picture. Yeah. So don't worry, you haven't got to remember that. There is a photo 
of the order that you've got. The orientation that you need to put them in. That's a posh word, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's orientation. Nice. Like that. Quicker than saying which way up. Oh, that looks great. So it's like suddenly, that looks fab, doesn't it? Who would have thought that Holly and Chex would go together? Rebecca, that looks incredible. No, so it really works it's really well. It's stunning, isn't it? I just, it just <laughs> leaves. And that's, I think, with this technique and something, because we did a show earlier on you uh, yes. oh, this Sunday, mm. we were focusing on that tree, Christmas tree skirt. You really do need that contrast. You do. It makes a big difference. It, and light and dark works, but also two different colours work. Yeah. So I'll show you the, because um, I've done the others, but I'll show you how okay. to join this first. So we're going to join the top row and then we're going to join the bottom row so yes. keep them laid out in order because if you sew them together and they're the wrong way around which i did it's quite annoying stuff to unpick them okay. so lay one on top of the other and we're going to sew that seam so i'm put, putting that on the top um, now because you pressed the fabrics towards the darker the one on the top is facing that way mm -hmm. and the one on the bottom is facing that way which is lovely because you've got to match up these corners and if you just pull them slightly they start you you feel them crashing like that and yeah. when they crash it's called um, nesting okay. but it's like crashing you can feel it between your fingers mm -hmm. you know flat against each other. yeah you know those seams but if you've pressed them open or you press them to different sizes you won't feel that so right. with this one it's that there and then I was turning around it's just easier and then you pull it you can feel it just locking in just locking in and that's so if you take the time to press your seams to one side like this, mm -hmm. it does make it so much easier. Then you need to use, um, I just need to alter my machine because I've got to do the, okay. You sew these together now using a, your quarter of an inch seam allowance, which, you know, will, you will have your, either your machine foot or your foot, foot plate, it will be marked on there. But, you know, if you are unsure and you haven't done much quarter of an inch seam sewing, just draw the seam on lightly in pencil or using a heat erasable pen because um, then it will come off. Nice. Well, just have a practice. Have a play. It's often one thing that stops people getting their machine out of the back bedroom. Yeah. Is practice. Right, so... Now, again, with these press the seams towards mm -hmm. the darker fabric because we're going to be doing the same nesting okay. thing. Beautiful. So that's one. Let's open up the other one. You, you look like you take joy from your pressing. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. I don't like ironing but I do like pressing, yeah. particularly with this iron. Nice. <clears throat> I always press it from the wrong side and then I press it from the right side just to make sure it's exactly flat. It just makes a difference and you mm. will just get, you need to just get into the habit. And then you lay them together. <coughs> Not like that, because that obviously mm. doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It's uh, quite easy to work out which way around it is because it's the end with the seam. Brilliant. And then just for, uh, sew down the middle and you're done? Yes, yeah, so when you sew these, this pair together, match it at the centre first. If you put a pin through the point of the seam, well, I've mm -hmm. got two there, and put it through the point there, you know that matches now. Okay. Keep that pin in mm -hmm. and put a horizontal pin there and then you can take it out. That's just locking it in. That's a good tip. And it's just it's in order to get that perfect match at the centre. Yeah. And even if it's not perfect, it will be nearly perfect and nobody will notice. Nice. So I've got to tell you that over eighty percent of the stock with the one day special and I think we could be calling limited stock at some point. Uh, so you are getting an awful lot for your money. Twenty five fat quarters. They are Fabby's quilting stash bag, beautiful quality, and we're gonna be looking at those in close detail in just a few moments. So So now we have Oh, that's lovely. A pinwheel. When you sew them together, although you've pinned it, you can see here, yeah. when you get to the seam here, I'll show you with my pin, make sure that you sew across where those seams join, where that line and this one comes, mm -hmm. and then you know it will be perfect. Could we, and I know we've got to do a quick recap, Rebecca, you've got the instructions there, could we have a look at Luna? She's in one of the well, pages. Just show it. Have you got well, that page? Well, yes. The only problem is, is she's not on these instructions. Oh, no. And the okay. reason for that is because yeah. I had to change them. 
okay. and I had to write about the eighth fat quarters. The did. measurements were so much Luke. longer, okay. and Luna had to fall off. Well, I, I apologise. There we go. I'm there sorry. There was no room for she her. Was, uh, okay, don't worry she about that. She fell off. I'm sorry, I didn't realise. <laughs> uh, we're just going to have a quick recap of our one-day special, The Choice, and that is what you're getting here because you've got... 25 fat quarters. Now, contents may vary in the sense that I cannot guarantee these exact prints are what you're going to be receiving at home. But when you consider each fat quarter works out at £1.60, so already you're winning because that is a massive saving. So I think any sewer right now watching, if you want to add diversity instantly into your stash, this is a fantastic way to do it. Uh, you're getting quality and you are, because look, we all know Favies as a brand, uh, they are a quilting cotton. So what you're receiving here, beautiful, soft quilting cotton. When you get these home, the quality, you'll instantly know it. But let's think about this, because if we wanted to go for Christmas, you can see here, we've got the car that we were just uh, showing off earlier on, you've got your holly in there, you've got your check, I mean that all year round, but nice Christmassy. We've got lights, so little uh, fairy lights coming through, another traditional sort of Christmas print. Another, I'll open this one up. So that's the cardinal, isn't it? Yeah, so we've got a cardinal in here. So this gives you an idea of just the sheer magnitude of designs that you're gonna be injecting overnight into your stash cutting that up it would look fantastic so we've got a Christmas but then we have and I'll fold that up in a moment so we've got our Christmas now we've got more modern coming through here so I mean that's beautiful or how about this or maybe you like that you start getting an idea I mean look at all of the designs that you are getting so that's quite modern I think we're all agreed, right? So you got your modern. Uh, now in here, I know that you love the poppies. So we've got these beautiful poppies. We've got ombre in there. You've got your daisies. I mean, how beautiful would that be in a project? We've got more poppies for you. You've also got, I mean, beautiful florals. So we've got lovely, lovely designs uh, and just such a wealth of design as well. Uh, if you've got younger members of your family and you want to create something that's quite young and fun, we've got that in the mix as well. So you will have all this diversity. I just can't guarantee you'll get these exact prints, but the diversity you will absolutely get. Uh, and there's just so much going on. We've got more beautiful color aspects. You're going to get glitter in the mix as well. I'll open up uh, this one here just for the benefit of diversity, because I, I keep opening up the other one. <laughs> so here, we've got glitter in there. Actually, let me open up fully. We've got glitter fabrics that you can see. It's, with this particular print, it shows up better to the naked eye. We've also got metallics as well. Put that to one side. So over here, we've got metallics coming through. If you've got any uh, pets at home, little fur babies, We've got our little poochies there. You've also got your doggy paws. What about this one coming through? All your sunflowers in there, your modern check coming in. We've got more sunflowers. Uh, you've got more modern prints. So all of that, 25 fat quarters. This is the final live hour with our one day special. But you get an idea of why it's been such an immensely busy one day special because overnight what you're going to inject into your stash and what I do want to leave you with and something we were discussing so let's just I'm going to open this one up here if you have got any patterns at home that use uh, charm packs just one of these fat quarters and Rebecca educated me here but one of these fat quarters you're able to get uh, five of those five uh, sorry not five you're able to get uh, 12 of the five inch squares so think about patterns that you maybe have at home that you've made up, how you're going to be able to breathe new life into them using the one day special. We are busy for our one day special. That is a genuine 30 pound saving. And I think anyone at home, uh, especially if you're a sewer, you'll realize for fat quarters, one pound 60 per fat quarter is incredible value for money. Uh, 769 354, your item number. We also have some patterns for you as well. So uh, with the patterns, I'm just going to show you the pick and mix because they're proving very popular. Popular. So you've got here four patterns, but you can find all these brand new patterns in the pick and mix as well. Uh, 11 98 your price, saving three pounds. You're picking two uh, than that. Now all of the uh, all of the patterns are designed for the fat quarters as well. You can see those on the website. 045 752 your item number. Let's have a little look. So loads of choice 
on the uh, website with regards to the pick and mix. So do have a little look. Uh, each one of these designed for fat quarters. So if you get that home, if you've gone for the one day special, uh, you are covered. Equally, if you have gone for a William Morris set of seven beautiful fat quarters and they are absolutely stunning. There is something about William Morris that has an, a timeless elegance to it but instantly identifiable as well. I mean, you create something using these fat quarters, everyone will know it is William Morris because it screams it from a mile away. Absolutely beautiful designs. There's no other way to describe them. Uh, stunning, stunning colors as well. So everything uh, has been thought through, works so well together. They're just such a, I mean, I'm very surprised we still have stock of this. Uh, so this is option number one. We did have an option number two, and that's sold out, unfortunately. It's $24.95 your price. You're saving £10, so a fantastic saving there. Option number one, it is the only option remaining. 169506, your item number. 80% of the stock has gone. Uh, now, if you are a William Morris fan, we have got some backing for you as well. Just taking a look here. Three different choices, and I will be quick. Uh, you have got your mole, you've also got your autumn, and then you've got your verdant. They are huge. I'm not going to open it up again, but uh, they are absolutely massive. It's more the width. So you can see there are 108. Normally, uh, quilting cotton, you're getting a 44 uh, width, so it's like three times as much nearly. Uh, okay, just going to show you some thread as well. Just having a little look. So this is one of our seven day savers coming in. Now contents may vary but $14.99 you're saving £10 brought to you by the lovely Hayley West so handmade by Hayley you've got your Madeira decorative threads contents so the actual colors may vary but the quality will be absolutely uh, a staple 16908 or item number. We have a magazine for you as well. Well, I say a magazine. We've got three magazines for anyone who loves their sewing. This is your sewing magazine trio. Love sewing issue 82, 76, and 77. Uh, you're getting that, so that's a quilt now, issue 76, 77. Saving 10 pounds and 50 pence. So 13.47, you're not just getting the magazines, you're getting so much more as part of those magazines. So you're getting templates, you're also getting patterns. That is phenomenal. If you haven't got those magazines and you're a sewer, I think it's well worth adding to your stash. Have you heard of those magazines? Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? And you could use one of those dress patterns to make your William Morris dress, couldn't you? Got it. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm really tempted. If anyone, please do it. I will. I'll tell you what, Rebecca, do it and come in wearing your William, William Morris, Morris dress. William Morris dress would look amazing, Is that a wouldn't deal? it? Yes. Got to do it. I'll please. do it. Okay. I'll do it. Um, okay, so what we're we going right, to do now? Right, so now I've made um, a pinwheel. So what you have to do is you've got to make four of these of each set. Okay. 16 in total. So I made the others as if by magic. Yeah. Not while you were just talking. <laughs> I was going to say, quick. <laughs> that was really fast. Yes, it's so quick, this. But I just wanted to show you how they work. So, you know, this one where the, pa the prints are very similar, but yeah. the colour, but the print is different. Again, I've got, you know, a check with a print. And that's the one I showed you earlier with the little car and the red fairy lights and they work really well together lovely they do work they do work very don't well they, they just yeah. sort of it's it's having that contrast because when you it's, it's quite interesting seeing them because from the camera they're above you can really see the contrast actually more can't you yeah. which is how you'll view them when they're under your tree or on your table well, that's very true isn't it yeah so once you've made all of them you've got to then join them together into 16 so you put I haven't got all of them here, right. but I've got one extra. So you put set one, two, one, two. In, in the instructions, it explains it. So the first row has got one, two, one, two. The second row has got three, four, three, four. And then the next row has one, two, one, two. Okay. But I hadn't made all of them in advance. Yeah. Um, then you've got a square. Well, we don't want a square. Oh, where's my skirt gone again? Oh, yeah. Where's my skirt? I want to show you how it works. Right. Yeah. Um, because we're making a star. Now, the clever th the way that this works is, um, here is, I've got to work this out now, which is the square. Here is the square. No, this way. Mm -hmm. This way, this way, this way. It works better if I show you like this. So, here is your square, where right. you've got one, two, three, and then you add points to it. Yeah. So... <laughs> I still haven't got it the right way around, but never mind. It's, okay. it's this way. So by adding 
a point on the top, the bottom, and the two sides. Mm -hmm. So look, here's, yeah, here's a side a point. Um, that creates a star. So if we left the points out... Then you would just have a square. So that would be great. We're talking about leaving the circle out and this, the cut out yes. in the center. If you just wanted to have the, use the design and have it as a beautiful table uh, covering. Yeah, then you could just have it as a square. Yeah. Because I'm just going to, first of all, you join all of these together to make your square. Mm -hmm. And then when you've done that, you make the point. So if you just wanted a square, you could just leave it like that. I mean, with your William Morris, having that on a table. I know, it's really, it just looks lovely. And because I've quilted it, you don't have to quilt it. It's not, mm. and it's not really thick wadding. It just gives it a little bit of body. It looks really special. You know? could equally, you could have this on a table in the star with the cutout in the centre. Yeah. And you could have a vase in the centre. Yeah, you could, yeah. So yeah. you don't have to put the slit in it. And because that's done afterwards, I worked out that it was better to... Um, piece it together, then quilt it, and then cut it. It's a bit scary cutting through something you've quilted. But mm. then because you bind the edges, it's all fine. Nice. But it's just the, there's just various ways. Once you start the inst doing the instructions, you make the half square triangles, you make the pinwheels, you put them together, then you'll think, ooh, ooh, actually, this is what I could do instead. Brilliant. So that's the whole point of the, the whole point of the points. OK. Um, so what you need to do is you need to make one of the points. So let me take the top point. In the instructions, it explains exactly what colour. So when you've cut out all of your squares mm -hmm. earlier, like all of these, you also cut out extra squares, which you cut in half diagonally to create triangles. And you right. need two triangles from each one because the triangles are for the points. Mm. Now, it ex explains quite clearly, so you don't have to remember this, what order they go in. So lay them out and think about it. Mm -hmm. I can remember what order they go in, so it's all fine. So there's, I think that one is set f four, and this one is set two. And each point uses two right. sets. Okay. And the reason that they're done in this order is that then when you join it into another one, so if you've got one of these below, it will all match together. Nice. So there is a reason for it. So just make sure you follow the order to do it. And there are photos in there of how to do it. So what you do, first of all, is think of this in rows. So when you, when you are creating patchwork, um, if you're ever sort of thinking about creating it yourself and working out things for yourself, break it down. So I've mm -hmm. got that, so how am I going to join together? When I made the quilt, I thought, well, I've got all these points and stars. And so, OK, well, let's do rows. We'll do the square. Mm -hmm. Now we'll do the points. So if we're going to do this, how do we do it? So let's say this, there's the top row and there's the bottom row. Yeah. So let's join the top row together okay. first. So, you've got all of this in the instructions, so yeah, Rebecca's taking through step by step. Yeah, you don't have to remember any of this, because that would be a bit much, wouldn't it? Um, and also, I've put photos in there. But mm. you can use as many fabrics as you like. You know, you can use two fabrics, you can use four fabrics, it's up to you. Once you've worked out how, the philosophy of how it works, it's quite simple. So, there's the top row, that's easy. So now we're going to join the bottom row. Mm -hmm. And if you... Sometimes I find it easier. Just keep it all on a flat surface. It's just so much easier to see where you're going then. So there's the top row. And then you can pin that one on. And again, because you've done the dark fabrics to one side, yeah. those corners will nicely nest, crash. Really? You can, you can sew and press and sew and press. I just Because I've got them all laid out, I sometimes find it easier so I don't forget. Mm -hmm. I don't get them in the wrong order. It's sometimes easier if you're doing a whole thing like this to pin them all together. Yeah. And then you can just double check because you've got lots of different colours and numbers and fabrics going on here. It's not complicated, but I just always... Unpicking just such, takes such a long time. I always double check and you can just read the instructions and go okay so that's a two that's a one that's a one that's a two you mm -hmm. know and you know that that works because you can see how the pinwheels work yeah so we've sewn that one oh, i've forgotten that <laughs> then we sew this one but it's quite nice i quite the reason I quite like doing patchwork is because you've got lots, you're not sort of constantly doing the same thing, the same thing, you know, you're sort of doing a bit of sewing and then mm. you lay it together and then you trim it and then you cut it and then you work, you know, it's, it's a nice balance. Yeah. I think that's, I think, well for me, that's why I like patchwork. 
Because mm -hmm. you're constantly swapping between different tasks, yeah. not doing endless seam after seam after seam. And you can choose, you know, you can do it... Oh, there is one more. Um, you can make all your points in one go or do it in, in bits. Uh -huh. I was thinking it depends what's on the radio, because I can't hear the radio when I'm sewing, so it depends what order I do things. <laughs> you can't hear it over the machine. Right. So, now we've joined our bottom row together. Lovely. And we've joined our top row. It's coming together very nicely. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't take too long, does it? Remembering the principles we're saying, so we're pressing to the dark, and you yeah. work from the wrong side and then finish off on the right. Yeah. So, try and remember, press your seam first, and then press towards mm -hmm. the dark. Now, I'd say, in the pick and mix option, the Christmas tree is the most popular option. Remember, with the one-day special, if you have gone for the one-day special, you are going to get an awful lot of uh, Christmas tree-related themed fat quarters. So, think about using these and just imagine that beautiful Christmas tree uh, skirt that you're going to be able to make from those. But equally, that same pattern, if you leave out the hole, you've just got a wonderful table covering and then you can go through all the seasons so you're not just restricted it is a really good pattern and you get to choose another pattern with it as well and you know you could um, you could make it for a small occasional round table mm. um, to put on there or put it on a big table so if you had a white cloth or a contrasting color cloth it looked really nice on yes. top of that uh, and just remember anybody who makes a purchase and we've had a really busy final call actually all the hours have been busy Anyone who's made a purchase, because we have got our summer festival of quilting event currently running. It kicked off yesterday at 6. It's going to be running all the way through till 6 p.m. on the 4th. Any purchase, your name goes into a hat. Somebody is going to be winning the biggest ever prize draw Hochanda has given away. We are currently at £876 and some change. 83 pence. So, and um, we still got uh, up until Tuesday. Now, that's from, we launched the event at six, so we haven't even gone 24 hours and we're 800 pounds. Think how big this prize draw is gonna <laughs> be. So uh, I think you definitely wanna try and get your name into that one. Right, so I've just um, pressed the seams open of the top row and the bottom row. And then while you were talking, I've pinned together the top row and the bottom mm -hmm. row, because that's quite, self-explanatory I didn't really need to show that so I'm just sewing those together and then you can see a point nice. so really I'm just you know I, I don't have time to show the whole quilt so I'm showing okay. you the tricky bits yeah so now you've got a point right all your points are made in exactly the same way mm -hmm. obviously they're using different fabric so I've got um, like here's the bottom point. So with a lot of these designs, Rebecca, the, the only way they're going to work is if you do have a lot of varying fabric. Well, yeah, you need it, don't you? You've got to have the varying fabrics. It's not a lot of each fabric mm -hmm. either, so you don't really want to be buying a metre of the fabric. No. So where, this is where, with all the, your designs, yeah. and it, it really comes into its own with regards to the one day special. I mean, 25 Fabby's Quilting Fat Quarters. They are a quilting quality, works out £1.60 per fat quarter. Well, and also, you know, if you are a sewing a quilter, you've probably got other fabrics in your stash. You've got planes or maybe a calico or a dark red or something. And, you, you know, these are lovely because you can marry together one of the prints with one of your planes. You don't have to use all of this. It's just nice to have that choice. So I was sent all of the fabric and it was just wonderful. I um, opened them all up. Well, I keep discovering. <laughs> New, new fabrics that we have. I mean, that's a lovely one. If I pop that down for a second, I'm sorry, I, we weren't really meant to be cutting away. But uh, <laughs> I'm just going to show you this really quickly as well. Look at this one. So it just goes to show you've got all this choice within your stash, so you're never going to be short of a design. It doesn't matter what project you're making. So let's just say you wanted to make a, a small little project for somebody. You can really taper it to something you know they're yeah, going to so like. Yeah, so say you, you know, you've bought somebody a gift, and maybe you've bought them some hand cream or a soap or something. You know, you take one of your fat quarters, make them a little zip purse, put it in there, and suddenly you've got a really expensive looking gift. Yeah. And personalised as well. And personalised, because then you've got all of these fabrics. And, you know, when I got mine at home and I was looking at them, I'm thinking, oh, well, I don't even know where to start. There's just so many of them. Yeah. So if you're making the other points, you know, I've, here's another one that I've 
cut out so that's this is the bottom point so they're all it's all done exactly the same way so they've all made the same you've just got to arrange it in the right, right, right. way okay. and if you follow the instructions it will all make sense so I'm just going to show you okay, you've got three minutes three minutes three minutes right so I'm gonna just press that because I'm gonna press that one open because of bulk um, now in the instructions there is enough fabric to bind the whole quilt okay so if we look at this that's what makes the difference i've just used a very plain fabric on the back obviously one of the wide quilt backings would look amazing on mm. the back of it um, but it's really nice that i've bound it in a fabric that tones with the others so mm -hmm. in the instructions and there's enough fabric in the eight fat quarters to cut all the strips uh -huh. And what's lovely is because you've got all the four, all the different fabrics, you join them all together end to end, but not the same, you know, you alternate them. And then the binding all around the edge of the um, tree skirt or right. table topper is all varied, but it will match beautifully and within it. Binding made from your fat quarters? But yes, exactly. Wow. So from each fat quarter, you cut the squares and then you cut these two, you need two strips from each one yeah. and that's enough to bind around the whole thing. You make a really good point. I think a lot of sewers at home, they'll, they'll, their eyes will light up when they hear this because with the patterns and remember the pick and mix and I thoroughly advise, if you have gone for the one day special, please have a look at the patterns on our website. We've got four of the brand new patterns here, but there are so many others to choose from. What Rebecca has done has designed these specifically for your fat quarters, but you're not using up. Although you might have to say have five or six fat quarters for a project, you're not using up all that fat quarter. You just need to have uh, the variants. You called it volume. Uh, yeah, we're working. So it's just having different volumes. Yeah, well, it's having high, design. low volume prints and high volume. Yeah. So the, a low volume is something where the design is very small. So this is a low volume print. Mm -hmm. This is a high volume print because it's got bigger patterns yeah. and you want that mixture it's just between scale, them. The it's, scale. it's a scale. Yes, yeah. that's all it is. But it's really mm -hmm. nice that the whole that I decided I wanted it bound in the same fabric because it's actually quite annoying that when you finished a quilt you've then got to think what to bind it in and mm. you can never ever decide the right colour should I choose yeah. a green or a red but there's got enough it it. to bind it in this and then yeah. you just join them all together end to end. Perfect. Um, unfortunately time's beating us Rebecca. Oh well I won't show you how to do it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, but you've got the pattern so don't worry because it Rebecca all explains has uh, taken you through step by step uh, all these beautiful projects. Uh, do make sure you've still got another hour if you do want to get hold of the one day special but we are nearly limited stock on there. We had a huge, genuinely we had a huge huge amount. I mean hundreds and hundreds uh, with regard to the one day special. So well done to everyone who bought it. If you do make purchase during the live shows though so you've still got time your name goes into the hat for our biggest prize draw ever we will be announcing the winner on Tuesday Rebecca thank you so much thank you it's Can been you a give, pleasure uh, Luna belly rub from me I will do thank she you. will appreciate that <laughs> thank you <laughs> I would love to meet Luna one day so coming up next we've got studio light uh, and lovely hour with uh, Lou and then studio light a wonderful autumn ODS not to be missed after that we are quilting uh, we got quilting fabric happy hour hi I'm Lucy from sweet poppy stencils the craft station limited we're a craft retailer and we specialize in stainless steel stencils our stencils are manufactured in metal uh, but this allows us to have designs that are intricate we also have new products coming on board, um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and um, our acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss Sweet Poppy Shows on Ho Chanda. Hi, I'm Rob from Add Some Sparkle. My wife Jackie and I have been running Add Some Sparkle since 2010 as a small family business. We're both very passionate about paper craft in general, and Jackie is particularly passionate with paper embroidery, which is one of the main things we focus on now. Add some sparkle produced paper embroidery kits and products, which is taking a very old and traditional Victorian craft, bringing it up to date with a modern twist in the designs we use. And what's really special for me is the fact that we can get paper embroidery to a wider audience through working with Hachanda. 
The future for Hudson Sparklers, we'd love to keep working with Hachanda to be able to bring more exciting and new products. We're looking at hopefully bringing some paper embroidery books out onto the market to add to the kits that we already produce and bring. So make sure you don't miss our ads and sparkle shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing fabric freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Echanda. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters' carry-on. We've really enjoyed being on Hochanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Hello, how are you? Uh, we are very well here at Hachanda in case you're asking me, asking, asking us that question. And we have got a fabulous, fabulous guest in, in the studio. Here she is, Lou Withers. How are you? I'm great now, I'm near you. Yeah, well, it's still social distance, oh, don't, you know. Still, we have got a no man's land here in the on the floor, so making sure that we don't cross that Mr. line. Mr. Tickle. Yeah, exactly. Is it Mr. Tickle? <laughs> right, and uh, now this is special because you launch Just Botanicals. Not that long ago no it's two about two weeks ago now yeah. and it's your own collection yeah I was really um, it's always really scary when you do you know think because you think well people like it you know and that but yeah it, 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 I was really really proud really it, proud. it is a very beautiful collection inspired by a fabulous woman what mm -hmm. isn't it yeah Marianne North was in, uh, a Victorian lady who decided that nothing was gonna stop her going through tropical um, forests and mountains in dressed as a Victorian lady, but then she sort of interpreted things like wonderful flowers and wonderful, wonderful botanicals, and um, she inspired me to do some work the same. So Now, inspired by that botanical love for Marianne North, uh, Lou brings you the studio like Just Botanicals. Now, this is a new configuration, so you may have gone for the one day special or you may have missed it. This is a chance for you to grab some of the key essentials. Personally, this is my favorite because they are rice papers. You can see in here, you are getting three beautiful rice papers with that botanical kind of the fauna and flora you can see the beautiful butterflies that kind of 
gorgeous script in here and then that kind of the flora look at that the beautiful flowers in there so you are getting three rice papers you are also getting the uh, two A4s, which again, they are double-sided, they are beautiful, and then, oh, I love that. Lo it's such a cute gardens that's, element. That's where she's got her gallery. So, the, yeah. that's why it is the whole collection works so well. And then finally, the piece of resistance, of course, is the die is here. I love that die. Well, this die is stunning because it works with all the other dies in the collection, and it also works as a card base. If you want to make a card base, it works for your junk journals. It just works with everything, especially with a floating spine. And that floating spine means that you can position any power? Anywhere you want. So if you want to do tucks on your cards or inserts, then you can place that wherever you want. A nine one, a four, eight, a zero. We have got set number two. Again from Lou, just look the collection. And it's another brand new configuration. Now the items were part of the Wonder Special. I want to make it very clear that, but however, you might miss out, you might want to have extras of those amazing papers. You may have gone for a smaller bundles from that day and now you want to have the whole collection. Now this is again you are getting three rice papers but different rice papers so if you were going to go for both of these bundles you would have all everything will be uh, unique. It won't be, there will be no repeats. Look at the patterns and the florals. Look at the ferns in here. Look at this the mask in here. And even the script in there that you can see. The layers, the collage, how everything has been. Love this. Again, very, you know, the botanical books from, from that she must have written. Or yeah. And they, they go back to that, like looking at the plates, the botanical plates yes. that they used to illustrate. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really uh, pleased because the designer I work with, she's, we're on the same wavelength. That is fabulous now when that happens. And then of course, you can see the, the A4 papers, perfect for backgrounds, perfect for, you know, a card. Just think about it, ready to make. And you did a kind of that paper, didn't you? That kind of torn paper yeah, as well. Yeah, if you just cut that off and put that on the board, I think I did it. Yeah. It's finished. It, that, that looks like you spent hours tearing, ripping, collaging, and you haven't. And so then, it's quite a, but I love I the colours of that. As well. uh, really, really gorgeous. And then, of course, it is as equally gorgeous. This phenomenal die. Really Com popular. It's different from the previous one, yeah. but it works together. Yep, they all work because the, the, the first one it makes the signatures or inserts pages for this but it works alone. So you can make journals with that, but this, this is stunning. Really it is, is clever. Absolutely. Yeah. 15 pounds and 49 pence. This massive die as well. It is absolutely massive. 15 pounds and 49 pence is the price. You are getting the five pounds saving there as well. 929401. It, it is a, such a reasonable price for such a big die, papers, rice papers, it is phenomenal and of course design, uh, we, well by Lou, you put it together, you are the creative director of yes. this. Ooh, and, that's so posh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we are going, uh, now this, now every, last time we had it and every time we have had a studio light, four leather sheets and they go so be they get so busy so please jump ahead and check out your baskets as soon as you make your mind up now you did we have got the pastel now you are getting four different colors and you are getting two sheets of each and you can see it's an a4 now they are four letters so you can see in the back of it you can see that they have been uh, they have got that kind of woven sort of thing. It's not natural leather. How does it die cut this? It's really good, really easy, really oh, easy to die cut. Well, we hopefully can, yep, you will show us good. how yeah. to do it. Remember, you are getting eight sheets in total, four pastel, uh, uh, sorry, all pastel, two of each color of four colors, including the mint, the beautiful uh, teal, or as I would say an aqua, and then of course the salmon and the pink. 725165 is your item number. Um, and it's 15 pounds and 99 pence with a saving of four pounds. Right, nobody saw that, that nobody. You know, I'm so slick, not. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, floor manager Jimmy, who usually is, you know, is, is just shaking his head, just like, you know. Yes, not a sleek enough for his liking. Uh, right, so we have got the Studio Light four leather sheets, but these ones are different. See, here we have got uh, the two metallics, uh, so you are getting that kind of almost I would say it's, it's not rose gold but it's kind of 
Oh, champagne gold, champagne gold. I would say champagne gold. This is gonna, I'm gonna say. So it has got a, me a metallic luster to them. But again, it, they feel like leather, but it's absolutely, uh, you know, kind of woven a fabric. So it's man-made. So it is not, you know, from an animal. Uh, now you are also getting, and of course, the kind of I would say this is a traditional rusty um, leather. Uh, then you are getting that kind of oxblood. Uh, that's the one I would say oxblood. And then finally the black one. I'm just referring to the colors that usually are kind of, uh, in, you know, in the in the. In the high street, when you go to buy expensive handbags or cheap handbags, they will call it Oxbow. But if you want the numbers and the names that they are in the packaging, it's black, dark brown, light brown, and antique bronze. But I would say that this is definitely champagne gold in terms of the softness of it. Uh, 14 pounds and 96 pence is the price. You are getting two of each uh, and you are saving five pounds. So you are getting eight in total. 298257 is your item number. Now, Studio Light is based in the Netherlands. Therefore, there is a little bit of an expense, uh, extended delivery dispatch from the um, 7th of August. So to wait just, just a week. but. It, it is just to count, of course, that they are overseas. But I think, Lou, are you ready? Yeah. Let's yeah. join Lou. Right, well, I'm so happy to be back. It's so lovely. It's I know lovely I keep saying that, but it's nice to be nearer back. Yeah. And then eventually it'll be back back. <laughs> yeah. Eventually we will be able to give you a hug. Yeah, it's, it's really strange that. But, yeah, it's... Um, it's strange, isn't it? Because even though we're allowed to do certain things now, you, you still want to make sure that you're doing the right thing, and you sort of—it's a bit—it's difficult for everyone. But yeah, just to, just to be back is brilliant. What I'm going to show you is, firstly, what to, people have come to me several times and said, "How do you make a journal?" And you're like, "Well, how?" how in what way? And, and, the, and I quite understand what they mean. Is how do you actually make a journal from this? And I totally get that. So a few people have said, can we see how you make one together? And I said, yeah, cool. And what I'll do is I'll make a junk journal. But I'm not going to make everything because that's up to you. But what I will show is the basic steps to use. Firstly, the um, die cut that you do get. Now, don't try. I've had a lot of people say to me, oh, it's not cutting properly. But please be aware that this does not cut out there. These are meant to be three-dimensional. So those people who say that's not cutting right there we go to show you from that side all I want you to do is just press so just press them out some should come straight out and that's the, the, the good thing is even though the fine dies the steel dies they are actually so strong it's untrue so don't be don't think that you've got a dud die it actually is meant that so if you think if I fold that in half now just to show you and I've used um, quite strong um, construction card there. Yeah. If I just show you that, really, that's a card in its yeah. own right. Yeah, just, absolutely gorgeous. Just, just a little, you know, I've not got a piece here, but just a small sort of insert there. Or what you could do is do it that way. So to me, it works either way like mm -hmm. that. And then the other die you get with it is uh, people often say, well, what's this one for? And Having hours like this, it allows me to sort of break down all the elements and say, well, this is this, this is this. So this inner one that goes inside your die, you can just see there's a great diagram here. And the green, on, on these, the green ones always denote what the die looks like. And then here, I love this, they've got a handy ruler as well. It makes me, makes me laugh that they've got a little handy ruler. Um, <laughs> so this one will make the white piece there and just to show you that's quite a thick card that's watercolor card and i thought i'll try this how how much will it go through and this is what 350 yeah. easier and it just went through like butter so that's what the page is and then the page goes in here now i'll just show you this has got two on actually this one so this one here if i just show you put that on there Okay, so that to me is nearly finished. You don't need to do much to that. But what I like to do is I've painted one side of this. I like to make signatures for this. So what I tend to do is get a load of different papers that I might not use, like the cards in there, and I put them all together, and I use this one, and I get all the signatures. So 
I've just cut a couple, cut two out of this one. This this is paper that I'll never really use. And that's the thing I wanted to show people is get, get the paper that you don't really use normally, cut it, yeah. get, and put it in as a signature for your journals. And before you know it, you've got, I don't know when you're journaling sometimes, yeah. you sort of, that big piece of white paper, it sort of stops you, or even making a card. So whereas if you're using, like, what shall I say? If you're using not favourite papers and not favourite cards, you're not that worried about it. Yeah. You're not precious. I know, right? So I like that's what I like using. So I've got bright yellow. It's cut through two. And then we've got some other papers. Now the thing is also, if you look at the shape of these insert papers here, these papers, if you want, you can actually just look where you get your die and just look at where you want them. So if I want that to be the front of a page, then I make sure that it's in the right place. So really you can have that anywhere you want. So it cuts through these, I'll cut one of these as well. And I don't, I don't get worried about cutting these. Normally with papers I think, oh no, it's too nice to cut that. But I think I want to use it all now. Yeah. I don't want to save it anymore. I want to use it, get it in my book and use it. So. This is um, the papers from the pack. Okay, yep. So that's the one from, uh, still the same yep. one that we are in the first option. Yes. And what I'm going to do is the just... The details are on the screen for that one. I'm just going to keep that piece because it's got all the colours in it that go with everything else in the pack. And even the yellow goes with it. And that tones the yellow down. Even the pinks, you know. So don't worry about how things go because I'm going to be painting these. So got a few papers, put these together, I've got some card, I've got some watercolour card that I've painted on. And what you're going to do is, it's up to you whether you do this, is just, you can either mark it like that, both sides, I just pinch, I don't go all the way down, and then all I do is choose which of the, there it is, which I want. Right, so, this one, allows you to cut as many as you want in your spot so you put it there and just look now what you can do is you can fold it all the way if you want and then or you can get it on a mat and you can do your um, or you've got a scoreboard or anything and score that line you can do any of that and then all that does is allows you to sit that on there now this one gives you lines all the way down. So if you wanted um, to make a feature of this, you can stitch it all the way down. This one goes with all the others as well, because this is only three holes. Now, most binding, simple binding, that goes with other journals, you only need three holes. Okay. Um, and you go through the middle out that way, through the middle out that way, and you get a nice fasten on there. So just wanted to show you, I'm gonna put two. Now, my advice is, don't do what I'm doing tape it but yeah <laughs> I, I would i would tape it you would yeah. definitely tape it but you know true to form then, you know the thing is so then if you put it on the skewer it, it, it doesn't matter because you look a proper junk journal yeah it doesn't matter does it i i'm not too but i would i'll be honest with you i would i mean for telly reasons i should have uh i'll put it straight but yeah, I need I would. And the, the thing about giving it that crease, if it's wonky, it's wonky. Giving it that crease is, um, it allows you to sort of set it in the right place, wherever you want. I always go back and forward a couple of times with this, only because I, I want to make sure it's gone through. It does, it's just me. Because I've got two pieces of paper there. But what you get is, I'll show you on this, can you see? The, it presses it down. Oh, yes. So I really like that because it compresses the paper down and it smooths it if it's got a texture or anything. Um, but then when you fold that, it's not as bulky. Yeah. Because if you try and fold something thicker than that, it's bulkier and you can't get many in. So I love the fact that you put that in there, that's my crease. And then that now sits really neatly. And yet I don't do many than three or four, I must admit, especially if it's thick, thick paper. Because what happens is it 
Yeah, it, it makes the pages it start, go, yeah, 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 and come yeah, out. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And as Paula was saying then, it distorts it and brings them out that way. So that is basically, but if you think just that paper there, I've only cut a little piece out, a little bit that I've, I've got left with the yellow. Yeah. And then I could put this colour in with it as well. And then it just tames it down, especially with that. So I've done that. So you put all these together now. And then what you would do is line up. Now, my best my advice is when you're doing the lining up of this, do tape it. You really do yeah. tape it because you need to make sure you've got it in the right place because you need to mark it. And I'll just hopefully I've got a pen here, just pencil. There we go. So I'll show you the line there. Oh, it's easier here. And then you would get your tape and just tape it. Now my advice is put it straight in the middle. Doesn't matter if it's a bit either way because it's made that it fits that. But there's a little bit of overhang, so I'm not going I'm, I'm terrible. I should have. Do you tape. want some washi tape? Shall we ask Jimmy for some washi tape? I've got a big bag of it over there, and do you know what? Like true to form. Well, what? actually, Molly is uh, in the case. Oh, um, what else? What well, it is is I've got all my stuff here, but I've got most of my stuff over yeah. there so i'm st i'm stood here because we have got two hours of yeah here. you've got me now and then yeah. later so i'm just gonna uh, i'll see i'll oh be all well. right i'll be all right I'll, i'm gonna go for it luckily if i just go like that it should do it but if you sort of it doesn't have to be spot on oh right? look and molly did find it do you know what the brilliant here yeah i've well, got to say one word and it's here yeah, right. So in it. the meantime, well, that's how you get it sorted. I, I have uh, favouritism, though. I do. <laughs> I do. I'll show you one here as well. I like these little dots as well. They're great. Yeah. You know, if, if you've got a horrible coloured brad. Absolutely. And you, and you, can't, yeah. you haven't got an alcohol pen. If you glue a bit of paper yeah. on it. And also, if you wanted to create like the effect, so for instance, you glue a parchment of vellum into something and you put tiny dots of glue, do you need to cover them up? So that would be perfect. Oh, that bradless. Looks, you can make your own brads in essence, yeah. can't you? But, uh, uh, yeah, leckless, leckless brad. Yes, that's it, yeah. So if you can see now where it again is compressed, that edge again, yeah. so that there is less less bulk yeah. and more room for you and then this goes in there and you just all you do is make sure see like that and then it just goes in and then i've got some i'm not oh no i'm not good there because i've got no. to do that first but always always when you get your thread or anything like that a little mm -hmm. trick is I've glued that, uh, cut that so it's a bit straighter. It's a tiny bit of glue, not a lot. People say to me, how much glue do you need? Well, you really, you're wiping it on and taking it off. And what we're going to do is like, you can do this with shoelaces. The mum who taught me this. Shoelaces, we used to glue them, sellotape them, and then make, a, make your own needle with them. Just roll it in your finger like that, and you'll get a, a needle forming. So it's a lot easier to thread. So I won't do that yet because I'll show you the other one. So that's the inside. And at that price, that's a really good price. And if you don't like these papers, paint them. You, you, don't need, you don't need to think of them just being as they are. Paint them any colour you want. So I've got some leather. I've got the champagne one or I've got black one. Which would you prefer? Oh, champagne. Right? Now, I'm a bit mean with, 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 with this because I don't like to waste anything. They are gorgeous. I kind of I understand just, why you yeah. say yeah, yeah. It's I would be a little bit precious about them. I too. don't want waste. I no. really do not want waste because it's just it don't it, it doesn't fit in my vocal cap. And you can see. I mean, I must admit, even though you know you get, uh, you know you would do so much making these collections, but the designers have to do all the fine yeah. tuning. Um, regard numbers and stuff so they have really stuck to my idea of no waste because I can't stand waste yeah. and the waste that you have got if you've got it right there and put it on the corner I'll just show you how much if you just cut that bit off and leave it that then becomes yeah. what what do you think mm -hmm. the lace ah, of course. that little tiny slither if it's yeah. big enough becomes your lace oh. so that then will be the thing that can hold all your pages together. Oh, of 
course, the 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 um, the, the, the twine, like yes. kind of the yeah, yeah, the, the ribbon. The, yeah, yeah. It, it's um, just something I thought of, and I, and I thought I'm not wasting that, and it comes out about that size. So I've got this on it. Now I would say, you need a bigger machine. Yeah. All the machines work. Um, so this is the this is mine from here. Yeah. Because we have to use our own equipment, obviously, because of everything, and just put that on there now. All machines have sweet spots. All yes. every single one in the world. Mm -hmm. So you know your own machine. It's the same old sandwich. It's nothing special. It's a wafer thin dies, so yeah. you kind of whatever you cut your wafer thin dies. Yeah, absolutely. With it. Now um, that has cut, but I'm doing it again. Yeah. But I always make sure because it's it, this is a long die. And also, you have got all the detail, um, of, uh, you know, yeah, along mm. in parallel with the rollers. So therefore, you will have always, um, you know, there we go, less strength there. And that's uh. that's not stuck. That's the tape. Sorry. Okay. So you know, don't think that. Oh, it's not come off. So what I was saying is, you see that there? Yeah. you have got a cord or a ribbon there's your ribbon look at that so there's your ribbon and you can do whatever you want and you've got more so there's no waste i mean even that what you can do is if you've got a little bit of now this is marked in now i tried it so i'm going to try it live on air and it might go wrong but i don't care i'm, I'm having a go and i want you to see uh, how i could alter this and i know it's done it's here it's done it here actually whether i could get a different texture on it can you see the lines yeah, that it puts in them, yeah. there are your lines for because mm. it's ma mish yeah. mashed them down you, it's not cut them it's yeah. just made them so that you know where they are yeah. now that i thought well if that happens why can't i get an embossing folder with it oh i see so what i thought was first of all the way i get my inside measurement is i just do exactly the same I just fold yeah. that to there and that and I always know then that that's my center now yeah. what you can do is when you get your die yeah. you can do the same on your die so you don't have to do it on your page you just mark your die and you know that that your die or your yeah. insert or anything will sit on there any of these dies will all fit on here any of them so all these will fit together you know, and when you think you can sort of start putting a whole, whole, can you see how they oh, fit? Oh, yeah, yeah, You perfect. can put as many as you want in there. And then, so, what you can do, I tend to, I start, when I first started to do this, I started doing it by doing the, um, doing it all together. And I learned, I learned a lot. Yeah. Not to, because I was just trying to, I put the other one oh, right in front of me. Um, you know when you try and sort of yeah. think, oh, I'll just put six for it. Oh, I'll just put this in. Don't. Just, just no, one, at, one time. at a time. Uh, because it will go wrong. If it can go wrong, it will go wrong. And I always make sure that if I'm embossing, I do it last. So just a couple. Yeah. And again, keep the little bubbly bits because you can stick them on your brads. No, no problem. Right. There we go. Now I'm going to pull these out. This is, it looks like they haven't cut, but they have. Yeah, yeah, they, they are just stuck in them. Yeah, something. really easy. Yeah, yeah. So keep them, because if you think, if you've got a nice piece of paper, let me yes. choose one of them. It goes with all these little, so you could have them as decoration, yeah. oh. and it all matches. Yeah. And I'll just put them on here. They look great. And then on, on, um, on top of a stud, a really horrible coloured stud that makes a huge difference now now it might go wrong it could go wrong it might go no that's up and that's down oh i don't care let's just do it yeah. now it does cut really clean there if you can see the edges and it's not easy doing this on telly because in case it yeah. goes peak tongue but i'd rather do it and let you know what happens than yeah. because people ask me all the time Oh no, that don't go in there. What's the sandwich for this? Uh, you need to remove the. Um, the, that the no, 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 no. It's, you need to remove the. the that one. That one. See what I mean? It's all live, telling you how it goes. Yeah. And then. Two holes. 
Now right. that's not got, I've got a huge amount of resistance, so what I might do is I might, I might need an extra shim yeah. or something, yeah. but yeah, that feels okay. But I just wanted to see what happens. I might put a piece of paper in, now, mm. and it happens to us all. Yeah, all. absolutely. It's, well, it's, it's uh, sometimes the different embossing and folders have got it slightly different thicknesses. And do you so. know what else I found? That some paper, they say it's a certain weight, and you go, hang on, that doesn't feel like well, that. Well, because weight, because a GSM is by weight, not by uh, by depth. Mm. Micron is by depth, isn't it? Yeah. And then our GSM is by Wait, so sometimes paper can be very heavy but very thin because it's compressed and so... But it's difficult, if you don't know that, it's difficult, absolutely. isn't it? And then you get really confused with it yeah. and I'm not confused with that because I absolutely that. love that. Love that. That, you can see it on there, but I love the fact that the it's now, and it's so soft. Uh, it's and, it's and really the soft, that, you know. And, and the folding lines haven't disappeared. No. No, and you can still see that, but you can you can ease them out. But I just wanted to show you what that looks like because once you start getting into this, the lines, yeah. um, and once you start sort of do it once, you, that's it. You're like yeah. really, really get into it, and you die cut everything, and you do this. Now I thought I, I wouldn't normally do this, but look at that colour with that. Yeah, and oh, I was, this gorgeous. is colours and I'm like, wow, that colour fits with that and that colour fits with that. So we've got this. Now, the one thing I haven't done is die cut the, um, the little bits that I've got. But I wanted to show you what it looks like out of paper. Because I've tried to do this out of the, the fabric and it does do it. But there were a couple of tags that, that just didn't cut. But it does do it really well. So I wanted to show you some of these. Now, I've done them, done them out of different paper, but I wanted to show you. This is one of the tags that goes with it. I don't think we've got it on the show, but I just wanted to show you how many different sort of materials that this is the same depth as that, and how mm -hmm. even the waste on some of these that you get is really beautiful. So I'm just gonna leave them in. I just love that, I just absolutely love that. There's the waste. Yeah. So, why am I doing that? Well, I just think, once you've made your own journal like this. I'm not going to use that one, I'm going to use the black one as well. Once you've made your own journal like this, there's nothing you can't do. And that one that you're using there, the, the one that how you have like had, that's with the number two, isn't it? Yes. That's number two, yes. Isn't it? And I wanted to show you the fact that, say you didn't want it as supple as that. I quite like what, they, they call these journal rolls, don't they, a roll. Um, and the other thing I thought of, this is great for, um, I, I've got some water brushes that are only small, yeah. it's great for that, but what you can do is if you don't like this, yeah. you can put another just put a tiny bit of black, now you'll notice this is a different size, tiny bit of size difference and I can explain totally why that is. That's because what I've done is, this one's only die cut with card and then embossed, but when you emboss and die cut the fabric it squashes it. Ah. Oh, right. So you get a slightly different size. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like. If you don't like the fabric, get your glue. And then, I quite like the idea. It works really well. I've not done it here. You put your glue there. Don't glue it all over. Just yeah. glue it in little little places. But it works really well on your sewing machine. Oh, of course. That would be Brilliantly on your And just stitch round. Mm -hmm. You stitch all your lines in. And you don't glue it. And then that way you're not stuck. Because sometimes when you're confined with glue, yeah. It makes all distortions, yeah. doesn't it? Whereas this, so I just wanted to show you that I tend to just do a little bit and then, because yeah. I can guarantee, because it happens with me anyway, it might not happen to you, but if I put glue all in the middle of there, it just, all this goes wrinkly and I don't want it like that. So this is just to show you what you can do with the inside. And it, you've got this like little edge on it. I'll just show it you. I'll put another piece of paper underneath it to show it. Can you just see the edge? That, when you stitched it, it's like it was meant to be. You need you need to stick down, so you need to give it a minute. But yeah, it's a tiny little bit of difference, not that much. So then what you do is you just transfer all the lines, because the lines are still on there. You can just see them there, and you can see them bend really easily. So I'm not 
I'm not forcing this at all, they're already there, but you do need to hold it, obviously. The glue, you need fabric glue, you need the right tools. And, yeah, and the, the right tools for it. Yes. What, what um, medium, I like a gel medium. Absolutely, somewhat. perfect, perfect for that, because uh, especially if it's golden. Um, yeah, it's, that's what I was thinking, yeah. Yeah, if it's golden, it's, then it's flexible. So, yeah, and that, I really love the idea of stitching this because I just think... I think a stitching would be like amazing. Yeah, I, I do, and you could, have, you could almost do an ornate pattern on yeah. it or even... And if you, I tell you what, if you <gasps> stitch it first with your uh, embroidery... A name. Oh, you that's perfect. You could spell something or like kind of a book of secrets, for instance, you, you could You could write. put the name here and then when you've done this and you've cut another piece, you hide all your gubbins, yeah. don't you? Oh, the name would be brilliant. I know a lady asked me, oh, I am so sorry I forgot your name, whether you can, and I'm absolute, she said she'd like to make some for friends and family. Absolutely. Oh, like, so absolutely. Angel policy. Perfect. No, pro no problems at all with that because um, that's what it's about. Yeah. I want you to do that. Yeah. Now, if you, if you sort of glued stuff down and you don't, you think, oh, no, I can't do that. Don't worry. All you need to do is just use... A pokey tool. Yep. But you can die cut it again. There's no, you don't have to do this. It's just in case you don't want to run it through. Because if you run it through again, you're going to take all the embossing yeah. out. So that's there. Now the lines are either side. But I'm not going to do them. Can't be bothered. It's not that. It's just that I don't want to show you things that are a bit boring. Mm. And that just fits. But I just wanted to show you how neat and tidy the inside now looks. That is lovely. And because I've got that bit of extra movement there, when I pull that over, it's stretching, but it's not stretching and distorting it. And then, sorry, you need the two lines there, which are just there, show you either side, and you make your... If you don't, and the nice thing I like the, about this is if you don't want the per lines really permanent, just put them in sort of temporary. Yeah. Ah, I look at that. Push that back a bit. Just pull that back, and then do that. There we go. And you've got that line that makes all the difference to me. That is gorgeous. Just that line, I love and then that. these are some of the things that you get with it. But I quite like this on um, embroidery as the catch. Oh yeah, that would be lovely. And if you glue, one of the ideas I had was I forgot to do it before. Is just undo that there. And just put a little bit of glue down there. Um, stick that in. Yeah. And you can just make a little cut there, and that just folds in. Nice. So there's your fastener if you want it like that. And you can put, obviously, you could put that on it if you want wrong way around. That's the way. So you could put that on it oh, if you yeah. want. You could put anything you want on it. Here's the little bit that comes out of it. So one of the nice, I've ripped it my fault anyway. Yeah. One of the little things you could do is actually have that on the top yeah. and then push that in but that to me secures it or you could put a button on it and then the other thing that before I forget oh. is you can make them to go in there and then if you want you can have them going that way as well Fabulous. with your plan off so you can go each way that way or that way and they all fit in each other if I show you I show you this way like that you yeah. fold in like yeah. that so you can have folding in and folding that way and it's made so it fits like that yeah and Thank there's you. with the fabric that's lovely. Thank you so much for oh, showing no, us and that look. And uh, now, uh, just a reminder of why you uh, we have got for you from Studio Light. Remember, this is Lou's uh, own collection, the Just Lou Botanicals, inspired by this wonderful woman, Victorian woman, Marianne North, who traveled to the tropics to record the botanical elements that she would have found, the, all the, you know, the beautiful plants, that, and she recorded. And now, of course, then after years, as uh, she had the gallery at um, Q gardens and that you can still visit nowadays inspired by that amazing woman you have got here a collection it's a bite size collection from that bigger collection of uh, botanicals that we had seen a few uh, weeks ago but now you can get it for 15 pounds and 49 pence you can have the beautiful a4 papers you are getting three of them with that botanical inspired drawings you have got as well two of the A4 papers that are more like hard, in thin card. You have got the rice paper, which is a mulberry paper, so you can wet the fibers and spread it and kind of tear it with a beautiful natural filling. You have got a gorgeous calligraphy in here, the butterflies at the bottom, 
think about covering up cycling your furniture and look at those beautiful butterflies i absolutely adore this image with that kind of collage effect that's the stress lines as well ready for you to kind of incorporate into your projects but also you are getting that fabulous dye in here with the intricate flowers that's this is the first dye that lou was using in her in the demo now it has got a floating spine which means that you choose which spine you have got to and where you put it you could do a mini album in here where the, the spine is off center so you kind of they flip the pages where well, you can put it into a book so you have got them in the center it's up to you where you put them you have got also the decorative element in here but you have got a mat that is perfect size or also for the pages uh, 15 pounds and 49 pence is the price you're saving five pounds eight nine one four eight zero is your item number we have got a set number two which also is a similar configuration but every single item in here it's not in the other one so if you go for both of them you will have no repeats in here you have got the larger of the dies and this one is the one that Lou cut those covers with it is a phenomenal size die and you can see in here that you can see the size of it oh uh, I kind of was trying to work it out the sizes yeah you can see that is about 19 centimeters so if you want it if your machine will take 19 centimeters uh, and with this will work through uh, just sort of rough an idea at six inches is 15 uh, centimeters so we are talking about the a4 more size of our machines then you also are getting the a4 but again they are two different ones from the previous one so you have got no duplications in there and then you are getting again beautiful three completely different to the previous selling bundle rice papers look at the botanical beautiful drawings I just think that this, oh, I know, um, attach them onto vellum and then uh, a tea light, a battery operated tea light, um, it's kind of box in some, you know what I mean? Like a kind of like a lantern because the light will through, show through. Then you have got the gorgeous collage of flowers and fern and the and beautiful. And then you have got this kind of set of four images in here. Now, if you want to go for this bundle, is this is the option number two, or I set number two, 929401 is your item number. And then we have got the leathers, of course we do. Now, the leathers, we have got two options. We have got the pastels, and then we have got the natural colors uh, that, that have got the, the metallic one. Now, the pastels feature eight gorgeous pastel shades in that for leather effect so you can see in here the softness now you are getting two of each color so you are getting the pink you are getting the lavender the light teal and the baby blue and of course like uh, like Lou was showing they are incredibly easy to die cut and they are for leather so you know what it means it's vegan uh, well 725165 is your item number 15 pounds and 99 pence is the price saving four pounds and then we are, are having the other option which is more natural in sort of colors but you also are getting the what i you know it's called um antique bronze but to me it's a champagne gold i just think it's just more of a yeah and you can see it here the beautiful metallic so you are getting two of the champagne uh, the antique bronze or champagne gold then you are getting two of the light brown then you are getting two of the dark brown and two of the black so eight in, to in total uh, that's uh, that's the item num the item number is uh let's see, have a look sorry two nine eight two five seven for this option and uh, we have got some issues with graphics, so they are, they are sorting it out. Uh, right, Lou, yes. are you ready for another demo? I am. Let's I am. head back then. Um, I wanted to use the black leather. You can use, I like the uh, neutrals as well. I think they give you, when you're making a, a sort of an old style vintage, it, it just looks really good. So I've got the black leather and I've got the set two, which is the big die. And I wanted to show you a journal, not exactly like before. I wanted to, to show some people how you don't have to do what um, we've done on the papers or anything. It's actually, you'd be quite surprised how versatile it is. Now I'm making sure I've got all the right bits and bobs here. So I've got to make sure that I've got everything back on. Yeah. So that's there, that's there, that's there. Excuse me. Can't you tell I don't die cut? <laughs> Can't you? 
I do it, but I'm very bad at it. I'm very bad. I love it, but I'm very bad at it. I must admit. I think it all goes pizza on its cost. Well, uh, I mean, the thing is, is without cutting, is the more that you do it, the more that... Exactly. But I still, I do the same mistakes, you know. I always forget what sandwich it is. And then, I, I do, I've got a few machines, we all have. We haven't got one, we've got two or three different ones. And I get these plates mixed up. And I think, why don't I just name them? Now, I've done it a couple of times, because it might be... I'm looking around, and I haven't lost anything. Or Now, don't be laughing at me if it all goes wrong. OK. Right. We never I... laugh at you. Yes. Right. See? Oh, that's... I'm thinking it's not cut, look. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> Idiot. Yeah. Right, it has really yeah, cut okay, in there. It's like butter. butter. Right, anyway, what is to show you? Don't cheat, uh, don't throw that way. Uh, take this off, and I'm going to do the same thing again. Now, you've got this here, but you can actually, if you get a mat and um, uh, an embossing like sponge, you can work that back yeah. out if you don't want oh, that in. So yeah. you can actually work that back mm -hmm. out. So say, for instance, you wanted to push that back out, you can. So I want to look, show you something else as well. So when you've got your bits that are left here, right there. Now, I was messing about and I was thinking, oh, what can I do with this? So I was stood there. I know where they were live, I, I promise you. I was stood there and I was like this. Right, what am I going to do with this now? What am I going to do with this? And it got to a point where I ripped it. But if, just before that happened, if you just do it gently and ease it out, it got, curls up on itself and makes it really soft. And it looks like... So, just wanted to show oh, you. If you just do it really that. gently, it does curl up on itself and it looks like rope. Anyway, don't need to know yeah. that, do you? But that was something I was messing about and thought, I really like that. So this time... I love square journals. Absolutely love, I love square yep. journals. Me too. They, they just make everything. It's yeah. So what I've done is I'm going to make a square journal. Now I've used the leather. There's one here that I did um, on paper, and it doesn't. It didn't show. But I pushed it out. You can just see I pushed out just there. Yeah. The lines are still there, but I pushed them out. Yeah. So. Put that yeah. through the embossing folder again because I really like this effect. Because um, mm -hmm. we've all got on it now. I'm like I said, I'm on a mission. I want to use everything I've got. You'll see in the next hour as well what I mean. Yeah. Um, I want to get out the equipment I've got. I want it to to use it with what the stuff I've got in the house with the things I'm bringing. I, oh, so look, look, I'm not listening to Paula, am I? <laughs> well, no, it is. So don't worry, you're one well, meter. It's only like I'm at home, isn't it? Yeah, you know, exactly. That's, that's exactly what happens to me. I forget I'm here. I mean, it's... we are missing the GMT and the red wine. Exactly. That's all. Only. Exactly. A bit of info for me. Yeah. Sorry, co a Pepsi Coke, whatever. There's loads or, of different or ones. Or Coke or whatever other whatever brands like. are available. Yeah. They, they all... mentioned three names. That should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. So. But yeah, it's like, this is what happens to me at home. I don't just make it up. This is exactly what happens. So sometimes it's nice to see that happens to everybody. So what I've done is, it's kind of like that as well, because yeah. that's made that, it actually looks and feels like, yeah. like leather, like old leather. Yeah. And with these lines now, I really, I really like that. Because it's, what it's done is, it's compressed the paper yeah. and really made it fine. So... Oh, oh, you have got nine minutes to the end of right. the show. I'm nearly done now. Can I remind everybody to check out their baskets? Uh, remember that at 6 p.m. is a completely different hour. At 8 p.m. is a completely different hour from this one. So you will not see these items again today. This is the final look today at this uh, beautiful just look, um, botanicals. I am concerned that that hasn't come out too much, so I'm going to do it again. And it might be all wobbly, but I, don't, I really don't care. So... I just want, cause I want to show you this little technique and, and again if this happens to me it'll happen to you so I, it's, not an, it's not an issue it just means that you've got to put it back through but if you know your proper sandwich yeah. and, and stuff this won't happen well it might and I'm going to put another piece of paper there okay. and then that will really iron that one as well right okay what I'm trying to do is just raise the dots so I can just show you a little technique now 
I know it worked because my lovely friend Carolyn Craven did one with a really ornate one and it worked really well. And I'm wondering whether it might be better if a dab sprayed the... Oh, I see. Sprayed it first, you yeah. know, to damp it down. So you have a try at home. Either way, I'll show you the technique. But Caroline showed me it was all ornate and it looked like it looked like crushed leather that it's been in somebody's library for hundreds of years. Yeah. It looks so cool. So, anyway, so let's have a look. Has it done it? Has it made it go a little bit more? Oh, it's not gone through. Oh. It has and it hasn't, but I don't think it's enough for what I want to do. Can you see? Yeah, I can Just, see it from it's, here. It's come up enough, but it hasn't for what... Because what I wanted to show you is once you've done that, and it does do it, I promise you, because it's done it on the others. You saw it on the other, and I haven't got the... If I had the other one, I wonder if I could have another colour. I'll show you on this, join this. Right, so what you do is you get whatever tool you've got. A sanding block, yeah. what do you mean? Yeah, emery, that's emery board, emery. whatever you want, and you rough up. I actually can show you on the leather one I've just made. I'll show it you on that one because it's got the bubbles on it. But you can do it on any of them. And like I say, if you've done it on your own die cutting machine, you'll know all the numbers and the correct sandwiches and plates and all that. So what I'm doing is just roughing up the... Just see it? Yeah, you can see it, yeah. And if you do it on here, it's not really done it on it. You can still do it on here, but it's not roughed up the, the way I want. What you're doing is raising the pile. And some paper will have a white core. Some some paper is, is colour all the way through. So just check your paper. Please be careful when you with the dust. Always keep it away. Because although it's not, da it's not dangerous, you don't want to start breathing that in. Yeah. Then all you do is you get something like one of your oxides. Yeah. And all I'm going to use is a brush. And this is from Tanith. One of the lad one of the ladies in my group who uh, she finds it really difficult to use emboss um, blenders, so she she showed me that how she does it, and I just thought I love the way she does it. And all she does is she just introduces a paintbrush, and I just thought what a great idea that is. So I'm just going to do a little bits, so you can do it like that. I think I might take this to this. Ah, oh, that's a bit better. And what you're doing is, where you've roughed it up, yeah. it's sinking into the paper. Yeah. So you've changed it now, and it does actually look like leather. This, it feels like leather, it looks like leather, it's really... But now you've got, you can have it as a card like that if you want, if it stays still. Or, what I'm going to do is just put... Maybe this one or the other one. Um, don't matter which one. Use this one. And again, use yeah. your sandwich that you have on your machine. And I'm just going to show you that. Now, it will it will compress some of them, but I like the effect it does. You sort of raise, raise the, the pattern, yeah. then you sand it yeah. and then you press the pattern back down and you'll get a different effect yeah, altogether. That would be like a, it would be like a, you have you know that technique you stamp and then you iron yes that's, that, that's what there's a tech oh i think that's gone skewed with but never mind it's there's a tech i can't remember the proper name but there's a technique where it's, it's called illusion or something and there I we go you can means. just see now how it's pressed yeah it's pressed it back down but it still looks really raised. And there's the lines all nice and neat. And don't forget, you've got your bits of leather that you've saved. And if you cut these, let me chop that bit off. If you cut these at an angle like that, and this is all, the only reason I'm showing you this and not sort of what to do on the front of your journals is because I've had that many people say, we can do the bit on the journal, and make it look beautiful. We know how to make, what we want to do is know how to make the journal. Not, yep. not the insides. It's make it. So you can start like that in the middle. I always get this wrong, do you? That way and that way. Well, so, it's, 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 it's you, not your way, it? yeah. It's, there's no really right or wrong. So I start in the middle and out that way. And then I'm, all I'm doing there is cut a, 
the diagonal so you, so you've got some sort of edge to it because it's quite it's quite difficult to get really thick material through a little tiny hole but just turn it over as well and then what you do is you bring that one back there that one to the middle that was it yeah so you bring that one to the middle there back through there I might do it with strings a bit more string on it so that one there that comes through the middle and you tie it to there and there's your how you tie it so it ties on the middle but I've now got my lovely a well it's not an a how big is it uh, that would five be five and a half. Five, yeah, about five and a half. But it's it's different from my my other one that I did. It's yeah. they're not all the same. So one die will do lots and lots of different elements. And this, I think, still goes in it. Perfect. And I love that, that you can mix and match. So remember that the items from set number one and the items from set number two, they are completely different. So if you go for both of them, you will have no repeats. Uh, the details on the screen are for the leather, the fall leather. Now that one is the mixed color with the dark browns and the champagne gold or antique bronze, depending how you say it. And you're getting eight of them. Uh, you're getting two of each color, four colors in total. Right, for in the front of me, I have got the set number one. Uh, just a uh, you, uh, just look, not just you, just look <laughs> botanicals. It's phenomenal. I love how Lou gets inspiration from inspiring women and creates the most amazing collaborations with this graphic designer to bring to you papers, rice papers like this, rice papers that you are going to enjoy using. They are versatile, they are beautiful, they are striking. They are perfect for backgrounds, they are perfect for foregrounds. They are the most delightful papers as well in here. You are getting three of the rice paper, two of the uh, A4, including the botanical prints in here. But you are also getting that phenomenal dye, the uh, journaling dye that you can have with the floating as a uh, floating as a uh, floating spine in here. 15 pounds and 49 pence is the price. You are saving five pounds. And now we have got the studio, uh, yeah, studio two. We have got uh, set number two. <laughs> we have got the studio two too, and the studio three. But we are not in it, and we are not going to it. <laughs> we have got set number two here. Now. I don't know why I said that. Uh, now here you have got a completely different configuration. Remember, they are not duplicates. So you're getting three of the papers, three, uh, sorry, three of the rice papers, two of the papers, double-sided, and that glorious die in here. So if you go for both of them, you will have two dies, uh, six different um, beautiful papers, as well as those, uh, you know, printed double-sided papers. Now, Lou, yeah. when are you back? Uh, in about four minutes, I think. Oh, with a brand new one day special. <laughs> yeah, it's autumn and it's not Christmas, it's autumn. No, mm. It was a trick question. <laughs> anyway, uh, do keep watching Hot Chanda. Olu is indeed with uh, the one day special after the break and brand new items as well. So do check out your baskets for these phenomenal uh, bundles. And you know, you want signature by Lou Withers. Studio Light, wonderful autumn one day special is after the break. Quilting Fabric Happy Hour is at 7 with Yanis. That must be wonderful. And it's a one day special later. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. 
watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on The Crafty Kitchen. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, a professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Achanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achanda. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace, and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia, and along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers, and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Well, as I promised, here we have got Lou still in the building. Hello, Lou. I'm here. I'm here again. <laughs> we have well, hello, hello. If you are just welcoming uh, us, uh, welcoming us. Uh, hmm. No, let's rephrase that. Well, rewind that. Hello uh -huh. and welcome if you are just joining us here at Hochanda. We have got a brand new one day special from a Studio Light. It is autumn vibes it is absolutely beautiful it's the well it's kind of the sort of thing that we kind of want to get into the kind of the mushrooms the fo mm -hmm. falling foliage the gorgeous golden leaves absolutely it is it is i, I saw it and i was like i wonder what they use and then i went oh word and it's really you really look at it really look at it and you think right this is so useful and i fell in love with it then it is I don't, I, I, I really, really fell in love with it because I could see, like those little mushrooms are so useful, those oh. leaves. 
And I love how you get a squirrel, you know, you get also the pumpkin. So if you are into that harvest sort of thing or Halloween or, you know, scrapbooking, you, yeah. you know, that kind of get in those memories, yeah. uh, do please uh, go for the Wonder Special. Maybe not, because actually uh, we have, I need to tell you, there is two options for the Wonder Special. So we have got um, the fallen foliage, which is at the top of the, uh, the, the shelf. And then we have, so you can see the, here the, the mushrooms the beautiful tree, the gorgeous border with the uh, leaves. Mm. Now you are getting two stamp sets and two dies at 24 pounds and 96 pence with a saving of eight pounds. And then we have got the second option for the one day special, which is at the bottom. So is that hibernate, hi, hibernating, um, hibernation habits. Yeah, it's kind of a hard to pronounce. There you have it, hibernation habits. Uh, now, these are your two different options for the one day special. Both of them at a price of 24 pounds and 96 pence with a saving of eight pounds. However, we have got a lot more brand new from uh, Studio Light. And also we have got a complete collection. So the complete collection is at the bottom of the screen, but we are gonna see every single bundle that we have got for you. So you can make the choice of going for the smaller bundles or for the complete collection, it's up to you. One day special, 251-864 is your item number. And remember those two options for you. Also remember the eight pound saving in each of those one day special because that's important when we come to the complete collection. Then we have got this bundle, which is the art, you know, is the full horizon. Now here we have got, what I love about it is you're getting an embossing folder. And if I take it out, you can see it. An embossing folder that has got dies inside it. Now you can take them out if you want it, but what it does is not only embosses, but it cuts it at the same time. So it's a little bit of a multi-purpose uh, item a bundle. In here, with that, you could be able to create something like this. Look at that. Can you see? Oh, let's bring the light then. Look at that. Now, if you wanted to have the lights in here, we do have got a Crafty Devils pack of six, of course, um, top LED lights. So you can bring them in here because you could bring them and put the lights in the behind. Imagine that. Now, this is a seven day savers that they are. This. But let's get back to the uh, studio light and the items that we have got. We have got the embossing folder that cuts and embosses. We have got the dies in here with that borders, beautiful borders. And then we have got the paper pad. Oh, I have got a pick and flick here. Uh, so we have got a paper pad. Now they are six by six, so you can see that is gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Love the kind of woodland effect. Look at those gorgeous patterns in here. This dress, perfect, just run, you know, just kind of autumnal colors, warming, kind of, also, let, let me say it, masculine cards, how difficult are to make those you know, masculine cards, this would, this is perfect for that. You are getting 36 sheets and you can see 15 by 15, so just under six by six inches, 170 GSM, five different patterns and repeat over. 476703 is your item number. You have got a five pound saving here. You're just paying 16 pounds and 97 pence. Remember that five pound saving, because again, this bundle is in the complete collection. Then we have got the outer showers featuring another of these gorgeous embossing folders with a die in there so when you put it through your die cutter machine it will give you the Im impression of the embossing folder but also it will cut the gorgeous look at that like, imagine this as a shaker card imagine this for a kind of brighter days are ahead card this is one of those cards uh dies that you are going to use it for uplifting purposes think about also putting pictures behind behind it. You are getting a set of dies in on their own as well. And here you can see the gorgeous. None of the dies are repeated throughout this bundle. So remember that because it's just gorgeous to see a nest. You can create a wreath, a nest in there. What about putting a bird inside it? It's absolutely glorious, the detail. 
Now you are getting another 15 by 15 paper pad, 170 GSM, so it's a nice and good quality paper, porous paper so you can bring uh, your inks and it's a completely different paper pad than the previous bundle, therefore again no duplications, 36 sheets in here, 9 different patterns that you are getting multiples of, 760955 is your item number, 16 pounds and 97 pence, 5 pounds saving, again those 5 pounds savings are important now we have got another bundle brand new to you now it's a two background stamps in here and this one comes also with a die cut block and one of the first times that I saw Studio Light was actually with die cut blocks and I love that they still do them because you need sometimes quick and easy cards you want to have to just take them out pop them up <gasps> do I see some wine I do see some wine oh look at that you know oh uh, yeah a little bit of autumnal wine it just it doesn't do but also you have got things like heartfelt condolences weddings you know that sort of multi all year round inspiration in here you have got some tea as well sometimes a relaxation oh you have got a lo little look yeah <laughs> let me you know, go out in there that's something uh right if you want to go for this bundle it has got another five pound saving you're just paying 19 pounds and 97 pounds uh eight one one eight nine nine I need to mention as well, now, Studio Light is based in the Netherlands. That means accounts for an extended delivery uh, dispatch day from the 10th of August. And then finally, we have got the papers. Now, I need to uh, I need to mention that these ones are in this bundle. When you buy the papers on their own, you are getting two of each. So you are getting eight uh, A4 papers and eight 12 by 12, four designs two of each and they are double sided so you are getting them for 10.92 with a four pound saving now that is for the bundle of the papers alone and that is important also to uh, remember that so you can see they oh, I love this paper I think it's just magnificent it reminds me of Shard Cathedral Labyrinth and then you can see oh, look at that gorgeous so you can see the gorgeous palette of papers the kind of nature of these kind of inspirational papers where there is elements so you can stamp on it so you can bring your inks into it you can bring your die cuts in there as well if you want to go for the papers on their own 858 this one doesn't want to stand up right well let's put it down okay yeah. let's have enough uh 858057 is your item number now if you want everything that we have seen so far we have got a complete collection for you. Now, remember when I was saying, remember those savings. Remember the eight pound savings for each of the options. So that would be 16 pound savings. We have got five pound saving in the uh, smaller bundles as well. So that would be 15 pound saving if you went for all three bundles in there. Now that uh, then the papers, you are gonna get one of each. So you, the, car, the saving carry forward is two pounds. So we are, Oh, sorry, four of each, but uh, so, so, yeah, four of each. Four of the 12 by 12, four of the uh, um, A4. And then that means that two pound savings carries forward. Right, an additional 10 pound saving. But even better, if you're a Freedom member, there is even a further discount in that. So you are just saving an additional 19 pounds 93, which means that if you're a Freedom member, you're saving 52 pounds and 93 pence. Uh, pence. Now that means that, and also on top of that, you are not paying PMP. Now, damn it, it's a why not deal. And here it is why not, because the Studio Light, you can see in there, freedom pro, for a Freedom membership will cost you six pounds, 97 pence per month. So this month, now if you add that, so you become a Freedom member, the saving that you are saving is 12 pounds and 88 pence. Please do check out your basket, but before, if you're not a Freedom member, become a Freedom member. Because if you are a Freedom member, you, you need to be one to make the most of this amazing saving. Now, look, you were talking about, as soon as you started playing with them, you yeah. kind of fell in love with it. I did. The closer we looked at them, the more I saw, because there's lots of details that you, we just skim over for at first. You think, oh, I didn't know that was there. And it is stunning. There are so many little bit features that, look at the, the, the samples. Thank you, ladies. Absolutely stunning. 
And what I like is the fact that some of the animals, yeah, that although they are like what we would say, some of them are cute, they're not cute, sir. Yeah. They're actually, yeah, okay, it's a squirrel, but it's actually a red squirrel and it's realistic. And that's what really helps me because I'm not a cutie cute, sir. But look at the di look at these. I that's, love look that. Look at that. And, and just, just the use of colour from Alison there has changed that dramatically. I absolutely love that one. I'm going to show you another one that is in here because from this, full of color, vibrancy, a large canvas to these sophisticated, warming, heartwarming cards. It's just absolutely. beautiful. This one is from Rush, uh, Russia, Rachel uh, Harris. <laughs> yeah, I'm really lucky because we didn't have that long with this, but... Um, the ladies just did a brilliant job. Now, Absolutely. If, if you go for the uh, complete collection, you will get the die cut blocks. So you have scenes like these. Yeah, they're all in the die cut. And here, uh, Patty uh, Dutton has made these into coasters. And I think that's such a brilliant idea because it's a lovely present as it well. It is. And also, I think it's something perfect for a tea or something like that it kind of uh, some a, a lover of the hot drink like a, a hot cocoa or something yeah, so you could incorporate them with some and you don't just have to use them as like cups and stuff you know a lot of us have plants or things that we we need to keep off surfaces and they're great for that now how simple is that i with, love it i adore that and Absolutely. that is the die cut and the die comes out so if you don't want it die cut you don't have to and I love that. That's just beautiful as well. Trees are such a symbolism of strength on their families and deep roots. Absolutely. And it's a great because you can then go into your family tree and have your pictures on little tiny pictures. Yeah. It just It's really nice. And make your own little holes. So if you want to sort of make a feature of them, there's little leaves all in the pack somewhere that you can die cut extra. Look, it's stunning, isn't it? And look at that as well. Look, I love. Now, in the complete collection, you are getting a total of 24 stamps, 32 dice, uh, 36 dice. Sorry, my hearing is dreadful. Uh, and then you are getting two, two paper pads, two, a die cut block, two embossing, fla uh, embossing folders, uh, t four 12 by 12s, and four A4. Now, it is a whole lot of a lot. <laughs> you it know? is. It is. I'm really, um, like I say, really like this collection. It's super useful. And it is, it, you can change it with colours you use. Change it dramatically. Yeah. You don't have to have it warm and like fuzzy, as yeah, I call it. You can have it bright and funky, you yeah. know. So to me, it's, it's a win-win. It is indeed. Right, let's head back to Lou. And, and, and of course, and, oh, well, I need to remind you of the complete collection. If Ooh. you want to go for the complete collection, remember to become a Freedom member beforehand because that's where you are going to save more money by becoming a Freedom member before it than you are where we would be if you didn't become a Freedom member. 537-943 uh, uh, is your item number. 10% of the complete collection has already gone. Remember, you also have got a flexi buy option, so you can spread the cost whether you are as a Freedom member or not. If you're not a Freedom member, 33 payments of £33.10. And and but if you are a Freedom member, that price, of course, comes lower. It comes to three payments of £29.79, and pence, which means that for, you know, it's not much more. It's only five pounds more than uh, one of the uh, options for the one day special so and you get a whole lot more to send to your house that's just over a, no seven seventy three and it's on it, 99 it's not it's just over a pound each yeah actually yeah, you're one very, twenty, yeah. it? one so pound it, twenty each item it is phenomenal isn't it no actually I think it's a little bit if, if we go for if you are a freedom member how much? Yeah, so 89. Right. So if you divide uh, 89 pounds, 89 pounds 36 pence divided by 373, it's it's not much more than one pound. No. One pound 20. There, get it. I mean, it's not my maths. It's my it Kim's maths. So. That's at 120, didn't it? It's about 120. Yeah, but yeah that, you work it out. I know some of them, you might think that's 120 for that, but then you get a set of dies and that's 120. So I, I that's yeah. how I look at it. That's pretty good. That. Well, a block of die cuts for a 120, that's <laughs> yeah. fair. Absolutely. I've got my journal and yeah. um, I wanted to say that this doesn't have to be just for making cards or making greetings. And we was talking before and I really like the feeling I got from this because I think 
it's a, like a time for a reflection. So this is an old journal that I've got, but we're not looking at that. But I wanted to show you just some of the pages that I'll start to work on. So this is a really rough sketch, just using, I mean a water sketch, I haven't drawn this, a water sketch, just using um, the mushroom stamps. And then here's a page that I've done, just using one stamp, added that, a bit of glitter, and off you go. So I wanted to show you that it's not just for those people who want to make cards. This is for your journaling, like here, I've used some of the text. Um, and, and these are all half done. So, you know, bear in, bear in mind these are work in progress. And if you can see, I've done the tree line going that way. And these are all ready now for me to use. So what I've done is, we're gonna look at this. I'm gonna bore you, sorry guys. We're working on this side. So if we look at the colour wheel, we're working on all these rusty colours. All these here. So this family all together. So if you look, the ones opposite are going to be the ones, if you want to make impact on your page, you would use blues, you would use blue greens. But we're going to look at these family, this family of colours. Yeah. So what you do first is, I've already done this because otherwise I'll be here forever. You just get a really thin coat of gesso. Now you don't need, you don't need a lot. I, I tend to sort of, um, dipping and out of different. I use what's there in gesso. Yeah. Because um, I always forget where I've put it. So I've got my. I mean, it's really a big pot thick. and it's a very big brush. Yeah. And it is quite thick. And I want to show you why I don't mind it like this because this stops me from painting with it. I'll do a couple of pages. I love you, Lou. Right. Like okay. And all that's, all but it. you know what? I, that shows that sometimes because now I have got some brushes that they are yeah like that. And, and for that technique, it's fabulous. So what I can do now? Look at this, and I'm just this is my big brush, but it doesn't it doesn't worry me. I mean, it's this is because I left it in water, but it's still usable. Mm. But yeah, that's, just, that's one of the things that my my dad always taught, taught oh, me terrible. is never leave your brushes that's in water. That's what happens. It, yeah. And you, you never, can't get ever, that ever out, do, yeah. you can't, because normally you can soak them um, and put a little bit of water on them yeah. and then re but, but no, and put soap on. So, I wanted to show you, because I get people how much, how much you put on, well, that's it. You just dip your brush in, get a bit on, stick it on. And I like the fact that I'm looking for different thicknesses. I don't want it pure white. I want the, why have I used brown paper? Yeah, knock if, it down. Yeah. yeah, why have I used brown paper if I'm going to cover it up? It just makes no sense. And then on here, I'll just show you what I've, I'll do here, because I want different styles, is I'm going to make a wash. Yeah. Still not enough. And a wash, really, is just to give it tooth. Yeah. And then this dries, quite transparent, actually. But you need to make sure that you don't put too much on, too much water, because then it'll just disappear. Okay. Because, like, you're, you're adding water, so it's it's actually sort of, um, it's not sticking as much. It's like watering down the glue, the binder in it. So I'm happy with that now, and they're more or less dry. They're more or less dry, but I would give it a, a waft. A waft, that's a technical term, that yeah, means it's dry. Yeah, Yeah. So I love this. Yeah. This is my favourite tool now. Oh, dear. Mm. Sorry, guys. Um, um, oh. Yeah. Hang on. Yay. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> Love it. So, my fault. I didn't turn it on. So I'm just drying it, and you can see the bowing. The bowing on it has created that lump there. And you can see it's not dry because it's bowing the other way. So, one way to test the paper. So, yep. what we've done is a couple of things that I've brought back because I've got them at home and I thought I'm going to bring them back and use them. So the first thing we've got is this huge stamp and it is absolutely huge. And I'm going to just stamp a little bit with it to get a background. And I'm going to use the da -da -da. Oh, the, it. Yeah. the big and juice set. Now, some of you have this at home, some of you don't. Don't worry, it's just a pad that we used to use. It's got all the colours on it. And I just think, right, I'm using that. That one, sorry. And I'm going to use the oranges. 
I know um, I don't need it to register too much. Yeah. I just want to get a little bit of ink on. And I don't want it to be really perfectly registered. I just want a little bit in the background. And I want to be able to work over the top of it. Okay. But I don't want a perfect stamped background. Now, these Big and Juicy by Ranger, they are water um, re reactive. So anything I put on there now will, will you know, water-wise, or it will like sort it. of colour it. Oh, so. I like that. And then just keep going until you've cleaned it all off. Now, the reason I'm doing this is just to show you that if you've got your journal or your sketchbook or you've got um, any papers even on here, if you can start doing this, then your background's already done. You're not worried about messing it up. Mm -hmm. It's already done. So I'm going to leave that there. Now, one of the things I did, and I'll show you here, I've got a piece of paper, and I run the piece of pa over the pa piece of paper with my brayer to clean it. Okay. Just to clean it. Because oh. I didn't want to waste that ink. And I thought, no, because I really, really don't like the waste. So, and I just loved all these textures and yeah. stuff. And I still ink on that, but I need to, I'll, I'll have to wipe that. So whilst it's like that, I thought, right, I'm going to get the stamps. I've got some already done. I've been good. I've got some already done for us. So whilst I've done that, I've got the pumpkin. And I'm going to use an archival because I want I want it to stand out, but I don't want it to be too heavy. So just use that, and I'm going to stamp it a couple of times. And I'm going to pick the bits that I really like. So do I like this bit? Will that look good there? Yeah. So just do that. Can you see? I've yeah. already got it coloured. Because all I need to do is react that with a wet paintbrush, and that'll all colour in. So. Just to show you how cleaning up is even nice, which I don't understand, but it, it's true, even the cleaning up of this works well. So I've got my page, it's pretty dry now, and I'm going to get the mushrooms. Now, I saw these and I fell in love. I thought, that's perfect. And, and going for the complete collection makes sense, because it kind of, you can flex it by it, so then you don't, are not paying, uh, you know, the whole lot in one go but also because i don't know are you but i like to have all the different elements i like the complete collection i like to be able to sort of mix and match and a lot of collections um it's hard to sort of say that they, everything goes with everything mm. but with studio I like that's what yeah. they're clever at they're really good at that they do really like everything to work together and these will work with some of the earlier ranges like the um the fairy ones we've had and the the elf ones, these all work with them. They do. So I'm just going to choose a set, so a liner. So if it was one of my pages, it would be one of my pages that was a book on. One of the pages out of a book. I could easily just choose one area on my page, but I'm just going to do it here. Now bear in mind, this is not perfect because I've got um, wet pages under, well not wet, but damp pages underneath. Yeah. And what happens is it's buckled a little bit, so I'm not on a flat surface. I'm just going to put that on. And this is the second, the little one, the little mushroom. And I'm just going to add this to that scene. So I'm just going to pop that there. And it doesn't matter that it's going over the other one. I want that to happen. Now, I know I've been told that these are fly garret, which are the poisonous ones. Okay. So they're red. Oh yeah, they're the ones that look the most attractive, yeah. don't they? They tend to be the Well, they're the ones, but that's poisonous. why they're attractive, isn't it? That's yeah. why they're attractive to get you uh, sort of in there and it enticing you. Yeah. Right, what I'm going to do is just introduce a box now. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I have got, um, how to say, something to work to. So I'm gonna use my ink from here just going to press it into the lid you can use any inks that you've got and just going to damp my brush and then clean it i don't want this wet i don't want water on my brush i just want it and the reason you do that is so that it's it doesn't suck the paint or the ink or anything you're using right up and all i'm going to do is just introduce an area using the different colors 
just yeah and the reason I do this is so that you've got guidelines because otherwise you'll tend to try and finish it all the way up here yeah. and you don't need to so just like that. you could use these stress inks for this perfect as well. any yeah. any inks you've got that react with water you can use but I like these because I can actually paint with them you can um, and I don't I don't have to fuss about color so if you've got these if you've got the gold and if you've got anything like that you can actually um, use all of them so I'm just going to get and this is how simple it is it really is yeah I'm going to get that and I'm just going to pull and the trick is get yourself your rag there it is I thought I could see it get yourself your rag and each time dry your brush off and then and then that little colour you've got in the background oh, from your leaves will also just make it and I'm bringing the colour in so I'm making like a window but I'm not overpowering it's taking some of those little images away but it's not doing anything bad to them they're just there I didn't want them to be a main focus so whilst it's there I am just going to put a little bit and I'm just using a flat brush yeah. these were on um, from one of the da daily deals okay. that they had and this is stunning brush and I'm just going to dab a little bit of ink distress ink would work paint just seven day savers yeah, yeah that was it yeah and I'm just bringing some water to that now to blend it because I don't want it too heavy just to create a background yeah so and then now it's allowing that to jump oh, out yeah. and again you can add a little bit just under here and this could be any colour you want. They don't have to be these colours. If you look at, at what Alison has done with hers and Patty and, you know, all the ladies, Rachel, Karen and Susie, they've done amazing jobs with different, different sort of feelings. And Yeah. Right, so I'm quite happy with that. I really like that. But now I want to introduce some colour. And I, I only want a pop of colour um, just to bring this fly garrick out. So I'm going to use... Um, an acrylic for this because I want it to be quite strong so and this will make the whole page pop so all I'm going to do is just really and I mean really neatly not yeah. <laughs> because I'm just painting over them I'll tell you why because I'll show you what I'm going to do well if, if it works I hope so I'm just painting everything not trying to go around the white bits I tried that and I was I nearly gave up I was like no I'm not doing that not doing that at all so I did this this way and then um, get some gesso handy for the underneath and then right so just like that oh, now I'm going to dry them okay um, yeah. you don't have hey, to do this you do these, oh, yeah, please. I can have a show a few samples more uh, let, let me grab them because I was grabbing some from the other side of the counter but you can see imagine this this is the dyes that you, the bird nest of wreath and you can incorporate them look at that with a feather a real feather bring your colors the papers and the background bring maybe dyes or alcohol inks in that you may have think about also we do have got these dyes on the show um, now they are on the show and they are going of gorgeous so they work so beautifully you can say get them as a set of four uh, then you're getting 20 dyes in total you can see there 21 dyes in total 39 pounds and 96 pence and you can see the one that I'm holding is the far top left corner but you can see how gorgeous they will coordinate with them also I believe one of those dyes is that one in here as well but of course is the papers from the one day special from that complete collection think about maybe taking the die cut from the blog of birds and then bring in those dies that you have got also not only the birds uh, kind of wreath but also the flowers and the not the flowers the leaves in here that you have got simple cards using the die cut block look at him isn't he adorable and the one of the dies in the one day special uh, this one i believe is the in the falling uh, falling foliage 
I think that's the correct way. <laughs> so you can see them in the border. Now they are all in the complete collection, but of course this one and that one is from the falling uh, foliage. We are very busy. Uh, one, uh, we have got queues on the phone, so if you have got access to the internet, either through the inter uh, regular website or through the app, please do that. That is the fastest and easiest way to order here at hotchandap.com. Right, and now let's head back to Lou. Right, brilliant stuff. But while you're doing that, don't, you don't want to see me do this. One of the dies, uh, dies. One of the stamps. There's um, a tiny little set of mushrooms, and I thought I'm going to use this the same way, so I can let this dry. And I'm just going to put some on the top, the red, and I'm just on the top. Now this is glittery card, yep. and I'm not worried at all because. I like the effect it gives me, so I've just okay. done that, clean that off, just leave that to dry, move it over there. Now I want to show you something really, really tricky. Okay. Everybody, when, when, when you start painting dark, um, flowers and stuff like this, you're really misled by a lot because you try and keep within lines and stuff. You don't need to. It's, it looks better yeah. if you go out of the lines. So what do I mean by that? Well, all I'm going to do is keep within the colours I've got yeah. of here already. I've got a little bit of brass here as well. well and I'm, I'm just going to introduce... Okay. Because I'm going to use um, pencil on oh. top later to bring it all out. Because at the moment, um, to try and paint them, I wouldn't get the depth one or anything I get the shine but yeah. not the depth so by just adding mixing the color with the reds that you've got it's not overpowering it but we're bringing the color oh. down what I'm going to do oh no I'll leave that I'll leave that right so we've got that I'm happy with that I think we need something that will go with that so this is what I wanted to do I'm using copper or brass here I don't want them I want the bit to, to be quite translucent I'm not um, worried too much about them coverage I've got this here and the thing is if you wanted to cut them out you can but oh I couldn't be bothered I could not yeah. be bothered doing that so right what do we do give that another blast but it won't take me a minute then you need I should have done it before but I thought oh, I was going to do them green and I thought no I just want to keep the red simple right it might stick it might not so let's see now so where the little blobs are, that's the yeah. technical term for the stuff Blobs. on it. Yeah. Right, here we go. It was unstuck, I've just used it. So It yeah. happens, doesn't it? It's and live TV, everything will go wrong that can go wrong. And even if it cannot go wrong, it will still go it wrong. Will. It will. I mean, every time I'll say, Marcus, have you unbunged everything? Yeah, I've unbunged yeah. it. And I get to it, and it's not, it's all bunged up again. Yeah, I know, it's... I try, I don't like things bunged up, but yeah. there we go. And what I've done is, I've tried... Is that PVA? It's just PVA. Yeah. Um, I've tried to keep within the lines, but I'm not worried, because what I'm going to use is WOW, and they have the white, ultra white. Oh. So the white will react with the glue. Oh. Right, it won't catch all of it. It's quite chunky, this one. They have got it on the website. WOW uh, and Boston Power, they Yeah, have. yeah, I love them. I love the, the gun that I've got now. It's That's stunning. really good. Um, and you can do this all over. Okay. Now, it's quite chunky, so my advice is make sure that if you want it bigger, make sure you put enough glue or enough, right. um, like your pen. Yeah. You can use an embossing pen and then get, get rid of all of the other. Or yeah. get a paintbrush and just oh, move it around. But I'm quite happy with that. There's a couple. That, uh, uh. But... What happens now is you get it bubbling and you'll get oh. these wonderful lines happening. Yeah. I love this. Oh, there's a bit there. See there? Yeah. And you can, like I say, you can use your, your embossing. There we go. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh, look! It actually looks like yeah. the little things on the... Yeah. actually looks like I've put a bit too much on, but... Looks like Christmas, that one now. Yeah. But if that, if that happens and they run, all you do then is, when that's dry, and, they, and you can do it because I have done it. They look it, like, like the proper fungi that, that grows into like mm, trees and things absolutely. like that. Absolutely. And then what you do is leave it, and then just a minute after that, you can paint 
the lines and yeah. you can go over it with your paint to sort of stop it from doing that so I've done that now I'm going to just put a tiny bit of I need something dark but I don't want black so I tend to go for a, a blue um, and if you see it sort of follows on from that side on your color wheel it's only a little it's journal amazing. page but it's just to show you that you don't have to sort of make a, um, a, a you know if you think oh that's I can't make cards like that don't be overpowered by that because that's just people who've been doing it a while you yeah. you could just make simple journal pages like this and just be as you know and these look as you know as good and as sort yeah. of Inspi Good. inspiring as them so I've just put a little bit of blue in and I'm just going to bring the blue out a little bit only because it gives it impact and make yeah okay. to make it I'm just going to put a tiny bit around the yeah. mushroom fungus it's not mushroom yeah it's a mushroom this one is it yeah um yeah and I'll just show you what I mean now try and blend it out so that it doesn't and then just a tiny bit and all we're doing is highlighting yep. with, and if you don't like it, that I always think it looks better if you just rub it in. So now I said about this, if this is too much, yep. all you need to do is make sure your paint is proper paint, not too watered down. You just... Oh, uh, that, that's good. Yeah, that's a good idea. And it just sisses, and that yeah. means it pulls it together. So it, it leaves it really really it's a really clever little thing because it makes it look like proper fungus then yeah and then that leaves that there and then i'm just going to do that and, and it's the same with it oh i don't want that pink there it's the <laughs> same just, that'd be a bit strange yeah put a bit a little bit there because to to me i just need i just need to balance that yeah, okay if i don't it, it's sort of a bit heavy on one side And then what I can do is if I wanted to, I'd get little bits here. I've got some die cuts. If you want to put die cuts of at course, the bottom. Right, because uh, if you go for the complete collection, yeah. you will have so many dies. 73 individual items, which if you are a Freedom member and if you are not, become one before purchasing. It works out and it's a pound 20 per element. Yeah. So a set of dies. For one pound twenty, a set of an embossing folder that cuts for a one pound twenty, a set of you know that is how it adds up because you have got seventy three individual elements in that amazing studio light wonderful art and collection. All this is what you are getting. You are getting dies. You are getting the stamps, background the stamps. You are getting beautiful papers, two uh, fifteen by fifteen paper blocks. You are getting four A four for 12 by 12 you are getting dice you are getting so much to play with and remember you have got a flexi by option if you're not a freedom member you carry forward an additional savings so in total your savings is 43 pounds however if you're a freedom member that saving is even bigger you have got 52 pounds and 93 pence a saving there you can flexi buy it as well so imagine that in the first month payment would be today would be just five pounds more if that if you went for the one day special the one day special is two stamp sets and two dice and it's really already discounted you have got eight pounds saving there however you will get two one day specials to both options I mean you are getting so much more by you going for the complete collection and of course look at that flexi freedom three payments interest-free payments of 29 pounds and 79 pence grab yours at 537943 is your item number right what I could do just yeah. to uh, show you there's a little sometimes I don't like cutting out very much <laughs> I like fussy cutting sometimes and sometimes I don't so things like this I think no I'm not fussy cutting that so I'll just show you some tricks you can use with these. All I'm going to do is just follow the shape of one of the leaves that are on. And I'm just going to push through. Now this might not be, I might need a little bit more space, but I'm not too worried. It's just to get a gap so I can push this through. Now, I am just... So I'm not too sure about that. I need a little bit more. So, 
it's entirely up to you whether you choose to cut it like this but I'm just using uh, the, the shape of the leaf because I can easily cover that over that's better so I'm just going to put that in there to make it more 3d and then over the top now over the top these I've done these in bright colors because I think this you know you could make a simple card with these you've got these mushrooms right so you could actually have these in the background as well if you so wished I've done them in orange as well might be a bit bright but you could use them in it to make it 3d if you wanted then you've got the little tops so that you can cut these and you can actually put them on there if you want oh and they matter the size as well yeah they're really they're really cool and you can have them in the background so it builds up like that oh. I think personally these are a bit too bright for what I want but they show you what you can do yeah. you've also got the fallen leaves and these little leaves work really well for just covering up all that or you've got the the reef oh this is stunning this the oh, reef one and it's got all these lovely and I just think that is stunning so what we're going to do is just take a little bit of it I'm going to use that it's got like uh, tiny little acorns on it and stuff it's just brilliant and I'm just going to put it I would finish these off with pencils because at the moment it's, it's, it's not finished. But I've cut this out of one of the papers in the pack. So it all goes together. So I've got the darker side and the lighter side. I quite like the lighter side. Yeah. I'm oh, just having yeah. it there. Right, so I'm not going to try and glue it all over. No point in me trying to show you how to glue. And then I'm just going to push that behind there and there. And each time I do this, it's different. And I like that because each time I want it to be different. The bit that I've chopped off, I'm going to balance by just putting it at the top. Yeah. Just to give it some sort of... Oh, sticking to my fingers more than a paper now. Just to give it some sort of um, balance that way. And I don't... I think just a few more here... And I really think what you could do, you could, you know, if you wanted to make it ornate, you could do that. But I choose it. I just think, no, I'll stick to these. Now, I quite like that. Horses for courses, I'm thinking, do I want the dark side? These little ones are brilliant because these are workers. These can go on all the stuff you make, these tiny little leaves. I don't know why. They've, they've all, I can't show you. Look at them. Uh, look at that. They're all die cut. Look, oh, tiny. They're all tiny, die cut, and you can push them all out. How mad is that? Look at that. So, they're really, really, really detailed. Yeah. So, I'm just going to push that in there. And then, there's little tiny bits that come out of this and here. Save these little oh, tiny cool. bits. Because yeah. these make great fungus. Oh, yeah. Because you have, like, little fungus in, you know, that grows in the mushrooms and stuff. And you can even have it on on those if you wanted, but I think I'll just have it tucked in here. And then the oh, last bit, I yeah. think I'm just going to... quite like that. What I would do, then, is get all my pencils and sit there for hours. Yeah. But I think then... Yeah, no, that's perfect. I quite perfect. like that. I quite like Thank that. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. Uh, now, I... Uh, we... We mentioned before it, that beautiful doll, this particular one that creates a kind of folded, you know, journal or card or shape mini album, however you want to call it. It is a really thing of beauty, isn't it? Now, if you want to go for it, there is different configurations. We have got four beautiful dies of this sort as well. Now, they are here. Now, this is a bundle that come all four of them together. You have got a flexible option, so you would pay, maybe if you prefer to spread the cost, uh, you you can do that, 19 pounds and 98 pence. But if you want off payment, you can of course do that. And of course, they, uh, it's 39 pounds and 96 pence, four pounds saving. Now, I absolutely adore. So you would get, uh, you ha you would get also this one. Look at that. How well does it work with the brand new collection? And for invitations, maybe for part Christmas even. I think that Christmas would be really lovely. A Christmas menu. And then, look at that. Then, 
you can do something like this because this light is also included and these are the beautiful papers included in the collection and that cut blocks. Now if you wanted to go for all four you have got the details. If you want to go for sets of two you can do it. So for instance the two first ones you can see them here and I believe that one is that one so let me uh, just put so that one uh, you can see that above it. Now if you wanted to go for both of them you can 21 pounds and 98 pence saving five pounds now one of the things i like about this one is that beautiful kind of almost a snowflakey uh dandelion uh, element and of course that one is this one okay so you'll get those two or you can go for the other two which is that one and that one so there we have it. I'm probably going to put them there. So this is what they cut like. And this is the dice that you are going to receive. 21 pounds and 98 pence, saving five pounds. Your item number 207923. Now, uh, we have got also seven day savers and we have got those lights that work so well. Now, it has got, uh, like you can see in there that you can have got the corkscrew. Now that means that if you have got an empty bottle of wine or two, or three or six actually uh, you can instead of your are empty you wash them and of course you put the LED lights in there and the corkscrew sits nicely on top so you can switch it on and off perfectly uh, now 14 pounds and 99 pence makes them half price because you're saving 15 pounds now look at this beautiful sample isn't that gorgeous? This is, I think, my favorite sample. Beautiful, isn't it? And it's all about, you know, the embossing folder that cuts in here. It cuts the aperture. It embosses the detail. You can create that or you can create something a little bit more simple. It's up to you. Let me grab the other sample in here as well. Because look at that. So you can see that. Now, this is just using one element. You are getting 73 different elements. You are going to get the glorious, let me grab as well, stamps that you can see here. Look at Rachel. What, how talented is she? A stamp, the same stamps that Lou was using, but a completely different look. What about doing something like this the die of the tree is included in the complete collection now if you wanted to go for the one the one day um, uh, one day special you can do that you know sometimes projects allowing you know there is some restrictions this is the first one day special it's falling foliage and it will be dispatched from the 10th of august you are getting two beautiful dice sets with the border, the edge, those intricate kind of intertwining leaves. Then you are getting the mushrooms as well in there. The, and I love that because it's a little bit different. It's not just flowers and butterflies. Bring some, you know, mushroomy stuff into your creations. <laughs> mushroomy. No, but they, you know what I mean? They are beautiful. They are things of wonder. Things of wonder. And some of them are very tasty as well. Some of them not so much. Uh, but you can see here, uh, what is it called, these ones? The Chinese lantern sort of um, yeah. seeds. Yeah. They are very, they are kind of flowers, fruit. Chris, crystal. Uh, uh, crystal. Chrysalis? No. no, it's like a crystal fruit. Is oh, crystal it crystal? Fruit. No. no, yeah. Well, I don't know what if you, you know it, email in as to your arhochanda.com. And then at the bottom, we have got the other option, the hibernation habits. So you have got the squirrel, you have got the pumpkin, you have got the dice in there as well. £24.96 is the price for either of those two options. In each of these options, you have got a £8 saving. 251-864 is your item number. And then... We have got, so remember that those eight pound savings, so if you were going to buy the two uh, one day specials, you would have a 16 pound saving, eight pounds in each. If you wanted to go for the next bundle, uh, the one that has got, uh, look at that, I love, I love this one, because you have got the beautiful strong tree image, and then you have got the, that, it, that is embossed, and then some of the leaves Cuts because it have got already the lives in there. Now, if you turn the lights off, then you turn the lights on in here, and you can see it perfectly. Look at that. I love that. Now, this could be something for your home or could be a present. Not only you are getting this, you are getting a paper pad, 36 sheets in there, 170 GSM, uh, nine designs, and you're getting multiples. So you can see in here, 15 inches by centimeters by 15, so roughly a six by six inches, and you could be making beautiful cards. You are also getting, of course, those dies, those silhouette edges dies. 
16 pounds 97, 5 pounds saving there. Then the next bundle we have got features my favorite, the autumn showers. It features the, um, you know, the, the cuts, that umbrella that cuts into the cards, the embossing folder, you're getting the dies, the wreath, and another paper pad. Another 5 pounds saving, 16 pounds and 97 pence. And then we have got the background stamps, a set of two background stamps, beautiful slides in here. And then we have got, of course, the die cut block in there, a signature from a studio light. Five pounds savings in here, 19 pounds and 97 pence. Our came, our producer loves the die cut blocks because it's easy because she doesn't have a, a die cutting machine. So this kind of helps her. This would be perfect for her because it's the stamps and die cut blocks. Finally, we have got a bundle of papers. Now in here, you are gonna get uh, eight of the A4, eight of the 12 by 12. And so you're getting four designs of each, two of each, if it makes any sense that way. You can see it. Now you can see the beautiful kind of watercolor background in there the gorgeous leaves.